prices right now are let's see imperial phase eternal fire vp uh, let's see if phase gets knocked out yeah Dude, what the fuck? I set up all my streams yesterday and it removed me, I guess. Weird. Oh, yeah! if you're an opponent of Boki, I mean, that's something you dread. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ole! Let's go! That's quite a nice little shot. Penny with the collateral, through the smoke, through the silo, as uh, we go into a five on three. This was a partial by the face, bear in mind as well, so still a complicated round. We are going to see... A pretty clean finish, though. Carrigan and Rob's remain, and poor old Carrigan. That's on an island here. That's got quite a nice shot towards Phelps, to be fair to him. Can he do anything else, though, Alex? That's the question. No, Henny. After getting the collateral, he has any gamba? Things out with the hat trick. And Imperial are looking very good now. Um, a couple of questionable rounds from FaZe, especially against those five sevens, but. A lower bomb site, I suppose that happens, I mean, but I need to pull their socks up now. They've lost a one versus three, a four versus three. These are, I mean, especially the four versus three, the bomb's already down. Like, they, <laughs> it's, it's hard to excuse. Streamer this, never late. Really Tournament is. simply too early. I was this moving a bit slower today, I won't lie. I woke right. up at like 4.30 instead of 4, and I was just like, fuck. They are on the T side. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, it's still early days. Like, I feel fine, you know, just. It's just so hard to forget about some of the other games that FaZe have lost here. Rain gets taken down. It's an aggressive push from Henny. Sometimes it can be very hard to get out from these positions. Good shot from Rops. We'll take down Decent. That makes it a four versus three. Well, only for a second there. Four versus three now. As Phelps was trying to sneak on through. Okay, another four on three. Only for a second there. Four three Lots now. of time to work with here. Well, look at the gamble from Imperial, though. Two players down towards lower. Leaving Vinny in the upper bomb side pretty much alone here. He'll have an HE and a flash. Fortunately, he's got a bit more firepower, the AK-47. If they go towards up, uh, I don't think there's much mm -mm. Of a chance. What up, John? Do what up, Razor? They're actually pushing out. Rob's, though, he might get a kill for free back here. This is quite smart from Rob's, you're right. If they go towards hell, though, he might not even get the timing they've rotated. We'll see if it works out for him. And he's going to be walking into his cross for the looks of things. Oh, they're ready for it. Fantastic awareness from no way. In towards up we go. As mentioned, Vinny is ready and waiting. He is back here. He doesn't quite get the shot. And unfortunately, oh, Vinny. crouches into it. That's unfortunate. It's a bit of a flash coming up. No way would love to get up to the high ground. He does Fighter, thanks for the 44. Barney, thanks for the 21. Techry with the four fucking Maybe years. Thank you. Appreciate you. Really hit anyone, so... They can stick by phase. This should be their round again. Nine times out of ten, you win this. The bomb is already down. You've got a one-man advantage. CT side having a hard time putting this one together. Henny's just patiently waiting back there. Gonna get the kill on Frozen. Tries for a wall bang, but they're running out of time very, very swiftly on this one. He's still moving forward, though. AK on the high ground. Not gonna make it work. And I think Henny knows that is his time to pull <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, Lamb. He can pick up that AWP maybe again. Be shooting pretty much. In the back. At least make it expensive, sure. But somebody he else has got the Tinos? So what the hell? Oh, wait, no, it's FaZe. That's right. Frozen has it. Round and is pulling one back after conceding three in a row. Imperial Can't hear stream. What are you, deaf? Vinny was the linchpin of that upper bomb site. If he could get at yeah, least one I got frag, you. maybe they stood a chance there. A decent retake attempt. I will give them that as well. And they kept well, the very one modest by taking you. all oh, five players down. But Brokey showing some form here. And yeah, actually, I'll leave it there for no you guys. That was I'm the crucial kill. Problem is, though, for FaZe, you can see it's reflected on their full buy, as it were. They've got four Galils. Bare bones utility, and that's after winning a round as well, because you only get $3,500 for winning a round. Okay, thanks for 100 biddies, thank you. So I have to make do as we go towards outside once again. This time a quick cross, the traditional wall of smoke, Sanders. And they're going to send, it looks to be, four players down in total. Shooting next to the 12-month recent, thank you. The extremities of lobby, and uh, presumably we'll be going for the backstab. And controlling the rotations event. Yeah, um, I like seeing him playing it as far back as he is right now. There have been some lobby crunches already attempted from Imperial and quite successfully, so you don't want to be alone back there. Grenade, maybe it goes a little bit further than it could have been, but still does some damage. Softens him up a bit. Molotov to stop the rotation. Vinny tried to run right through. Broke, he was what ready the with the Galil on the other side. It's Phelps to come through next. One 
more trade and it's in favor of phase here as the bomb gets planted no way close range with a five seven and he picks up a Galil instead so thanks for one gift it's not only one gift that i'm matching okay, all gifts really looking for hot girls there's Thank no you. kit in play on imperial it's a very tricky retake. and remember mommies don't know if, no i don't think he saw the gun barrel henny he's got some idea this battle could be everything and it's rain to come out on the low side of that one kerrigan and rob's left Phase need this round, and Imperial need to be lightning fast. I think they might have almost run out of time already. They've left it very, very late in the round. I yeah. don't think it can be done. I don't think it can be done either, but they can keep Phase very modest all the same, but it will be a fifth round on the board. Carrigan confirms it, and he'll make his way out towards the ramp room. Two Imperial players survive, so this is already shaping up to be quite a nice half with a couple of morning, fumbled centers. rounds in the mix as well. So Phase on a pretty They're promising position. Yeah, Coming like... to life now in this lower bombsite gambit seems to be working out for them time and time again so that was quite a simple little pocket strat of the start four players towards outside the traditional wall of smokes four players down there realizing they're getting decent control down there they're managing to yeah. get it the bomb planted coffee? i do most plant scenarios and sure they've given a couple of those away but the fact you're getting uh advantageous positions with the bomb down suggests it's a uh, correct strategy to be calling. invest in a really nice machine double zoom Grind strategy don't see many of stuff. those uh, on nuke though seems to be one of the most wife he did pastry at the win and like gun. also has been a barista before these so when she makes it sometimes better to the point where like i don't even want to make my own now. that's you know my current I know the first world problem gonna be better in cs2 how it's because you were finally on board with it you hated the sushi in csgo and hate is a strong word anders but you might be correct here despise i despise that <laughs> low strong loathing for the yeah for the I, I hated the shotguns as well i'm somewhat coming around to them okay you know, like, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't been the, the shotgun major, has it? No, it really hasn't. We haven't really seen any. They've gone out of fashion. We need simple here. Well, there's one more Susan in play, and Vinny has got in a cheeky position right now. He's got to oh, be careful. It's the Rob special. They're falling back. they got 50 seconds. They can't really walk all the way back outside. I mean, no ways out here. Yeah, they're going to have to redouble their efforts towards the ramp room instead. There is Henny waiting at the corner or so. He's locked in. He's all in on this position. I don't like this position that much. I feel like it's very I, often just going to get traded out. I think it could work here, Anders. It definitely doesn't, though. I kind of I appreciate it. It means you're you're willing to take fights. You know. Mm -mm, I'm Doc this is the form of Primer. Thank you. But uh, this time it doesn't really work out. One minute and a half we remaining. Three versus two, but bear in mind this was an eco. They saved two guns in the previous round. Wiki, wiki. I'm gonna working give it on a it, dude. little look in though. We have no way rotating with Vinny. He's going to be on the end of the fishing rod here. See if they can get a couple of kills if possible. No, no, I know Vinny how to exactly make the coffee. It just doesn't taste Vinny nearly as good. I don't know, man. Things are brutal. I don't know what's wrong with the solo door. Maybe it's the and, love. Uh, but now that should be it. Two v one, and no way <laughs> has no chance. With 30 HP, no Kevlar. And uh, this could be saving that AK-47 by the looks of things. But FaZe amassing a huge haul of rounds here on the T side. It's going to be 6-3. to three. Very yeah. comfortable scenes. You know, with those two rounds, the 1 versus 3 and the 4 versus 3 that they managed to lose, it was right, a bit so of a car crash for I almost made a more unhinged response, like, but I'm just going to leave it there. The wreckage and actually getting some pretty good he rounds out of it. Sorry. So I guess Make we have to of give them some credit for it. I was getting very nervous, but I was nervous coming into this game. It doesn't take a lot to get me back there. Yeah. That's well, fair enough. Buddy, Headphones doing? are off for rain. Suggests oh. we've got a slight technical issue. A chance to catch our breath. A moment's respite as uh, we look at what's happened so far. If you are just joining us, welcome. Keep cycle settled in the yet? CS2 Major no. continues to roll through. We've got a 1-2 bracket game here for you. It's Imperial taking on FaZe. FaZe haven't looked their best this Major. It has to be said, uh, yesterday getting absolutely battered by eternal fire on overpass. 13-1. That's like a... It's a mainstay map for FaZe as well. Overpass. You've yeah. got Brokey and Rain on the same team. And you get 13-1. Like, great game from Eternal Fire. They're getting better and better. Um, to be fair, though, I don't like mind waking up early, but like, I just uh, don't know if your body ever reckon, really is, like, strong, but still, used to fucking waking up at 4 in the goddamn the morning. Like FaZe Clan, you just don't see that. That's no. their biggest loss they've taken. You might get, like, more used to it, but I mean, like, they played 41 really maps together, and uh, don't want to be having those sort of records broken at the CS2 Major, <laughs> the first one, but... Uh, like, slightly easier, Curia, sure. But... They've also lost to Heroics. They find themselves here in the 1-2 like, I'm a nice 7 a.m. type of guy, series. you know?
They're going home, they're not making it to the playoffs. If you win it, you're in the 2-2 two -two portion of the tournament, and we'll get back into the action here. Because if you ever wake up early and you're like a 4 a.m. person, you're waking up at like Phelps. 3 in the we'll fucking morning, you know? door, but Vinny will respond in kind. As a 7 a.m. wake up person without an alarm, door, it looked like. earliest Against I wake up on accident reason. is like 6. Vinny able to reclaim the round a little bit here. Back into a 4 versus 4 we go. Vinny is down below, speaking of which... Had to go to sleep so, early? Dog, I was in bed at like 8. In front of I'm doing my part. I meant to go around the corner. Maybe? <laughs> All right, maybe it's fine. I'm doing my it part. Like he almost smoked himself off. I think they've managed to find a good crossfire instead, so not going to be too much of a problem here. Frozen, looking to walk through. On the other side, Rain is doing the same thing, and they're both going to get caught. Absolutely brilliant setup coming out here for Imperial. Who now, on the other hand, do need the rounds. They're starting to fall really far behind. Oh, Brokey, he knew that Decent would be coming for him. And it's going to thrust Carrigan into a pretty much impossible 3v1. I say that because the bomb is down in a pretty precarious spot. He's just going to be looking for any straggling CTs. And he's actually done a very good job of finding no way here. Down to a two-on-one now, 35 seconds. If you had the uh, bomb. Henny's in the garage, I believe. So I don't think Carrigan will be checking this particular position. And down he goes. Well played as uh, Imperial bounced back. At least post another one here on the CT side. You can see we've got all oh, the stickers in on the broadcast today. It's pretty nice. Yeah, that's really What's cool. that like a sausage? Uh, I feel <laughs> it might be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually looked at the individual player stickers yet, so this is cool. Yeah, I haven't at the time either. I'm gonna go I think they still them. need to put the names. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's good. Rob's always has bangers. That's not bad. Not bad. Frozen Eva, enjoying that. Especially because yeah, they did gold on gold, dude. Lovely. It is hard to see that. Those look like Nordic if you were new yeah, coming and watching the major right? and you saw it's like uh, like slime. If yeah, you know who like the that. players are, it's fine. Readable, but if right? you didn't know who the like players were and you're trying to watch, it's hard. A little bit to figure out what exactly does that say. So I do kind of like that. Okay, sticker review is done. We're into the game once again. I'm Doc. Thank you, shooting crazy. Thank you, Fuke. Thank you. What I don't know all. Very open game, I've got to say. I mean, I think I would say FaZe are they're calming my nerves a little bit. Starting to make something work. Brokey's playing very well. He's got 11 kills at the moment. Oh, if they so win the major nightmare. The You're gifting 10 every month forever. Everyone is on the server right now. There's actually nobody is really lacking behind. So this could be a fiery game on Nuke. I hope it is. <laughs> Henny with the orb towards ramp this oh. time. This is a I'll have my people part, tracking it. It's just a note. So this could be a couple for Imperial. They pick this one up comfortably. Um, I'm, I dare say we go 6-6 six, six here. Which we splitting it right down the middle. Yeah, that's the only fat bastard dog. There Shut up. The orb resides. Carrigan down towards Seeker of a Scout. Not the ideal weapon for the task. Call two to three and he, sash. with the orb, should be absolutely fine for one kill, then dropping off. But maybe, we'll Ren. We'll see. First. We'll see. Willing to stick around for the, the good next news challenge. is they lost so fucking badly yesterday that sometimes you can like brush those kinds of series off a lot quicker. Doesn't really matter. He's going to get the shot on Frozen anyway. He's aware that someone could be down here. He does have a teammate that could probably help him out. So doesn't have to be too concerned, I feel like. But we'll see if Carrigan can break open the like, window and actually make a run when, for it. When you get absolutely dipped him. down a, a big ask. for you breakfast, see the lunch, dinner, sometimes you're like, you know what? All good. The down there All good. Toxic, but you never know. 40 seconds on the clock here. The force up, like you said, they lose. Oh, it's another two for one. Hey, Henny with the collab, dude. Optimizing the AWP to a level we haven't seen very often. He's finally going to go down. Carrigan does sneak out of the window using the sound of VP's death. VP's it, by the way. I the think technically if VP wins, I'm like I mean, guaranteed. I've got a potential bomb plan here, but Vinny looking to sabotage okay. their efforts. The thing is, a nice safe plan, but can't be covered from ramp. And Carrigan continues to actually show some impressive form Seven with his scouts. But yes, indeed, no time, no space. And it will be Imperial to pick up the penultimate round of this first half of the best of three. Their opponent's pick of Nuke and starting to bring this one back to life. The final round coming up next, but bear in mind that was the force and no bomb was planted. It'll probably be more the same. You're going to see like Galil's Tech 9s, Mac 10s going forward here. Won't be pretty. And you'll probably see an outside wall of smokes deployed by FaZe. That's been there. Go if to Imperial get to six, uh, this is interesting. Like, Nuke isn't what it used to be, you know? Seem to get those post plant scenarios time and time again. I think again. it's going to rely a lot for Imperial on, on that pistol round, but sort of situation. That's it's... probably their best port of call. So they'll take a tactical timeout. I would say six rounds on the T side of Nuke is more than enough. Yes. 
I I agree. And also just the, the recovery they had from losing out with the painful rounds. I think that's in itself a good sign. I think some of the some versions of phase that we've seen throughout this major so far, they would have already been tilting quite hard, but they managed to make it back, shake off some of those losses, continue to play well. So I'm not I'm not too upset at the moment. And you can always win around with tech nines, you never know. It's it's been done before. A few times, I believe, yeah. I haven't got the, the data with me, but it definitely has happened. We said the outside water smokes were likely. Phelps playing in front of them, however. My one knows noise chat, sorry. 99 sorry. damage, and God. it will be converted by rain. So that's a nice little feather in their cap. And this is to recover an AK-47. Rain has been tagged in the process, though. Might struggle to get down towards Secret, mm -hmm. considering the smokes are expiring momentarily. One minute 20 left on the clock. This, are they just going to run out up or waiting for any timing. sort of reactions towards the lobby and he pushes it squeaky they're waiting for rain to see if he can itself, make something happen but what a passive setup here as he needs towards the back of squeaky robs hang right in front rain has a molotov but he's in the wrong position to use it for anything otherwise they could put some pressure on Vinny here he's um stuck out in the yard and can't really <clears throat> can't really get very far from here 50 seconds probably he's solo on health as well taking a fight at range is you have to hit an instant headshot to try and win this one. Walk in and watch the garage. There is a player holding that. He's dead. I don't think Rain's coming out on top of this one. Yeah. Timing not with him either. Now it's just down to the pistols for the rest of it here. Vinny, not exactly the most pre precise uh, round from him. But I think in the end, they're going to be fine with it. Decent lining up a couple of kills, and it's going to be tied up at 6-6 six to six at the end of it. 6-6 six, six is, six, you can see, six yeah, is to get interesting right Henny now. Trying to get for sure. Gabi, thanks for the 43-month recent. Thank you. It's a very open game. It's wide open here. Faze started to fizzle out towards the end of the first half. But as we mentioned, uh, getting six round on the T side, uh, that's a pretty decent result. I don't know, just don't see their usual selves. Still, um, I would say down to the pistol here, like the Imperial can definitely pull this one I back. I have one gifted. They yeah. switch over to the T Am I drinking? Now. Oh, right, I have a little collapse situation this time with the M4. Very convincing finish. There's that. Uh, and he is well enjoying that final round going in their favor. So we'll have a look at the pistol setup here. The Brazilians will be bringing out a Molotov and a smoke in the hands of Henny. Uh, we've got Vinny with the flash and the HE as well. You could so the HE no noises when you're streaming. I could, or the door, I could fuck with you. And uh, potentially using the Molotov for a post-plant scenario. That's what the HE is normally brought out to do on the pistol round. I mean, that Molotov to the high ground, if you can actually get the bomb planted, is super devastating. If there's like three or four CTs locked up there, not a bad idea. We'll see if they are going to be able to do anything of the likes. They've already managed to land the waterfall smoke towards Mini. So, yeah, it's the one you're seeing right there. There's the nade. The squeaky door should be open at this stage. Phelps, ready to get towards main. Here's the flash. Here's the execution. It's quite a nice pistol so far, but Brokey will find first blood. Yeah, they Molotov behind the site. There's no one down there. Decent's down already. Rain looking to see when he can pounce up out of the vent. He needs someone else to distract a little bit. Just to pull the attention away so that no one's looking in that direction. They do not have a flashbang and they do not have a kit. So with the bomb planted, the pressure's on phase. Even if they have the amount of advantage here, this is a huge pistol round for them. And Frozen and Kerrigan, it's a oh. strong start. Already. It could not have been better. Holy shit. Well, that's the first time they've looked like phase five. Five alive. Retake like that. Very All convincing right. finish. All five players All survive. Right. Very calm, very controlled as the bomb is defused. It's phase clan. A very important pistol here. Yeah. After a 6 6 scoreline. Broke here the opening frag. It was pretty nice execution there from Imperial as well. The waterfall smoke, as you know, as you mentioned, and uh, the fact that he got the bomb planted cleanly, but it was all by design for FaZe. He wanted to retake the upper bomb site. Clinical. As we see now, presumably the force spot with the bomb planted, which suggests they'll be bringing out Galils. That's what the, the book suggests, but they've gone for a more conservative Ooh. approach. They're going to have a real full buy Anders going forward here. So um, some light Interesting. Like I Zeus wonder if they're doing this chat because, because really they know FaZe is all going to have M4s. No, you don't. I guess because they got zero kills in the process. They're like, well, let's uh, make sure we have a very strong buy going forward but it does enable phase to keep five alive here yeah but a phase oh my god he missed the vent the oh my god they don't know where the vent is the oh go. my god Not really much to report here as you might expect phase clan mopping them up they put the bomb down on the side floor itself and just one player remaining and that's Henny. 
I'm just gonna crowbar this in because I've been building this narrative about how well they all missed the event. Imperial all of them. VP, and if that could be the case, could also be that maybe Vinny is saying, you know what, we have such a lockdown on what you guys are going to be doing on the CT side. We have a lot of well prepped strats on the T side ourselves. We trust that we're going to be able to do this. Um, I hope that I hope that we can see something similar because I've got to say the calling against James was really cool. So. Uh, I think it's less we have one. incredible strats game. and He's more we know you all have M4s, right now the you're going to have the gun advantage. Like, um, they are the whole point of buying Galilas, right, is like you're fighting right SMGs now, or like a FAMAS. Uh, if you know everybody lived next, on the other and team and they got all got a kill... We'll keep you updated. You should ideally have two screens up. Like, you're just going into a... Every duel knowing that you have a worse weapon. An interesting decision, like off meta to take the full eco after getting the bomb down in pistol. They have yeah. brought out the AK 47s in the third and got themselves a decent buy, of course. They've got all the utility they could require and all the kills. Yeah, banged him down. Bucks and win. With the ball bank. That's an opening frag on in game leader Carrigan. That one stings, and they've got some decent outside control as well. There will be no AWP to defend, of course. So, okay. Let's see if they have an idea of the rotation here of phase because that's how the Jared with the 35 month recent feature really. with the 38. There's two people down below. Death Incarnate, did you wake up at 4 a.m. today? You're right, bro. So, could be a huge wraparound to the outside here. They are going to be smoking off and sending a couple of people down below. It's Frozen who has a Molotov still. My god, that grenade could be massive for him if he can time it right. 35 seconds. If you throw down that Molotov right as they're trying to get in, it could be brutal for Imperial, even with a man lead here. Rops to the high ground here, and Frozen gets nothing done. Doesn't throw the grenade or anything. Oh, oh my Decent God. With the headshot God. against Rain. That is a clean round coming out well. from the Brazilian side. Oh, it all started with a cheeky wall bang as well, but we're, very we, clinical. And is it a great job building up the really moment, and then they won every duel. Zach's enjoying it, coach of Imperial. And, uh, yeah, no, that bar here. definitely cock blocked. And that was the wall bang for Carrigan. That is wild. Phelps and Vinny working in tandem towards this lower bomb site, getting the job done. As we have a very clean one there. That's actually setting the tone for their T-side campaign. This is all by design. They wanted to have absolutely everything. AKs across the board, all their utility. And we're not going to well, see the first time Shadow Sabrosa said he never took a day off. Half by three players of Kevlar. Broking and he Why is Rose in attacking towards shit. the ramp? Oh my goodness, he's got away with one. He's got an AK here as well. Surely he doesn't get away with this. I do stream pretty consistently. He has. He ran past one of the players. So now he can give that AK up to someone else who's got high HP here. I took a day off from my that wedding. borderline criminal. I think just one though. I actually can't Maybe believe two. it. Was it one or two? Wild spray probably would have caught him, but they stopped in the middle of it. The AK now hunting for more teammates. Rob doesn't give it over to anyone. Oh, he just wants to hold on to it. Him. Not gonna throw it. So actually, I took a day off recently. Four. I stayed out until Imperial seven in the morning. Outside control here. Phelps slowly but day, but surely getting closer to Rops. I was so fucked up, here. chat, that when there I did that, I didn't uh, even know God, the time switch. Scary. It took him a second against Rops. You could be dead. Yep, true. Well, that AK has gone now. I didn't know the times that actually changed for like a week. I'm pushing up from the hut, walking up behind them with a P250. Bro. Oh, they let go of a bullet. You need the kill right then. Sure, there's a second player, but the other Little two players pop. drop down below. Frozen, it's a nice kill, but he shouldn't be able to do a lot more than this. And his teammates cannot help him out. They're not able to get up out of that vent. So the bomb is going to get planted here. And that should pretty much secure the round for Imperial. There were a couple of ways this round could have got exploded. Now mm. it's down to the Deagles and... It's been a while since we've seen really good deal shots. I don't know what's happened. They're all gone, Henry. The deagle luck is yeah. uh, diminished, Anders. We no, spent culture, it all that day was gone. mad weird. It's all done. Uh, no CZs either this tournament. Me staying out till That's 7 a.m. I skipped the hangover phase, Which, went to bed, slept for like four hours, really woke up, that sense. If chilled, watched Dune 1, rewatched Dune 2 with a worth. couple friends, and then we're went back to bed. It was actually perfect. Abusers. Well, there's an eagle, no headshot, but a frag found at the very least. Phelps and T-Spawn has no way closes things out. This is looking dangerous for FaZe Clan now. Money is tight. They get an opening kill there, but it was a little partial investment. I won't call it a half buy. They had three players of Kevlar. But yeah, in general, pistols, I don't usually take too much time off from the too much there. An interesting AK-47 found by Robs, but couldn't really dominate with the weapon. Would have liked to see him throw Although it over I plan to on doing that. HP, but 
a couple it's days be here after the major All for to 15 kills. see my family. Frozen as well, turning up with 13. We'll see if they can get back to their winning ways. Imperial might be able to do this on their opponent's pick. It's a pretty compelling showing so far on the T side. Very calm, composed, utilizing their advantages. And Phelps will meet his maker in the form of Rain. He's on for a double kill here. He seems to be very aware. Oh. No way we'll take care of him, though. And in towards main we go. You need a Molotov back here to get rid of Frozen, though. He's already got one kill. Yeah, they know that he's here. They have the grenades. Surely someone can find a way to toss one back there. Carrigan, strong headshot. And that grenade no longer means anything. Frozen has gone down, but Penny's alone. I think Phaser found that a way took so long to, to come out. this round. Even Wonder... Penny's playing well. He's got 16 kills. They know exactly where he is. A lot of time, I guess, on the clock, so maybe even time for FaZe to make a mistake. He might AWP jiggle this right just because of the Rookie. heaven angle. Surely he will never miss this shot. <laughs> and there's... And he, he get a deep breath. He's hoping, he's dreaming about someone walking into the crosshairs here. There's a flank coming in as well. That actually did damage to him, so tags him up. If they hear that, they can still be quite sure where he is. And it looks like, oh my God, the timing is scary. Rob's not quite moving. What? Okay. 30 seconds. 30 seconds indeed. Penny, is there anything left to be said about this round? I doubt it. Rob's will have him contained in towards the lobby. And FaZe, indeed, back to their winning ways here. Wasn't too much momentum built up for Imperial. A few rounds in a row. But uh, there it is. A nice, convincing finish after Rain finds Phelps and Frozen and Carrigan. Set up a brick wall in the upper bomb site. Roki finding some form of that AWP as well. Like we said, Rob's in that final frag. No bomb planted, of course. Should be a buy available for Imperial. What a strong one. Uh, concession to be made for Henny, though, has gone down to a Tech 9 as they fully invest into round number 18 here. FaZe looking for double digits here on their map pick. Initial excursion towards outside, thwarted by grenades, but Phelps. Still going to give it a good go. You can see how brittle that smoke is, the waterfall one. And Robs is helping himself oh. to the trophy room. <gasps> He's got a player right next to him, Anders. Oh, Inside my God. He has no idea. And Decent doesn't know it either. The whole round could be hinging on this one interaction between the two players. Separated uh, by a smoke. Him. And it's Robs taking down Decent on the other side. Rain even wins this fight. And it's suddenly a five versus three. They don't need to challenge too much now. No. Rain knows it as well. Two players outside. Information mm. Garnet. Take, take that and run. Yeah, take the W and just walk away from this one. You don't have to do it. No way, gets one. Robs walks into the shot and it's back into a three versus three phase. How they did this, just, dude, the why did they give up. that up? They fell away from the engagement. Yeah, and that's just get a bit curious. I don't understand why you've got a five on three. You've peaked, you know there's two players there. Outside is not a, a bomb site. And I cannot tell you any logical reason spot. why they did that. 40 seconds, and they seem to know that Frozen's coming as well. They are just peeking one by one and throwing this round away. No. Excellent work from No Way. Don't get me wrong, he's got himself a hat trick. Absolutely. Perfect crosshair placement. Fantastic awareness, but this was a five on three. Maybe they, they just want to make sure Imperial is playing really good one CS. Both of these position. Well, not both, but one of them. All right, Molotov goes the wrong way, so both players are intact for now. Flashes into the site, missed shot, and Kerrigan is on his own. Ten seconds. Nine seconds on the clock, a headshot oh, comes wait. out. Can he hold on to the dream? Oh. He gets another one. It's a massive clutch for the captain of the team. Oh, my days. A sigh of relief, Anders. That was getting messy. Oh, my. I can't what tell is... you why. They continue the to peak. This is shit ever, player bro. Player after player. Throwing away that huge advantage. This is they actually the most phased shit ever. It's a five on three. The Carrigan delivering the goods. Always solid on the upper bomb site. Good for a clutch every now and then. And you can see what it means. Doing it on Danish soil. Carrigan takes phase to double digits. Ten to eight. He's going to force out a partial buy here from Imperial. Tech Nines. Desert Eagles. As they look to answer back, they'll be kicking themselves. They knew they had a real chance there. No way set them up fantastically well. And towards the hut we go. Maybe the ramp. They have no utility to speak of. No Kevlar either. So this is more of an eco than a partial buy. Damn. That, I mean, that round could easily decide this map. 
What a play am I from for? Kerrigan. Um, he is under pressure. The time is running out. They're coming for him. One missed shot in that engagement, and he is tricky probably going to get double peaked and, and just die. I feel like right Imperial is actually very good. Okay. What um, we got left here. Two tech nines. One but I would like to, like, like I don't know, mages are less exciting with phase not in the playoffs. So. Hard to weave a really compelling I guess story I'm about for how phase this more, is going to be working but, out well for Imperial. I, again, uh, I would have said in the past we not always just say, oh, this Deagle will play. You never know. You get Deagle headshots. Fa phase with this no twist, been, dude? Someone look up the stats. Is this not, the not major my with phase, the least dude. Deagle headshots not so far? Phase. I feel like it has to be. I'm just not remembering many. Brokey started to get warmed up, which is <laughs> unbelievably bad news for Imperial. You don't want to see that. Third yeah. kill coming in. He's a 19 overall. Got a bit Latvian of a laser. Sh shooting gallery here. But uh, now down to seven points of health. Probably the left. The team may deal with this. No, no. Rocks. Phase is EU now. We'll and the they're now owned by the team Cowboys. Sweep. If anything, yeah, important round coming up. I'm so far out. It's crazy. Map point first. I have to say, this is not the phase that is. Uh, I used to pull punches on the Cowboys because they have complexity. Major. It's, uh, it's not looking now, like that championship form team. I don't know if it can be can any worse. Right no, I, no one can disagree with that. Like, you'd have to be crazy. The only thing you can, uh, you can hold on to if you're taking a really deep breath of copium here is that in the past they have managed to a horrible combination of, of things. Right? We've you know? seen this from phase in the past where they're not looking good and then suddenly they're looking really strong. So that's what you have to pray for. But I've got to say it's... Even that, it sounds bad when you're saying it. I really wish you didn't you tell me that. Saying, oh, yeah, if you cheer for FaZe, yeah, you're a Cowboys fan. Go feels up. different somehow. I will say, bro, key, that's encouraging. Even if it's just against pistols, it's not even that. My team? Just overall, 19 uh, kills, hitting some shots, getting himself warmed up. Just I'm trying eight. to, I don't know, they win probably Lions. Round, especially yeah, if Lions. They the bomb plant. FaZe should be able to win you. You say Lions now after last season, I feel like a bandwagon, but... Henry once again. You know. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like the only team I keep up with. My, my mom's side of the family I mean, is from Detroit, so my brother and uncle are like diehards. Difficult to find those, and it's going to be a triple... Oh, he missed the nade. They've actually naded each other. Oh, dear. <laughs> no way, and Vinny, like, <laughs> just took a nade to the face. But I don't understand how. Yeah, like, I guess they haven't really run that too many times. That's uh, a little like, bit awkward. Need to see the replay. That's, that's a bizarre way to start the round. No, yeah, I know. I, the you've the been wearing the Lions shirt forever. No, I'm just like... Just completely fumbled his nade and I now completely stopped watching football for actually a while, and then I started so, watching football again last season. It just so happens that the Lions got their head out of their ass. Usual proceedings here. Smoke towards outside. I've been to a few Lions main. football games, like when I was still living in Ohio. So 45 seconds now. Uh, they haven't really got any territory on the map to speak. Oh, they've missed the smoke as well. Get him out of here. Oh, no. This round is done. This Molotov is not going to hit anyone. It's, it's, it's towards the got, back got of the got to hit side. this one. There yeah. we go. Successful nade. Yeah, it's a good mo it's a good Molotov, but there's nobody that's... They're not pre putting any pressure on anyone. They're still down to 30 seconds now. As they're trying to take the ramp. This is very, very late in the round. Rops. He could fall back and play it safely, but he's going to stick around, and that might get him killed. No way! FaZe, you're not losing this round, are you? 19 seconds. Rain at the back of the silo. Down below B, he catches a player. Mid-air swings for a second kill, and he's got but eight bullets left. 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, look at how smart he's playing it. He lured him in. Rain is a genius. And that's how they I think that's why Rob took that fight, chat. that was. What an absolute shit show. <laughs> Like, that is Later the best is. description in all my years. I haven't <laughs> seen anything quite like that. Started off with them nading each other on the team roof, missing the majority of the utility outside. Um, 30 seconds remaining, and they just kind of go right, let's go for a ramp rush, I suppose, and somehow got a double kill. And thankfully, the Rain, Silo last one from defense, stands yet? No. tall. And like you said, just being super frustrating to play against. He's just tucking himself in, making sure that bomb can't get planted. Bit of a nightmare round, yeah. Maybe the reason Rob fought Ramp there, chat, was because Rain was already there. Uh, he thought he so, could probably catch him off guard by staying committed that late, and that's kind and of like a weird play. We'll need four in a row, and it all starts with a very complicated setup. Rain will get the opening frag here, five on four on map point. The Tech Nines are out, but Carrigan raining down death from above, but it's not going to be quite enough. Down to a three on three, Anders. Uh, well, maybe could be done with quickly. Vinny's very, very low on health, although. Lack of grenades on the CT side. Rops 
It's one of the kills. Out of bounds look really good. They're already they're three out and three in the playoffs. That's a nice flick. Rops to take down decent Vinny. All oh, dude, if you're a big fan boy, you would have been... Rob's surely going to be pushing forward, and it's the pistol to uh, finish the job. GG. You're going to be sad to hear this, but Shue and Zerson were both in chat yesterday, two. vibing out. And they are looking a little bit better chat and ads running in five seconds. Uh, yeah, totally Actually, agree. I, I got to do it before... It... But still, they win both pistols, up, 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 up. there are a few awkward moments in there for both I just both had to beat teams. it before um, it ran the small one, because then it fucked it all up. I wasn't super impressed of either side there. The fact that FaZe get the win... That was almost bad. ...is their pick, though, but Imperial definitely had their kind of awkward moments themselves uh missed utility needing each other running out of time wow okay there's three cts here though norbert with a ah vp oh, overpass where their t side's incredible and their ct side still pisses me the fuck off running them down with the ump cut down by woxic through the smoke that was necessary from woxic he's kept them with a good hope of conversion with 40 seconds on the clock this, this is the engagement he knows fame's coming Tatares finds the headshot Chat, you guys want to hear something funny about Shuhei coming in here though james scarpering over there but the bomb's not moving so quickly it's Tatares trying to sell it Shuhei james came in here yesterday he's already starting to say i clicked his name and it said he follows since 2018 okay, yeah, this could still get awkward motherfucker was trying to get, to get my james settings all. in 2018 i have the receipts creeping out james all revealed have to go b now they have to with 10 seconds left vp have found a he solution he was trying to get all my settings Seven. you know his barrels this is so uncomfortable what are you doing we're teasing the, the shit out of him the round just like that vp take 12. <laughs> An advantage squandered and a frustrating sequence from EF. Eternal fire and just eternal suffering on overpass. You can see the indecision from those two short players. The 10 seconds left of the clock. If you don't go, you have no hope. And they're thinking, how are we going to get past this? Eternal AWP? fire. That really see, this, just is, this is when, like, when a uh, team does something like that, chat, like with a timer versus VP, that's well, how you James, know they're like, just good. No, like, it. There was a loud step. There was you you're you're no longer playing your version yeah. of Counter Strike. The you're thing, playing Tatares theirs. Good luck. Expecting a response. If he had followed through, then he would have been disconnected from the team, but there could have been an avenue to come back because he would have been able to find the site completely clear. It's just one of those things, and that's where the pressure late hurts, and that's where being down by such a big bag of rounds creates this suffering and your your choice it's not like you get out of jail free now you're looking at a deagle some ak's and map number one going against you it looked like they played it well right as the yeah. catches the aggressive maneuver towards connector they trade out going through monster all right interesting that flick kind of was there and Walked away as Woxic and Zantares arrive. So he's going to be Magic. Woxic towards Con. Vertigo for EF. I haven't seen VP play Vertigo in a little bit. Faking the step away. He just faked the rotation. They're definitely yeah. pretty decent on it, but I mean, <coughs> oh, it's been so a while. It's multi leveled, multi faceted. On Have the they been defense. winning a lot? Any, any VP enjoys in chat? Have they been winning on. Ready to go? So aware of the possibility that Fame <laughs> puts one into the head of Zantares. Working on just 18. Norbert, I've been very Clap impressed. Clapper with a tier 3, 73 month resub. Hope you've been good, brother. Return, down to Ricardia, and in combination, they've opened up the site. Look how low they are, though, Chad. Oh, they are low. It could be Fame's turn. His moment oh, in they the haven't spotlight. even played it three times in the last three months. Ooh, Holy shit. One more bullet would do it. On to Ricardia, he can't find it. Needs to reload, or does he? With two of them low, they know there's a dink on to Zantares. He'll go for the, the reload now. This is the big fight for Kalix. Oh, no oh, way. He's lost it. How does Fame get another? A triple kill from Fame. Make it four if he finds Wicardia. Engine out of the smoke. <laughs> Fame hyper aware. And Zantares was dinked by Fame earlier. And Jane will finish it. What a way to close. <laughs> but... Chat, fuck it. I'm gonna attempt to make my own coffee. Ten seconds. No, what caliber is the up in CSGO? I don't know. 330. No. Which player from Canada consistently ranked in the top 20 from? Uh, Twist. What is the caliber of the SSG 08? No idea. 762 maybe. Woohoo! Um, when was CSGO released? Uh, August 2012. Yes, let's go. How many CS majors have there been so far? Oh, uh, fuck. No? Because this one hasn't finished. <laughs> ah, but this one counts as well. Which team won the first major? Oh, fuck. Um, NIP? That's one, I think, maybe. Mm. Uh, that's one of them. 
What caliber is M4A4, M4A1S in CSGO? No idea, 4556. Correct. Um. Who was the top ranked player in 2017? Coldzera. Uh, um, how many seconds does it take to defuse the bomb without the defuse kit? 10. Oh, it's close. From to have, uh, drops. <laughs> Which CS player active or inactive has the most measures one under his belt? Dupree. I won. Easy. So, so easy. Easy. So easy. And you are fast, Brokey. Yeah, I, I just read half of the question and I'm done. Half <laughs> of the question and you got it. All right. Ciao, I'll be back. I'm going to get a coffee real fast. Behave yourselves. Like D-Man, thanks for the 67 yeah, month so reset. Thank you. That's one of the hardest. That is really hard to understand, but I said you'd what be What the hell, D-Man? Two months. Impressed. Why the two month countdown? Take that energy. Take that success into the major. Yeah. Another major coming? We'll see. We'll see. Well, all Can't good, bro. Anyway. All good. Always wise with your words. Bald buff, maybe. <laughs> Oh, 67 months. Ah, uh, yeah, true. The sex number. Something demon will never have. Be back. The world is changing, but one thing remains the same. Victories with one x bet. Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displates. Hang your Displates in seconds. Swap them whenever you like. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. It's time to de-quiz the bomb, and I've got phase plans. Rops with me. How are you doing, my friend? Good, good. Now, I picked you because I wanted to see how your knowledge could be tested. We know you're so smart of all the things in the game, but this is also general knowledge of Counter-Strike. Brokey did pretty damn good. Are you ready? I'm trying my best. Let's go. Do you want to beat Brokey? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't, he's my teammate. He's fine <laughs> if he beats me, but OK, I can, I can beat him. OK, yeah, you sure. can beat him. I believe in you, Rops. Put your hand on the mouse. Yep and then click the D quiz of the bomb letters and it all starts. Get yourself ready and choose the answers quickly as possible. I believe in you. Okay. <laughs> you can take from me, uh, uh, unarmored. Uh, I don't know, 98 or 99, 98. Uh, the first CS2 major is gonna be held in Copenhagen. Uh, caliber is the AK-47. Uh, 762. Oh, you know. <laughs> Which is the most MVP awards? Uh, simple. <laughs> it not you done it. You done it. Oh, it's done. That easy. Oh. Because you took hardly any time at all. You didn't have to think about anything. Rops, that might actually be the fastest we've ever done since the RMRs until now. I, I thought, I think... Did I get the first one right? Was it the, the unarmored? Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. Every time uh, it goes up, you didn't get a single one wrong. Oh, uh, I thought I got the first one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you got it wrong and it yeah. still went that well, I'm impressed. Yeah. I am so happy that the big brain man of Counter-Strike <laughs> continues to deliver the way we expected. Robs is currently the champion. I thought there's more questions. <laughs> <laughs>
Didn't break anything. Grow up. Can't see the gamba for this uh this map. Going straight into it, let's see. We're here at the CS2 major, separating the week guys from the chat. Here. A few teams need to go but I might, before I might, we proceed I'm gonna manually close and it we're probably early. In the midst of Imperial so, taking on FaZe Clan. So, the first map is complete. Nuke wasn't the most exciting affair, but still, FaZe got the job done. Their map pick, 13 to 8, and we move on to Anubis now. Um, just a note as well, VP did manage to take down Eternal Fire. Probably 70 Ruby, because I was doing the matches. On the A stream, and uh, okay. I guess it seems like just business I think as we've been doing today. about Nothing 13, 14 hour streams. In the realm of Counter-Strike. A few days in there. No, not yet. So, um, very few highlights really on Nuke that made you feel like, okay, the this Carrigan is The Carrigan Clutch, I guess, was about that, it. Yeah, I would say. That would have been a, a deal breaker. Right, chat, moment of truth. One, I, I dare say that maybe goes over Isn't drinkable, here we go. So him winning Pause, that just made sure it was just a usual game. Yeah, uh, in the grand scheme of things. Throughout the long stretch of it, it was really brokey. I think playing very well. I think Rob's yeah. had some cool walks oh. of the smoke. Like there was a little bit of that 
but Faze don't look quite themselves. Maybe it's a good thing. Like, they don't, they're not 100%, but they're still beating Imperial. So, you know, if they warm up. I guess up... the objective for now is just get to the playoffs, right? That's all they really yes. have to not do. Bad. And they're in good not stead bad. to do that. Okay. Um, they win this game, they go 2-2. No, I actually did good. Um, the yeah. problem is you've got some other big names <sighs> all right. around that bracket. No, we're good. Right? We're still your in VPs, there. Your VPs, your vitalities, <clears throat> complexities. Um, it's going to be an interesting day. Uh, is that's better, for sure. But... Plenty of counter strikes to come. This is the first game of three on the B stream as we get ready for the second map of Anubis, the pick of Imperial, of course. Look out for players like Henny and No Way, who will be kind of lighting the score scoreboard up and showing us that they can compete and hang with the big boys here, trying to take us to the third, which will be Mirage. There's Carrigan, who's always decent, I, I think, on the upper bombs. That Anubis yeah. is always solid for a couple of frags there. We ran a fat one and at the very yeah, end there. Very well we're going to do a 90 seconds because we're at 42 Anubis minutes, and I don't want any seen them had funny business during the actual game, the okay? Past. It's one they play very often. No and, funny uh, business during the I game, so I'm running it now. This, though, I feel like that's where okay. my head was at when we came into this one. You were somewhat on the fence. Match we're going to walk yes, in today? I, I don't know. Definitely have been a, a very, very mm, Maybe after the complexity of the game or during? I mean... From Faze's point of view, I hope that's the case because you kind of want to see Faze at this major for a bunch of reasons. Obviously, with you know, I get there? In the most memeable sense, this is the first Danish major. Ice Americano. Oh, yeah, all. I we actually kind of did well. well. You need Carrigan in there, don't you? <laughs> you at do. least for a quarter final. Oh, yeah, mine's hit right <laughs> now. Just to get the people going. Um, oh. I guess that might be the best version well, of the one. Like they could so, make him. Like, yeah. Every time you doubt them, they Mine's seem to kind of like an Americano, I mean, kind of like a Cuban so coffee. Like, um, it's, it's wild. We've got the core of heroic as well, so it's not or it's not completely over for the Danes. But yeah, it, it's it's weird that we're in Copenhagen and it doesn't seem like we're going to have. I keep them close guard in case my throat Astralis gets scratchy. Kind of ruin that for everyone. Would have been a real. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's like uh, there in there being competitive, but uh, yeah, Americano, like but we I don't want to layer the <laughs> puck with brown sugar and we pass like, it through. Uh, I'm sure they'll they'll turn up. I'm sure like players at the vice will kind of come in. I don't mix it in. Point, it's you know? yeah, we I, put yeah, like I, so I, I do. So, um, yeah, that was, a, that was first, a wild scenario grind it, for, for a sift it. Um, but probably uh, for the best for the looks thing make it into the puck before and then i even over yeah you take would think like, a, like okay let's not rush into any a quarter teaspoon let's see who's available after this side or like <laughs> nope straight up to sign bro and um, uh, said goodbye to blame f and then yeah, i layer it on top we'll and then i press that into it and then i pull Back it into reality here we do what have a brian thank you dude imperial versus phase these teams both of them at the brink of elimination Imperial, that uh, ledge is a little bit closer now, having uh, lost the opening the map. For now Imperial. we're on to the second map on Anubis, and I think for FaZe, like, I'm looking to see FaZe slowly rediscover and remember who they are in this game. They are a legendary lineup here. Yeah, they should be able to have such an impact, so let's see if they can remind themselves just what a strong team they can be on the second map right here. They'll have the T-side start, of course, Anders, and it's going to be The Gamba's up for one more minute, chat. One smoke, It'll close before Pistol. Five Good luck. Players I told you. Outside of the side itself, so they've deployed an early smoke. I think I've seen that a few times online. You can throw it from T-Spawn and get it into the darkroom itself, and it's going to be five players challenging. Henny and Phelps opening kill goes in favor of FaZe. Does it ever as they get a flurry of frags? And that's going to be a guaranteed Pistol round. For the FaZe boys here, Vinny and Decent have literally zero chance of winning this one. Yeah, you've, at the best you're hoping for, probably get a couple of kills if you wanted to upgrade into something. I next round, it'll help out. But you're right, they're not going to be able to do anything to even get close to the bomb site. Well, that was very comprehensive. Three kills for Brokey. Mm -hmm. Keeping the same energy that he had on Nuke, that's probably a great well, sign. Well, not a good start if you're an Imperial fan right now. Rops, it's uncomfortable. Dancing around the pillar. Gonna need some backup here to get rid of Vinny. He's kind of running out of bullets at the same time. They are putting some pressure on, and eventually it will be Rain to pick him up. So, first round goes to FaZe. Yeah. Now the pistol round. Three for three now. As FaZe one step close up to the 2 2 bracket. Bear in mind losing this series will spell good night and goodbye for Imperial. They'll be out of the tournament. Very comprehensive victory. Smoke down towards dark. Molotov's deployed. Flashes over. Five players made their presence known with a bombardment of bullets from those Glocks. And no force by in the second. Imperial have played quite a conservative financial game today. Even yeah. after getting the bomb planted on their T-side pistol, they took a full eco in round number two uh, to get out those AKs in the third. It worked out for them, to be fair. And we'll see if they can do anything 
on the CT side. Bear in mind, this is like the most T-sided map we have in the pool. So winning the pistol here is a pretty big deal. If you can build some early momentum, you can run away with this first half. So we've got a B stack and Rain inquiring to where they're set up right now. He's got through towards Dark, Smoke's deployed towards Temple and the Obelisk. It's going to be a Molotov at the platform. You see three players waiting by here the comes Ivy. The Swim to come through. Boom. Rain and Brokey opening things up here. I feel a little bit awkward as Henry and he's said, is going to find a frag. That's the only the success they found, though. But, oh, a chance of a second rops down to 20 not points. Not a fan of But ultimately a very clean round. Well, wow. they'll be up against the M4s. Actually, no. Brokey Loki is pulling off the bald look, but dude was looking like a goddamn movie star with when he dyed his hair black. I swear to God. Vinny's deployed it, Anders. I'm glad I said out. But I don't. I think he didn't like it. That's why he shaved his head. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, on Anubis especially, holding that A bomb side in middle, it can be idyllic. We'll see if it works out. Kevin, round three, Galil, Dallas, Brokey, AKs, otherwise, and we'll see if they've got a pocket strat in mind. It's going to be running that default early. Molotovs towards middle here. Instead of this the is a new dust suit, smoke, true, except it's actually dynamic. Towards the canal position as well, popping open the smoke and willing to challenge. That challenge is successful. Phelps gets a Holy double kill. Holy, Phelps got Takes two, and Rain he's and alive. Brokey. Vinny, not happy with that advantage, will continue to push and probably kicking himself now. Not necessarily yeah. required, and you've given them a sliver of hope back into the round with Phelps down to 13 HP as well. This yeah, one is thank not you, done. What the fuck? Or indeed dusted. Oh, Carrigan. Clapping cheeks thanks to the 46 month primer. Yeah. Thank you. And Bane thanks to the 39 month primer. Thank you. Henny was actually throwing a flashbang from inside of the A bomb site for that peak to come through. So our Wapper and Clapping are in here always on the same day. Probably would have had to kill as well. So but if Carrigan can keep these three players towards B, and his teammates are the same person. Heading towards the A side. Maybe he can do something with this. They're, They're like not at all, but like push him. they are. It's got a decent position though, Anders. It just needs one. Just needs to contain them. The only thing's going to happen. His next peak, I would say, he goes down. But a good smoke. Like that starts spamming him momentarily. He's going to sit there. He's still doing. He's still occupying them. Yeah, he's in a lot of danger, but he's still there. They're starting to get Carrigan. This is such a brilliant play. No way oh, pushing no. through. But Carrigan wasn't ready. He had the rifle out. He might have had the kill. But either oh. way, he did a lot of work in this round. Bomb is planted. Hey, Rocks you two be Hope you enjoy. Does he nearly get shot through the Man, smoke twice? Man, you can't lose this. You health. cannot lose Frozen this. Frozen is hearing them walking if up you behind. Lose He's this, got the I AK leave. out. It could be a quick headshot here, but no way crouches into the fight. I was really and hoping to leave. down instead. So it's all on Rops. Soft from earlier. One versus three, and they do not have a kit right now. So one quick kill could make a difference here. As the bomb's being defused, he's being locked in here. Storm first map. We'll find Imperial a way to take him down. the half, a like six round. to six. And then, then I think for them, but it will be Imperial. Pick it up. Yeah, it's a bit of a Only shame. Only two more rounds for the rest of the game. around him, and he pulls out the grenade at that. Very crucial moment in the interaction, but still they got the bomb planted. It was a, essentially a five on three after this opening gambit from Phelps. Gets that nice double kill, and they did well to actually make that a realistic round on the face side. So uh, it's absolutely fine. They got the bomb planted. Money I, should be absolutely fine. I think that's an interesting Yeah, my pick comes in a pretty strong Phelps spot right now. If, then the, if Fury had won yesterday, I was up. already so done. You're peaking on the T side, you're expecting for there to be I was a guaranteed CT five points. Through that smoke that's just been right open, now, but in fact, what you're finding is Phelps, who's out if all the way wins, side, I'm at four so points for the day, and I could be done at five. That could be enough. Wow. Quick trade here to begin with. Phelps and Frozen, both of them down. And the next, it is Rob's finding Vinny through the smoke. If Decent goes down, and he will. Rob's probably winning the round on that kill. I don't think Henny and No Way can do a lot in this round. So much time on the clock, and Rob's actually just walking onto the side saying, you know what? It's, it's empty, boys. We're good to go. Oh, it's Henry yeah, shit-talking face. It wasn't really shit-talking face as much as referring to a certain like round as a shit show, suppose, but... but shouldn't have too many ramifications rain patrol I think a lot of us are waking, waking waiting for phase to wake up come through t-spawn courtesy of brokey here four versus two they're looking Eddie like me right no now way. in the major waking up oh, at 4 a.m you know what i mean just some self-preservation at this stage just trying to stay alive you got no they're in a big slumber beach and then of course henny holding the b bombs i hope but you know it's there for some reason like, they might just walk you give me a fury game chat or a complexity game and i'm awake you know like you know it's there uh, can they keep four players up, though? They'll be going on a bit of a hunt here. Bomb finally planted. And it's now up to Henny and Nowhere to try and keep their weapons in hand. Carrigan not going to be able to win that duel. Henny will take him down. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame for Carrigan, but ultimately, 
I think phase the important. I don't know if I like Imperial just starting out like this, but we'll, early on. I don't it's know. Very very T sided map, so you kind of don't want to let Imperial into the game early. You don't want to have them. Build it's not like economy. you're really making this T side any harder. It's already hard enough, but man, keep winning some of these rounds. Rops. We're getting feisty with Imperial Playing quick well the on the CT side. Very bad news for Imperial. Broki's still doing well, but I think Robs is just such an enigmatic player. I'm not expecting FaZe to dominate, loose, but I am expecting him to be competitive. I, just, I don't know if Imperial Bro, they got 13 1. Easily. And like, they Match just. I don't know. So. Well. We are yet to get super hyped about this particular series so far. I think that's fair to say. It's um, been pretty run-of-the-mill. Nothing too electrifying to be presented. It's just FaZe playing pretty Henry's like, yeah, it's just kind of average. It's enough to have a nice convincing lead against you, Imperial, yeah. Do you think that's a cause for concern, or is it the fact that even if you win this game, you're not, like, you're not qualifying, you're just not knocked out? So it's like... I don't know, there's, there must be, maybe it's a weird atmosphere on both teams. They're kind of like, oh, such a long struggle ahead of us. But I, I would want to see more energy out of some of these teams when they're winning rounds. Yeah, I, I feel like with the playoffs, you've got like a three-day break between the elimination stage and the playoffs. I feel like that's when they're going to get themselves in the zone. That's when they're going to find that killer instinct once again. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, FaZe, I think they're just trying to make sure they don't overset the mark. They don't get too FaZe excited. FaZe using the cold playbook, the right? Hand, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, they don't need to win the major here. Um, they know that the heavy favor is going well, to be a match one. pause for the admin of the Tyus. What's going on? Notably, 13 1 deficit against Eternal Fire. Speaking of which, Eternal Fire are on the A stream right now. I'm going to go check in on the score because it was Virtus Pro picking up the first map of Overpass 13 6 pretty convincingly. And now in the second, they've won the pistol. It's Vertigo, the pick of Eternal Fire. They're up 2 to 0. Um, so it looks like in that game, that's the 2 1 game. So VP might be the next team through to the playoffs here. Uh, we've already got Mouse and Spirit, of Where's course. The food man here? And uh, <laughs> up next for promotion would be either Cloud9, Vitality, VP, or Navi, or Complexity. But uh, I don't know. Holy I'm not shit, sure Neo using the smallest font in the world. Yeah, playing against Vitality Look today, at that right? page. So I'm worried sure too. you're like, oh, you're in the 2-0 bracket. And then you got absolutely owned by Mouse. Like, like absolutely destroyed. They, they barely turned up. And now you've got Vitality to kick things off. And then you potentially have to play against FaZe. And then you'll be down in 2-2. Phase win today, that's where they'll be. So you could have Vitality and Phase just to make it to the playoffs. Yeah, you could put on that mouse game from yesterday and probably watch it while you're eating a sandwich. You're going to be done, like, by the time you're finished. It's, it's so quick. Like, it was... That was beautiful. If mouse can keep that sort of form up, they can be in contention for the trophy. Yeah. That's the thing, but... Another route for uh, Denmark to have a couple of people in there with Sip and, uh, and Cyclone. <laughs> yes, We're good point. Danes Didn't into consider the that. Slowly. Zip X is the assistant coach. I forgot that was even a thing. We're slowly smuggling more Danes into that. <laughs> so out of the Astralis core, the dynasty lineup, the only one that's made it, <laughs> is going to be Zipex as the hey, assistant coach. Hey, listen, Zershin no came in device, here to talk a little bit of no mess. Glaive. Yeah, He wasn't really coming here to talk Zonic. mess. But like I said, yeah, the, right. the real, oh my God, it, it was um, hilarious yeah, seeing Shuhei show up as well and then Dupree. getting to expose them for trying to steal God, my yes. settings in 2018. Zipex might be the only one. Damn. Well, he will be, I suppose. Yeah. Um, all right. We're back in it. We Three are. to one the score line. Weird complexion of a buy. They've got a couple of safe rifles, of course, but like USP, CZs, and opening frag. Robs goes down courtesy of nowhere. That's the AK-47 brought from the previous round. They've got a man advantage here. Carrigan. Being a nuisance towards middle. And I think he goes down here. Not loving that one, I'll be honest. That's pretty it's ambitious. A bit of risky. Did spot two people. I don't think he saw a third. We finally got the C set 75 out. We were asking about that on Nuke, so someone's still using it. Smoke down towards the beans. Carrigan is sorry, Rain is stepping right on top of the merchandise there. Coffee beans and A main. An advantage still for Imperial. They're gonna investigate. Mid position, Vinny goes down here almost certainly. Does considerable damage to Frozen. Oh, doesn't yes. anticipate a couple more players here. So, still I can't believe Frozen pulled up the knife right there. Of Imperial, these rounds have that was ambitious. Strat. That was ambitious. Yeah, I mean, yes, even if Kerrigan, like his team wasn't even able to help him out when he was pushing. So, they've done a nice smoke here. They've thrown that from the canals and actually smoked deep in CT. Sport. When did it happen? What two players Shuhei coming in here. Hey, with he's, yeah, he's holding yesterday. bricks, so he won't be taken down quickly. 
They're assuming the side should be open, but now spotted. Henny, he'll have to just hold his nerve. He can't necessarily do anything about this. Have to hold for the rotation. That tells you about my three pound three versus two. Shit. No, I did not. Two as Henny fighting back. Do you think you'd want to know about it? For decent, and it will be another round in favor of Imperial. And uh, yeah, that's pretty ugly from FaZe. Just running into bomb sites with solo players taken down, and piece by piece, it all fell apart. I think that's what we mean when we say this hasn't been the most exciting game. Like, some of these rounds just feel very, very flat. They just feel limp dick, literally. Just a couple of people, you know, like, fighting very separately. You're not seeing any grand executions. Like, frozen in the middle, alone, carrying it before You're them. You're seeing people Green get picked one by one, to team up slowly dying. When the round has kind of fallen apart. It's like, that's not the kind of Counter-Strike I want to see out of phase at all. Some limp dick energy right now, chat. Limp dick. Of what's going on on that CT side. Like, manipulate the defense. Like, try and see if some you can floppy bacon that is undercooked. Somewhere. Sneak someone in in the middle of the chaos. Like, there's a lot of other things I associate with the kind of play that you. That you explains know, the struggles in 2018. Playing, Dude, come on! Not the perfect buy either coming out of phase here. Uh, nice beard. Thank you, Dude, nice face. CZ, so, I'm sure they can make this one work. Round six, and this oh, is was the I concerned about that was me? No, I wasn't. So they just look a bit flat out there. Uh, I think homie's got a good reverse. Store for round number six, though. AK's Deagle for Brokey, Galil for Carrigan. Mm -hmm. Flashes towards middle. Henny got his signature AWP in that position. Smokes down, starting to dissipate now. And it's going to be an opening frag once again. Rob's dealt with by Vinny. He is looking as sharp as usual. Yeah, although Rob's still winning that fight quite a bit, so it's interesting to see Vinny come out on top this time. That, that just from an individual point of view, has to feel pretty good for Vinny to be able to turn that around. Five versus three now. Okay, Carrigan. Okay, enjoying yeah. watching you watch Urban. Not, uh, enjoying not watching you stream the tourney, bro. He needs to get multiple Appreciate kills. You. What I miss? Uh, honestly, kills, I so that would be nothing. Significant, but I think they're aware there's a potential gap. They should be watching this to some extent. Apparently not. Carrigan. How does he hit this gap this hard? Um, does get the information of two more here at the very least. Like so getting here fine. Completely unaware that he's here seems so. crazy, no? Two players still in towards B. Jack, can somebody explain this to me? Here comes the road. Bob to be planted, frozen and brokey this time in the clutch. Molotov will buy them a bit of space and time as he recovers the M4 as well. A fighting chance here, a slim chance of success for FaZe. No, it came. It was, uh, Imperial I wasn't trying to flank. get somebody else to setting. Shuhei was trying to get my head in 2018. This I exposed could be huge his frozen. This might have been the five. Oh, no, he, again, he just fires right away. I thought he was trying to line it up. It okay, well. Because Brokey's on the other side, hitting headshots. And they will win the round. I think for Imperial, that is a disastrous loss. They they should have been winning this they round. They for make a comeback. Time. No. Oh, they know it as yeah. well. And Carrigan, you're right. Like, it's not like the kind of uh, the je ne sais quoi we expect from top level CS. As soon as they spot a single player, just spraying yeah, the what's bullets. The urgency and, like? Yeah. Instead of like just kind of seeing what's the most I can get out of this. Like, how can I guarantee this round? But still, um, difficult to poke holes in it when they win the round. As uh, we will see, Carrigan. With a nice backstab in towards CT spawn, finds a player at the pillar and stays alive. Uh, and that's absolutely fine, as we will see another backstab from Frozen, who went around the beach position as well. Gets the penultimate frag and Brokey to close things out there with the M4A4. Zach needs a new pop filter. There it is with the Galil. And they managed to segregate these fights. No way, couldn't do much. And Brokey, as soon as he wins this fight, it looked like it was a done deal with Frozen taking the aggro in CT. Okay. Is he still fired up over there? Good job, Carrigan. That's good. Yeah, I'm ex I want to see that. There is so much on the line. It would be a dark day for FaZe if they get knocked out of the major by Imperial. You want to see that they understand no how much flash? it means. Brokey. No way. Blows, no way. No way. No way you're picking that. No way. No way. Nice little grenade from no the inside flash, of the No flash, dry peak. Classic nowadays. The grenade tricks aren't really going to be saving him. Ah. Rops. He's been very confident in taking these fights, and now that he's up against pistols and an MP9 on the other side, I mean, you've got to favor him. Yeah, Even no, the, is the, the A1 5, is actually being used more than the A4 to move forward. ever was. To find Rops, it'd be something like, but like the right. timing is amazing. The difference in which people it, are using the A1 over the, the A4 is actually somehow is the biggest it's ever been. Is isolated from his team. Use a Molotov to counter it. According of, to Leadify, anyway. like a month ago on Reddit. 
And Rob's now looking to commit to the point. He's what a Vlad and I do, man. He does have that AK that could be lost. Henny, they lured him into it. Rob's thinking, okay, it's just a 5-7. I'll take the swing. Did Vinny see that? He surely did, right? Ah, uh, looks like... No. Phelps will be ready for a regard. He's got to kill a character. Can you elaborate? Okay, nice one, uh, yeah, it's a like very important kill. Eighty-five percent of this players that are like in the higher echelon of CS are using the ONS. Over the A4, most of the here. time, even so if you have do both they equipped. Save the AWP or do they try and win out in a three versus one? I think that answer has already been presented. As any will be so far away. AWP short version the economy the just has to really. try to save it here. And it will be five rounds on the board for even phase. i i would actually argue Captain if the aons Kagan and the a4 the are the same price again. i'd still buy the aons doesn't get that uh, that cheeky double it's far in more there. consistent of a weapon to, to begin with they would have had very very i'd rather time. guaranteed get my one I'm not sure they, they and smoke consistently get my two as well. then like just a weird game today maybe like if you maybe two. at the top of the screen, I wouldn't say like, I don't know how to describe like the one feels tougher sometimes. The two feels like a gamble, but you might be able to get a three or a four K. I, mean, I share I I don't know what people at home watching are thinking about I share the same feeling. It's like they are like, winning. At a high level, really dude, you fine. you know, it's something like, I always okay. talk about when people like Flom, how do I get better the... at the game? It's like level that you're going to be bringing the more you play matches. the more you realize that There's you know sometimes ahead, you right? commit to a large spray and, and it looks play. cool but usually if you're getting away with the large spray it's because the other team is like well, whiffing his round eight. poo poo blind yeah you know i mean it's like AWP. always gonna be problematic it's not uh, because you're not just getting into a fight and ripping 30 fucking party. bullets you know? the execution looking likely here initial smokes molotovs flashes being deployed already could be a double pump but that's just not scenarios that are happening on a regular basis guaranteed frag with the flash the flash broke you have an extra half a second to clear out that proximity as we see a five on four it's doing and lots of damage through that smoke he oh will be catastrophic there one player here <laughs> face at level one i can confirm oh, that i'm using it when i saw report thank you very much for your contribution hooks 11. And, uh, should be bomb planted here okay but you know what that's around that you look at and you say that flashbang for the setup with the peak on the awp those are the little details watch the dunk them on that all goes out the window yeah but dunk does it with an a1 that's good so many of the other rounds even Doc if they uses win them, an a1 and just like always somehow has an ak just, let me see if i can same. get something done in the middle oh i died oh it's a bit of a shame robs is already out hunting it they know they've won the round and they know that the op was saved in the previous round so they probably want to try and see if they can find that i don't necessarily mind it they do have a bit of money and at least a couple of players there you could justify trying to go for it all right dude if imperial in phase I, I might need to just walk imperial now. looking uncomfortable at the moment this shit right now i feel like is actually no way that are doing even a lot with of the work. coffee bro they've Somehow, been shut down in a lot of their aggression right now they've mm -hmm. tried to push from dark into the river they've tried to push out of the a bomb site with vinnie getting flashed in and a lot of the times huh. phase are actually Stretch able to beat them in those pushes so now imperial are no, no, I'm, good. I'm just going for a nice little walk. kind of forced into a more passive setup they have not tried any mid pushes henry if they wanted to they could we haven't seen much in terms of like they could try and push two or three people in the middle go wild ct little flanks and pushes and gambits it's been pretty run in the mill uh six to two round nine imperial what have they got i don't know my step counter my stupid fucking machine is dripping out but i've been walking about six miles which should be about 11 12 000 steps depending on stride Grenade from the A bomb side once again, but it's a bit late. Rain. Oh, he wanted to. He really wanted to push. You can tell. It's okay though, right? You got this is early round, and you baited out a lot of utility, like important CT utility as well. Those grenades do no damage to the base clan outfit, and you can see they're on high alert on the CT side, trying to gain an advantage, get something going in their favor. Not the cleanest spray from Carrigan. I guess we'll take it. Considering he trades out with Step Phelps, keeps creeping up. and this next kill is everything. And it's yeah, be because I've been walking through there, so it's man advantage it's now. Moving. As we see a three versus one. I was doing five miles before. Imperial. Now we're doing Surely six. can fit this one to bed up against Brokey. Well, traditionally, this is the kind of round where Brokey actually can be super dangerous, right? I don't think we've seen many real Brokey rounds yet at this major. I don't think I've seen any. Tech Real, really. sign your profile. Now that I've got, it just got a nice little backlog. I'm down. We all cherish, but they have a chance to maybe do it now. He's 
made a bit of a like a huge fake. He's run back for the mm. river, hoping that someone's chasing him down at the hill. Really different. Then he goes I mean, the back up onto thing, the bridge like, now, back to the middle. The walking is but just kind of moving, so he's really faking nobody the at the moment. Wasting a bit of time, and the problem is when he gets to the bomb site here, he's going to be heard, and they should be able to get on top of him. Although he's pushing forward, this this would have been the way to win. It. Walking like five found, or six miles is like the equivalent one of like he could have found the bomb and been one of those two. So he's not wrong. He just couldn't find the shot. Well, there we have it. The three v one never really got going. No, which has been the I know, right? How's uh, it? Cooper went from the best series. bold opera to not even number one Round anymore, 10, just like that. Stages of this first half. If Imperial can get. Six on the board, that would be amazing. We might Kinda even have a third map. crazy to think about. But uh, we'll see. Well, well you would think four, right? Yeah, I would say four would be a pretty admirable half. But uh, we've got the AK-47 in the hands of Decent. Then you have four kills, though. I just see two players through the rugs. This could be more of an alien. Here's a bit of aggression, Anders. We're going to see the orb boosted above the smoke. That's pretty cool. No one there. Oh, Carrigan might be offering himself up momentarily. He doesn't know it, but he has evaded death at least for the minute. Now shave your head and he won't be the best bald opera on his team. It dude. was an episode of Final Destination. Death will come back to haunt him later, Henry, if you remember. I uh -huh. um, haven't seen that film since I was about 13. So Which one? There's like 10 of them now. The one with the, the truck. I don't oh, even no, want to help, dude. I've been kind of fucking with the like, rifle uh, lately. I don't know if you've been keeping up. Head, uh, but... Or the, <laughs> the truck with like... You know, they get now that we practice and I actually get like real reps in my positions. Vinny. And I don't have to explain things to people and how I want to move around. Resorted to a double AWP to try and claim a fourth round. This is really make it important. Move. There's not that much money on phase. If they win this one, Imperial, they could start something, and they absolutely will. Not a chance for phase to get onto the bomb site. Brokey and Rain left in Imperial. Just don't make any silly mistakes now, and this should be your round. I watch truck POV for should matches. Be. Can't imagine a world the classic this one up. vibe and stream, up. and then Underwhelming the pogger round. moment. No one in every five infected. rounds. When they hit Everyone it, they go towards them. Everyone destroyed all at once. <laughs> and nothing really gathered in terms of map control or causing any sort of threat on the bomb site. Rain will pull one back. 2v5 begins here. But there's only 13 seconds at this. So Life of the anchor. Has to get this kill oh. and then go plant right now. Well, even that might be very, very difficult. He's slightly hidden, but not enough. Decent will find him. You know what? Fair play. I appreciate that they went for that one. Yeah, like the last month or three months, guys, I've been fucking Brian. That's, that's enough of a foundation. I've been it's something Brian. to build on. I've been fucking. Hold on, I gotta like tie my shoes. Bumps shot. coming out on the Imperial side, then they could feel the pressure now. Losing the opening map, falling a bit behind on this half here, but it's not completely done with. Yeah, that kind of says it all. Rops doesn't look. She's inside. Like he's They're inside chasing a major trash. Only walking <laughs> past. He's so dejected. What's going on? Because that was a pretty bad round. Like they did no damage, got no map control. They just look flat. Yeah, but and no one's really hitting any shots. Like Rob's dying at a main pretty much shoes. every round. Are you allowed to? Can you bring like smelling salts or something to the? Let's right, like, get everyone like yeah, fired up a bit. Like <laughs> there's gotta be some way to do this. Yeah, I tend to agree. Like I said, there's, I guess it's not a massive you game. You and Dre started fucking around the same time. They're going to win, I suppose. But another buy, never week one me. with a deagle for Brokey, Rops of the Galil. Um, <laughs> almost no utility. You can see Rain's got nothing to speak of. But again, so much of this is being carried on the back of Brokey playing well. It was the same on Nuke. Oh. I mean, that in itself is something to worry about, right? What if Brokey isn't having Aggressive. a couple of really good maps here? Yeah, this is something, although... Better be careful you're not just basically delivering this AK to the enemy side. Like this from Imperial smoking top of rugs and steps. So you can see they've got full canal control. So family up no real quick, so I gotta no vision towards middle either. So Rob's a pretty rough time out there towards A main. Vinny will be ready and waiting for him. He's got the all close range. You can get a one-tap headshot with the org if you basically stick the barrel in their skull. It's the only weapon on the CT side. They've made a sound cue. Damn. So the element of surprise is now gone. Vinny fancies his peak. Freebie. But he goes down. That's not necessarily worth it at all. 
Yeah, considering they can upgrade the Deagle to a rifle oh. now. Also, decent is alone in the bomb site. He's got no grenades at all. He couldn't have flashed Vinny into the fight anyway. It looks like they are starting to rotate over, so they're going to go for a bit of an execute. Could be a powerful one. Grenades raining down. Imperial, this is a big opportunity for you to win a fifth round here. You need to actually follow through. 25 seconds. Smokes are up. Some counter Molotovs are coming in to try and slow the progression here for the phase side. It's Phelps. That's the smoke phase. He'll take down Carrigan. And no way he couldn't have had a better line up there. Rops and Brokey, the only two people alive here for phase. And they're going to get swiped as well. Phelps from Dark with a triple kill. <clears throat> Not bad. Very nice hold from Imperial. But uh, phase seems as quite surprised. There was a player in towards that dark room. And that's uh, the one position they really overlook okay. as we go for the motions again. This is falling apart for phase class. Sorry, family stuff. I see you're watching this Phelps match, not your picks now. Ah, sometimes I like to watch. This is, I'm, I'm not trying, like I might've put VP through and I even respect the Counter-Strike that VP plays, but I also respect my goddamn right to not watch VP. In the hands of Rops and Brokey, Tech Nines otherwise. And FaZe, it would not be the first time FaZe fumbles in a major and gets knocked out early. So this being an elimination game is a bit more interesting to me. Full spray. Committed here. Oh my goodness, Carrigan. And hell of a shot there on D said Phelps. A lot for himself up. So now a fighting you know, chance. I can I can respect VP's game, but Phelps I can also respect my own game to not watch that shit, you know? Phelps to push through it and maybe find another kill here. Tenny fighting back. That org is a real nuisance. As now we have a three versus two. Imperial looking good to tie things up at six. This is a fantastic CT Broke side. Right Desert now. Eagle, Imperial. Rops. Issue that I had with it's Imperial C side before though, they don't fucking like defaulting. Yeah, but I don't think they can. No way. Uh, but in dark, maybe, so maybe in this scenario versus phase, that's a good position. idea. He doesn't have to worry about it. I don't know if I'd want a default versus coming, phase. But it, who cares? Even if they go plant a bomb on the even if I trust my own obelisk, teammates, it's like okay it's, just, with it's just the game that they just also want to play. Die. Desperately, wait for the teammates to get here. Vinny's already moving a bit closer. I think. So far, this round is very well played by Imperial. Have you guys seen the teams that Imperials had to play? By the way, chat, I feel bad. Just make this a comprehensive two on three. Vinny sneaking up behind. Brokey's dead and Rops very low on health already. He's going to get a bullet to the face. And Imperial will get a sixth so round. Just to kind of so put in perspective how difficult it's been and for Imperial I'm chat. Concerned for phase once again. Very so they, average T side they had to for them. play yeah. and heroic very Apex average. ecstatic gamer legion average. It's in opening the stage, which is, I mean, concerning the opening stage teams the and what we thought going in. Major trophy and they are looking... That's pretty, pretty stacked. Dejected. And then, uh, but here's where it gets crazy. Self, this stage, uh, chat, you ready? Brokey, like I said, he's, he's fragging. Imperials um, had to play uh, Virtus Pro. Game. Spirit was performing at the same level Vitality. as right now, this would, this would be Imperial winning. They have actually, Brokey, they are playing the three best the teams in the world. between win or lose. It can't be down bro, to one it person, is, right? Where's the rest of the squad? They, they, they have oh, well, a very, like, bro, I'm telling you, they are... won all three pistols, so... Like Six people, rounds with, I feel uh, like a are, victory and a three-zero conversion. So the gun rounds. It's hard broke. when you're playing all these tough opposition. You know, opening jewels for Robs is zero and three. But they're they're grinding, so man. They really are. A main entrance without any sort of response three times. Uh, not what you expect from a player of his caliber. It just seems like something's up. Like to they are, they, dude. I, people are still sleeping on this team. Like. Eight. Four specifically. Undoubtedly, to me start. right now, Imperial is the Ex best team in Brazil. Things here, you be smoking heaven. They haven't seen it. Like, they, they and, know and, and Furia Decent. is over here keep, fucking getting knocked out so, range by Ecstatic. Carrigan at range, and now they can fall back. Frozen. Great headshots. Defending no, the no shade to Ecstatic. Like I'm not we'll trying to throw shade. I'm just... It's more how we like it. Yeah, you know, like some convincing headshots. A good setup. No one whiffing the bullets. And it will be. A comprehensive victory for FaZe. They go Actually, four for four on pistol in Fury's defense, now. Imperial Russell also did lose to Ecstatic. Setting the tone for the round. Double <laughs> bean stack here. Frozen. His best sequence so far, hands down, in this series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No bomb planted and a full eco. FaZe. I just feel bad, you know. I'm watching Imperial out here grind versus Spirit, Vitality, FaZe, VP. Meanwhile, Fury is out here going like ecstatic to Lin Vision to Mongols to fucking... Maybe justify some of the MP9s looking for extra cash. 
try and be a bit disruptive, but generally speaking, you want to be sure you win the round. No bomb plant. Didn't even get close to the site, did they? Rain flash <laughs> out of the every major. single team. Arc Reactor, thanks for the 72 month resub. Thank you, Robo, with the 12 month primer. Thank you. They aren't just going to be slow walking it. Contact Turtle fire up 8 to 4. Aw, oh, shit. They encounter something, they're just going to go for it. And there we go. Brokey, got to be careful you don't run out of bullets. But he's got some backup in here. And only one casualty on the side. I'm just of trying phase. to take some positives away Very for the Imperial team, round. you know? Better start to the second half here. Let me be. That I'm really celebrating. That it's I'm Vinny's really, first time IGL in a squadron. Like, is, they picked up two younger players. It's just, just cool, focus, dude. I hope they have a lot of success. Because Imperial will take another timeout. So they're having a chance to talk this, this through. That, for that, that Fury first shit is uninspiring as fuck. Right, that that Fury roster is just... Oh, yeah. Case Rado Yuri like, prison. Foreman life on the line. I know we're talking about phase. It's a, lot a really, there. it's a More really, really fancy in prison. This series, I suppose. The antagonists, Imperial, though, are putting up a decent fight. You, you have to say that. Like they can only convert oh. the rounds presented to them, and they've done a good job. Haven't made many mistakes themselves. Oh. First gun rounds. It's going to be Shit. three Galils and a couple of AK-47s. See if they can. Start to make a dent here on the phase defense. You can see the odds coming through. Phase still the, the favorites, of course. Round 15. No orb available on the CT side or the Imperial forces, but we are going to have an MP9 for rain. We've got grenades ready and waiting outside B main. I guess they're waiting for a particular timing or the, a tendency they're aware of a phase, and then they would double nade it. Smoke down. So that's going towards Temple. Jensen, hey, yo, thank you, dude. Trying thank to bait you, out some initial you. utility on the CT side. Rops, you think someone snuck through there, maybe? Uh -huh. Paranoid? Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Jensen, thank you. Well, because you're paranoid doesn't mean someone's not out to get you, Henry. Yeah, it's a good point. Good to double check, I suppose. I don't think he, he's feeling it, uh, though. Please, he's just going to uh, pull please. back. As we see, Molotov's delivered towards double doors once again. One minute remaining. The mid is wide open. Imperial could get in here. It's getting oh, watched shit. from camera by Frozen, who's just kind of, well, not even Frozen, Rops, who's just kind of looking in there. Yeah, very defensive. It's still got the majority of their smokes here, which is very powerful. Frozen watching the temple side, and then Rops, as soon as he gets any sort of contact towards camera, he'll drop his smoke. Speaking of smokes, there's a nice defensive one towards That's the dark room. Let's take my shirt off. Simmer down, bro. Simmer down. Not a ton of control here for Imperial. Got to go in towards middle now. It's going to be a B split. From the aforementioned temple side, we said Frozen was there, ready and waiting. So we'll see what kind of positional control he can find. Oh, he gets caught with his pants down, Anders. Absolutely sent pants down on the public beach, on stream. 19 crazy. Seconds here. All this the angle is crazy though from Rain. For this round to get kicked off, but they'll get the kill on Rain, and they overwhelm Carrigan, and suddenly they have a bomb plan. They still have Phelps. Oh, they got it down. Controlling the rotations here. If he's patient, Robs is going to be surely dead. Walks right into it. Brokey on his own. Imperial leaving it to the fading seconds of the round. How but they managed to power their way through. How strong did Frozen think his position had to be? Like, you knew they were coming in middle. It was looking like you had the perfect spot for it, but he just wanted to elevate himself two feet in the air the moment he jumps up. And A should be well, allowed to buy some decent AK since we forfeit our positional advantage genetically. Kills, right? He could have just... Just trading <laughs> out there would have been fine. Yeah, get um, one fallback. You know, you can have oh, out of the shit. A bomb site, you can call it into your teammates. That's rough. Oh, th there was over 25 seconds left. The moment he goes to jump up on the ledge for some oh, wow. reason, wasn't happy of his spot. Is a nice off angle. He's guaranteed at least one kill there. And like I said, call his pants oh, down. What? That is... God, what is going on with this the team today? Had in position here. Oh, I'm worried for FaZe now. Just not looking be. their usual selves. I'm sure you can all agree. That's the moment it all fell apart. 25 seconds and. Rain, yeah, if he gets a double kill with the MP9, maybe there was something to be said, but it's just sloppy again from FaZe. Rob's having a rough time out there. Doesn't seem to... Yeah, David knows. That's on him. It's unlucky, I suppose, like, but he, all he had to do is just get one kill. Didn't need to reposition. I don't think that was the, the difference maker. And now they've lost Carrigan. He's hit things off. This is unraveling at the seams for FaZe. Roki. Having a rough time in the last few rounds. What? Who's getting knife? What? What is going on? Why does Brokey you know, just emerge out so of the smoke swinging? Bro, like, the smoke. Yeah. What is happening today? 
I no, this is what a is wild this game. game. Dude. Again, this everything is on the line. You're gonna get eliminated from the major, losing the series, and it just doesn't feel like it has the gravity from either team. Like I'm very confused. Me Rops and Frozen. Bro, this is no way. It's like first top holding tier on team, to it, but they're already walking away. What they know mean? they can't win this round. The bomb is planted. It's looking to tie up the game, make it an 8-8 score line. Kind of, what do you mean, FaZe is born reaction. for chaos? They're just getting mauled? Not enough. They're just You're getting right, mauled? That's a wild decision to make. Like, so early on the round, sure, it's hectic. Oh, You're in the shit. smoke, but no, the Black knife, Burn, like, I guess he gets the kill, so Hold on. it's Fair whatever. Point. But, like, it's just seems that they're constantly caught off guard and not ready for what's being presented towards them. But Imperial tied things up. I dare say they've got this map in the back. FaZe are starting to crumble. Mirage might be required here, as uh, Imperial can't believe their luck. It's chaotic, but uh, they're finding the kills, no problem. And the rounds, as you see Brokey, like, I see this at the highest level very often. Bro, what's going on? <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Okay, well, time out. Yeah, probably for the best. Like, yeah, like, that kind of says it all. Rob's his, his head's not in this one. Uh, he he maybe he's he's kind of mentally out of it. I think he could just reload inside the smoke. He could <laughs> have just fallen back to the pillar, like anything, but but that. But it, like I said, he got the knife kill. I, I don't. I guess it's not the, the deciding factor. Just uh, a weird round that phases look so uncomfortable. There's no setups, and it's just everyone's in these weird isolated fights. <laughs> Got, got the kill, I suppose. Yeah, but... I'm pretty sure that's going to win you the round, though. They'll take an eco with these two saved M4s, Rops and Frozen. One of these two needs to step up. This game is ugly. The series hasn't been great for FaZe. Grenades will absolutely wreck Brokey at the start, down to 27 points of health. Rops holding towards A main. Flashbang over. Smoke as well as the flash. Not feeling comfortable, he knows the Molotov's up next. They're not going to be catching anyone here. The bomb's still quite far back, so... Imperial could go back and pick it up once they feel like they've done a little bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A little bounce off the corner there. Three, actually four people in the middle. They don't have a flash to set up anything for here, so they're just going to use the... Strength of numbers to try and see if they can find favorable find in the middle. Imperial actually got shown up in that fight themselves. Hey. Take down Carrigan to begin with, and that's a very nice swing. AK penetrating that wall is just a lot of damage. Yeah, I think FaZe might be done on this map, Anders. I think we're going to Mirage. Not seeing much that convinces me otherwise. Imperial just uh, loving it out there. They've got another clean sweep. Money will be nice and strong after this one. We're on the strongest T-sided map. And uh, for now, Brokey, like I said, 27 HP. Can't really do much about this apart from save the scavenged M4A1S. I feel a really strong level of discomfort watching this game. <laughs> from yeah, the something's start. not quite right, is it? It just... No, it's like it's an very engine odd that won't to start. It. There's no, there's no strength even in. It's like an engine that won't start. Phase, but you can't figure out what's wrong with yesterday it. Yesterday, when we talked about the difference between complexity and mouse, and that's yeah, literally sure, what you feels like. I'm like on fire for that game. You're just anxious. I want to see some you're of these like, guys. You know, you like, check everything. Everything's good to go. Relatively winning some battles where it's and like, it just won't fucking start. One, two punches, a couple of headshots. It's a quick five versus three like this. Very few rounds, but like honestly, fuck it, dude. If they don't want to start the engine, fight. fuck it, that's on them. Barely squeaking through some of these rounds. It ain't like, got oh, no gas. God, we got like we survived on 14 health to try and get that last kill. No, like, no, 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 no. That complexity so was not an engine him. that didn't start yesterday. Well, uh, complexity was a fucking like car crash. Fire might be able to take us to a third map. They are winning. Really? Vertigo against VP, it's currently 10 to 5. You know that, that and third map there would be Inferno. That I crashed like my car into the bridge, I don't care, chat. That was, and yeah, down. Jesus Phase Christ. Starting to that was complexity yesterday. Here on Anubis, after pretty underwhelming first half, they have won all pistols in this series so far, and now on the back foot against Imperial. A team you'd think they would put to bed no problem whatsoever. 
What's that would be kind of impressive for the Eternal Fire if they were able to do that. Well, bear in mind as Eternal Fire, the third That Molly was like the plan. drunk version of Flom's nah, mid Molly setup. Didn't quite hit the target. You drunk can say as that fuck. Again. We may have to say that again. Yeah, like, if this is how they go out, it'll be really sad. Imagine they lose this series now. And that's their major that run, the happen. first CS2 major. That, that's how it goes down. That could absolutely happen. Like this looks is very And you know, no, hard the, the to people saying Cole could go 2-3, I up, believe it. Say, I'm right there with you. Very very tied up. Yeah, this one round's already done, I think. Yeah, yeah. Brokers goes down with nothing. Oh, this is a really wild game to me. I don't know what team I'm watching, and it's not FaZe Clan. So many solo fights that the B hold is like just woeful. No, they don't look like a um, team, bro. Not really causing any damage whatsoever. Carragher's now left with 20 HP. Your in game lead up. Trying to hold it together. He'll be executed on that. There's almost zero chance he can find more than one kill. Well, it's the Dallas Burial, Cowboys making effect. the most of it. All ourselves in. Let's see if Carragher proved me wrong. As much as I would love not. to. Flame the Cowboys say, here at any opportunity I can. It's another underwhelming. Now, world. unfortunately, FaZe has been this way for a little while good. now, you know? Everyone's collapsed. No damage done. What can he say about this one? I'm trying to, in my brain, think about, like, what level of discomfort I'm experiencing here. Like, what is it? <laughs> I people, people are overacting like the Falcons in the real world as, I only watched a little know, bit of it. That could sort of match this. It's just really, really, really awkward. I, I, um, it's like watching someone who's who's read think, one of those pickup artist books. I think they already removed people behind it. They're like, hey, what is your weather like? If you guys didn't know, like, apparently oh, they like privately dog, edited. Dog, also, like, Jensen, I was like cleaning my walking pad. Second, so it has thank you so much for your fine gift and nice fucking cock. Junior, thanks this for your 33 month primer. Thank you. And Ark, thanks for 72. Especially because I've had much worse mid match. Being, yeah, but that's because you're playing you know, with like literal one of the shooters. most revered in game leaders of all time in Carrigan. He's also outside of being like a tactical leader, he's also just a leader, right? You'd want to see someone with that level of experience being able to summon. I think there's time and place for everything. Right? Yeah. And you know, who's got like, even as like, somebody that didn't even watch the full part of it, Carrigan, and if it was even possible to have that. Do what I think happening? some people were blowing really sure. it a bit out of proportion? Maybe yeah, but is it weird to then like upload shit like, like that? Turn their, turn their fortune, like if they can win this Like one, a lot of it was weird, you know what I mean? A Rob's M4, but he hasn't found a kill in what feels about five or six rounds. So people couldn't it's survive a week with Xander. A lot of people can't survive a lot of teams with a lot of players in North America. It's why their teams all die and they roster swap. Rob swap. Here there's AK-47s firing off, spamming the smoke. A chance of a kill here, they bait out. Like, literally, most of these teams in ECL the and these the players map. are literally, like, just actual trash cans when you when it comes to, like, Bomb down a T -steps, if you were to think about them in the context of where they play down, that's not gonna <laughs> and the egos they develop and the shit right. and how they treat their oh, teammates, no. they are literal dog shit. Two that's unlucky, but still, like, insult sure, I mean, to injury. If I compared ECL players or, God forbid, a fucking European know. advanced team to an yeah, NA advanced like, team, course, holy that's shit. Happened. The moment I reposition, you've spammed the smoke. But that also shouldn't be the bar like or relevant. No, I think... Yeah, I get quite passive-aggressive when people do that to me. I don't know. I don't want to comment sure, too okay, much on cool, the Falcon man. stuff just that, because right? I didn't <laughs> watch it, and then apparently they already right. removed all that, that shit from the video. And there's no way you can retake this or even consider doing so. Feels like Mirage is locked in. FaZe have completely unraveled at the seam. <clears throat> Gotta be like, my towards. most successful teams were usually did not come from having the best players, like when but, I was actually uh, competing. So it was actually just like having a real team. 12 rounds as well. They're going to find map points and take those to Inferno. We are pretty much guaranteed Mirage at this stage. Like when I qualified for Basically, invite or what they call Pro tank. League now, <laughs> at the very beginning of Go, <laughs> done, I was playing on a bunch, over. like with a bunch of people that literally <laughs> nobody a, wanted to play with. And not because of attitude. They all just thought they sucked. They got the 2-0 star. And now it's we were just better than everybody, and like, we outworked most of them, map, so we qualified like, in the very the first season to invite, or what What's later became really pro. Comfortable you've experienced in your life, and we've been like a social situation where you just you really screwed it up, and everyone's looking oh, at you like some Tim Hell no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I find myself with my foot in my mouth more often than not. Um, Subtle flex. No, I'm just like really bad. Uh, you know, I've played with really talented people and stuff like that. It's just true. I'll get back to you. There's a balance, you know. 
going to be and it's not that you can't be like where I've uh, made an absolute twat of myself. It's not that you can't um, hold you people the accountable in the, the initial part of the Falcons vlog five rounds where I heard Zonic kind of um, going in and Boros. It sounds like um, he's yeah, phase. Please wake you know, he self-admittedly well, said know, he pointed the finger at him, but also, they're playing of, you know, yeah, if my star players are getting shit, that's changing that's all of his settings right before the biggest well. tournament of the year, to the I'd be pretty so pissed. Just talking a little bit about that. 11 to 8 right now, the two rounds away <laughs> from taking phase onto a third map. But that is really impressive. No it way seems again. weird. Young kid here at the major, up to 15 kills. But also the the feels like... There. Like, decent is a little bit further behind, but not disastrously so. I would say this is looking In that like Falcon team, even though you know, Boros was the first one there, the after all the There's roster changes, I guarantee well, you he was always the odd man out in that dynamic. composed in phase. No one can doubt that at the moment, at least on this map. Looking to see if they can take the last two rounds phase. Yeah, I didn't see the dogpiling, Heisen, which is what seemed like a lot more people complained about. Anubis. I'm not sure. Round 20, this is Imperial hunting. A map point, flash towards middle, trying to get some intel here. It's gonna mm -hmm. be an A finished, all five players in this They made him the odd man out. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like. Camera, and indeed the heavy position, and the bomb side itself. Rops will have a lack of vision now. Can they fend them off? Does it all end here? It's the first kill for Frozen. Finally, an advantage for Rops. They can't hold on to it. They're getting absolutely ravished here, Anders. Robs can't get anything done. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they had to put down the smoke to stop the Molotov from burning Robs, but then he just, it's uncomfortable. Normally, he's someone who's very, very good at playing around those kind of angles. Like, at least find one kill could make the difference. A retake being attempted. Gotta go for it. Yeah, you have to. Brokey and Rain, you might as well give it a shot. You've got a smoke as well, but I don't know if there's a kit somewhere on the site. There might be one up at the high ground here, but either way, if there isn't, they've already run out of time. Yeah, I think Rain picked one up. I don't think it's going to make a difference any longer. Henny will find the shot and no escape for Brokey. Damn, Henny, Imperial, let's go, up. baby. Let's and go. One step closer. They've uh -oh. almost done it. Don't give him a map, FaZe. FaZe, don't give him a map. They've been grinding out maps for yeah, harder teams than you right now, FaZe. Right this is one of the most underwhelming looks they've ever had. Robs has not let him do it. involved in any of these fights. Like, I, I can't remember the last time he even got a frag. Oh, yeah, Henny's... That's going to be, what, Henny... six rounds in a row now is back like and they had the opening frag in their favor they knew it was going to be an ace attack bro he looks uh, so comfy on this team Imperial, it's crazy uh, outskilling them here on anubis you can have the buy now phase 12 to 8 aggressive towards dark room and well first frag and the My second God. in favor of imperial i think we're done here boys no links i didn't play with either one of those players yeah looks like it's 99 time for phase no when i qualified for they go invite there was only two divisions to this second map because it was and still in beta. Are pretty much what you would expect from that. Broke in for to play Dust and Aztec in professional matches. Imperial. With Henny getting warmed up. That's Those how early we're talking about very here. Crisp. I had to play Dust and Aztec. How do you resuscitate a team? Literal a dust was on Mirage. everything before they removed all the fog off the map. Molotovs used to slow you, do more damage, they and couldn't be extinguished. They did not want to walk into anything crazy. They've checked out most Mother of the bomb God. site here. No way. She's Just quite hell. sure there's no one on the site. They can fall back. They can join him. They don't even have to walk into the A bomb site stack. That's Aztec to be assembled with the here. Molotovs was literal hell. Chat. Both pistols in favor of phase. They if you got one round on T side, side, you might have won the, the matchup rounds, because honestly. of that. Like, I guess there was that. It all started with that huge fumble. Like this, this game's over. Um, it all started that huge fumble with like frozen like in back of ct spawn he had jumped up that's when things just like they kind of gave up after that round and yeah they, they haven't even got close to even a frag or anything there's another clean sweep they haven't even done any damage again anders like this, this is over like i'm not i'm not i'm not going to get we're excited not for this one no, we're not well, commenting this one we're done with that's that. it over <laughs> oh this is the best looking phase they literally can't win the round this is the best looking sequence they've had all Most long. controversial they teammate. Well, no, my. Anything, though. I mean, in terms of just like hard teammates Bays to play with, or like difficult. Early. By if far and away, I played with a team up. called Great Sex Pistols. Good team effort. Hell yeah. After They've I made well invite, they can only play against that was the, the most toxic team side. I've ever been a part and of. It didn't show up whatsoever. No one can get going. It was me. No one's really. High five. Like, normally they'd be hugging each other. Schaefer, no, 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 all good, man. Remix. This. Everyone's to get the hell Planks. out of there quickly. Right? Okay, good Vinny. Reason. That was not phase. Holy plan. shit. That was something else. That was a different team. I don't know who it was, but it ain't phase. 
Yeah. <laughs> that team, we were number one in NA chat for I'm like the first four or five team. weeks. I don't disagree with what you said. I can and then, very well done. Very yeah, like yeah, everybody knew when I was then, playing with all those players, to win the trophy, right? Unfortunately, that's that team died. Not. Yeah, I will say this. I mean, again, like it's not like Imperial haven't been facing a lot of pressure. Ah, uh, okay, you're caught on Jason, though. I don't. And they, they are still alive. Yeah, like, I they just, are I don't know. themselves. They're keeping the energy. So, I mean, Imperial are kind of doing what you they want to talk to with someone named moment, POS. Funny is, enough, POS was the least toxic one on the team. burning that you can actually get some good rounds. That people get a little bit of high far. You're getting no way out there. Well, you're getting Henny activated. Like, there's something to fight for. That was also the same team that we went to half, land. Right? We went to Rio land. Or Re like not Rio, Ryu. Like the person. That's the performance you put down in CT half. That was like borderline embarrassing. We went there and we were like number one or number two, I think, online going into that tournament. In terms of fragging ability, we dumpster day one. Imperial might have this one all tied up. Like they're they're hitting their shots no was... way and Henny uh, as you might expect a little very sharp out there. Thirteen to eight. Like that kind of says it all. Like look at that at flying star phase had, and then it all just fell uh, apart. Uh, around what round number we, eight or They so. were so bored. They were a lot older than me. Chad. They all went they to the strip the club. I couldn't go because I wasn't twenty one. Clean rounds in a row with zero resistance. So they were all bored and they got fucking wasted after groups and no close moments. Went out the night before. And broke it, like you said, he, he had and I passed the fuck out at, at the hotel the, the very next the day. We got knocked out in playoffs day half. one by the lowest Frozen seeded team. Story, Our team pretty much died yeah, after that. Pretty uninspired. CT showing uh, Imperial. Good team effort. Everyone kind of showed up and got the job was, done. Uh, it was uh, Henny with the top of 16 that was an kills. Experience. And no way up there with 15. Vinny, most ADR. Uh, but yet, the headline is we're going to a third map. Phase Ban, uh, one map away from being knocked out. In bro, the they were so hungover. The major. Yeah. Uh, most people and I had to be woken up too because it's not like, bro, these, these were sort of lands where, like, Chad, if you won the land, you might have not lost money. Maybe. Things off. Anubis, same story, we were all sharing the same hotel and shit. It will be we had five dudes laid up across the same bed. You know how fucking rough that was? And Schaefer is not a small man. And neither is POS. It means you have another difficult series up against you. I'm not sure. Me and Vinny got mad cuddly. To make it to the playoffs with that in mind. Like from just from this map alone, I would I'd actually I'd probably oh, prefer shit. Imperial to play like an, even another best of three. Like just generally speaking, they just yeah. at least look like they. But are dude, they woke me up at like fucking four in rounds. the morning. Wow, I'm, I'm actually I'm so shocked. I've like, either really long. I wasn't really, really long as fat back then. Like, you know, like over twenty years. Or as like that. fat. Yeah. That was when I was starting um, to really put I, it on because really I stopped playing hockey. Thought, you know. We're gonna go recalibrate. We're gonna go get some good vibes yeah. ourselves. Smelling I think that map really yeah. kind of upset us. Left a sour taste in our mouth. I'm it not did. really sure what that was. Um, I hope you join us. We'll take about 15 minutes and be back for Mirage. And hopefully the quality of camera will go up EF exponentially. VP banger. Right now, I feel like I'm still asleep though. 13 to 6, like quite phase. surprisingly. The name oh, Man thank God it's over. Well, the well, well, let's run it. Wait. Great. So we've seen two different faces. Did they do this on purpose with the jackets? Match, you know, map they like to go into as a third designing map. They even pick it sometimes in best of three, so they feel comfortable on it. This There's had to have been on purpose. Because I'm pretty sure that when we came into the game, came into the day, Jane was one of the highest rated players in the entire tournament. Yes. He's been nowhere to be found individually on the server. He's sitting at below 50 ADR over the course of two maps. And the count Counterpart to him, Roxic, is nowhere to be found on the server either. This has been one of the least dominated AWP performance I've seen from either team, either player throughout this match. And we're going into a map like Inferno where it's tough to dominate Running with the, the, AWP. the 52 so month primer, thank you. Neither of these two players are going to have map, And it actually, again, comes down to the rifles. And right now, we've seen that Santeros on your screen so far has been the deciding factor for EF. Yeah, yep. and look, uh, you can see this is where they're kind of at right now, coming out of that series. Them boys can play him. If you don't show up, he's going to fucking yeah. flame. Yeah. What do you mean? It's, it's, but look, listen, he as long as he's getting a job that it's okay. Like, for example, I'm looking at James ADR on, on that overpass map, right? Mm -hmm. really when the fuck is Devil Walk on Mythic? Uh, right really as I was matter. off of it. Exactly. So And that wasn't really the stream team version, but that was the name that a lot of us used. But for me, like me, Lex, and Mark would use our teams when we weren't under banners. Good so far. That absolute smacking of game lesion comes to mind with the pick the map against them. That was they were, they were called mythic. They used the mythic name for like them down in all one fashion right there. A so, couple weeks um, when they were going from LG to Winterfox. Kind of woken up 
and this could really and then vice versa oh, when sure they were done with got or not vice versa but over again. Yeah, post yeah, winter fox as well yeah exactly as long oh. as it's not like the Mong mongols so some of the okay. mythic yeah, roster we'll history we'll is kind uh, anyway, of just a quick update before we go to break like as blended well. Imperial, if that makes sense uh, just claiming a map against phase one one Ooh. over there as well okay. if you haven't been able to watch that just an update we're going to a break <clears> when we get back we're going to have the decider between these two teams it will be on inferno make sure you tune in Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displate. Hang your Displates in seconds. Swap them when you like. Any hilarious tips to get, get Grandpa back in shape? Just tell him to fucking games. join a DM server and stop being a bot. On a designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. Do we have a coat? No, we're still a stream team. I mean... I guess if the closest thing we have to a coach would be probably me, but it's less coaching. Like, I don't need to coach like Ryan and Cooper. I just need to make sure they're on the same page. But like, Truck mostly needs the most help. And that isn't to say Truck's dumb. I mean, he is, but... <laughs> Truck just, for those of you that don't know, has never played on a team before. Like, he has zero experience. With one experience. Before Mythic, he had never played above, to, above Advance, and he had only scrimmed one time. We are proud to announce new additions to the XL series. Uh, Both are using so fast TN panels and newly upgraded if anything, That's like also low-key why I think... Fast like if you guys have noticed, me and Truck play together a lot to now on CT sides. And it helps us out both a lot. That would fit you. Okay. The next. Because truck will listen to me, and then I don't have to argue with the Abadirs. And now also with like enough reps, truck kind of. The Maracas. Truck's vibing. He's getting there. Somewhere where they have nice beaches. Uh huh. He's yeah. getting there. <laughs> Definitely good stuff. Yeah. Um. Hey, hey just needs to play more sometimes and just kind of needs a swift oh, kick in the ass, but he's usually pretty locked in. <laughs> there we go. That's Imperial. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Robs, and good luck getting to the major. Thank you. Level up your gaming space. I'm just, just no, I'm, it, it just get his ass in the DM. We ain't doing all this. Bird, thanks to the five month primer. Thank you. Hey, my weedy, thanks to the 43 month primer. Thank you. From your favorite games on a uniquely designed vicious friend you're being that guy right now like you went to applebee's and you're telling the waiter 10 times that the homie is it's their birthday you know like your wall upgrade is here shop now at you're giving off the same energy you know what are some of the things truck is lacking due to team experience just low comms no he just doesn't know how to move mid-round which Nobody knows how to move mid-round without practice. If you've never been in it before and never playing in it, it's like pugs don't even come close to getting you prepared. The world is changing, but one thing remains the same. Victories with one Chat! I'm running a three-minute ad. Heads up, heads up. Yeah, it was popular, it's loud. I'm fat. And heads up, heads up. Commercial, but spent Hopkins, all the money thanks to 23-month primer. Thank good. you. I got no money left for the commercial. So I'm gonna need you to head a zone. Yeah, so like it's mostly just mid round stuff. E Z O N E Yo. Code PGL fifty euros off. Got some headphones. It's now and never. Oh. Where do you learn how to move mid-round without being in a team type match? It's, I mean, you can watch demos, but it's not really going to solidify until you're in a game. Like, it's why scrims are so important because scrims are important and diversity in scrims is huge. Because when you're practicing, like, it's not about winning, right? It's about when not seeing things the first here, time and having major, solutions to different problems. And, and if you scrim did, against a bunch uh, of different team styles and players, RMR, you get we all the solutions. Happy. You can then use those solutions in the match and know exactly what you're doing. Time. So just tell me, what did that look like? How long did you boot camp for? And how have things gone? I mean, obviously, when we are 
a top ranked team you play what are you talking about mythic no right now you're on a wallet first, kerrigan it cook. was i think five or six days off after uh, the amar uh, like when when we had break i was making uh, kind of a whole new playbook uh, wow. because you need to do that sometimes uh, prepare new stuff um, so we got to work a little deeper and i think that's needed uh, for us to to get the last percentage to to kind of lift the trophy again Okay, and I love that you say lift the trophy again, get this extra percentage in there. That's what I wanted to look at when it comes to you guys, because you're the number one team in the world right now, right? But you're also the most consistent team we've had okay, in level. CS2. So do you think that's all you need at this point? It's like you're just missing that extra percentage. Oh, calm, Katie Pollan, when fucking um, Mythic literally player, almost won everything in North America, America team, domestically. But if I think chaos we have recovered here. really good uh, under the pressure <laughs> when you are face clan. Uh, oh, nothing shit, but a final we were demons. And not even winning a trophy the last three times is not enough right preparation oh, is shit. not a question anymore uh, i think we should be integrated frozen mm -hmm. now we just need to make sure that we are firing on all all parts of our game okay i love that so you're saying you feel like you're at that stage now where frozen's in neo's comfortable as well you've had the time you need yeah i would say so i mean we had finals we had losses we had wins even though we lost the first best of one in in, <laughs> in the group stage and i think we just have to see how how, how we get rolling I'm feeling as comfortable as you can be at a major, but things could turn really bad on first day, and that's where I need to have the mentality. That's one thing we haven't lost at all, the mentality of the team that we have yeah, built for, for the past two, three years. No matter how the circumstances, there's always a way in. Hey, thanks way for back, and with Primer. Thank I think you. we're known for that, but we just have to keep proving it over and over again if we have a bad start. They just said something very interesting about being destined to win. If I think to Stockholm, it felt like that was gnarly. We felt to Antwerp, it felt like it was yours. This one feels like there's a few teams, maybe yourself, Spirit, Vitality, G2, Navi. You, you can look at these names and put them in that pool. How does it feel for you? Do you feel like this is one you you are destined to win? I mean, me, Todd, and Lex no, almost I, made I Pro League. That was the closest Lord, Mythic roster to Pro League, League probably. Months, I think there's three teams in the race. Besides KD, Com, Ace, Poland. There's many teams right behind us. Mm -hmm. And if they work the right way before the major, I think a team like Maus is dangerous. I think a team like Navi is dangerous. Winning a major is not pure skill. Major Winning a major is hitting the right time uh, of your career. If you want to win a major, you need to hit peak as a leader, as a team, as, as a player. You have had so much longevity. You mentioned it, 1.6 all the way until now. You've even got all the way to CS2. Everyone else has come and gone around you from the old guard of players. Why Tell the iron where twist went. You He's on liquid. Make sure you have stayed in this position for all this time. I think one of my attributes to be where I am, I've never been arrogant to yes, myself. Kayla, I've yes, Kalo, yes. And self reflective, like you're hearing into when I'm saying I'm so playing open, like shit. You know? honest, yeah. Um, and my biggest issue I had four years ago was self uh, self talk. Um, I might say something into you, I might even talk worse about myself in my head. And uh, oh, wow. I think my wife fixed that um, in that sense that. I am already honest about myself and how self-reflective, but I cannot speak bad to myself. And by changing that narrative of myself and believe more in myself, I think that changed the mentality and the leadership I have. One thing I learned the last few years, nothing is given. Like you have to enjoy every moment. Um, sometimes hard, sometimes good. Um, yeah. I have a lot of fans, I feel like around the world that, that also help me push. And I just want to make them happy and want to see, see them smile and, and cheering my name, of course. But most of all, I think, as long as I lead it by example for my teammates and trust me, I know I can win tournaments. I'm very interested about the psychology side of things. Very interesting to hear all of that. I think I can do some of that at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, thank you very much, man, and good luck at the major. Thank you. Yeah, prime subs and tier one subs are the same. Um, yeah, prime and tier ones are the same. Just prime subs don't auto renew, which always kind of sucks. I like playing against EU compared to NA. I mean, you got to understand when I was playing EU, dude, I was playing against era type players. Not saying like, I'm not saying like the game was easier back then, just like anything as games progress, they get people get better and stuff like that. But when I played EU, I played fucking Kenny S. I don't know if you guys know, but I played the guy that they nerfed the weapon for at his peak. It was fucking rough. It was not fun. It was not fun. <laughs> like, I mean, Zyve was a fucking beast, but like, dude, 
That motherfucker had a whole weapon. Did you play Chris J before the nerf? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Me and Chris J chatted all of Dallas together, just like chit chatting after we got absolutely fucking hosed. To put it in perspective, chat, NA was so out of depth that when they came to Dallas and played us, we were the most competitive team versus EU, and that was because we took one of the maps to overtime. Busy with the five gifted uh, subs. Thank you. Appreciate you. Still a flex? No, I we got rolled. I we cut our IGL right before LAN. I the only person that played worse than me at that LAN was Shazam. My most used weapon, I was an opera, was my Tech Nine. I had Tech Nine nades every round. It was horrible. I don't know, I, dude. It was so bad. <laughs> That was when Shazam was on Cloud9. I think he was on... No. Yes. Yes, he was. Oh, fuck. No, I was like... I fell into the... We, like... Dude, we... Our team was a mess. Kimchi Boy, thanks for the nine months. Like, two weeks before LAN... We were one of the most stable teams in NA. We cut our IGL and our entry, and we got an opera. We got an opera and another opera that IGLs. I don't know what we were cooking, but it was meth. Because we dropped Hades and Abe, and we got Frost and fucking Arya. Kill me. No, no shade to carry or Arya, but goddamn. That shit was, uh, that team was literally deep fried. How many miles am I gonna watch today? Five or six. Uh -uh. 80s is level 9 on face it now. Hey, don't hate on level 9. Struck was literally level 9 last month. Uh -uh. Welcome back, everybody. We are ready. It's another map coming up. The final in the series here. You know, I thought about something, Henry. Um, I think back in the seventh grade, there was a girl that I was interested in, and I told some of my friends, and they said, you know, you should ask her out. That's like, part about playing like, Kenny S. Chat. Like, somewhere, and I was like, Actually, hold on. It's a bit awkward, you know, but I'll give it a shot, you know? Okay. And they were like, no, you should, like, go do it, do it, I said, all right. So I, like, really thought, I was like, all right. And I was like, do we, I uh, thought, do you want to go to a movie or something together? And she said, no. <laughs> and I remember that with way less awkwardness than what just happened on that map. Like, oh. I have a better feeling <laughs> about that even then than watching FaZe just get completely crushed on this one. Yeah, um, they just didn't turn up whatsoever, did they? I, I, oh, I looked on Twitter man. after the game. I thought maybe we were being a bit harsh. Maybe the general consensus is they'll bounce back, but no, people were being Best, like harsh. Worst than part us, of playing Kenny S chat and when we were playing Titan back then on land. Was pretty woeful. Um, Kenny S, Again, while playing this, is typing to us that he'll sign our mouse pads. And they're playing a very good game. They do look fired up. They are playing like men instead <laughs> of boys. Um, FaZe has looked dejected and oh, kind of shit. calling up in their own shell and not really showing any character or guts. You know, you know the best the part? Right and this now. is actually still why um, it was one of my favorite teammates of all time. They do crash you know the best part, though, chat? Um, I don't want to Alex was so down. It, but, like, Lex was so in, dude. Um, is certainly Lex is like, fuck yeah, bro. Home, Hell yeah, I'll come over after. Go, it's Mirage. <laughs> and uh, bear in mind, they didn't even post a single <laughs> CT gun oh, round shit. on an Uber. So they didn't even get close. I Lex was so really down, damage dude. After no. the second round, it was a sort of clean sweep, clean sweep, clean sweep. Uh, get your knife out. Jump Hell no, I didn't get an autograph. Fuck Kenny, dude. I think, to be fair, I think if they crash out in this way, I don't think Harrigan is going to be saying... Oh, we tried oh, our best, shit. and it was like some and some. Like, I think oh, he's, he's going to have to give it. I can't wait for that loser interview. Yeah, like that. I, no, I clearly what I did is I gave the mouse pad like, to no Alex, and then Alex said, can you sign this for my brother? Because it wasn't unlucky. It wasn't like a weird, no. oh, we lost a clutch. You won both pistols there, <laughs> and everyone seemed like gave up. Yeah, it's very, very hard to watch, like especially for some 
the, the veterans here, some of these players, like we talked about Neo and Carragher, but I mean, Rain has been playing one of the last sort of standing uh -uh. members of Norwegian Counter-Strike that disappeared for whatever reason. Um, yeah, this is, this is really... It's really quite something. Big Sauce Ewok with they a 15-month primer. To Thank you. And impress us. I must say, I would be blown away if Phage were able to recover themselves. And you know what? For Imperial, it's just about having that same energy. Just don't fall down to the level of Phage. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep powering Now's through. Now's Mythic Stream. Maybe you can stay Honestly, now that Shu I found that Shuhei has also match. like been around here. It's elimination time. Maybe for one Mythic Mouse Show Match, match dude. When they're in Dallas. Phage starting okay. on the T side. Imperial starting on the CT side. I like that, Anders. Let's get some energy in the room. It's been sucked out of us after the previous Truly. map. As uh, we are going to see Imperial now look to knock Phage out of the tournament. I think that's uh, the the focus. Of this particular map, it's Imperial actually to look into the Thank you guys for the out. subs. I do appreciate it. Ewok, thanks for your 15 month primary. So far. The Brazilians will be on the CT side. Julie's available for them, and oh, what a flashbang that is. What a pitch perfect Damn. flashbang. Goodbye. Deployed towards the A ramp. Oh, Another beautiful shot. Oh, bro, they're Penny. getting active. Remember, phase of winning the pistols. They're they getting won active. All the pistols in a series so far, they are four for four. They start losing pistols as well. Can they even recover it? Nice oh. shot from Decent. You like to see it. Carrigan eventually overcoming that ramp position. So still a 2 on 3. A bomb plant is kind of hard to find right now. They don't have any smokes or anything. Mm. Like you said, you're, you're sort of out of the round for a couple of seconds there when you're planting. But Phelps wanted to take a peek a bit early and that'll get him killed. Vinny has to be Vinny, careful. put the flash, flash away, dog. Hand. Penny feeling the pressure. The flashbang lands in between them. And he can't swing on it either. 30 seconds here. A little oh, bit of engagement. No, no, they might no, have done no, enough no, damage no. to hunting him down. Henny, he he's in trouble and he's yeah, dead. This is... 27 seconds phase. Recovering a huge deficit in this round. But it's back on once again. The dually's been picked up. Vinny, 28 bullets. Looking to see if he can reclaim this round for his team. And the bomb is finally going to get planted here. He misses the first outing. Carrigan sneaking on through. Vinny's in trouble. They're all around him. And Frozen will take him Ooh, down. Damn, dude. find a way to win one more pistol. Just Another things. pistol in the bag. It was labored, but that's more like it. FaZe actually recovering the deficit. I got you, Prismatic. I managed to make that round work. It all started Imperial was three looking active. Well, and Penny, then as the sandwich shot player died, but Rob's they got to life, finally showing some form. He just like right the here, edge of a cliff on Anubis, and when Decent's taking that fight, you either need to like fully commit, or they should have just stopped. But like, and then Vinny Penny should have gone cat. Vinny should have gone CT. Depth. And there it is, starting to look like they're up for it mm. once again. It's gonna be easy said from the fat guy walking on his walking pad at home with the radar, but walk in the park. So now five for five on pistols now. Uh -uh. Clan guaranteed a 2 0 start here, unless something absolutely catastrophic comes forth, but I doubt it. It's looking like a B stack here. Imperial have four players on this side of the map, boosting one in towards the apartment himself. Smoke down window. And yeah, just going through the motions here. It's going to be an A split and a guaranteed round. If anything, I can't even remember the last time FaZe won around that just looked very comfortable. So I, I I would take that right now if I'm FaZe to say, all right, cool. Let's get around here. We're not really, there's no sweat being broken. We're just having a decent time. Maybe we get a kill or two. Even if they, you know, run away from the rest of it, who cares? Just start to lay in some of the bricks to build something on top of here. Smoke going up. It's fine. Take all the precautions you possibly can. And they're out searching. I mean, especially the Mac 10 might as well. It's a huge benefit. You could find a couple of kills with it. So I would say send rain in. All right. Manning the cash register, but there are no customers, Henry. They're not. No. They're not coming. Me not recommended, <laughs> We'll see if rain can farm some money of his own. With brute force. Takes a bullet to the face, though, I'm afraid. As uh, he might disengage at this point. Frozen. I'll try and make it work with the glow. You don't really need these kills, and if anything, you're just risking losing yeah, a life but or two. Like, even when pro players know all players. the information, it's sometimes hard to recognize the information. It wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, you, yes, like, when you you're removed from the situation, right, and you're just looking at, like, um, CS problems as a pure equation? Yeah, that's a lot of... Right, it's, right, my point is, it's right, easy to make decisions or the right choice. Yeah, and any grenades on you or anything, like, it's a lot of money being... Being flushed down. I think yeah. When you're actually playing, there's like 50 different thoughts. There's communication. There's people talking. Like, 
Just to make it's not always easy okay, to just yeah, it's actually objectively make deal. the right choice. They lost three players there. We'll see if they can bounce back, though. It's 2 0. Here come the weapons for Imperial. Four rifles, a Vinny MP9. As we get into round number three here, ladies and gents, Carrigan working towards that A ramp. But speaking of this A bomb side, we've got. Nah, no, Roger. In fact, I wouldn't even really recommend the one that I'm using. The I don't hate my walking pad, but man, for the price that I paid, there, yeah, fucking A. It. Minimal damage, seven to be exact. Like, I spent a premium because it's foldable and quiet, and but goddamn. Forward position for no way. Rops on the other side, but he's going to disengage. I don't really blame him. Going down on the CT side early on like that's not really worth it. And you know that he's pushing up there. It's a bit of information to work with. Next tournament for Mythic, we play Tuesday. Heavy towards the middle and B side. Practice Monday. Does even no way. I think in an awkward position. Well, and Tuesday, but setting him up flash from inside of the A bomb side, but they're sticking around even after the flash. Obviously, it's no longer having an effect. Nice grenade, Molotov on top, but it does land inside of the smoke, so at least he's not going to get burned alive here. But that was risky for Imperial, peaking sort of beyond the longevity of the flash. You don't really necessarily want to do that. We're down to 35 seconds. Oh, see, this one was like 400 bucks. No, way. he's got no more grenades, but he still lands a kill, and he's getting a chance to the sound reload. and the foldable part was super important to me, and there's not be. that many. He stayed alive for a lot longer than he should have been. Well, here we go. A bomb side is under phase occupation. We are going to see a three on three ensue. Phelps low HP, there are kits available, but are they going for this one? Pretty far removed from the equation. Two coming from the connector position. We've got Henny and CT spawn. They have little to no utility, a single smoke. As Phelps waits for his opportunity to strike from the window. I don't know, timers of the essence anders, and they don't seem to be much, moving with much pep in their step. I guess they're saving now. Oh, well, especially falling off the ledge like that. Frozen. That's also the smoke gone. I think that smoke was an essential component. Like you said, like that's the only utility they have. They could have smoked the bomb, they could have tried to defuse with Vinny, but when the smoke is lost, maybe not so much. Okay. Phase. Winning another round. So first buy round for Imperial that falls a bit flat. Again, for Phase to revitalize themselves, mm. this is this is in line with what you need. They still don't look super great. Mm. It's still like really overwhelming. But winning that first rifle round is obviously massive. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be the A finish there from phase 3 0. Love to see Imperial just set a trap and maybe gamble this round. Lost, I suppose, about like three mid. Up into this with the loss bonus and uh, see if they can bounce back. They do not have the luxury of the three hey, mid, AWP, but don't however. show it. Like, so phase four to towards A with maybe one solo B, here. like guy window, three on the A bomb site. Ooh, I think they're doing it. Hey, no hey, nice. Some damage nice, but don't, don't, don't tell, don't to tell. The top of middle. Don't, don't self support. Carrigan could backstab. Flashbang's very effective, but no way Okay, well, now they sold win. it. He's going to die from under. Oh, he didn't keep going under. Whoa. Down towards the underpass, but no way. Good double there you go. Henry there you go. Just at the right time. On top of the smoke, he'll there take you go. down Rops. It's a favorable trade, but Carrigan. And this is where shit gets weird. brings it back. That's you can't, no lingerers, bro. Carrigan even putting in a Molotov, actually forcing him forward. Yeah, Frozen was at the top of mid. It's Carrigan's Stop Molotov lingering that's actually by yourself. setting up that kill for Frozen. We started Stop to it. well all of a sudden. Vinny gets one in return, and suddenly, with a minute on the clock, it is a one Fuck. versus one. Frozen on 30 health with the bomb in his back pocket. Do you just Vinny. run now? Yeah, I was going to say, there's no point walking. You might as well just yeah, hide out into one day. Get the best plan you possibly can fathom and try and win out in this one versus one. He's got a lot of utility to work with. Stop reading the script. I no. guarantee that this side is open. I just like playing games with like, goes down. you know, plan. what would I but try to call with this information so, and how the game is going and seeing what other pros do, okay. yeah. Nice. All right. That's a way to win a round, Henry. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> he didn't even get to escape. Oh no. I don't Oh no. That. He had like, four grenades with him. Yeah. He could have done many, many, many other things. Bro, Anders oh, well. and Henry are so it's mad at FaZe, and I, I love them for it. Was it was always going to be a difficult 1v1 with the lack of I think HP, this, but there it is. This setup could have gone a bit better for Imperial and mid, and, but... Yeah, just spotted him, gets the wall bang in. Can't believe his luck. So you just set up a mid trap? Not Frozen's best work, but... Uh, now the mind game's there in chat, right? If you're Vinny, you just shut them down mid. Just, you've got that what, is, what are they going to do now? Are they going to try to hit a bomb site? Now that you played showed that? Yeah, I, I was personally thinking something like that. Do it again. Yeah, but you're I guess right. like no you wanted to get CT spawn Play so for mid again that with the utility. Um, it would be the best like. No, no, Kerrigan's always on some five head yeah, shit. He's just gonna call HP, the same round. Gets found out. 
in hindsight. I guess he Let's could see. have flashed Let's towards see. connect before crossing, but uh, yeah, hindsight's a wonderful thing. We'll see. Here we go. Imperial What's in the first round. And actually, the no, their buy actually might have him do a pop. They're going to be bringing out Galil's Mac 10s, Tech 9s. I did not realize they were that strapped on money. Oh, fight, yeah, because yeah. they lost hella bodies the round before that. Doing very well. Ooh. Keeping the dream alive. Mid-trap's Couldn't still not bad just because he can rotate, though. but they are going to be pop, it looks like. Yeah, you got the Mac 10 Tech. You got to. Back in this now. Oh, Portal straight into it, too. Teams, yeah. No, the Imperial did the 3A setup chat. Uh-oh. Yeah, Who's and on catch? Phelps? Yeah, I like that. I like oh, he didn't kill the first one. Space. Okay, okay. A little bit warmed Ooh. up in here, although the early engagement's not working on their favor. What a flashbang to set it up, Vinny. That was a team okay. flash. There's no chance to do anything. He was so blind behind that one. Frozen gets a headshot in the middle. No way, caught jumping in. Oh, no. Rops was hiding in the corner. And decent, if you lose this fight, the round is cracked open again. Frozen the walking up, uh, Rops walking up behind you, in fact. And he's going to get the shot on oh, you. I can't believe dude, these, these rounds are out. falling apart from like Peel because they're just losing discipline mid round. And he making his way through the window, not even checking to his left hand side. He should be able to get this one for free, and he will. Knows that Rops is on the other side. A little bit of damage oh, Rops already. is going to wait him out for a sec. Shot here for Henny if he can find it. And he oh, can. well done, Rops Henny. Well dead. done. And a huge clutch once again going in favor of Imperial. Well done. Rops just looks like a, a shell of himself right now. Imperial uh, is actually like playing the, these rounds. The for a lot of these clutches. Very Henny nicely when they... they the like, they know the now. answer. A significant round. And they did but very well to even have the two on one advantage. When things start to slow down a little bit, in the end, and, Rob's just and individual Rob's timings are starting to be taken and shit like that, out of it, it, looked like. it feels like As they're kind of giving up a lot of kills. Two, double rounds in War Imperial. We are going to see an eco, I assume. The phase is a hero AK for Robs. Why not, Ace? Why not, bro? Seven and three. He's finding kills, but um, yeah, just out of the server. This looks a little dejected. Something's not quite right. Hero rifle ain't bad here. You, here Imperial's money is not so good, chat, so invested into random you're going to keep phase. one of your players' money Themselves low on phase and the attempts to keep the entire Which team's money middle. on Imperial low. It's a good investment. Basic map control here. Uh, oh, nice. gonna sting. Yeah, especially on the AK. We've said it many times, but you don't need to do... 50 damage in a day. You just need to do enough damage that the M4... A walking pad's on the way. We need a walking pad. Leaderboard? Fuck so yeah, Thrice. Let's get it. Tag them up like that for 20 damage and you're good to go. Boost up. It's a nice little trick. It's a good idea. You could definitely get something behind this. And he will see if he's a little bit careless. They do make quite a bit of noise coming back off the boost. So Nose through under window. Someone should have oh, known. Phelps, Phelps still why are you on the... Not quite checking it for a second player. And Henny... Oh my, <laughs> what? Shot. That's pretty dirty. They'll take down Bro, Frozen. if you know they're under that angle, Phelps run is so bad. Seconds. <laughs> no way seems to be pretty crisp in this bomb site right now. You could tell he's ready to go. You gotta Broken be mad rain. careful if you're Can't sitting there. This round, unfortunately. Not much at all, I'm afraid. Rain, PT 50, 20 HP. Flam inspiring uh, movement. The dink. Impressive damage. Literally. But everything will be converted. Broke. You'll be dropped as well. And we are tying things up here. And it's going to be 3 3. Imperial. Again, after losing the pistol. We've already walked two miles today, to boys. Like, if they Light can work. win a pistol in the Light second work. half, they, they might be able to knock FaZe out of this tournament. Because that seems where, where FaZe are thriving <laughs> is in those <sighs> opening stages of each half. But then they fall off the edge of a cliff. 3-3, three, three, round seven. AK's pretty much across the board for phase. It's Rops who got the hero AK in Go the previous one to make do I might. nine. What sort of play this we game got has no been so weird. It, like, I literally like needed it to wake up. Is on the cards. Coffee wasn't enough. When I say quick, it kind of has to be because you don't have any information towards that A ramp or palace if anyone's pushing. You have maybe a 20 second window to get this. Yeah, losers out, guys. Yes. This do does not anything. feel as great yeah, as the first CSGO. Go. Control protocol here coming out from if you the played the first side. version of window, CSGO, you, you are fucking cooked. So for the default stuff, not to say that it's necessarily bad. First version of CSGO was absolute on that dog first shit. Kill. They've secretly snuck somebody in. Nobody knows about that. That could be huge. Rain getting a lot of kills in the middle and Carrigan oh following it up a slaughter. I don't even hate what Imperial did there. They just won every fight. As well. That is a convincing round. That's there the first go. sign of life from FaZe in a while. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Nice Imperial going victory. for 
they went for a mid pop. Looking much better that face. Imperial that trying to tr like basically do mid round aggression into them. They molly chair, they flash Rain. mid. Carrigan Rain and Kerrigan as well, and just Rob's put them down. In towards the window still and finds with the tech nine upgrades to the rifle. Brokey trying to keep morale high. Uh, uh, you can see he's trying to drag this team over the finish line. They can just win today. They'll alleviate some pressure. They'll be into the two. -two Honestly, gameplay-wise, this might piss people off, but gameplay-wise, I like this two more than really go already. Like, two players in the underpass. Eco for Imperial. I think the clipping though is the only out. thing that consistently Maybe frustrates me, and I'm strictly AK. talking gameplay chat. Before somebody annoying, cries about anti-cheat, shut up. Thank you. Valid criticism, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not worried. They didn't commit though. They didn't actually get in towards A and take that advantage of no one being there. Thankfully, the no. The clipping is atrocious. As we just saw somebody get clipped, so by the way. They might be looking to save the AK-47. They're starting to rotate now and still phase. We'll have to slow down the CT spawn. I assume it should be okay. As soon as that bomb planted, we should be out of the danger zone. Yeah, a couple of boosts really on either side here. So again, I think just looking to see if they can get another miracle hit. But yeah, they're quite far away from the action. Decent Clipping as in other players could be, USB but the biggest thing right now is see nobody. jumping on things in CS2 yeah, is, is legitimately exits. fucked. Boosting on teammates' heads if can be extremely smoke, fucked as well. Hilarious chances for crazy diffuses at the end of rounds on the A-bomb sites. So happened in the past a couple of times, but they don't all just theoretic at this point in time. It's the same game Rookie. plus nading smoke mechanics. Sure, whatever you can do. Flex. Nah. I Flex wouldn't bit, say it's the same game plus smoke mechanics. Like it, it get is anything at this point in time. Surface level, yes. I don't think I care that much. Surface just, level, yeah, yes. Five rounds so far on but the side of Mirage. The more you play it, dude, we're, we're okay with that. We're happy. Like think this. of yeah, how the multi is, kills um, come out. Much better, especially the noobers, That's for sure. I feel like it's Rob's. Slowly but surely, getting himself back into this major. People, uh, it's been a rough couple the multi-kills are way harder in CS2. Like a, like a spray down. Water on Anubis as well by Imperial, but Sprays are better, and I'm not saying they're like, they should be they have the lead on the T side made here. easier, but the days yeah, of like... Nine, the closing stages of this first well, yeah, the, the smoke map. changes do change everything, Some but I'm just control. saying like... That, I feel like that's one of the more obvious things. I feel like something they people don't talk about a lot before. is resulted in two players towards underpass and how five eventually fighting for mid but we did like, say also could lead to a beat split just which is looking hard it is like now to right here really smoke goes down and connector it consistently get multi kills the first kill but is that open towards connector especially so when you're talking about one singular spray pressure and now they've confirmed the orbs on that side that's the beat split being confirmed now yeah you feel very confident going for this all the pressure on vinny oh Carrigan, right. this could be perfect timing it actually could. Oh, this is so sick. Spins around, looking for the double, and he nearly had it. Waited another second, he probably does, but Vinny gets blown up. He had the old AWP back there. He should have been favored to get at least one oh, of Yeah, maybe kills, that's what it is. The sprays are actually easier, so trades come out more effectively. It might be unpopular, but it could be that registration is hitting better. Phase gonna be at six so then a lot of times, like, when you're getting into kills, like, you're just, you're getting guaranteed hits. I say it very very unpopular opinion, because I know how people feel about that. Again. They're hitting their shots. They're trading out kills. They're going through safety protocols to make sure they the don't way you just implied sub tick works i know manner. when was the last time so, you've yeah, actually seen somebody complain that's about sub tick or even um, mention it i haven't heard about it in so long face fan because that's going to be six it's rounds slowly on the board dissipated away up mirage i'm sure people still do by the way i'm sure some in chat's like actually i fucking hate sub tick bomb meaning the loser does go home imperial but dude i have not heard but uh i've never heard somebody mention 128 in like two players surviving though decent like in a non-troll no way, way and way I don't know how long. Do. Well, let's make a very mean joke, but I'll, you know, it's the major. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll save it. We've been pretty rough on phase today. I feel, I feel bad, yeah. Um, a timeout being called for Imperial. I can understand why this is on the other flip side of the coin, right? From the high of winning Anubis, you're not coming into a third map and you can feel it is slipping a little bit here. You don't have the money on the CT side. You cannot win a pistol round to save your life. It, like a lot of things have started to go wrong slowly but surely i'd be worried too for imperial just getting into i can't map. tell if that's a serious copy pasta from you well. cash but if you didn't really four. know valor is not 128 yeah, a qualification game as well for the player valor so, 128 tick is like your isp like, telling you you can get up had. to speeds of like, like one uh, like a thousand up and a thousand down 
this roster. Valorant victory actually, actually averages out to 102. Major in and out, yes. boxing in and out. Because uh, it's dynamic, if you did not know. About. But, um, yeah, they make it to the playoffs of the Major. That would be a monumental achievement for them. Against VP as well. After dumpstering phase 13 one yesterday. <laughs> I don't yes. play Valorant, so it's just information I'm parroting. Yeah, yeah really it's, is. that is actually not true. Valorant does not run consistent 128. You can track it yourself. Oh, shit. In fact, it goes... Oh, shit. Home for, like, business trips, I just remember, like, this... It was, like, the worst chocolate. I was like, this is, like... I'm just seeing if it was them or me. get it fresh in Turkey. Okay. I'm telling you, it's super underrated. All right. Take your word for it. Round 10. A few more rounds to go. How does it work? Valorant can go up to 120 tick, and it will if everything is perfect. But with how much shit happens in the game, there's literally no feasible way to actually do that. Just trying to bait out a reaction. Well, now they'll things, never yeah, tell you that for marketing purposes, but yeah, yeah it's dynamic. Utility, try and see if it so it can, it'll sort of drop, so that way it can basically do more things yeah. once it's popping off, and then it'll things, go back up we'll again. <laughs> they probably would if they had, but it's only Henny here with a pistol. But a lot of people go around parroting like what you said, and it's just like, bro, you have no idea. Usually when somebody has oh, no. that opinion, I'm like, all right, well, Maybe like in my head, I'm hitting the mute button, you know? With a Molotov in HE and, do some damage. No waves, and I'm not even saying one's well. better or worse. I'm just saying like, when people say that, that shit, it's I mean, like, bro, you don't, I can't even have a discussion right. with you because you don't He's actually know what you're talking that about. One, but uh, getting shot at the back, trying to rotate on over by Frozen. Not exactly ideal. All right, decent. Coming in from the side with a strong kill. Two versus three. Technically, still could be done. Uh. Hits right down front of decent, so surely you picked that up. Yeah. There we go. Molotov in the back, some spam on top. Broke he is taking a bit of damage, but he's <laughs> it's not gonna make a difference. That would have been a cool way to maybe well, get Cody, a kill, it's but, a hero um, shooter. It's inherently it's phase at seven rounds. It is a hero shooter. They're actually doing it. They're actually waking up. I don't know what caused it's a hero it. shooter with 1.6 mechanics dig into this we need to find out yeah we're what on the was it that brought them back we don't get them imagine oh, that wow. you got a bunch of professional x 1.6 players that became coders and you they created 1.6 with abilities but yeah Seven we all saw it didn't say it's bad by the way i'm just saying like, like that's absolutely fine though. that's they just literally what it is this. tomorrow's a new day uh, yeah tomorrow's a new day and hopefully you just it's gonna be some hard conversations. But if 1.6 had abilities, though, I did. They How literally you made. Can you, if you think about it, Valor's literally just Warcraft much, mod. Much in this. It's just 1.6 Warcraft up, yeah, mod. Ten to four. So you know, there's a couple of things <laughs> here. I mean, that's not too bad. <laughs> and let me just say this: so I love Warcraft mod in 1.6 and in Story, so I do not care. Like that is not an insult. If anything, I'm complimenting the game. Looks like they are expecting aggression, so they got Brokey, yeah. Hey. Set up with a scope pointed towards the middle. And the people on the A side. Right, we'll ever stop fighting Valve shit. Waiting. Palace, waiting no, that's. Bottom of ramp. Okay. Riot, as a Pretty company, has perfected right the ability to take other people's ideas and repackaging them mad pushes here, to become more accessible to a broader like, audience. You wanted to go by lowering the, the skill ceiling by not CT much, side. but increasing the accessibility of the game tremendously. Smoke up that is their bread and butter. Jungle or top connector. Uh -uh. Thrown all the way from across the map. Like that is absolutely what they, like they, dude, the they are on. so good at that. Looks like they're gonna be an A finish here. So, an ultimate round of his first half and his Imperial. Oh. Like that's Needed not a bad thing either, Chad. Yeah, that's a, that's opening kill takes down fucking that's good, Carrier. man. And it's Henny to chime in for the second. You can make well. a game so more accessible to people without completely ruining roots. the skill ceiling. That's towards a connector. There's still a, that's a good thing to, to be able to do. Sandwich that they can take a bite out of this defense. Flash goes over. Players in the corner completely flashed. That's no way removed. And Rob's now starting to show some form. It was MIA on the second map. Couldn't really get going, but now the bomb planted. Brokey in position. Oh, the position though not ideal and Rops will go down Brokey pulls one back and we'll see if he can keep things going yeah that was a bit ugly <laughs> that wasn't Phelps didn't even need to peek him shooting for the side of the box frozen here I'd have also perfected an unsafe workplace environment let's not forget kit as well I don't think he can do anything even if he gets the you next and kill, I want to fucking work on video defused. games and I realize well the entire industry is trash a much needed round they had to win this one they can't wait to go to for my unsafe 
Seven five work environment right to go work at a great company like Blizzard top, Activision you know, aware. Uh, or Epic than, uh, nine Fuck. To three. True. Oh, that was brutal from Phelps. Found the awful brokey there towards Sandwich. React harder. I'll react when Imperial wins this round. Final round of this first half. Eight four. Because both these teams are blue balling five. me in every direction. Time will tell. Double up set up for Vinny and Henny here. The latter of which in towards the window. You'd assume Vinny's in towards the B apartment, setting up a turret, and indeed that's where he is. Looking towards that underpass right now. He's actually got a nice aggressive angle. Means he can just have one player. Essentially in towards B. Ton of time to call for the rotations. Phelps can be a little bit more mm. aggressive towards short here. Needs to be careful though. And he's been spotted. Rain knows he's trying to get himself in towards the ladder. Oh goodness Jesus gracious me. Vinny has been absolutely destroyed That's, in the apartment. Dude. And now Rain realizes this could be one player oh, here. Damn. He heard him towards short and sniffs him out. Beautiful round. This is a this is a phase round, Anders. These this, are the sort yeah, of plays we expect clean to as see. Fuck. You're absolutely right. If you're a phase fan watching this. You must be Flam thinking AK finally oh. something that looks like something I can actually recognize as phase. Vinny got rocked in the bottom of the hallway. Then uh, you, there's no response to that. Penny going to be found as well. An eight-four finish of the first half here. Phase showing signs of life. They might have been cannibalizing each other to try and stay alive in some of the previous maps but finally there is something actually working out for them well balance i was just they talking about games in general i wasn't really Imperial talking about how they run Asia. scenes and stuff like that and keep their own dreams yeah like thanks for 10 month primer Rosa. thank you jet thanks yeah, for your 40 like month recent thank you here. I, we saw zero rounds like this on anubis from them absolutely nothing like this i could bring back an old csgo org which it's one would it be here. It was very nice round, especially that shot from Frozen uh, in towards the B apartment. Absolutely yeah. wrecking. Young Vinny up there. Eight to four. Probably it's like a done deal. Uh, they move it to the CT side now. Just the, the more favored. Really piss off everybody that has a Titan sticker when they, they qualify pistol, again. Which they have done in every single outing so far. They are five for five in pistols in this series. It'd be and hilarious to see all the six. skin bros lose their fucking mind when another Titan Carrigan sticker exists. The smoke and diffuse kits. Brokey, aggressive top and middle. Is Titan still in the esports space? No, Titan overpaid for Scream connector. and then went bankrupt. First interaction here. And then died. The cleanest, but a bit of damage inflicted, especially towards Vinny, and no way. So many people, four people in the middle of a phase. Got to be careful. There's one okay. head popped at the top of mid, and they kind of get the message now. They're like, all right. Yeah, I might have to run in because control here. Maybe back in towards an A play. They've got a player towards the end of. I ever play against Team Palace. 3D? No, I used to it's watch them. I started in Source. One minute 15 on the clock. In terms of utility, nothing left. So Imperial did drop a smoke towards the connector, but I don't think they can really do much with it now. Come on, Imperial. Pull this shit they back. They also had a Molotov, and I think... At least make it interesting. Well, Let's go. So Come on. Some of the utility that they want to bring into the round is... Come on. Not for nothing at the moment. Smoke and a kid still on Kerrigan. So they even have that late round potential to. I don't think people realize how his stream, in good stream was in his prime. I think, I think, you, I think a lot of people lot of romanticize how good stream was at his time, and he was never worth that amount of money or even close to it. Sneaking through the middle. 35 seconds now, just about to be frozen. Pretty to watch. Tags up Vinny. Don't but in practicality, man. They're slowing them down. They've started to push up the connector. Towards the Rops and Brokey. Oh, <laughs> People romanticize a lot of players and their skill and their ability based on how nice okay. it looks when they get killed. If that doesn't inspire you, Rops, I don't know what will. I don't Let's blame them, but... Stage. Can't quite deny it. Some damage done. It's a five. Well, four versus three now. Vinny will pull one back. Remember, FaZe have won every single pistol round thus far across the three maps, but now starting to shrink a little bit. Decent finding them. Picking them off one by one, and it's a beautiful finish. Talk about a decent go. play. He steps up and goes decent. above and beyond pretty decent. just when uh, Imperial needed uh, the most. Uh, Look at Henny. Uh, can't believe it. Uh, they needed that. They did. That was sick. The first pistol round that they pick up just as they're about to get knocked out of the major. Even after this shot, like, I'm sorry, like, Rob can't even believe and they still don't win the round. Essentially a five on three. Then Phelps and Decent just go ham. 
And CT spawn, everyone rotates into that cross set. Which roster would I bring back in their prime? Now. Easy, that one's so easy. The plow. Again, will they go out in the elimination stage of the, the tournament? The plow, so dude. Go for now. Eight six locked in. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Just because they had one good half where there were some rounds where you started to say, okay, that's good. It obviously doesn't erase the entire atmosphere that we're all living in at the moment. Round number 14. Should be Grand Slam Liquid? Holy. The, dude, that's like the, that's literally Three the NA version of the plow. AKs. Like actually the more dominant so actually, but stay still. Stay grouped up here and just don't let him steal an AK especially away. Make sure you go as a team. Vinny's checking out this part of the map and finding it very empty. They're going to find the A bomb site just as vacant. Snorlax, thanks for the five month primer. Thank you. And the B stack is well for nothing at the moment. No one's showing up. Yeah, uh -uh. just going through the motions here. Job done, Imperial. Very clean round. Not too much to report, I'm afraid. Gonna be 8 6. They're gonna have a ton of cash, but FaZe will have rifles going into the next round. They took. Zero investment. Oh, that was a Rob's 5-7. I missed that. He does get a edge off for his troubles. Pays off $300 of the 500 debt he was in, purchasing that gun. Damn, and maybe a kill here, but... I hate when my shoulder gets the mark. fucked gonna up. Be frozen, taken out. Imperial feeling it now. That pistol has revitalized the squad. Closes the gap very quickly. All of a sudden, I like left like shoulder, do dude. This. Oh. Let's have a look at this first buy, though. Should be M4s pretty much across the board. All the balls. You know what's worse is when it's on your left side, dude, and you get the, you know, they lose this round phase. You're where I'm at, you're like, dude, am I, have a, am I gonna to fucking die? On their CT side, right? It's they like up, up here, and like, I can clearly feel it stretch. And they went on a bit of a lost streak, and it just hard to recover from with the economy on the CT side. Well, here we go. Don't want to be there. First gun round, an important one. Oh, shit. We are gonna see five players on the B side of the map, going through the underpass, though, focusing on that mid-control, similar to what we saw from FaZe. Good flashbangs, and it's going to be Vinny to open things up. Karakin answers back, though. I think they've walked past Everything when you're above 30 is that? Middle. Yeah, I feel like yeah, this is the end. he's got an absolute end. freebie. Henny will beat him to the punch, though. Opening frags. A man advantage in favor of Imperial. Karakin, known as the beat bombside anchor. Spots one. Should be a guaranteed kill on the first, and he's got damage from a teammate, Brokey. They'll snatch back the lead, and... Oh, Karakin. Wasn't ready for the duel. It's now a one versus one. They know oh, exactly what Brokey is. Tough to win that B side, but he's... Big one, big one. This is... Well, this is gonna run straight for it. You get the bomb planted. He may be Brokey. At least knows Ooh. where he is. Doesn't hurt any footsteps. Nah, Not he lost sure timing. He's jumped away, but we can tell. Yeah, he's Belt's lost he's timing. He's crouched back there. Brokey started to... Walk up on top. He can't Chat. see him just yet. He's my just tip of the day to you, okay? And Broke will have to make some noise jumping down. So I'll now Phelps has the advantage. And he just yep. crouched in, waiting the whole time. Ready for my tip of the day, Chat? It's a easy way to win that clutch, but it when has you a guys, huge When you guys become oh, world-class players, and you're playing against Brazilian teams, okay? Phelps. Nice positional control. Remember this. Brazilians don't move is in. in the post Broke on the other side of the map. Molotov off the key choke point. Funnel him. Through the connector, you can focus. Gimpy, thanks for the 54 month like recent thank you. Technical of it. Hold the bomb site. Wait for the I'm serious. Cues. They Brokey watched gave him when he Cold Zera. Didn't have to not even to kidding. With. They watched Cold Zera in his in prime. They all grew up watching him. More Imperial all right. on that T side. And he won so many clutches by gap. just sitting Close on the bomb. Time you starting to show some signs. And I'm telling you right now, dude, you just remember this cool. and then we'll just simply observe and you will see. If it is a tense situation, and it is a Brazilian player, the amount of times they will just sit on the bomb is incredibly high. Step into the line of sight from Catwalk for Carrigan was so unfortunate, because if that doesn't happen, I think they're fine. If they're not going to have any problem winning the round, but he just managed to take one step further back than he mm -hmm. needed to. All right, all right, all right. And I'm and I'm Marshall telling by. you, a cold zero just inspired yeah, that generation for I fucking really years. Cannot, I don't think there have been any deal headshots of the major so far, Henry. I think it's been zero. <laughs> Zero deagle Yeah, I don't think anyone. What up, Tony? Right. Maybe it's like a bug in the game no one's realized yet. Like, they just can't actually do it. Yeah, this patch broke the deagle. Stick 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 Stick
Just no. Yeah. Um, yeah. When Mythic go to so Major fine. Tell Trust, so I'm trying, Rancher. I've been stepping up mine personally. So, smoke and run away. Rancher thanks to three month primary. The whole team's playing pretty well. Could be 8 8. Phase were in cruise control. Felt like they managed to shake off their demons. Get themselves focused for the third and final map in the one two uh, bracket. I think the Elimination levels are pretty good right now, right? Before this major effort started, they're in a conversation to lift the trophy. I think the levels are good. The likes of Vitality, G2, Spirit. Right now, oh, it's a little bit shaky, to say the very least. This is going to be tied up, almost certainly. But we have got Rain tucked in towards the A ramp. Problem is, he'd need a hell of a flashbang or some sort of setup to really do much more yep. than one kill. Uh, no flashbang, so <laughs> he is on his own on an island. So, yeah, it's good for one, maybe. He's going to have to turn away from that. And presumably, there's the first, and you get traded out. That is close, though. I mean, it could have worked out. Brokey's done a lot of damage onto No Way. They're going to blow up in the smoke and try and put some pressure on the last three months. Let's Let's practice. But still, with the bomb planted, you would assume that Imperial are going to be able to fade away from this battle and just wait it out. There's no kit in play, obviously, on the face side. They don't have the money for it. It's a pretty quick kill, though, taking down Vinny. And with mm -hmm. Decent also tagged up, Penny has the AWP. Oh, oh, oh what a it's shot. Right. It's right back on. Brokey's found a headshot. It's all on Decent. Get that defuse going right now and put the pressure on. Yeah, don't fake it. Just one has to go for it. The rest are holding. I don't know why they're faffing about so much. Just go for it. Bro's <laughs> getting that one. Why did they double tap the bomb that many times? That's so risky. FaZe hey. will win the round, but Do my god. Do you think God, Royal Arena is going to be empty on account well of no Astralis? Uh, a no. Really nice sequence there with the I think Majors attract a much larger international audience of people well. going. And sure. Got a bit dicey on the DP situation, but once they worked it out, the round is won. They are back to their winning this ways. This is not, you know, Blast, who's a Danish, you know, base company, company well. along really with being nice in London, in towards the hosting an event now. consistently in one place, always building up Astralis storyline. They're going to go Desert Eagle. You know what I mean? No it's, it's not the same. Anders. So this is a pretty much eco round as FaZe are gunning for double digits. Just because we've been criticizing FaZe so much, I mean, that's probably a round you should criticize Imperial for, right? If you want to knock FaZe out here, that's a round you probably you know, need to win like every single time. People flame the Rio crowd, but to me, uh, man, that Danish Royal Arena crowd was by far the worst. Of damage behind that I will not forget we'll that ever. Try and escape. Another model of land Rio crowd was one. outside. This Rio crowd was literally outside at a festival, enjoying the games outside instead of inside. In the, the Danish fans literally left. Shit was fucking empty for the finals. It was nine. downright embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. It's on Phelps. See what he can do with <sighs> it. Well, not really much. Repelled. Remember, thanks for the 16 month reset. Thank you. Seems like this round is working out well for FaZe early on. Rain, look at this forward position. That's so aggressive. Like, I haven't seen many CTs. It's like one thing to like, up there. you know, have a different and better experience now outside than towards. inside and just like wanting to go do that. Bomb sites. It's a whole other broken. thing just to be like, and nah. Get past that, there's still Kerrigan left. My team's out here. Fuck this. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. First obstacle has been overcome, but falling a bit short on the second one. Carrigan, that's so low because Robs did so much damage earlier. But Carrigan is able to do quite a good job. No way. Denying oh, even the bomb. Plant. Eagle. Okay. Ghost Dragon with a 23 month primer. You thank you. Brambo with a 16 month Easy recent. Thank it. you. Third and final time out here for Imperial. Mm -mm. Themselves primed and ready. For the closing stages of this best of three is the one two bracket. I mean, Katowice was good. A long, what do you mean? long old series here. Third map is going the distance. Imperial best shows crowd. Character. I mean, in terms of peak, some guts in the second half to the make best it a very crowd of game, but losing was the, the legend has made things was the small crowd so in Brazil. Carrigan. The group stages name. of Rio, where we no. had a small crowd there, was actually it's my favorite. Today, they have looked very. That was actually my favorite. Not the mistakes, most, but they are like it was just, it was just good. Important thing is they get the win today. Yeah. Really Boston was crazy. Also, though, AK's I want to say like Boston's Frozen. crowd. I don't. It, good stage, some of good that position, comes into like need, you know who does good. it best engineering wise, yeah, and I would imagine the E League imperial. with who and owned them. Yeah, they they mic'd up the crowd by far the best. 25 damage to no way. He's going to force him into the fight. He's already low. But Rain unable to connect the dots or the grenades. Oh, but they're so focused. 
tunnel visioned, hoping to hunt down rain. And it gives Frozen what is basically a free kill in that corner. That's pretty good. Molotov Antwerp was good, yeah. I was burning him, but he's gonna I don't know, most of the CS anyway, crowds are me. actually pretty good. They don't know if he's escaped that, right I think now. that's why the bad ones somehow, stick out so, so much in our they mind. They have to check it anyway. Four versus four. The bomb making its way up the ramp. Bit of a flash. Which doesn't even help out Rain. He's still dead, but Frozen should be winning this fight. That's a nice one. Back into a three on three. Oh, and this is the bomb. If they Why do they make them Henny, tape their drinks? The players don't Imperial. tape it. The event they does. No free advertising. In this corner, and they are going to be able to. It's not about it's hiding what they're drinking. Up. It's just not about How letting people promote for free. They had all the opening advantages. Check him in one second. Tested towards the window. Can't quite connect the dots on the spray. So he knows so I just, at least I gotta two use players. The so he's getting boosted search. up. Got a transition around towards the connector and to his certain death. Nice job from Vinny. It looks like this round is done. 10 to 8 as Brokey will be towards short. Bomb's coming out of Palace. Gets the chance he can find maybe two kills. Rushes the shot. Any chance he had of winning the round, Anders, is now being completely diminished and removed. Yeah, and just to you know, play the what if game, if they hadn't lost to the scout in the, in the other round, this would have been tying up the game at 9 9 instead of it being 10 8. So there was so much riding on that one round. It's kind of crazy to think about what an impact it would have had. Broki does have a smoke and a kit. I'm just going to point it out because historically on this map, there have been some really huge last second defuses happening. So it can be done if you slip up. Start, say someone, let's say someone started the exit, you know, maybe two or three seconds ago and they run right into Broki. He gets the kill, throws the smoke and runs and like it, it's been done before. Not this, um, not this time. That's, I guess, good news for Imperial. Terrorists win. Okay. Eight to ten. They're still keeping the dream alive. Oh, yeah. This dream could turn into a nightmare of a phase if they keep it going. And it was looking like a pretty convincing round. It was uh, Frozen and Rain working together, getting all those kills at the A ramp. But then, yeah, it all started to fall apart very quickly. Vinny with some nice shots. Carrigan, he knew they were there. I'm not sure that was the challenge he was really looking for. No. I think he doesn't think so a... either. <laughs> I mean... This has been a, a hard-fought game for Imperial, and they, I would say they're not really showing signs of capitulation, right? No. They're, they're still, like, they're fired up. Yeah. They're keeping their eyes on the prize. They don't look dejected. They know this is their absolute last chance in this first ever CS2 Major. They've done very well to make the round of 16. No one expected them to be here. Yeah. And now, looking down the barrel, going home in the elimination stage but now i mean this is the round and if they can win this one the money will be in a questionable spot and they're going for a b play by the looks of things here frozen boosted up towards short need to be careful will be carrigan who often gets focused and targeted on mirage that's true actually that does happen i feel like if he's maybe the weak link maybe you can try and bend him out of shape 50 seconds. Not showing any presence anywhere else on the map is risky for Imperial, so but they still know. The smoke connector uh, Molotov the vent. So is this going to be a B commitment or just trying to lock the CTs in this side of the map? Carrigan suggesting to play in towards the van and providing himself a bit of cover as well. Frozen, the opening kill. They're going to have to commit now, Anders. 25 seconds. Rops will find a second. Frozen doing God's work out there. And it looks like it's enough. Carrigan has spot another play towards the palace and he's making a bit of a meal of it. Does enough damage to secure the round, I would say. And indeed, no bomb being planted. And we've got an 11th round for phase here. But three players surviving. A little bit underwhelming there from Imperial. Didn't really breach the bomb site whatsoever. Like you said, didn't really show enough elsewhere on the map to pull those players away. They were very well established in the B bomb site. And now they're in a lot of trouble. $2,100 on a couple of these players. It looks like they're going to force by. Elimination points up next. And FaZe have got some open runway here. Are they fully investing? You might as well buy, Phelps. If everyone else is... Oh, okay. They're not going to refund. Okay. They're going to take just a hero AK that's been removed. And uh, yeah, I guess this is going to be series points. Not really much they can do now. The only player had a Kevlar. He's gone down. They were considering of the idea of investing a bit more, but it's essentially an eco at this stage. And FaZe can't really imagine a world where they give this one up. 
some truly wacky rounds. That last one, very, very late. Three man stacked towards the B bomb side, and they just could not break their way through. Small book up again, so yeah, you're going to be wasted. If you throw that, Molotov is not worth it. Rain hanging around down in the dark position. They have one Molotov, so if they throw it just to clear nice out one. the upper part of the deck here, Coffee that's not going to really bother Rain that much. And they don't have a second one to get rid of Rain, so this could be very troublesome. Roki in the back, they don't have a smoke to get rid of him. Again, that's a traditional way to displace that AWP range. No smoke, just a flash. It is not enough to take get rid of Brokey. Okay, good Molotov. At least it puts Rain in a little bit of a harder position, but it doesn't matter. They don't check it. He's going to get the kill. They're going to wipe them out. Phase Damn. up to 12, and one round away from knocking Damn, out Damn, Imperial. No, I'm not. And more importantly uh, for them, staying Astro, alive thanks for the three and month reset. Thank you. Ghost Dragon with 23 month primer. Yeah, thank you. Been the, the best and Bram, thanks for the 16 month reset. Thank like you. They've got the job done. It's not over yet. They're not out of the woods, of course. Imperial, very skilled team. They can make it work. They took this calculated risk to take the full eco, allow it to get to series point. And you Checked can see, it. even with that in mind, you keep that up, Trace. So I'll start fucking pulling up them. Dak Prescott's to fucking here. stats and playoffs. I would say an execution is required. And we did talk about them. I'll check that on stream too. Towards the B side potentially, and it's going to be the opening kill for Brokey. Can't get the double, but uh, it's Imperial that certainly can. No way. Big spray down towards the underpass. We're not done here just yet. Frozen taking matters into his own hands. Wants to close this series right here, right now. Detects a player towards the mid box as well. Ready for the swing. Doesn't quite connect though. Carrigan. This is a nice play. To the mm. cowering in the back of the site. Let's get some information. Let's close it out. Yeah, there's, there, again, it feels like this whole story has just been about FaZe trying to remember what kind of a team they are and how good they could be. And finally, here on the third map, towards the end of it, they actually are started to come alive. They've gone through, they don't to find a free kill. He's still in a good position. This Walking might get him out of combat. going to be in a long Ooh. flank. It does mean the rest of FaZe has oh. to stay alive for the flank to actually make sense. Shadow is showing. Rain knows a little bit of a pre-fire. Good return from Vinny. But again, they've got that ace up the mm. sleeve and Kerrigan walking through. Yeah. You say that, it might not matter. He's a little bit late. Why to the did party. Frozen give that up? He could catch the bomb. Oh, but why? Okay, well, hold on. And here we go. Kerrigan, Whoa. can he close things out? He absolutely Kerrigan. can. A captain's performance to seal the deal. Wasn't their best showing, Anders, but all that really matters is they get it across the line. That's yes. all anyone will remember in the history books. They got through today. One of the most abysmal showings they've probably had on Anubis ever uh, in the previous map. But you can see it smiles all around. I still think this was a very impressive major campaign from Imperial. It was. Nothing Friendly reminder chat, I just want to show you guys something before I know VP is playing right now, but I just want you guys to see who FaZe or Imperial had to play. I want you to look at this list. VP, Spirit, Vitality, FaZe. It's a tough draw, man. Tough draw. Tough fucking draw. Like, nice try. I mean... That, that, that is a round to be proud of from Bacardia. After the way it started, he's the one to retrieve the bomb safely. He's the one to not rush into the site. Think it on his toes, and this is great from Calyx. It breaks open the site. Bacardia not rushing, aware of the situation, and then the fact that he's calling the mollies there, the double swing, walks it out of his chair, just one more round. VP, the buy is broken. I'm just saying, considering like where I had Imperial before this major, very impressive team. Tarez has found an opening. Flit tried his luck at something aggressive. He's been punished. Four frags away from Eternal Fire making history for Turkey. This is the 19th round, our last. Taurus has given him a way in. See, so they're under pressure. Using everything in the kitchen sink to keep themselves alive towards the bottom of Banana. Another James stack, this time three towards B. Just one of Norbert over towards the A site. A minute on the clock. How does Magic call them into the finish? 19 kills for the leader. Been doing this for an awfully long time. Yeah, this is 2 1 game, yeah. Taurus spots it out on the jiggle. Not looking to block. The fight's going to keep coming their way. It's match of the entry fragger. Now he's now trying to have a little look ahead of the smoke. Fame. He'll drive by on the MP9. 
30 seconds though. Oh, this is masterful. The fact they are searching over towards A, there's still a chance to drop back. There's still an opportunity. That's an increased Calyx variance in BO1s, number 12. And now, definitely increased variance. So. Trying to sell it. The fact that there's Hold two on, of them here. It's it it too late for that. Cesares down to James. He's in the right spot, but they need the headshot. It's Madger and Woxic. They've cleared it out. Maybe overlooking Mir. Maybe overlooking Mir. One hell of a double kill. Extends the round. Extends play. There's nothing here for Eternal Fire. Unless they could find Mir. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. Connects. Oh, oh there was a chance. Holy. But Mir extends play. A miraculous triple kill. He's been quiet all game long, but Virtus Pro have been given another chance at life. And that is a Virtus Pro classic. Go back and watch their games. Mia, this time the hero. They've done that before with Flit. <laughs> that sleeper agent in the back of the site. New box to deliver around Astro, victory thanks for the three and month keep them alive. Oh my God, Calyx, he actually got there in time. I couldn't believe how close he was. He was he at the end of holes time. at about 22 seconds. I can't believe it. Wakadia oh. AK, the rest Glocks at a Deagle for Calyx. So Wakadia staying alive in the previous gets to bring them a rifle through. I thought they were going to search A with the uh, ability to seesaw back, but it was a fake A. Faking out JM, he sticks to his guns, too, literally. Yeah, too late for a fake in that sense because you've already got your boots planted on B. Well, you need some damage now with this save to AK. You can see right now, Virtus Pro, Famous, MP9, still doing it tough as Wakadia announces his presence up short, applying a lot of pressure, the jump spot. Every trick in the book from Norbert now, just to retain information and space. Now he lobs out some util. The volley, perfect. Wakadia has to go wide. So committed, he's gonna surely get run down. Still hits the headshot, takes down Norbert, Jame to trade. Can't get the gun back. Swing through, he spots a lot of bodies there towards short. Another incendiary from Mir. At least the AK has been recovered by Zintares. If they cut noise, it might force those rotates back. Mm. Yeah, and Matt just going to try and sell this. In an ideal world, Flit joins the B mm. defender. If the AK was looking. Oh, Shadow. Opportunity. And a oh. headshot. Calyx's Deeg has done something dirty. Oh, no. Now Mir can be overrun here. If they find oh, him, it's no, not. And they oh, have Zintares no. with the frag. Eternal fire with one rifle, and now Madja cowering. Flitz found Calyx, but they're going to overlook this. It's only a Glock, though. It's not the weapon. It's not the weapon. Still finds fame. It's Flit up against it. Where's the bomb? Need to get it down. Nine seconds. Centaurus to plant. Madja doesn't have a weapon to cover, but they're getting the bomb down. Eternal fire. Is this really the final round? Is He's this really for them to try to three, two, one him. Is this really history for Turkey? Knew it. Yes, well done. EF is in the playoffs. A beautiful well done. Dream map affair, and look what Man, I regret not them. putting them in. The expression of emotion. Uh, I've been high on, on their stock, but not enough to put them in Turkey playoffs. In the top eight. Well done to them, dude. Finally, they deserve it. They have made it. They are here, and they are playing. They deserve it so fucking no much. They've been playing strike. well, dude. Eternal Fire are legit, and what a way to end it. Bomb well, zero three Johnny's EF. Shut the fuck up, dude. I still can't believe people actually were putting that shit or thought that I did that. The Copenhagen <laughs> crowd. Yes, All right. it's like a self-report on your own uh, IQ, though. Fire, wow. able to overcome a Virtus Pro team and become the first team from the nation uh, to make it into the final eight <laughs> of the major. Uh, guys, uh, it, it was actually a really, really good performance by them here. Yeah, it was. It was good Counter Strike. It was yes. proper Counter Strike. Blur, you've been saying it time and time again, both on the desk, but also in the green room. Well, that kind of fucks my pickums a bit. Chat, you're not, I'm not gonna lie. A team who's coming out of nowhere and upsetting a team like VP. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at a one hit wonder. Let this me listen to them yap while I look at what's going on here. During IM Kerovice, where they played some beautiful Counter Strike. Okay, during Navi, the please well, beat Cloud9 today. Draw, but they made it here to the major, please. and they've been playing better and better and better. I said coming into this game, Let's they've see. been looking great in the best of ones. They're yet to do it in the best of three, but today that, that was a valiant points. effort. That was a great performance, and it was a playoff worthy performance coming out of you. And then, especially when you're going up against Virtus Pro, the gatekeepers of TO1. I'd be guaranteed five. One demon you if have G2 to and Hero take don't get upset and Navi yourself. wins, they did it, right? I'm done. And they did it in Navi, a please where win. It wasn't like VP, you know, please. had rough round. Sure, the final round losing just Glocks and Deagle comes to mind, but they made VP look flustered. They made VP run out of ideas. And we're talking about Inferno. We're prefacing our game.
placing VP. We're gonna slow it down. Hardboard with a tier annoy. three. 47 month reset. Thank and you, dude. Appreciate you. The CT side of Eternal Far from being 0 4 down, mm. and the remaining rounds were just a you don't have rock pick in CT side economy, utility economy, I utility not. management. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Who did I throw in there? Let me see. Reading. And once it got to the T side, once it won the pistol, you just knew it was gonna happen. You know, it, it feels it felt Real inevitable quick. for Eternal Fire. And man, dude, listen, just listening to Major immediately sobbing from joy. Oh, let me see. Special. Well, I mean, also as well, we talked about it, you know, the leadership performance, the amount of emotion. Hold on, I'm literally lady, using this guy's tweet to, to not issue. open the game. Was, you know, you've got tilters, you've got star players. Oh, that's right, because they're mouse. That's right. That's right. Personalities might want to get involved Shit. with the calls themselves. Navi, can you, you know, just win today? My God. Like Snappy said, it's 80% off the server being an IGL. So, Navi, please so just win. Relief. I imagine of from course. him more than If Navi anything. wins, I'm and good. Uh, he's gonna have Not some because time of heroic, to really let it so but because of this. Achieved. And he should, and, and you said it right here, achieve. If Navi you know, wins, I'm good. Eternal Fire achieved qualifying for the playoff at the major. That in itself is a massive result, not only for EF, but for Turkey. If Navi lose, as a whole. am I out? Major. Look uh, at the scoreboard right here on Inferno. We talked about his calling. We talked about the CT no. side. We talked about the T side no, as well. No, if Navi this lose, up being the I have rated player two over the chances to It's your boy, Matja. Yep. Arguably the weakest player on the server, mechanically speaking. We used that argument a couple of times. Today, tonight, he played the best Counter Strike he's ever played as an individual at the most important moment he's ever yeah. played Counter Strike in his very long career. Of course, it's only fitting that he gets to crown off, you know, such a beautiful individual performance by booking a spot at the playoffs. Cool to see Major guy, playing so well individually, man. If, if you're imagining him as, as as a leader, you know, in some in some medieval battle, he's not standing behind the lines. He's in the front leading by charge. I'm looking at a vote go game and how it was very back and forth and he was able to pull off this miraculous games coming in and inferno he stood and delivered and he called a masterclass game yeah well parla is actually with the man of the moment right now can't wait to hear what he's got to say richard you are absolutely correct major congratulations you and eternal fire are going through to the playoffs and you'll be playing in the royal arena here at the pgl cs2 major copenhagen my friend how does that feel how does that sound <laughs> Obviously, I feel very happy and also um, very tired. Uh, but I'm so happy that I don't find words to describe it. Really. Major, you were our standout player for the series. You had a fantastic best of three. What was going on with you on an individual level? Why were you firing off on all cylinders? Like, to be honest with you, Bala, like, I think after the first map, I feel like my teammate was not in good shape today. So after that, I said to myself, uh, bro, you have to do it. You have to show a good example to your teammate. You have to be going front, take your entry kill. You have to show even the energy. I cry like sometimes, like I give everything, I cry. I, I, don't, know, I don't have words, but I'm very happy that everything worked for us today. I'm very proud of my guys. And today, yeah, an old man came and do some magic tricks. But <laughs> I wanted to touch upon that major because we were speaking about it before we went live <coughs> with the interview. You've had mm. a long career in Counter Strike, and it's going to become a soundbite. Now but at this point, after wholesome. many many years, perhaps you and finally the squad you're on are peaking at the same time. Do you feel the same? Yeah, I never give up. Like I have a long career, like you say, I'm playing one point six things a very long time, like uh, doing LAN tournaments. So, but I was never in the top. Always in the T1, T T2, T1. Uh, today, at this age, I'm doing my best uh, peak of my career. I never give up. I always try hard. I always work hard. Like uh, I wake up seven this morning. I watch five maps for them. Like I was, I knew everything on all the map. Like I say to myself, if I need to do it today, it's today. Like I don't want to have regrets. I give everything. I'm very happy that I win. Thank you for your support, guys. We, like we feel that. All, all around the world, you keep sending some message and you as, uh, there is a lot of fans. Thank you very much. I hope you're happy and now the goal is maybe to do, to win it maybe. That would be, to say it, but we will do our best uh, and that's all. That would be my final question. Major, how far do you think you and Eternal Fire can go in playoffs in the Royal Arena here in Copenhagen for the first Counter-Strike 2 Major? Guys, I don't know. I don't want to say anything, but my philosophy is jinx. always doing everything, giving everything, <laughs> just try to win, always thinking winning, winning, winning. 
every time tomorrow we're going to go to the server and this, the only objective will be winning, uh, nothing else. So obviously the objective is winning, but we'll give our best and that's all. Major, such a pleasure well to done. speak to you. Congratulations once again. If w. you'd like to say anything to the fans out there, the Turkish fans, I know you've already addressed them a bit, but now's the time to do so one last time. Yeah, uh, first of all, in English, thank you for all the messages of all the world and for Turkish community, Beyler. Yani size mutlu edebildiysek, biz de çok mutluyuz. Teşekkür ederim destek için, size seviyorum. Ceren, unutmayın, Ceren çocuklarımızı öp, çok özledim size. Bu da galiyet sizin için. Teşekkürler beyler, sağ ol. Sağ ol. Richard, and the desk, back to you. Listen, that's my in-game leader. If you yeah. don't want to run through a brick wall for that fella, yeah. you have got no soul. And he didn't have to. You didn't have to run through a brick wall. You ran through the gate that was being kept by Virtus Pro, kicked it in, smashed it. Totally thanks to Jim Palmer. Thank you. Can't be happy. I'm, I'm actually a little slightly teary. Yeah, up that. yeah. Man, you could see how much it meant to him. How much? How long? You know, in the wilderness, and then building this team together around him, and finally deciding in the middle of last year, no more changes. This is it. This is the formula we've found this and this is what we're going to be doing to try and make it but, all the way to the major and they've done it and i like what i wear those right suits only time i wore a suit was for my wedding yeah, yeah, but, but not, not and, any of that though and i no. hope people at home understand this because there's been a lot of talk we're, we're learning a lot now about the scene there was a documentary that was out the other day from a team where a player got chewed up and people didn't like it we've talked about in-game leaders dodging you know interviews these have all been hot topics in the scene right now and right there you the exhaustion mm. on that man's face at the end. I mean, it's like I say, when when you succeed and the sense of oh, relief Daniel. washes over yes. you, that's how you know you've been putting in the work. And, and it's like he could barely talk at the end. That is absolute masterclass of what you're supposed to be at the highest level. And I just couldn't be happier because what an example to set for everybody. Well, 21 days to two months recent day. Thank you. Appreciate right you. As you said, you know, it's a man who's been under so much pressure. Speaking about how well, he woke up 5 in first the morning watching a lot of games, you know, pumping himself man. up saying that that's today so cool. is the day, you know, I don't want to leave with any the two months, whatsoever. Uh, reset a for the major, that man, is. A man, as I said, who played the best individual Counter-Strike. He's probably done for his entire career. And as we spoke about, it's a man who's been around for a long, long time. Imagine you being 33 years of age you're playing counter-strike against donk who's what 17 18 years of age <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> now <laughs> and now you're playing your best band of counter-strike now your career is peaking as a year of 33 of age you know that's inspirational for a lot of people out there Hell, okay maybe so it's gonna be a mainstream okay, 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 let's 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 it, it says yeah, nine yeah, minutes on crazy, hotv but, but it says say, 15 it's minutes here why counter-strike is the greatest it is the longevity the legacy 100 percent and then it's so fitting in his name his in-game name is monica is major how many are turning into youtube like he's leading by around 1100 and we've been 3500 on Twitch. Well, when things are down, he's the one who's like rallying the we troops. We hit 2K so on well. YouTube yesterday and 6K on Twitch yesterday. Yeah, good. Looking forward to seeing them in so, the arena, guys. Yeah. Thanks so much. We've been We're consistently be hitting seven or eight thousand viewers uh, with that both. Means we will be changing the guard, which is pretty uh, fucking insane. And Moses, uh, when you come back for the next game, which will be Complexity versus Vitality. Like I said, in context, when we were doing Antwerp, I think I peaked at like 4,000. Level it's up pretty your cool, gaming man. space with metal posters from Displates. Hang your Displates in seconds. Pretty fucking Swap cool, man. Whenever you like. Get official like Antwerp art Major from Finals, I think I had like 4K. On a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. All right, chat. We're getting close to the complexity match, so I'm gonna run a thick ad right now. All right. I might run a 90 second right before it goes live, just to really make sure. But I think we're good, so I'm gonna run a thick one right now. The world is changing, but one thing remains the same: victories with one X bet. Nice, Sega. Fuck yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, my sexy chair ad. Christ, really? I was using both yesterday. Orbiter, thanks for the two months. 21 day, thanks for the two months. Cold Lurk, thanks for two months. Thank you. Yeah, what's that? Popular, it's that loud. one has to, yeah, no, it's And this that... is ASON's commercial. But ASON spent and all the money yeah. to make the headphones good. And they got no money left for the commercial. So I'm gonna need you to head to A-Zone-I-O. A-C-E-Z-O-N-E. Yo. Code PGL, 50 euros off. We got some headphones. Got some headphones. It's now or never. Both. You're good, man. Honestly, you're good. Let's see with the 17 month primary. Welcome back, everyone. To if the you get PGL ads and you watch ads, that obviously benefits me. You're just literally being in here. I'm not just blowing here smoke in up your ass. Will it be complexity it helps, I or promise. will it be vitality? My name is Shox, and I'm joined by Moses and by <laughs> Maniac. And I could not have wished for a better desk for this well, particular matchup. And let's be clear, you will both be one of the best teams in the world taking on vitality. It's there there you go. You got to get this up anyway, so you're all good. What I would say is that at the beginning of the event, Satan himself came from hell with to Apex and said, listen, I'm going to make you a deal. You're going to be in 2-1 and you're going to play complexity to make it to the playoffs. Apex would have sold his soul immediately and anybody would. Ah! Yeah, probably. Yes, yes, probably. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, indeed. This is so interesting. I mean, I, I want to just kind of connect it to the context of what we just saw, right? Because Ten minutes? I think what I'm we just walk saw for was five kind more of minutes the and spirit then of get ready for the cold game. The spirit of no matter how long it's going to take you, Do I cold getting you today, to chat? your goals. I don't and know, we're on one and one. Side, we now have a match of players that have had relative success that now need to dig deep for the side of complexity because they were on a high, a two and zero coming in here, Moses and Connor. Come on, that match versus Mouse, that was some of the ugliest CS. Well, I I, I didn't see them play CS, honestly. Yeah, well, Where's we Spud really clapping? Uh, he's been, been in here. They got three rounds in the entire series. Yeah, yeah, they, which in one hand, those are easy wins to kind of forget about and move on from because you do get blown out so much. In my opinion, I don't know. Yeah, you. occasion will come back. You got blown out of quite a lot. You're, in your support, career, you're supporting them for quite well, a while, so you're used to these. Let's, let's paint it like this: If you want to talk oh. about the per perseverance of Turkish Counter Strike over the years, like it, it contrasts what, 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 what TC said as a coach, like yep. there's no perseverance there apparently. Um, and I'm, we're going to touch on that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But obviously, this series is just straight up ugly. And if, yeah, if, if you guys didn't read the interview or hear, but apparently they stopped calming yesterday, which is a very bad sign. The game they had against Heroic, completely different complexity in the server yesterday. Yeah, I agree with you, and I do admit that there is a little bit of a meme and light element to it when you get slapped around so so much it's not a game that's going to uh, frustrate you too much but at the same time i think it's a little bit insidious because what if the game starts badly i think they Vitality? recognize that that was a bad day though at the same that, time oh, yeah, which is we, we are getting blown out once again the glass half like full out of that instead a of half empty slope in front of complexity if things get a little bit hard which they will yeah. eventually they absolutely yeah. will. oh i'm just and watching the Jason, maybe we can bring up that point i know you're thinking about now yeah. then already because there was of course tc being very vocal in uh, uh, a lot of the oh, yeah, the clips we saw on social media, the official media, etc. What was the gist of what he said? Uh, I mean, essentially, he's just saying we, we we can't have a game where players come in and decide to play hard in one round and you know pick and choose which rounds they're going to be 100% focused and 100% of their ability in the rounds, and then you know take some rounds off. And obviously, you get out to a bad start, you win a pistol, you lose the second round. There's frustrations, but as Maniac has said, like you're going to encounter those difficulties. You're at a tournament where the best teams in the world are here. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is actually egregious. Like yep. this has got to be so embarrassing to say. I mean. I'll, I know it's embarrassing to say as a coach is to have to give an interview like that where you're just like, holy shit, like I have to say this out loud at a major right. where we have a chance of qualifying. And it contrasts against the perseverance of a team um, like like Eternal Fire, where they're actually playing not only for themselves, for that bigger vision of Turkish Counter-Strike overall. Complexity is in the mm. same boat. You're yeah. playing for North American Counter-Strike, which has already been, you know, an atrocious embarrassment yeah. at times over the years. And you're supposed to be the standard bearers. And you come into a game, you get punched in the face and you just give up and wave the flag. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the issue for me, right? You, you can't lose to a team like Mouse. Can't be waving the flag, dude. The strongest team out we there. see what happens uh, in history when that happens, safe, you know? For playoffs. But what if you have the, the, the feeling, the impression that you never showed up? But you never really played? Like, how do you deal with it as a team? How do you sit together, have dinner after this game, and you look at each other in the eye and just like, yeah, yeah we kind of messed up. Like, we kind of really didn't play our hand here. We didn't play at all. And you do it in a game right after you had that perseverance and that grit against Heroic to outlast them in two overtimes <laughs> and all the difficulties you had to encounter there. You've already shown that you can do it. That should be a confidence-building win that you're able to build and propel yourself off of, and you lay out an absolute shithole of a game <laughs> the next day. You're not happy Get about him. it, I, and I can see Get it. Him, Moses. Also, Get him. we saw kind of like everything changing after that two and zero Get start, Wait, including you guys see that overtime Wait. win versus heroic. That see, we can do this. See, NA, we are the sole How many miles am I going for? I'm not gonna uh, let you down. Do you think that's now been completely negated? I'm at four and a half, I mean, but I am going to sit down really for this one just so I can mold a bit without falling off my walking I pad. Way, uh, I think I'm going to boot it back up again twice today, though. Maybe we'll go for no, seven or eight. Really hold any um, sort of conclusion from that. To be said, or to be fair, but, uh, but yeah. vitality. Yes. I'm not going to stand here and pretend like they've given them the best performance possible here at the major, and they have behaved like pure champions. Right, next to the five super no, no, chat, no, they, they get the bald eagle sound effects ready. Going to be timid version of vitality. A bunch soon. Yeah, I hope. So, dude. Uh, sort of going nice. towards, towards a better vitality against Imperial, even with a very timid Zywo, and we can address it yes. a little bit down the line. This was a little bit better. Some of the members showed Gabriel just the points they farmer. needed to right. as being a vitality. It was scary though, like even watching some Why of those no closer? Because I'm walking, I'm about games, to. You know, even even in some of those victories, you're watching right. them play, and you're like, you're just seeing weird decisions, yeah, weird mistakes that you normally. The games, are not, the same. The games are not the same. Sure, the Imperial one is much better than Mongols. Yeah, but I, yeah, well, I, they, I, they I, really I hope so. Absolutely, because I remember watching the Mongols game in the green. Room right. with you bad. and we were both like what what's happening this is not vitality you're gonna this power down the walking pad real quick is there quick, more context we could give here or oh uh, well listen i didn't really know if there was going to be public information or not but then extas went out on an interview and said you know i was had a little bit of medical issues here he wasn't feeling too too well um i am personally very careful with that type yeah. of information because i don't want to make it seem like we are already setting down an excuse for a performance not to yeah, happen yeah, i think yeah. it's very insidious you shouldn't be doing that i hope he's feeling better i do think they need him but i also think that the vitality we're looking at right now is supposed to beat complexity with I was 70% with 80% like he's he was never going to be my one factor my one win no. condition I just don't see it that way this isn't that type of matchup for Vitaly or it shouldn't be let me put it that way yeah. so let's highlight uh, a couple of more players across the board we had Zaiwu maybe let's talk about Sphinx a little bit how has he been doing always a vital part to um, Vitality getting any success I yeah. mean he's one player individually that's come into this tournament and looked like he's much the same Sphinx that we've seen playing very very strong throughout you know his time in the Vitality jersey as well so he's he's been a, a, a great factor but also like the way vitality's been playing individual performances aside in numbers and statistics mm -hmm. you can you can kind of i mean it's great to look at you can kind of throw it out the window because just the team play has been off and i, I think that's mm. been the bigger issue for vitality rather than even even zaiwu maybe being a little bit ill is still putting up good numbers but the team play is not there allowing those numbers to actually deliver the impact that you'd expect. yeah the conversations that i had here and there with the vitality camp was that in day one players were awfully quiet and passive and lacking sort of the energy the idea the initiative right you need to create that you need to manufacture that momentum that really helps you carry away your moves and i think sphinx he kind of illustrates that entire point like the position he's got on the city side he oh, is a shit. man that needs to dare he needs to try he needs to put himself out there we know Ash, he, the wait, wait, wait. he did it Pretty against imperial it. right mm -hmm. so I... we can talk about team player as well but i do think that all Hold of on. the individuals have to give a little bit and have to put participate to the effort because the man that we just just had on our screen if you watch apex play that's a mouse by the way yeah. if you watch apex yeah, play and he fun. looks like he's out of shape that's because he's doing too much he's overcompensating a lack of communication he's overcompensating lack I of got ideas it. and he's losing himself in the sauce that can happen and it is a symptom for vitality we've seen that out of apex throughout his career as well because we remember towards the end of last year huh? we were like apex was fragging out of his uh, mind we were like where's this apex come from he was absolutely incredible towards towards the, the start 90 of the end of CSGO. a match all gifted there is an element and i'm putting on the cold jersey give me one second is actually not functioning very well and it's not that oiled machine that you like to see and as an in-game leader he feels like he's on a different page from the team he tries to do he overextends himself he tries to throw himself into chaotic situations to activate his teammates and he suffers individually from it and that's a lot of what we're seeing out of some rough games from apex in this tournament it's like different issues than what we find with complexity when it's not going that well right as we start to talk about the uh map veto as well in terms of kind of players where you have elise who 
is absolutely phenomenal mm. most of the times, but we know when we look at his camp sometimes when it's not going well, he kind of exudes that look, over the rest, right? It's, it's been an issue with Elise throughout his career, is this, that kind of stuff, and that, that narrative has followed him for good reason throughout his career, and that's part of the reason why the story of him going to complexity was actually is such an interesting story to me, and I was so curious to see how this career was going to go in this jersey, because he no longer has the luxury of being able to get that tilted and just kind of and go, you know, emotionally lose mm. himself in the game. You're now a leadership figure in this team. We're yep. liquid, you're kind of the star player, you get a lot of things done for you get a lot of calls going your way the game is played a lot around you you kind of just get to sit there and thrive and be the fragger now you're a leadership position now you're yeah. one of the guys who has to communicate who has to organize and who has to come up with solutions for everyone else yeah i mean listen we also have to address sort of the elephant in the room as my headset is falling off my shoulder the fact that there is a unhealthy reliance on elish if you want complexity to punch above their weight that's just a fact like the man has an oh, incredible amount of burden on his shoulders if, if they if they go on to up to set vitality today like it's, it's going to be elish having a great game yes he's, he's so 100%. critically important and if you don't have it i mean even if you just again look at numbers of it in terms of his opening kills he has 75 percent rate success rate on opening kill attempts that he has you know in this tournament so far he needs to continue that yes. he needs to be excellent in openings because everyone else in the team is a little bit iffy well we, we have the uh map pool coming in right now uh, i i was going to say that the map pool is heavily in advantage of vitality but there is a massive asterisk and that is the vertigo situation mm -hmm. it was quite clear to me that complexity would try and pounce on it it's a map where we have seen at times the defense of vitality specifically struggle massively messy a little bit on an island towards mid sphinx not exactly a map that gives him sort of the movement that i was talking about on overpass this is why i hate vitality they're fucking the map mass, pool. But he's got the same role so if you are complexity right. you want to thank a bunch of subs really quick they okay channel really match all gifted dope boy thanks to the well, five gifted thank you so are you five i think on vertigo for complexity no, are you sure. six but at least you're giving them a chance even if they lose inferno so i say that i take that as a win why free thanks to the one gifted dope boy thanks for the 19 month reset going to two this and that's Seaman six for fifty seven. You guys have done none of that. <laughs> uh, Stalin, <laughs> thank you so much for your five gifted, and nice okay. fucking okay. cock. After the first map, thank you, like I appreciate you. Wins, we're just Burnett, just thanks for the thirteen. But 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 for sure. Gabriel, thanks I mean, for the twelve I month primer. Another realm where vitality looks more like the and vitality. And boosted, thanks for twenty two month recent. Thank you. But you know, vitality could show up today and they could stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They could look shaky and then they can they can we can have a close game. Complexity can show up. You can have a leash popping off. You can have Holzer doing some of the things he's been doing in the RMR to now and they can they can make this a very dangerous competitive map and series yeah you know what i was gonna give you the leeway on that but no screw that no vitality is gonna smash them That's why am i why am i coming in your direction okay why am i doubting Don't get because you know i'm right him. you know I, I have thought plenty of things in my life but that thought has never crossed me <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get into it. It is uh, the reigning champions of Paris versus the Soul Hope of NA, and it's with Scrawny and Launders. Nothing like a bickering couple on the desk, Mohan, to yeah. really set the tone for this one. You know, add some hope to NA as well, by uh, the way. Just so, a bit, yeah. sprinkle it in. Complexity versus Vitality. 2 1 game in a day where Imperial could too challenge much hate phase. No, no, I do think just, we yeah, have Moses to be on our toes for Vitality. To, they showed us in Catalina. You know, who's going to be in favor of Cole and going to be Maniac is undeniably a Vitality fanboy. They had put forth in the tail end of 2023. You know, there's a little nervousness on the faces of Vitality fans. Swamp Survivor, thanks to the Primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's true. Because you never know what you're going to get these days. And um, Vitality are still proving with this new lineup. They're still proving. They've done well, but they're still proving. Ooh, nice start nice shot. That one's going to feel good, but the pressure's on. The chase nice. Oh, nice. Oh. Holzer making that P2000 work. Come on. Spinks. He's been the best player for Vitality. As I was... Been a little under the weather. He said, let me take that space, support me, and now give it a chance to do everything. Three players emerge from the smoke. The Glock just can't find a home versus any of them, but it was still nice. a nice recovery to get that bomb down. Halzer showing a nice bit of mechanical skill to kick oh, off this pistol. Fuck, yeah. If you got the yeah, chance yeah, yeah, to catch yeah, 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 yeah. versus Heroic, you saw that Halzer. Um, uh, Dope Boy, thank you so much for your five, job, ten gifted right shadow, you 16. Map. Just gifted. because of the circumstances that they had to pick up the gun, but we all still house, see Halzer pick up the op here on CT side. But some great shots coming in. And we are looking for a game for the opera of complexity, of course, because there's a pretty good opera on the other team. Even if he sometimes ops even less. The weird stat with Zaiwu is just that he's All right, come on. picking up the op sort of less and less over the years, honestly. <laughs> I heard he's just making room for Simple to join the team. <laughs> no, no, no. 
He's trying to block Simple out who wants to come in as a rifle. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got to cover all his bases. <laughs> JT, somebody who we have got to give credit to in the uptick of complexity success, has been playing some of the statistically best Counter-Strike of his career. Nice. And not afraid to take challenges, as he will get the better of Zywoo. Nice spray nice. out smoke for JT. Whoa. Clean double kill. And this is one thing, right? We saw Complexity open up with pistol Fuck wins yeah, so JT. far here in Copenhagen. And then when they lose that follow-up round, man, it is Tilt City. Yeah, that's what happened when they played against Maus. And they never got their footing back beneath them. 20 years of Complexity as a Counter-Strike organization. Only making top eight at a major once. Face it, London 2018. Fell short in the quarterfinals. And this Cole with a 2-0 start to try and secure the second top eight in their history. Three chances in best of threes. Going to be versus tough teams. They realize that now as they just stay passively waiting for Vitality to make their move. There's no eyes on Balcony, so Floppy's a little cautious, nice. but he at least does Ooh. get the trade to Boiler. Nice. Waiting for the mid-swing. Nice. Big from Floppy. And at least he'll come over to clean up. We're still Four alive as well. The way that people are getting executed right now, that is just fast. First frame deaths here from everybody getting cleaned with a headshot and then a body shot right after. Are you 16 That's gifted the chat? You got two minutes remaining, and member mommies, that goes and, uh, for you as well. I'll be matching no those as well. Asked. Come on, Cole. Come all on. All just today, it felt like an inevitability that complexity will be playing again tomorrow because this is the hardest competition that they have to play against it would be it would sort of throw everything into disarray i think in terms of expectations if they were able to win versus vitality but you can tell by their match versus mouse they obviously expected more and i like that anger because it shows that they believe in themselves not that they expect to lose you get completely swamped like that and you're not pissed off at yourself you're not meant for this competition. Why are you playing? Why are you playing? MP9 to deal with the pistols here, so it's going to very much be Vitality there losing we go. the pistol. Get nothing in the follow-up, and having to take one on the chin here, round three. You know, Yo, I do Adams, think that thank you very much for your one sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Match, then they always have a chance to win from that point on. Are the only but one that doesn't like Laundry's so casting? No, I'm sure other people don't. To an I don't earthquake. Know. If an eco round comes mm, up against Not preferring them, people's casting is fine. It only gets weird if you, like, can make it your personality. Go into disarray. Free fall for complexity is something we have seen all too often. Mm -hmm. Victims of comebacks, heartbreaks, misery. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Okay, now I'm scared. I'm a little scared. Tons of damage done here for the three remaining members of Vitality who will take over the coffin's control. Elise rotating in. Bomb gets chucked over. And that bomb should be planted. No, nice. No, no, no bomb down. Chucks out Damn, the nice to finish this one off. Me. It's looking like three alive. But we've also got Zywoo in a clutch, so you never let your guard down. That was a good molly. He couldn't... Uh, surely oh. not. Dude. I mean, Guys. As he's falling, peeks Guys. to CT, and okay. that's where Floppy's going to best them, making sure the Zywoo Christ. can't get up to his wild antics. Calm down, calm down, That was a good molly because you would go for the lineup normally close to... Um, um, on the on the right, but uh, he wouldn't have an angle to have Molly default. But with his Molly, he could push in and, and fight default. So I think they were very scared to try to plant no cover on the push from CT, and smartly so. <clears throat> so we're looking at some Vitality players trying to get on board. Two Deagle kills so far in that last round were really nice. Juicy thanks to the 23 month partner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But Appreciate you. A little bit more, and look who's coming. Yeah, first gun round. You're gonna. 10 let 16. Don't let me leash. forget. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. No. At least shoots one good, bullet. Good trade though. At least. Thank gives God. away what could have been an excellent nice, opening. Let's see if the teammates can recover. As he sits and has to put his full faith in teammates to pick up slack that he left on the table. An uncharacteristic mechanical failure from someone who holds himself to the highest of standards. Pulsar giving utility here for Floppy to peek behind, doing a great job of just taking these players back so far and only four rounds in. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But the individual levels of Elysia's teammates is enough to prop him up. 
complexity moving forward. 2v4 to try and press into this site. Third rotator's over. Anything thanks to the 84 month recent the thank you. Inside of arch side. As the second team is yet to be confirmed nice. and now that he with is four alive face, again only death being a leash no with the little death pop down mid leash hiccup down middle hell yeah looking great yeah i mean that was a a mistake that he doesn't normally make he would have definitely got a free kill if he had hit this shot and even past that point perfect refrag from hauser perfect rotations everybody else is looking very very good so yeah I mean, you know the european union has a flag maybe we need like a do we have like a north american flag i don't it's on ISL so. TV. They we literally met. They they fucking instead of stars. they put the they put half the U.S. and Canadian flag. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Mexico, if we're talking North America. I'm still going with the Maple Leafs, so. though. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have Mexico in it though. You ain't wrong. We'll by Moses. But see if he approves. I'm just saying the one on HL TV doesn't look half bad. Deep nades down middle, and the T's get close on pistols. I just have this what eerie a PD? feeling that this series is going to have some wild rounds. Anytime Zai was alive, you already saw that one deagle, right? Oh, nice. Hauser, man. He is, a, he is delivering right now. That's a, Fuck yeah. That's spray. I mean, great use of the AUG. And that's a gun Let's that get we want to the mullet, yeah? when they're not opping, you know? Screw any other rifle. Why not, right? Yeah. Let's you hold back further angles. You can hold angles now in general, so... Oh, dude, everybody's hitting shots. What's happening at the moment? What's happening? Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, look at that snap. Time to kill for Halter. Come on. At a minimum, four kills versus the pistols, and Vitality go down 0-5. Anubis is a good map for, for complexity, but in terms, like, the last time they played, it was Vitality mopped them up, and they also did mop them up on Inferno as well, so the veto should look good for Vitality overall. But, uh... Current if Cole wins 50 gifted, else. all right, bats. I will remember this. And this game is. I don't. I'm no. I don't know. I'm trying to look for some upsides here for Vitality. But at the moment, it's just so decisive for complexity. I almost feel bad for them. I almost do. Feel bad for Matthew. FL0 oh, birthday. them. Happy birthday, FL0M <laughs> birthday. Jokes aside, we had Spinks say that, you know, Zaiwu, you got to cover me because he was not, he was feeling a little under the weather and that's not something that you want to have to talk about. Not the most important event of the, of the, of the year, but Spinks did step up. Yes, he did. It's the food, dude. Highest rated player Henry G Vitality, got food poisoning. That's why I wasn't casting so the early days 16. of the first stage. Poor Zywoo. Down to half health and burning through his util to just stay alive. Second gun round for Vitality. The first one left us with nothing really to talk about. And we all wait, holding our breath, expecting great things from Vitality. Content to see complexity challenge. Not, not your worst copy pasta, Chris. Who'd you still have from? Is that from your chat? It, down banana, he will nice, nice. Right nice. Shot, spamming the smoke no to Apex. Trade. No trade. Zywu doesn't come out and punish. He definitely could have stepped in now front of it. Now he'll catch them off, trying to go in, but Grim's ready for the repeak, and he suddenly it's another gun round that's falling just hit, hit the meat grind, dude. What do I you mean? mean? He what actually happened? couldn't peek that. I have no idea. That was insane from think, JT, but to be honest with you, if he peeked out when that, he hears JT still holding the spray. The and not clearing you, Zywu, inside a bell, why would you think that uh, you can't come up for the refrag? They he's 100%. He I mean, he needed to get the, re of course, the refrag, him, but like, but, uh, you're, you're walking into the same angle if he comes out. You're not in a winning position to staying alive right there. I mean. You cannot point to a member of complexity right now. Who has a good clean headshots? Like I get what he's saying. You do have to like get the trade, but I think if he just walked out there, like another, he would have just, just died. How good they normally are, and you know it's not oftentimes mm. you criticize someone like Zywu because most of the time they're playing better than everyone else. But that's a moment where you go, huh? Like he's on the same line. You know what I mean? I don't know why they're not acknowledging trade. that. You're literally on the same line. But You're just going to be cannon um, fodder. Spray transfer through the smoke. Complexity dominated. Died anyway. Well, again. that's what I'm saying. I think the higher, like, right here, he doesn't know exactly where that spray was going until he kills like the second mullet, guy at the bottom. Take a tick or two of damage. Look. Apex frustration's already starting to mount the way he looks down the line. Oh, it must be a Wednesday. 
<laughs> cast is gonna cast. No, I mean it's just like it's one of those things where you're not really wrong. He does have to get the trade. But at all times. I, arguably because he cares about his teammates. Their success. But that was quite the pickle for, for Zaiwu. And the results they put forth. Like he would have had to step much into like a Molly pretty Elops much on the same troops. angle where JT would have had to make just the slightest of adjustment. He gets vision down, banana. Mm -hmm. And doesn't stick around to force any kind of a fight. So that's vitality at the very least. Flushing complexity out of the top of banana for what feels like the first time ever. Rihanna, we thanks for the four month armor. Thank side, you. And they are without a round win. And this round just working with the two AKs as well. So complexity slowly but surely tiptoeing their way to a master class of a CT half. JT dives back into sight. He's poked them. And Alige hopes to join them, his teammates, before the commitment comes out of vitality. Met by smoke and a flash to boot. JT peeks around, does damage, but there's two deaths here. Big cleanup from Grim. And then Alige. Through the CT smoke, he topples what managed to get through that smoke, that front-facing smoke that cuts off Apex and Sphinx. Sphinx's successful lurk over on A doesn't net them much, but the bomb has managed to get through construction. Yeah, oh, and we do this have is a boost good on right now for they Cole, but no now I'm terrified. This is here. Uh, of course, Apex is just about to walk up. I don't think he has an angle on Alicia's uh, head from this position. Wait, you didn't see him. But, uh, Surely oh, no, the kill is incoming. Him. He sees oh, this. Fuck. Oh, man. This could be such a wonderful moment for Apex. He just has to nail both, and he will. Oh. The B defense ripped apart by Bonaparte. And now as he grabs AK backside, Vitality are looking for their first. Oh, and six. Up until that moment, Apex slips through with Bomb, took everything onto his own shoulders, and just looks to lock in the kill versus Floppy, who gets in close, oh. dying out. A yeah. trio of frags out of Apex. And I guarantee you, Grim is just staring at the wall the right there, looking at his teammate's screen. Guarantee you. Amazing. You can definitely Because they don't think anybody's in, in so he's just sitting there looking at his Had teammate's screen. Shots. So that way he knows what Made to sure do. To and I gotta say, I was about to praise complexity some more. We have Grim coming in. Perfect yeah, composure he's right after the flash oh, from God. CT spawn. Grabs the two kills that go south when the T's are just barreling through. Actually, can even I don't even think they sit next to each other. Flash of their own. And it feels like complexity are just going to corral another scary moment and put it to bed. Instead, Vitality, open the door. Oh, but Halzerk, this is new. Oh my god, I got a leg. Gets the player in the background, oh, presence. So perfect. Nice. Just all these is dead. Ranking the cannon down Five banana. Four, what we... tries to get mm. frisky in middle, looking to be the playmaker once more. But now sitting confidently at, trying at to the bottom it, of complexity scoreboard. He's trying to force it. While Cole sit pretty six one, there is a single piece of this puzzle that's not quite he's finding its mark. He's just trying to force it. I feel like he knows he's supposed not to be the guy and knows he has to be the guy, but it's like, bro, not right now. Actually, the team's playing well. And hope his teammates pick up this slack. Halzerk overwhelmed by Flamesy. Flashbang out from Grim. He's gonna peek around it, and they line oh, up for a bunch of damage. The dude, have managed to get through. Ooh, Come on, the that's a save. It's the eco round into the second round in a row. No, Nazca, I'm not gonna do lot, that. Right We're not there. the police. Even with this two kills, two v two post plan. They're automated spot, bots that will get banned in about yeah, five minutes, and then we'll come away. back up in five minutes later. So that's Vitality's way back in. Fuck, man. Good start Again, from Halzer, too. Well done. Losing an eco round. It's about how you react to it. It's like the one time a lead literally doesn't round, have to be the guy. He still like feels like he has to be the guy. It's like just chill. How you react to pushing through mid smoke and getting barrel stuffed close arch. How you react to all of these things compiling on top of Elise right now. Another round where he has no impact. Mm. Flames double entry into the B site keeps himself up, keeps vitality going, and the state of affairs over on Complexity is fine. Right? A well-earned, convincing 6-0 start means money in their back pockets and a chance to stop There's the 6, bleeding 6,000 people on there? It's just crazy? No, those are view bots, bro. There's not 6,000 yeah, people. Do always okay. Strike us as a Don't worry, that just if you feel really that adamant going, about it, just report the channel. It'll get banned in a bit. The next round. So, but it's always good to see the tests, right? Everyone, everyone has to pass that test. 
When you play teams at this level, you are going to lose some Ecos. You are going to get outdone on rounds you're supposed to win. That's part of the game. That's awesome. I sent you a jersey. Yeah, man. Shout out J Jason Lake. Appreciate them sending me the jersey. Even put my name on the back. That was oh a nice time. Dude, they... Walking wait, wait, wait. That, was a, that was a fast step, right? It's being covered, so. Surely. Nice. Gets held on to. Floppy's been a solid now they know the, they know the mid Boiler, setup. Mid, valve, so matter. maybe we get out of this. Yep. Reconfigure keeping here a little bit, a boys. And keeping the AD JT, drop your utility early, bro. They saw the setup at He's A. In hand, and so does Grim. This Please is a dangerous walk up from Vitality, but the swing nice. is punished. Apex hits the dirt. His counterpart, JT, finds the shot. But He's again, in the CCC. Please, please, through please, once please, more. please, please. Somebody from Vitality nice. has a chance to catch them off. Elite JT Coleman got him through the snow. Fucking JT's playing unbelievable site, right now. Or killed Keep it up, bro. Rather. Keep he it up. Seen it and tucked. We don't know. No, the perspective. But uh, luckily, they don't let that one slip because that's how they lost the round last time. Two players left. A 2v5. Another 2v5 I was saying is Jason Lake got yeah, this jersey to me and like one were pretty clever, he hit me up maybe like a week or two ago chat and I just, you know, I was expecting it would probably be dominant. some like merch or jersey or whatever. He didn't tell me what it was. But to turn it around and have my name on the back of it, that's kind of a dub, bro. That's kind of insane. That's hard to do. Hands moving and grooving over there. complexity at the best start to the stage of course getting into the 3-0 matchups uh nothing's guaranteed Ravi, thanks for the 46 month primer thank you dude the interesting part is they sort of lost to the dark horse of the event now mouse um having beat them and beat them so badly that they enter playoffs mm -hmm. with a Hi, huge buddies. amount of confidence that i think most people probably feel like their odds you know it's not with phase it's not with vitality it's with spirit and then mouse to make it to the finals now being on opposite sides of the bracket so mm -hmm. depends how bad complexity you want to feel about that right they may have lost to a team that is going to bulldozer their way through the playoffs we have no idea yet we'll have to see oh that story unfold in the next stage um but for now maybe it's not an indictment on how good complexity are or aren't losing to a team like mouse even if Same it was that, got me back into watching but cs hell yeah man interview with tc was definitely very frustrated um hell yeah with how players yeah. showed up and their reactions feels to good situations. man but also i'm sorry so <laughs> the mental aspect of the game we don't get to hear about too often it's good to I am moments sorry. like that all right come on cole keep it rolling baby had a little hiccup there but it was your your own doing. They haven't done shit. Keep playing your game. Cole's been doing a good job of calling different setups and giving him different looks as well. I'll be feeling a little more frisky this time into Boiler. He'll go versus Sphinx. This could be such a key duel and with the flash he peeks out, but he looks nice. the wrong way. Great Not job. Expecting Floppy Great to job. be that aggressive inside of the boiler in contrast to his usual top balk or under balk positioning. I think the scariest part for Vitality right now is they're getting outdone in almost every opening setup, right? In terms of preparation coming into yeah, the so of these Cole's, rounds. Cole has shown like kills all look three like different looks so far on gun rounds. And, uh, we're not seeing massive flicks or anything. We're just seeing perfectly timed peaks. A level of comfort on inferno whoa the whoa whoa can JT. Hang on to. oh JT shit gun back out as he hears them coming at him nice okay honestly and a necessary way to just out of Mezzi, stand tall and make sure you get your one a quick I scramble was... out of both elise and halzerk then a moment of hesitation but there is no late lurk he could have dropped the molly but i'm no i'm actually just kind of glad he focused on getting one and then he kind of got one and a half so. three remaining members very much set up inside of banana so we're gonna get this Elige and grim combo pressure to the back site but a molly that doesn't burn out new box uh -oh. grim is given a pocket to play and vitality have made a mistake and this could be costly oh but he steps gets hurt and still sprays damage out mm. zywu barely standing but he'll take that top rope on orange has to plant instead uh. what's left of complexity comes rolling over through the CT spawn. Halzerk on the prowl with a Molotov in hand, a frag grenade to boot from Floppy. Ooh, this angle from Zywoo is gnarly. By Zywoo, just don't miss. Halzerk creeps in, wide swing punished, and no trade out from Halzerk. It is Mezzi to get closer towards construction door. Halzerk not feeling like he has a road to enter, and sure enough, complexity will let Yeah, I mean, even if he mollies out Zywoo right there, 
and Grim given a chance with that step on the other is the fire. Gabe, thanks for the 10 on 3 sub. Thank you. And Vitality react fast enough. I don't know. He's still got his kill and a half, right? Um, they missed the molly. That's a sort of a, a big mistake, but um, where it went wrong is the, that the schools kind of useless, you know, versus I would just now if he's playing quad or oranges, you can see that thing bouncing off of four walls like there's no it's not hard to dodge. So I think they need to be first of all, they need to rotate way earlier. Like, why are the two guys still over on the A site when Grimm's in a one? I don't know how Wanders expects them to flash to anybody there from CT. I mean, I don't think the flash the was the issue. You're just trying to chuck some shit to get the them to move a little bit. Banana. Then they had a very good idea of where most <laughs> It's not like you can throw a set flash. And yet they decided to sit where they were instead of getting into positions in mid or taking a lead off on the rotation. You know, no, what the problem CT, there was, chat, right is there fight, pushing through a I think it was Grimm at triple didn't actually get mollied out. That round which for complexity is the individual so efforts were like rare, pretty decent and right it, that is a rare situation in, uh, in, in behind so that he's not that coming out to lineup. fight uh, which then the spools uh, player enough. doesn't need to come out yeah, because like this, the they're not looking at triple right like there's the no smoke, there's no fight happening from and so the spools guys coming through like the triple fights happening like it normally does but it wasn't it was toppled because it missed now we're talking about a so you have spools running through a smoke, a, a, through anticipating heroic. a battle happening from the triple getting mollied and then the force, the fight being forced. But that just isn't Neither what occurred. Right now have their big ticket so you online. give up a free Zyru's kill there eight. with your teammates still at triple and, and getting zero value out of that death. What is spools? What you guys call coffin? <laughs> Vitality may take a minute to warm up. They know they will eventually. And they know how to take it slow and wait for those moments. Ooh, Ooh, there's nice. a moment. Very Fuck. nice indeed. Well, Graham gonna try to get out with something. Yeah, but only the one. A, well, time is uh, at least Holzer keeps the wait, numbers. Wait, no bomb. Oh man. Steps. And again, they, no way they know that the though. Position to have. They don't have any information in these rounds. Why is that? They're so disconnected in their A and B setups, but. This time they believe it's going to be the B site, and the fact that the bomb was left back in spawn. My happy with Cole's so map selection. Set up. I, gonna open that I think in matchups like these, oh my God. I'm Half not really. Shooter, I personally don't care about the maps that much, the not because they're not important. Damage. Damn it, do it the other. Chat, what did Maybe I say yesterday? To get Elyse activated, he took the long road down all through the T spawn and is still just resting but, um, at the bottom of Banana. Doesn't look like he wants to get into this unless somebody else from Cole can serve as the trigger for this retake to happen. Molotov new box is great, right? Excellent usage oh. of the util, but a missed chance with the op. And as Floppy gets ever closer, this But like when you're playing against a team like Vitality, Vitality you just got to play whatever maps you feel most comfortable at the time. Floppy trying to fight forward. Zywu given his chance to shine. And as Elise gets in late, mm. it's a triple from Zywu. That was delicious. Welcome to Inferno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little did, early from nice Coffin. Love how he took the second little late from Banana. Made sure not to get too claustrophobic with uh, Flamesy in that position. And it could have been a bait setup, but he showed himself first. So he needed to go it's out. It's such a good sign to see so many players from Cold contributing. Fight. And it's like, dude, now again, Elise is quiet. How? How is that? I always like this, look. dude. Like, if they rotated how? faster once again, Molotov nade combo on the bomb plant site would have been there sooner. The nade on the smoke. The, the chem is off with just Elise right now. God damn it, man. How does this happen? Kimper with the 200 biddies. Mordecai, thanks for 12 month primer. Thank you reason that they were even close is because the bomb was left back on steps. Now finally after all the success from Complexity out of the gate, they're on a broken buy to close out this CT side. Oh what could have been. Hmm. Lee just looked like he didn't want to really retake. No, Lee just can't go first because they, the they had side. banana for so long. Chad. Even if your players can get one or two right each. from complexity's point of view they didn't know that bomb was missing so like when sure bomb finally went down it feels done. really weird on Elise's timing because they could easily have like coffin and then be staring at banana sandbags players fraggle open it and apex damn he slays him before he oh sees fuck him. me how the fuck did that go a leash too that's the m4 to go down damn that that actually couldn't have gone any worse to sprint over from ct spawn to stop whatever is indeed coming but this is just Vitality getting into a comfortable position on Banana, poising themselves for Keep the all-in the hit No, again. no, I'm Still actually no impressed by Cole so right now. It's just, I, just yet. it's just typical. It's like, man, all the things that we needed to have happen that very rarely happens are happening, and then the most consistent piece is missing. 
So banking that the two remaining defenders can do something special. The rumblings of the execute with utility inbound and another smoke over the top. JT's gonna have to do something spectacular here with just the sidearm. It's a nice clean headshot to kick it off. Good damage for the second. Cautious of the approach over top nice with flamesy nice reroutes. Try. And so Vitality will get right into there. his B site and it feels as though complexity simply cannot stop them. Yeah, simply back in the game now with these uh, full on B hits that have come out. They found their tempo. Floppies drop by Zaiwu to close this out. Zaiwu finishes the half positive after an incredibly slow start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had a had a good round in there. Apex had an amazing round with the lurk. <laughs> Make sure we're san sanitizing that headset afterwards, boys. First eco to open things up. My man's hella sick. And then I think we just saw. Because I was sick. Yeah, they've been talking about it. Went on in terms of. Like it was playing passive, playing, made somewhat um, aware that he's been sick for when he got to Copenhagen right a, like a little while ago. But, but the, the yeah. reason that we attribute playing passive to playing scared is because you play passive all the time when you have no communication. Sometimes it's the right idea. But as the half went on, it felt like they were not playing as a team who was winning, as a team who was shooting better, and instead playing very reactive and waiting for things to happen. One site to fall, then the other comes and joins. And I think there has to be some credence for the fact that even if you don't have three players stacked on the site, having the third player closer as the right. exact come, can come in can throw so much key utility for you. The roof flash over the top of quad that can help your uh, that can help Grim fight uh, without blinding him. We never had that a single time. And when J JT couldn't get both frags pushing down banana every round, yeah. then things started to fall like a house of cards. It felt like we had a couple of moments where Complexity tried to get a little closer mid-round. You know, Elise trying to get through mid-smoke, Elise going down middle two times and getting nothing for it. But when he stopped doing that, whether it was to keep himself alive or whatever not, nobody else picked up that mantle, right? We never get the alt mid-fight. We never had that fast pressure. That's a good point. That was the only aggressive uh, peak like that they when, took on this side. It's like when he couldn't do it, oh, we, then then none of oh, us can. Maybe. But here we get it. The CT's coming at the pistol. T's are very much set oh, up, but fuck. instantly we get a couple of kills out Wait, from Vitality. Come on. And then the come response. On. Holzer can flop beyond onto the chase. Uh, tapping it in. Nice. To keep it oh, my God. JT will best him, and Apex has to come up big. Needs to lead through into A. Stop by Floppy. Complexity will kick Huge. this half off Huge. with success as they did the last. Yes, they do, man. That was really nice. Leveraging, again, Halzerk's proficiency on these pistols to make things Go back to square one here for Vitality as we switch over. My god. Oh. You can dress it up however you want, but pistol rounds come down to headshots. It's very low low utility round. There's more simplistic plays. And it's the players who are individually consistent that will really tip the scales for you. Right now, that individual level comes from a trio of complexity players. Floppy, JT, Halzer, Zeus, however, luckily gets traded, right? Oh, it's a no. one Shut and up, done. Punk. No one the cares. Wait, 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 wait. And for a second, please. it's a 4v3. Oh, God. Guys, but guys. But everybody is here to try and hey. just charge headstrong hey. through what is only USPs hey. and only two of them. Pit, 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 pit. lost hey, a player God. to the vanilla pistol, and so they'll make sure that nobody else falls victim to it. Elige is getting bullied. Yeah, he is not, he's not entering the game just yet. And it's true, you know, he tried his plays. And I always think back to that um, uh, the podcast he did where he talked about his A, B, and C game. And I think that that's just something that everyone does, but he's really good at verbalizing and, you know, making it methodical. But um, on a day where things aren't going right, you know, when do you slow down? How do you play better, safer angles that are maybe not as aggressive? But in this situation, it could be a matter of luck, too. I mean, those two rounds that we saw those pushes came down to very small timings where it didn't work for him. That one bullet into underpass, like, okay, when is that going to happen? Is that because he was nervous? I don't think so. So it depends on how it feels in his head. Okay. Nice. But at the end of the day, he's 3-9. and nine. While at the very least, his team is winning, and three of his teammates are also performing yeah, very the, well. The attitude is... Just, I've got more time to get back online. Yes, sir. Bro, bro, thanks for the 21 month reset. Thank you. People who are too obsessed with carrying can um, <laughs> Ruh, Ruh, dude. lose sight on the goal. <laughs> Any primers in chat, prime forgetters? Also, I owe you 16 chat. I'm going to do it at halftime. Remind me. Goal. Yeah. 
By halftime, I mean one, after the game, in between the maps. Best of three to qualify for top eight. Melbacher, thanks to the 27 month primer. Thank you. Note Vitality's map pick of Inferno. I love Into their first gun round of the defense. We all love floppy. Can't stop the flop. Your father is eternal fire. All right. Man, look at the turtles over on Vitality. See, they mean they they're pushed into they're pushed into banana aggression at this timing, so they go and see everything. It's a really good play here from Vitality. It releases two to rotate on the relay. But Mezzi and Zaiwu have no idea about Arch. They nope. can't. Come have to come in slowly because of this. That's oh, no. about to come up here. And Spinks is going to play in front of it. Yeah, he gets into the site. So third player in, just in time, but. Still good pace here for complexity. Yeah, Apex calling that they're running by. Spinks tries to turn from Flash. Then the site players activate. Chance for Apex. He's going to swing. And Grim gets two headshots. Nice. Holsterk's up from Fuck. short. Zywoo ah, in the corner. Dude, the fucking oh, sack, man. Jamie put Zywu in the pocket and Fuck, let him dude. drive. What was, this, what, was the, what was the swing on the on the wrap right there? There was two players who were beside each other trying to leave the peak versus the guy back default who turned from a Flash. They who calls him cold, JT? Mid, and they don't have the arch smoke in. Which means a second player who's come over was able to just push through. If Grim doesn't get his miraculous 90 degree trade. I mean, that's not even a close round. So, Complexity had a good timing on that, but fair play to Vitality. Those are the kind of pushes we want to see for Complexity in the first half. Agreed. You know, to get info back to help your teammates on the other side of the map. We see how important it was they went at that exact second. Yes, sir. Just something disruptive. And this round, something aggressive. Flames, he's out of nice bullets. Trade. And he's got nowhere to run. Elise okay. tracks him on the smoke. Ooh, but Apex going to recover Dude, it. Spams him fucking back. Don't we love Inferno? Keeping Fuck. a liege muted throughout this mm. opening map. 4 and 11. <clears throat> Finally, when he gets something going for himself, it is instantly taken right back. Holzerk has been sharp on okay. these attacks, and he is ahead of the smoke. Yeah. He crawls nice, in. Nice, nice. He catches sight, Apex sight, on the sight, peak, sight. but the dark player is Sphinx. They don't seem worried about it. Oh, they clear him. Oh, Fuck. they half-ass it. And because of that, Spinks given a great chance now. Oh, he no, gets the one in the back. Fuck, Floppy man. to recover a little bit of space. A 1v3 queued up for Floppy. And he's already one kill deep. A better gun uh, is to be had right behind him. Molotov yeah. chucked over towards Coffins. But that M4 is empty. The oh, reload so comes fucked. in. Zaiwu already trying to challenge Smoke to give him space. But as he goes out he's for the so swing, fucked. Messi will catch him, making uh, sure that Vitality continue to close the gap. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they'll pull that one. I'll pull that one in. The 2v1 is clean. I think they start to feel a little bit less nervous of things falling apart. Spinks' patience here is critical. Oh, and let him up. Nice accuracy out of Mezzi as well. Yeah. See how strong that CT peak. I mean, JT was doing the same thing that Apex was on car with the swing. And they're trying to keep it mollied so no one can do that. But he found the gap in between the first and second one. And that's just Inferno. You're going to die like that sometimes. There goes a third of Grim's health. Vitality uh. forego control of Banana, just leaving the single anchor in flames. So a preemptive quadruple A stack. Hmm. And that starts to free up Zyru, who has definitely come into Fuck, form, dude. right? Him and Elyse had comparable scores, but one of the two has picked it up. Now top dude, they have the... for Vitality oh, and prepared dude, the stack for this isn't that good for them. Fuck. Util comes over. Bit of a challenge, good damage. Oh my god, all are just entries are max If complexity were fuck? to have followed through, then they would have met their maker. And they're trying not to get naded, I think, because they're so low on two players. It's a good peel back, and again, good timing. I think they might get nervous about the, the reclaim on top banana if it could come. But they're so low on utility, they might not be able to, you know, spread the map again. 40 seconds. And decisions must be made. Man, finding one in Cubby, right? Indicating the arch play. But pop with no the dogs player. are wrestling right now next to me, sorry. Oh, man. Apex keeps his head down. Mezzi's ahead of it. Oh, Mezzi. It's all too easy. And it just banks fuck on Apex. Me, man. They don't even, even know he's in sight, man. Big one from Mezzi. 
So let's fucking go, boys. That's no fine. pick control, but it didn't matter. They never lost short, and he just turns around, chops them off as they tried to get out Balk. Yeah, I mean, it could be look at you could look at that from two perspectives. That it's disappointing or that it's expected. I mean, they still had enough I had players the, to I had muted. I don't they think they can hear kill, him, but they still took hilarious. a lot of damage on their way in, and they didn't have enough utility. It helps me not be that. mad at complexity, so it's punch. nice. Uh, um, but it does mean that now. They are in pistols. I also felt like it was going to be more of a balcony emphasis. We end up seeing a bunch of players come out boiler instead. That pack inside of apartments at a crossroads. And they show us? No, I'm already spilling right now, so I can't show you. Vitality on the brink of tying this one up. Deep grenade to just make the already easy job that much more simple. So funny. We could very well be looking at Elysia's worst map of CS2. Oh man. Fuck. You'll still have some runway to improve, but a daunting task at this mm. point. 18 rounds deep. Come on. To his name. And being completely cancelled out on this light by approach to the B site. Oh, Tons of smoke me, and dude. Spinks will continue to keep and the pressure around, making sure nobody's footing gets close. This is a 5-0 game. Now it'll be 9-9. The complexity into a round like this, you know, to mirror what Vitality have done to them. What up, Tragic Aiden, man? Perhaps for Elige, forgot about his scoreline in the Mao's whooping that the entire team took. A 0 0.28 rating as they got trounced. And this one gets cleaned up with ease. So Vitality to tie the game at 9. Mm. Have Mao's broken something in Elige. Rest of the team trying to keep this afloat. But right now, complexity struggle. Their lead is gone the second time out. TC's got to get into this. I would at least be pretty excited about the fact that they're at this tied score line, regardless of how it's a comeback, and just knowing that Elysia's not in the game yet. Like, imagine, like, we've got Halzerk in rare form. If they have uh, the floor, which is, again, the question for at least me with the vitality, or with the complexity, what if that's raised fuck? today, if everyone else is showing up, is Elysia going to be due for a big round? This is why hey. he's a superstar. So, I mean, that's what I would be focused on if I was him. And what I would be hopeful for, of course, if I'm the team. And sometimes going through it like they did yesterday with Mouse, making it hurt your confidence, or can really build you up. I mean, you do a lot of thinking, you really focus on what you need to fix. I think I mean, he can come back. I just think mentally right now, I don't know what's going on, man. I mean, he's been super consistent all CS2. This has probably been his, you know, back to back performances, probably the worst, right? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you got to give him the benefit of the doubt just because he has been so consistent. Twice. It's just, man, what a time not to have him right now. As for Vitality, they have their own internal problems this game that they have recovered from very so. impressively. In terms of tactics, in that first half complexity, yeah, what up, we're getting away with everything. Good morning. The game was looking so clean, all their timings on their peaks were just looking so easy. And uh, Vitality could have definitely looked in the mirror and thought, all right, today's not our day. But look at them now. Oh. They're just getting better by the round. This time they are going for the balcony. This time it is the emphasis we wanted. Messi oh, into the pit. they caught him off. They the caught him off. Come on. Oh. Gets one. Nice. Two kills back. More complexity. They have found a site, and there's nobody inside of it. As has you been the situation. You guys hear noises? It's just my dog's wrestling next to me. Grenade into the corner. Oh my oh, gosh! Oh, fuck me! No way, Apex dude. Fires off the cannon. Direct oh. hit to JT. Three v three hit. queued up, and things start to get a little stringy. It's mid control for complexity now lost. All they have is this apartment's wrap. Apex, he's queuing up another piece of utility, and that Molotov is not going to find the bomb plant. Halzerk puts it in the deeper corner, and as the short players start to walk up, it's going to have to be sharp shooting out of Grim. He lets them get by. Yeah, this is where Elysian Mini Pit can play a big role. Halzerk, oh, he can oh be compromised. Grim God. does indeed hold off on short. Spinks tries to line him up. Complexity breaking back through. And there's a Elysian getting his round they at least it. a couple of good kills. The entries, though, were the star of the show coming out of falls with the, the perfect Ryan, flash hey. on Mezzi, who got caught off guard in the pit, had no ability to throw any utility for himself, and just had to let his teammate fight for himself. So, found his way to get back into the fight, nearly got two kills, Complexity's but only one in total. Same. 
And we'll see though. Touching, that was a big round to win, man. Right after the the fact that Mezzi didn't get anyone right there is still fucking no crazy. And then they delay the plant like that, and they still too. actually maintain that round. It's the real boss, Zaiwu, on and off. Incredible. A real number strong balcony hit is what gets complexity in with the gun round. Mezzi had a damn chance, but too much of an ask. Alish making a bit of contact while Vitality clear out top banana. No challenge at the base of it either. Mm. So they will and they're making the right adjustment again. They know they must know something about like how play. complexity if just complexity responds to the situation. Because my God, it please take back. Oh, but the Woo, resistance. dude. Oh, they set up Woo with the op B. Fuck me. Like yeah, if Wu gets three or more, I need five. Second. They've got the four-one setup, full vision on B. Can I just preemptively again, get five? It's gonna happen. Thank you. Scope on All right, three, two, oh, wait, wait, wait. no, timer's up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Awkward. Three, two, one. Just trying to scour down the lane, looking for something to tug on. Pressure comes in with the full-blown exit. I'm not Apex doing one. The first one goes around. Two. From the back of this site, misses his third shot, but at least two dead. We're in business. We have the site. And close pressure as well. JT hands busy. Sprays off the mark. MP9 tries to connect. Won't. Come on. As one smoke soon fades. Alige has another to put up. It will land on the CT cross. Azadex to the seven month primer. Thank you, Jim Zadex to the 28. Hold off on coffin. Two floppy. My opera. Why does floppy have an op? Wait. AWP, so JT gets down I'm terrified. Floppy, my opera. Activate. JT keeps his head down. Complexity back with the edge. Floppy, I choose you. They're gonna fight. What the fuck? He killed him. What the fuck? Send that tremor down. Complexity, but it's all good. They shake in the post. I always they believed in Floppy. I've never doubted for a second. Come on, baby. The hybrid. Let's go. Goes on the deep angle. Let's go. Him swing Big round. Loop, that is going to be quad or something on banana that he's not worried about to come out to that fight. That's really nice. If they went full oh my god, we're so fucking back. We're so back. Crushed, but they went for it that round. It was a good hold from Zaiwu. Getting two from that spot is the opposite. Oh Should be perfect, you know. I mean, it's not an easy site to retake by any means, but it does give your team the best chance possible. But they give over that golden gun to Floppy and he hit the one shot. Honestly, some they huge kills from Alish. Not even favor. just saying that. The, the trade on Zaiwu was fucking crucial because it's inferno man it's 3v4 but like Vitality you're in the driver's seat as a t if you get into that 3v4 complexity here and now complexity had the great start but they have to earn it the hard way puma thanks for the 19 month primer thank you sides. appreciate you any other primers or prime forgetters out there game unless it gets close <laughs> it's just not yeah <laughs> I just hope you lose all your hair before me. That's my only wish. <laughs> oh, man, but look at the position they're in now. Driver, mm -hmm. thanks for three-month primer. Thank you. And Vismo, thanks for your Twitch primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. See, there's always a primer, prime forgetter. And it comes by way of floppy anchoring backside. Check six to the Twitch primer. Thank you as well. Impact. Grim is climbing the scoreboard. This is everybody other than Elyse on complexity oh, coming shit. into their own and doing what they have to to try and go map up now. Two player space. That's the uh, one rifle that CT's had to work with. JT Watch boiler. Protect the guns. Keep this Careful boiler. Boiler, 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 boiler. JT, 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 JT. Boiler, boiler, boiler. AK when he gets caught. Yeah. He heard me. Enough to keep things in full control. And the bomb just figuring out which side it could go to, but it's open on both ends. No oh, shit. As they wait out this one smoke. High pressure situation there for JT up in apps. Yeah, he put his cape on. Save the day, though. He'll let him grab those weapons. As he pops up, he'll make sure to stop Flamesy. Last player challenges and wins it. But Apex not going to go for this clutch. This is a 12th round for complexity. Wow. Three rounds, Mohan, not to bad. take away Vitality's <clears throat> map pick. Yeah, not bad, man. And the way that they've gotten better in this uh, second half is... Hi, thank you very much for your I mean, tier one sub, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good for, for Alish, who in the last and so, three or four, thanks for your 14 month reset and talk. Thanks for your three month primer. Thank you. The post plans on the A site. So climbing, climbing slowly, but um, again, he has such such a good team right now. Look at everybody on this roster at the moment. I mean, Grim had great shots. They've all had their big moments. 
but of course certainly not over vitality that save looks up for another that full knife buy. looks ass what is he broke and i wonder tucker really is the fucking so silver in your game chat that has round. actually like a sapphire just so you know tucker's that guy The amount of times I've seen Tucker take some shit from one of his teammates and then he just quick switches his knife times. out and then his teammate goes, damn, dude. Kip for Zywood too. The one in this next round for Vitality. So it's crazy how quickly he just calls people enough. for. Will there be a moment for Vitality to step up or does that strong start from complexity and Bingo, thanks for 25 month race and thank you. It's alright. I can call Tucker poor because I have a, a Ruby butterfly. Complexity Inferno wins Light has been put in place. One last step over the finish I'm like, line. Double your knife. This series real interesting. Juicebox, thanks for the 17 month reset. Thank you. Weird flex, but okay. I can only flex in Counter Strike chat. It's mm. the only place I got it. Everywhere else, I'm poor. Pressure down banana. Uh, CT setups have been somewhat questionable with a lot like how much space they give up. Nothing in brackets. Mm. They've let an arch time and go. I think JT's calling this out, honestly, with how light he is approaching this. Sphinx is trying to hold it back, but with a grenade in hand. Everyone's been trying to phase this smoke. It can be dangerous. Makes him a little nervous. Apex jumps uh. body. Flames down high alert. Nicely Ooh. done. Elise hits the ground with nothing. Flashbang as well here to challenge the oh no smoke deny vision grab bomb perfection. Fuck so catch no, JT dude, this fuck round. me. Vitality can do no wrong. Mm. Halzer, Halzer thank God you died with the SG. I don't want to see that shit ever get in your hands. Stop it. Beautiful. Yeah, really. I've seen you. I've seen Halzer have an SG in his hands like 50 <laughs> well, times, and I think I've seen him collectively get three kills. Full trust in in Flamesy, and he was set up perfectly to great into that honey And and one of them came on that round chat. Flamesy up top. I mean, they walk right into that A1S. Yeah. Full control for Flames. The nice triple kill plus Apex. Yeah, he's been a welcome addition to Banana. Oh, Holster sure. can I mean, AK really well. I, he's been playing Banana. I um, think he just has like the, a, you know, he's he's an operator that believes in having the SG in the AUG. And I think so the AUG is good. I think the SG is fucking troll. Exactly right. Neff, thanks for three month reset. Thank you. Two round game. Let him cook. He's burning. You already Don't know talk him. Double overtime. So just want to let you guys. Don't even have to leak the script. It's going to be a half buy as well. I don't think they had enough to come in full commit. <laughs> this is an example of I think both teams have actually been pretty good after come that. On. You know, those first five rounds were complex. We were dominating it, like keeping people Just do that fucking round, funny so. shit where sure. you half buy, but least, you actually um, just win the GT round. That'd be hilarious, guys. Full reign in. Oh, wow. That would okay, be hilarious. Probably go to round 24 here with the full save coming in. Horrendous. Deagle tech nine. Two Deegs and a tech nine. JT's got a deagle on him. We know that, but there's so little to work with. And Alish, All right, not a great sight. Knocked down a peg already. Deep damage out of Apex. So successful in firing down this deep line. Um, question. Again, complexity. Okay. Just do not have the tools for this job. Utility's already been burnt out. JT's crept in with the deagle. Could be good for one. Ooh, but a missed chance. Wait, floppy kill pit. Wait, floppy kill pit. That's, That's bomb. Get Hold the bomb on. down. No! Bomb's able to cross over. Stop it! A fucking plague, you motherfucker! We'll try to prioritize it, but God gonna get damn run it! Down and no bomb plant, no extra money. You fuckers, you had it! The Why don't you guys know the bomb site's clear like me? I have walls, idiots. What are you doing? Site. Yeah, no matter for complexity. What are you clearing the site? Probably think about buying Grow up, just plant, risk it all. I think this is a great situation to see what JT is made of as the IGL of complexity. Um he doesn't have a leash right Can't now. Can't believe it. Oh, you want to clear the site now, huh? Yeah. Extremely well. T side, you let the guy sit back that, emo, but um, now you want to clear the site. Man, fucking the utility, plan, dude. They, need, they have a full map of Fuck. CS behind them where they know exactly how Vitality are going to play these rounds. Their prep has gone good. JT, what's the call? <laughs> Sorry, I get like this. Gains don't find anybody. Those frag grenades do nothing for Vitality. Iron because Forward you should try to take it all, but it's just, you know, you have now, different focuses on each round based on what the other team is doing. If Sphinx has to forego eyes on this, then there is nobody to pick up that slack. There is nobody who can stop this arch wraparound without arch pulling somebody to off B. to B. 
and they might turn this into Go a split CT through Orange. They've got a liege waiting. Spinks better be ready. He's got to be prepared Arch. for flash multiple for bodies. They're already out, and now he, he knows can't it. Re he can't repeak. They're going B. They Wait, are no, going to go B. Is he looking to go for the peak? He can catch the bomb. He's got it. What? They drop it. And while Apex jiggles towards CT spawn, this is now a recovery oh, mission. One man to God. do it. Nobody else other than a liege. What was an opening gets closed oh. in on Grim. He gets something back, but that bomb is still in the possession of Vitality. Messi hot on their heels, and it is the French to hang on. They go deep down mid. Grim, it is too much of an ask. The opening, they felt it, but Grim, no way. In no world. 30 seconds. Then they are just going to vacate over towards the B site. <sighs> much scarier for Grim to go A, but at this point, uh, they can play time. Grim? He has one chance to make a I've never a asked anything from you before. Go. They are not go. camping this. Yeah, less than 10 seconds. Fuck. As long as this coffin player <sighs> doesn't die, and it is Zywu, so don't Can't expect even it. This time. is done. He doesn't even have the time. Runs in. Three seconds to the clock. He's toast. <sighs> and Vitality <sighs> push it OT. Oh, man. Is it a mistake? <sighs> is it a mistake? I mean, it's hard to say. They go for the reclaim on mid because they don't have arch control. They have a tactic in place to make up for the fact that they're not watching Arch, they're not holding CT, and that bomb obviously was yet to was throwing nades. But I'll <laughs> say this: Holzer turns his back to top middle as if that's not a possibility. Uh, well, he's just going B, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Could still run backwards, no? Yeah, he could. I, I just don't think it's even in his. I just don't even think it in his mind. matters. His team just to be grabs Arch, right? I mean, even if he's so, running down backwards, the chance of him doing like anything there. Eight times out of ten, it works out. Situations like that, they didn't know what the setup was. I promise you guys overtime, all right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's not complexity unless it gets close. And it doesn't stop delivering. The question remains, will Elyse get online in this opening map? Forward app's presence again. The setup that Vitality threw out last round and never got found out. Complexity, they fell victim to that boiler control into the deep mid peak. The false confidence of the B rap, which did look doable up until Bomb went down. No extra layer on this one. It's gonna be the full-fledged top banana charge, Flamesy and Apex. And a smoke that will not take his vision away. Malish crosses over into the pit. He's going to fire off. And there's no trade on that one. Bro, the amount of times I've seen Complexity die to a player on boost is actually Alish fucking incredible. Around this smoke, just making sure that the site is theirs for the taking is at least something to play that off of. That three month reset, busy, thank you. Spam right on top of him, but it's slightly off the mark. Can they hang on for dear life? They've got Holzer The way they win this post play was if Holzerk wins some fights Three here strong in construction oh that's a horrendous true. start this that is a one tag for a little bit of damage okay Holzer we're fucking don't win any like falls victim to the corner holes are locking in flashbang blinds him and his enemy and that ct challenge is coming through smoke Zywu holds. Holzer missed. Hit a shot, Holzer. I will literally. New box you missed your other bullets. And with a Glock in hand, he's found by the frag. Vitality's oh, I need, I need retake 50. made easy. I need 50. Oh, oh my Life God. God. How many more missed shots? What How many more missed shot, shots, bro? man? One. One. That's a hard one to metabolize. I can't lie to you. Um, it's like all the good positions, too. Like he, that's the like the best and worst part is like he set himself up right he set himself up but you gotta hit those man you gotta hit those oh my god you want to give a team you want to give vitality credit for being able to pull off that retake but you see how many times oh, they could have dude, lost he that actually round right there. had so, so many opportunities he basically had dude. no option but to run through a smoke that someone's watching almost certainly so he waited as long as possible and the shot was missed it didn't come in that was supposed to be complexity's round Oh, man. I hate to say it, but that's your job, man. Like, that's what you're uh, supposed to be. You can't miss the easy shots if you're an opera. I don't know how else to put it. And it's, it's Sully's actually a map of great moments out of Halzerk. But with complexity, with the amount of time that they spend in overtime, but these are the moments that matter the most. It's also not a situation that we're strangers to. Oh, man. It's not the first sequence of missed easy shot chat. from Holzerk. Flashes Pop sucks in CS2, not his fault. Shut the fuck up, Pete. And something like that. Saiwu back at it. 
Pressure and Banana, it's not Apex and Flamesy this time. You've got the AWP of Vitality in position. And he's been powering up. Oh, through the half wall. Alzer's using, all, all using Oni's curse. Dragon more up. Why? Much. Who? What? Frag grenades go both ways. Oni has a cursed item him. and he gave it to an NA pl or trying to player on an NA team. Right? Top middle. Yeah, I always knew. This one falls flat for complexity. It could be economic problems. I always the knew. And we could be staring Only at a hates clean NA, sweep dude. of the CT side. I always OT. knew. That's fucked up. Right now, also, what the fuck, Halzer? What the fuck are you thinking? And a third member of the defense not far away from this bomb site. It's gonna have to be some kind of spectacular entry, but you'd assume complexity will get preoccupied with it, <laughs> which is not okay. held on to. Halzer Q will find no, the opening. Can't look. That's Two side. Down. Close left. Messi in the the Molly isn't burning. On, I'm gonna cry. Gracious, through the smoke position. What is now the point of being able to Molly here if it doesn't burn the fucking box? It. Complexity collapse in oh, sight. Oh. Yeah, it's a bad Molly. They can't trust it. Chat, yeah, Nori's trying to bring me beet juice. I'm going to literally shit over, myself. Uh, Overtime means that uh, complexity are going to be saving on two players. are forcing up down to Deagles. MP9s, who knows? Saiwu so lays down the lead here. Shot through the half wall. Second oh, God. one. Can I get, can I get as well as a wall bang. No, no, this I makes this hold easier much later on in the, in the round. It ain't half bad. Uh, Guns come out. One Galil for Halzer. Oh, okay, I guess because they never had to buy yep. an op, so. They didn't buy the T-side off today. Start off. Uh, what's the beat juice for? Yeah. Done well Just with help money, with some stuff. Sure. Calculators crunching numbers, pressure out of top banana. Shit, yeah, dude, honestly, beat juice is fucking lit. The problem is, is Nori vitality. also puts apple in there. Which, if you didn't know, chat, certain apples are just full on laxatives. If you didn't know, from the fucking pectin. By a thread, and they just keep getting pummeled by all this util. They will be fighting for double overtime by the looks it of things. It basically weaponizes your ass. Absolute heroics. What? What? A soul crushing result in OT put forth by Vitality. That is complexity and regulation with both pistols, with full conversions each time, a 6 0 start in the first half. And all of a sudden, Floppy gets up from Arch. Zywu's gonna step into the crosshair. Floppy, a little labored, mm. but he opens up. Maybe. Have a split. Maybe. And this is pressure on Flamesy with only 40 health. He's on the plate. But still, Top Banana smoked, and that's going to buy just enough time. Look at this pace out of Vitality's flank. Just don't forget about it. Molly comes down. That'll get him out, but oh, he delivers. The headshot's clean. JT. It's both, JT. Top's it's both. For complexity, trying to do it all with a smoke in front it's of both. the Come Banana on, brother. players. He welcomes them through it. Make the read. So Make the read. secrecy for JT and a back turn. Oh. Oh. Here's Johnny, a 1v3 to give them Good some shit, dude. sort of hope Good in shit. OT. Come on. Johnny Tutom with a two Come kills. On. Beautiful stuff. They needed it. I mean, what can you say? They needed this round right here. Chat, pray for and me. I'm taking a sip of this shit. Overtime after the T half and the climb back into the game to get to 12 first, as we normally see. Actually, if better I, like, yet. The streak of rounds out of vitality. This mustache is out of control. And make for a possible shoes. situation. And that Where's guy on your screen, we're still I waiting need, for dude, him. my mustache. I need a trim so fucking bad. My fucking mustache is drinking half the fucking thing instead of me. A well-composed clutch from the top fragment right. of complexity to give them that twinkle in their eye. That <laughs> I need to draw you, Chad. That it may get close. Why is the glass so full? Because we don't fucking half-ass around cold. here, dude, huh? Floppy versus Sphinx. This duel in Boiler has gone both Tony ways. Let, let Brokey have the dealer one so time and it was worst ever performance at a tournament. Flamesy could try to pressure Why are we letting two? Oni pass this? What right the fuck is that? He's gonna smoke off one that should be considered like match fixing. Top banana grim locked in. Sending bullets down range. And oh Saiwu challenges. Oh. And he won't miss. Oh. He shall not let them pee. We've seen that before. Sphinx up into apartments and Vitality begin to shred complexity the moment they thought they had hope. Oh, that's just disgusting. The one player ah! that will do that, running through the smoke at the bottom of Banana with rifles behind him. And he gets the double entry. Wasn't that CS Summit when he just ran down that mm. B-bomb site? Yeah, and that's just his, his infamous pick play, but that's right, when he turned that basically into an ace. When the Zai Wu 
Does the fucking Zaiwu. One of the early moments in that Vitality jersey. <sighs> when I. Oh, the entire stop panel it! All of pundits were left in awe. And a community realized that we may have our hands on something special. Mother fucker, hold his dude. Op. For me, it was when I saw him drinking milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> in the office. Strong bones. Firm structure. Lays down the foundation of a B ramp this round. Looks to love it. Thanks to the, the one. Thank you. All right, can I just get a straw? GT, he I must see, have actually just consuming half of this it was drink right smoke, now. But it wasn't, and yeah, the infamous play here from Zaiwu. Confident as ever with his teammates behind him. Each of these teams' stars started slow. Need something to suck on? One yeah. of them has come back to yeah. life. The other has been flatlined. And now he's just playing forward every round here on Banana. Back in control of the situation, seemingly. The first two map points that Vitality have had to play with, it was complexity that let it slip in regulation. Spotting with this, uh... He's got the AUG. Yeah. P2000, he was great with the AUG in the first half, CT side. Big part of the A site holds. Man. Floppy goes deep balcony. This is gonna get, let Flamesy get close. This yeah. is gonna put pressure on a liege. He's got to offer something, and he will. A kill and a half. Come on. Contested oh. Nice tracking. And still, Holzerk's able to keep himself alive. This could be the last round. Two on three. Zaiwu on the op. Zaiwu has oh, a fucking op post plan, plan, dude. And that would have taken Zaiwu off They have a lot of util. But he will be given but a this chance is, to remain posted uh, on high. And a smoke uh, grenade in front of Moto to serve up yet another challenge for Complexity to try and get over. So much impact utility here for the CT side. Zaiwu comes back and looks. Short player yeah, but it's Zaiwu, guys. It doesn't matter if it's the curse off. It's not that powerful. And as the smoke fades, the push starts to come out. Zaiwu's ready to shoot. Ready it's Wu. Wait. He misses, Wait. And he can't recover. Oh, my God. Uncharacteristic miss. Oh, my God. After a beautiful round one prior complexity, they'll survive that first test with a retake on A. That's evidence that he may be human. So here's a chance here. Oni's off is actually cursed. Double overtime, as promised. What the fuck? Get this the shit out of your in. inventory immediately. You that every little bit was important there from Halzerks. You know, one get trade the, on the side of the get site. Get it out of here. What? To Alicia's first as well. How here. did he miss that? Like, actually. I would like an investigation to be open against Oni Blades immediately for fixing matches, and, clock, and but, he should know, not be able to distribute this op to anyone. Time. They had a plan, and they executed well. Ooh, then an opening kill complexity. Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't give them hope. <laughs> Great. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm on. You might think that complexity are simply going to win this game now. Huh. Well, you'd be right. For a team trying their absolute damnedest to represent North America as well as possible. They have been through so many heartbreaking results in the last year alone. A flash of success at the start of CS2. That would have convinced them anything is possible, but to get their hands on. back on that form. Formally good with a 31 month Here recent, thank you. Challenge off the flash. Nice. Two CTs hold this nice. Up. No entry from the first two. Come on. And Elise starting to get himself in that kill feed more often than not. It is Apex to grab bomb for free. It is Apex to give himself smoke. And a chance in the post plant. Pressure is high from Elise as he wraps around short. Apex gets that one and doesn't take any damage in return. Okay, why why do I just have a weird feeling right now? Where are we graveyard. going? I love this reposition. Could very well catch oh this next player on Moto off guard. And then what if he drops into the bomb site? Uh, oh, they come back. Complexity gonna play this as a pack. Halzerk leads the charge. Apex <gasps> trigger discipline. He lets them all cross. No, 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 no. Somebody, no, no. somebody, Apex look at him. The defuse comes through. He denies. And no. time's on his side. Oh, has he done it? JT jumps on top oh, by the skin of their teeth. Oh my god, I have no... Oh, oh again, they hold! Woo. Well, 
If that was an experiment to see if he could have delayed for time, I think we have made sure to check for sure that he played it perfectly. He, that was, uh. there was no other way he could have gotten, maybe looking down in that situation after he got the first kill, but he squeezed that stone dry. Okay, nice try, Apex. That was a pretty unwinnable spot. And they didn't come in to check graveyard of all positions just die. because he didn't shoot at the first guy. And they just totally forgot that it existed. It's a high pressure moment. Apex nearly takes full advantage of it. I'm good. I'm good. What an unbelievable situation that he could have won if JT didn't hit that headshot. Oh my god. Dude. Holy shit. Back in with fast pressure, JT. Ooh, man, he heard it. And they could have come around that corner, but instead he gets into sight. Oh my god. Again, the problem with the CD side was a disconnect between the rotations, and they've got the CT shoved back. No re-aggression over on Banana, no re reclaim of space. It can come down to just how many entries they can deny, and a perfect spray as Floppy clears Floppy, the smoke with his own Floppy, you beautiful motherfucker. You beautiful motherfucker. How's the major been so far? Stressful. Sure, they get a sight line into A, but with that smoke up, they're going to just take a gamble. There could be players around all these corners. They jump in and find it clear, and Halzer doesn't press his luck. Why would he? He's got teammates right behind him. Let them have their plant. Maintain man advantage, and do not let these low HP players pull you, one over you. You also have an, a nade on JT. He's not using it. Miss shot. Oh Luckily, my God. JT here to help. Keep Flimsy. going, Halzer. Halzer, keep going. Ten bullets in that mag, and what? <laughs> of all the shots to hit. Fuck yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Stop running. Hell yeah. Hell okay. yeah. And they Hell just go for the yeah. And they, they close out that round, at least. That's a good one out of Floppy, who, again, he was clearing the smoke out with just his ammo. Once that, uh, it started to come back up. Jesus fuck. Literally never <laughs> stop moving. You're just a bug Come on the windshield. <laughs> and I'm on the Fucking highway to complexity. freedom. 10 health and so ready to get traded. Had high confidence in JT as he missed the shot and already banked on his IGL. Now another challenge. Ooh, okay. <sighs> I, it's nice. a, the hard one's fine. It's such a love-hate relationship. Just hit the easy ones. Just hit the easy ones. It can look so good and then fall so flat. Floppy's been strong in this position. <clears throat> Thanks with a great chance to get the better of a liege, but... Now Halzer... Oh, blind! Doesn't fire. Apex gets something unraveled on B. There is support already here. Flash will hold them back, and the, it's not like the bomb can come sprinting in either. It still remains bottom mid. Floppy with a glance Fuck. catches the player. That's the bomb. That's the bomb, though. That's bomb confirmed, but it's also a balcony player to creep out while B simultaneously starts to fall. A spray from Grim that gets the tree player down, but Zaiwu burns him out. And as the off dives, they're into orange, out. They're gonna go back to A. Fuck. That deep line to see. My Tally's playing this really well. Oh, Wait, it's clear. It's challenge. clear. Go back to A. Go back to A. All the while, A site free for the yeah, taking. Yeah, it's a ruse. Then we go plant down. CT is as far as they possibly could be. Other side of the map, in the two on two. Flamesy and Sphinx have actually been waiting for some time to be able to play together. I want my prime work. I'm trying to give you my money. They added like an extra step. You have to elevate lineup. your sub or some bullshit. Along with one of the best Bezos trying to do anything he can to not pay me the prime. First piece, good. Ooh. Both players, exactly what you want. Spinks and Flames come together, serving up a round win. And that was complexity, trying to deal with the challenge of the B site and the possibility of bomb being on banana. But all yeah, the while, yeah, Tony, thank you very much for the 26 month primer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, chat to elevate your sub today with Twitch Prime. Don't forget to use it.
Big Daddy Bezos hit it behind another button. Tough one to get back into. Only OT. That's the next of, to the primer. No. Did the, did the Listen, dude, you have to use it on me. Use it on somebody, but I mean, obviously, preferably me. I love money. So, yeah, what the fuck? For overtime. Read and weep. Thanks for the two-year primary. Beautiful again. bastard. Thank you, Swanky. Thanks to the Twitch primer. Thank you. Solid McLovin with the nine-month primer. Chad, I'm looking for hot girl thrillers and matching all gifted again. And and it's member mommies on YouTube. So. I used 16 from earlier, by the way. I was supposed to do it They're after this map, but holy fuck, here we are. Boom, thanks to the 10 month primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Part there for you know, seven and one in opening duels. Twenty. NRG, thanks to the rifle. five month primer. Thank game. you. And MP, thanks to the five month primer. Signature, thanks to the primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you want to have to focus on. There's a chance. And Wallace, thanks to the 14. God damn. have another chance. This worked incredibly well. They just get by now. Weezy thanks to 10 month primer. Mezzi was exposed there for a second. Uh, hash thanks to the Twitch primer. Suspicious Mango oh, thanks to the 30 month primer. And Viper thanks to the Twitch primer. Mike, will okay. Have an angle held. Sutton thanks to the Twitch. Just tell Twitch chat you love money. Sutton thanks to the primer. Ooh, wow. Yeah, no one swings in front of it. Dessert JT, thanks to the 9. And Apex thanks to the 15. For a second there, he's naked and afraid. Praying that nobody peeks him and he gets away with it. But a testament to how cautious I see the Vitaly Jason Lake tweet. Being. He ain't wrong. He's waiting for the right play, actually. He ain't He's wrong, for the, dude. Them to pop through the smoke. He's expecting Makes two them of to us. do it soon. Slam the window flash through. comes. Last yeah. of two month primer. Thank you. He throws his nade out. He'll get a bit of damage for it. Rotator hadn't gone too far. Grim doubles back. All in vitality to try and nab this 17th. Oh, what? JT just shaves one off the play, but Grim comes out through smoke and dies empty handed. Yeah, there was not even a flash for him. Nope. Flash of Dixon 2 and Lime Dixon 3 caught. with Primer. Thank you. And all the vitality now locking into the post plant. Retake What's the utility. Util? Just flash in the form fuck. of flashbangs and no other nades. Yeah, he's no smoke in the oh, situation. Oh, this is then so bad. Just thrown out from Vitality, though, blocking off CT Cross. Oh, Ooh, God. Man, another on Coffin. This is going to get so incredibly desperate. And so long as Vitality don't eat these flashbangs, then it should be angles held and a slaughter Ooh. of complexity. Sure enough, locked in. 17 rounds. Nah, as soon as those smokes came out, it was, board. that was 19 fucked. to close the game here for Vitality. 18 for another overtime. <sighs> I am with a 71 month resub. Thank you. Appreciate you. True. I am reading the message. Man, Probably not, though. Individual stats coming but I'm definitely the, not the reading this either. The lead right now. Since it's a sub notification. And Alicia still 12 and 26. This either. God damn, bro. Eventually you get warmed up. Dude, I feel like there's going to be a round. It, if, there's got to be one cooking. If Elise eats the up. rest of his nails, it'll power him up. Flamesy charging Maybe. Strong down banana ahead of the util. Out of complexity, he's good. Stop with this fucking SG Halsic. You're actually a demon with the AK. I hate you. 19 for the map win. Guys, the Dallas Cowboys don't own Complexity anymore. But they still do have the logo, I guess, for now. Oh, he's nice. without help, actually. Flamesy nice. has no one here. Apex just pulled away. Nice. Apex had just left. He was toying with the thought of flashing. But bombs in T-spawn for Complexity. Luckily for them, there's also a smoke in Banana, so they can use this moment to go back, but also go deep. Nice. Wrapping around the arch, balcony player spotted Sphinx ready for the next oh, he one. He got both three now coming his way. And as they continue oh, to no, come no, out no, of no, no. Sphinx, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Sphinx is looking rock solid. Fuck! Back into the little pit, side arm in hand. That's when Elise will best him. Apex out from the library, foregoes control of the site. Come on, Elise. Come on, bro. This 2v2 retake. If you're gonna have a round. Oh, Zaiwu takes a bunch of damage. And we're gonna have Apex wrapping around, not short, but all the way through oh, apps. Who will be exposed when he comes out, Balk? Yeah, it's gonna be grim. The Hopefully. first fight, low health. Back of the site. 
in this crossfire side. Oh. What a shot through the no. pillar. Grim misses. Oh. And Apex bests him to give Vitality 18. Any bit of damage on either frag. And they get out of that situation alive. Instead, they both die and Vitality are one away. After coming back in regulation. They cannot get the train on the I would at least peek that if he knew the op was there. You mean having a headshot only fight versus the opper? Jesus Christ. Damn. Leash takes a chance. He just sat there and waited for his opportunity. Ah! Fucking there. It's Zywoo true, guys. If you're playing Zywoo, you just can't peek any angle whatsoever because it's Zywoo. Just simply hide. Third opportunity for Vitality Fucking to close out berries one. in the chat. Hell of a fight they've had here on their map pick. You guys literally shit yourself when a Hell woman makes eye contact with you. Calm down. Surviving North America's challenge. <clears throat> Oh, okay. nice shot. We take those. We take those. That's it. Start the engine. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Working with one cylinder and still <laughs> sputtering out. Okay. A liege almost gets in with a second. Oh, he's oh my so God. Close to finding it. Oh, and my. That just Go again. Up the Go again. Site. Do it but again. It Fuck like it. He's tantalizing. They're going to try to pop out from back no, again. No, the holes Mizzy. pop. Oh, oh there's no. Making sure that there's no, no entry allowed. Stop it all. Everyone, but here to help him and JT has been canceled out sectioned off how up, could this happen to, to me I made my As mistake survive the test of complexity both pistols go the North Americans way full conversions in each half a 6-0 no at the start of today but this Apex that's goals pick this way thanks for the 33 month recent well, thank you beginning of that game they may very well have needed to win Inferno the 5-0 start for complexity is quashed with a double overtime victory with a three round lead and everybody getting better for vitality oh, apex man. absolutely exploding there Mathieu. would you care to translate what he said i think he said something along the lines of we are playing like shit, but we can do it okay. there was the vibe and i think it's a victory i mean just listen let's be let's address the offender in the room this wasn't a clean game of counter-strike there are plenty of mistakes, either plenty team. of weird moments from either team Listen, for me, their team, exactly, that's my statement. But I got to say for Vitality, it, mentally what it means to be able to pull through, the beginning of the game was atrocious. At the very beginning of the game, the best, very, the best player in Vitality is Elige. That, that's what's happening, that's what we're looking at. He's, he's granted them a lease on life early on in this game. That, sh that should have been like a 9-3, 10-2 first half in you know favor what? of complexity. It should have been a 13-4 complexity. Yeah. That's what we were uh, looking at at the beginning of the I'll game. I'll tell you who's working the hardest in the whole building right now is TC, complexity's coach. He's, he's just going to have to have an emergency yeah. room now. Yeah, he's having a conversation. And he's, that was my Everyone pick? on that team knows they let this uh, one slip away. They let this one out of their hands. No, you're right. right. That's right. A couple I'm of confusing in my head. They show when they do the vetoes. It says pick CT. That's Right. But it, it says that, pick that right and then the logo of the side that they picked. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That was Vitality's pick, my bad. Cole picked Vertigo. They're lethargic. They don't know how to play the game. They're disjointed. They don't find any openings. And the rare cases right, where me, they have a trade, let me give the 16 subs to you guys real quick. Gives that away. By the way, this was a candidate for Chat, don't graffiti. Move. If we do that again in Counter-Strike, I am so, so absolutely, close. I'm so sad for Apex that didn't work out. Oh, you man. You would have thought that Apex had the trigger oh, to do that? Yeah, you know, so, so? it's his only play. We were talking about as it was going on. Smart positioning. You're never going to clear that corner. You don't time. really think it's possible. Oh. And that is so close. <laughs> We Poor will Apex. remember Apex. We will remember. Oh. But look, I mean, between the CT side of complexity, like, it just should have been way stronger. I think a lot of miscues on when plays could have been made in overtime. Some people swinging through smokes when you don't really need to. You add in <laughs> the round that almost made me just, like, cry. The, I know. the halls are around the B bomb site. Oh, man. Gonza, thanks for 22 minutes, Primer. Thank you. And allows that retake to actually happen. And other than that, it's, it's a oh. great game from everyone from complexity. Floppy came in as the worst rated player in the elimination stage. JT was the third worst rated 
rated player in the elimination stage. Those guys stepped up to their game. And, you know, we glaze him when he has great games. We got to deglaze him now that he's had a bad game. Deglaze him. Alish, man. That, that's I it. know. It, this is not the game for that. No, it is really rough because they probably needed him to be at 70% and that would have worked out. He's at like 40. I, I do want to give some credit to JT because I think comparatively the T side of complexity was the better one here. I think they had the most comprehensive rounds. They were taking map control away for Vitality. They caught them off guard a couple times. Spinks, what really saved Vitality, and we have a good example right here, is that in key moments, some individuals just massively stepped up. Flamesy uh, bailed him out of situations. All right, on the give me side. one Spinks second. I'll be right back. Yeah, behave yourselves while I'm gone. Map two coming up. Moments where I'm completely calm and not so much right now because for Vitality, this is the proof of concept. You're talking about Counter Strike. You don't need to play the perfect Counter Strike. You just need to be mentally strong enough to turn around these situations and kill the that crosses the small. Yeah, uh, why'd you do that? Why'd you have to stick the dagger in that one? Oh, that was a five on four. He makes that play, gets the advantage right back. Yeah, I mean, Flames has just been so consistent for Vitality, he's hasn't he? He's not, he's not really that, he's not really blowing up the scoreboard. He's not coming onto the scene in this jersey the way that Sphinx did, where it was just like, oh god, he's actually incredible. But he's just there for you. He's just a rock that you can rely on to get his stats, get his numbers, hold his position. And what a luxury, an absolute luxury for Vitality. And I think that is the key. You touched on it, especially with Zai Wu. These guys got stronger as the mm -hmm. game went on. Yeah. I think complexity was going in the other direction a little bit. <laughs> like the last round, of, their last round of double over, overtime as well to actually win the game. You could see it. They were so stuck in that holes pop mentality. They had called that holes pop. They get a five on four with over a minute. They're fighting someone apex halfway down banana, and they're still committed to that holes pop. And it's like you actually have time to play this map. You actually have time to play the five on four, and they chose not to and get destroyed. Uh, I don't. I don't even need to say anything. It's uh, It's been a joy actually watching you two watch the game together and listening to you right now and the way you're seeing this game, right? Because the best analysis is coming out of it because you're both invested, honestly. Mm. It could have been a better game. Could have been had a little it's bit more It's slightly better you know, if you want, of course. For the lore of the major, for the lore of the major I don't mind. I I'll take your messy game with yeah. stupid ass round. It's if this is the intensity we reach, I'll take I'll yeah. it. Messy Counter-Strike brings, brings uh, exciting Counter-Strike yeah. most of the time. You gotta be able to win the messy games as well. Otherwise Perfect Counter-Strike isn't fun. That's no, true. right. We 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 all despise Astralis for winning everything and playing by the book. But I'll tell you what, it's to lay a positive on the team that lost complexity because one of the one of the big points we made coming into this matchup was perseverance and do they mm -hmm. have it after the mouse game and after Absolutely. the interview with TZ. This this was this, this was perseverance because they had a lot of moments they could have shut down way harder. They should have won the game. They should have had a stronger defense. They should have all, all Wait, these I'm things. I'm not following if, if, perseverance if, and. Like and you mean the, the bringing they, it to double overtime could have collapsed. In spite of Elise, that's what you mean? Or yeah, yeah, that works. Like too. Whatever, you want to, whatever you want to phrase it. Perseverance uh, in playing out all the rounds. Four yeah. out of fives, four out of five really read that TC interview. Like they really applied all the principles. You know, we're gonna <laughs> stay in the game, we're gonna have the resilience. 80% is pretty damn good. That's a B minus. That's a B minus. That's a passing grade, Master. Well, don't, 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 don't sneeze at that. Oh. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take that performance from Elise. I love it. You uh, are both very animated, but since it was a messy game and it did go that distance in the OTs. That does mean that we need to look at Vertigo now uh, with a complexity that had a better T side than Vitality's T sides that they showed, right? Is what I gather on, on from you guys? The, no, yes, that is so, a very correct statement. Uh, I think Vitality was super uninspiring on the mm -hmm. T side. Um, and and I, I really hope that this victory from Vitality kind of unleashes them a little bit. And whatever intensity they had at the end of the map, because we were hearing our little table is right behind the player's booth. Yeah. We can hear them talk at all. They reached that moment where they're actually playing counter strike which is there is a relay of information, we talk with each other, we set each other up, we make sure everybody knows what's going on. That wasn't the case at the beginning of the, of the, of the game, rather. So I'm not going to say, hey, I'm worried for Vitality Seaside because I feel like these days are long gone. This, If this doesn't wake them up, like, I mean, come on. Yeah, I more wanted to approach it from the side of Jason, talking then about the chances for complexity going into Vertigo. I mean, I think one of some of the nice things you have is, you know, Floppy, who's, who's going to be an anchor on this map as well, Grim, who's going to play an important role over towards the A ramp. You have these guys actually playing well, and if that translates all of a sudden, and you can put together a game. And mm -hmm. I think the nice thing for Vitality is that little bit of a luxury because you were worried about, about Vertigo coming in for this team as well. You have this map one victory, so you have that little bit of a safety net behind you. But obviously we've seen we've seen Complexity able to put up really good game against Heroic, the double overtime there. They have plans yeah. that can go deep into these maps. They have adaptations that they can take. What, what's really good for Vitality as well is that even though it wasn't a stratospheric game by his standards, I still think the AWPSI will rank true in moments where it's oh, yeah. either loss or win. Literally, he's had a couple of moments even on the T side, multi kills defending the bomb side, and the eye test, you know, you know when he gets in that zone when the shot is guaranteed. And I'm not gonna say that was the case on day one because it wasn't. So now you're moving on to Vertigo, and there's gonna be moments where he yields. That was also, I want to say, 
I feel like emotionally speaking, it's very hard to sort of pinpoint Halserk because the world will remember these missed shots oh, in yep. the B side. Yep. We will. They will live. Uh, they will leave an impact and an imprint that is going to happen. But he was still here the whole game. Yeah, he yeah. had a contribution that needs to be valued to an extent. A lot with the rifle as well, right? He had the auger as well. doing doing some work as well. But I mean, this look. This is the problem when you get into those important moments that can change the game, that can change the nature of the game, and actually get you over the finish line. You didn't have anyone from complexity stepping up. Where on the reverse side, you had your Zai Wu's, you had your Sphinx yes, over in Pei, you had your end. Flames at the B bomb site, you had those guys actually performing, and that's something that NA has always seemingly lacked for the most part in these scenarios where it's like, we're here, we're at the finish line, one more step, one more player just delivers, and I mean, look, not not to harp on those shots from Halzer, because I'm still hurting, I'm still I know. in pain, I, but they, I were, feel you. they were easy, even you could have hit those shots, Matthew. <laughs> Listen, you know what, I'll, I'll let I'll you have this you, one. I've seen I'll you all. I'll let you have this one. You could have hit those ones. I feel like you were nailing you exactly You want to do a little bit more? I know you're angry at him, you want to do a little bit more, just like another? Yeah, just, no. I, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. I can, I can. <laughs> to be honest, let's just move on. Do we want to just move on on that one? Yeah, there. we can oh, let's get on Paul's ring. He did have a good game, but he missed some really big <laughs> shots. And we will never forget. And we'll never forget it. <laughs> the Americans yeah. will remember. Yeah. Yeah, for Brazil, it's you'll never understand. For the Americans, it's <laughs> you'll never, never forget. forget. <laughs> we're going to take a oh, quick no. break because uh, we're laughing it off. But it is a serious business. It is for a ticket into the top eight of the major and a chance to play in the Royal Arena. We're going to Vertigo next. So grab a snack and we'll see you in 13 minutes. 12. Uh, 11. 10. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting well now. Yeah, Carol up and on. Let's stay today. Let's stay today. Forget. There were two, 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 two seconds. Where one? After the money, flash with flash. now. I'm swagged, I'm swagged. I smoke uh, banana again. Flash ups. Have you made? Out, 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 no, fuck, fuck the bomb, hold on. Fuck the bomb. You don't see the bomb? Yeah. Don't see. You heard him? No! 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 Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displate. Hang your displates in seconds. Swap them whenever you like. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. Before I forget, oh, shit. Bubba, thanks for two years. Fuck, I done shit and blow my nose, dude. Same time. What's with that, man? I'm synced up. It's crazy. I'm like not sick anymore, but my nose is still being fucking annoying. Chains of G2. Meanwhile, I got you. I got you. For just in time. Just to give you an idea of how the vibe has changed in this game, G2 are now the ones calling in a tactical timeout, yeah. right? Remember, they were kind of, they, they were having a ball. They were laughing. They were screaming. They were smoke pushing. Things felt like they were just clicking in a place for G2. And like G2, they are you going to lose the ecstatic? I swear and to God. they're recognizing that this game is tightening up. This yeah. game is getting closer. And, and the so they need through. the advice of Taz. They need the input from the coach just to try and bring them back into the fold. And you mentioned MR12, well, that's where the margins are even smaller, right? Like, you may well, feel like, oh, Nightfall is still outperforming done, fucking like Hunter and, and Nico, and bro. A couple of gun rounds, and suddenly you're staring down an even game, and the momentum has shifted massively, so... That what a vibe I do, man. Like, what the fuck? And that's why you're seeing some stern looks on their faces. 
realizing they've got to make this work right here, right now. They feign A back into a B play. A deep Molotov might cause some delay on this clear. Mm. It's really oh, ecstatic. Doing, doing, man. Left a huge oh, gap God. stacking up in middle. Beetle and like G2. Oh, this is the last thing they should be doing with all that noise made on the A side. But Ecstatic have relatively little info right now. And G2, once again, like their second round force by, have found the perfect gap. No one even shoots off that flash. This is G2's round, folks. I think that's wild. You could almost just justify saving if you're Ecstatic. Yeah, but I don't think they want to. Not with a round, you know, this favorable for G2. They have to give it a look I in. If they no, I think save. they have to save because wow. it, it, okay. even with a flank. They, the, I want to believe flank is so weak. footsteps. <laughs> If you go for this, smoke. if you go oh. for it and you lose it, while G2 have got all their utils yeah, you put them at 11. so entrenched, the, the game's done and you don't have any option to come back anymore. They just got double re-smoke. That will make the decision, even if they were. That wasn't was wild that they there. fully gambled G2, for mid and then they just walked in the B. Right now. And Ecstatic are feeling the pressure so much that they believe what they hear. G2 are feeding them misinformation, running towards a walking back B, vice versa. He good if first I think they all the ways to lose the round. That's that's not the end of the world if you're ecstatic. They still had ideas. Yeah, they could have good first round. That's good to hear, man. Because honestly, I don't want down a round. as much They're as I get claim them. Like, like it just so happened that that. That you kind of Similar took like the debate of the footsteps like, yeah. over towards it's just A. Way more entertaining instance, when they're playing G2 good, you know. Walk into an empty site. But it's not like that came down. Unless any they're playing an NA team, like to do that's like to, the only to scenario. There. Now you're able to run it back with the gun still in play. Yeah. And so ecstatic won't make that same mistake again. You can bet your house on it. But we always say if an in-game leader is fragging, he's making the right calls. We're not what only up, Oblivion. Thanks to the 11 month reset. Thank you. Arctic takes the 23 month farmer. Thank you. You know you're making the right calls. You're gonna have even more faith in your leading and your lead. And so G2 reignite that spark. A flint and steel on the floor. Oh, good spam. An engagement that almost certainly will favor those CTs. Honestly, does battle back. Yeah, somehow. I'll look at the, I'll look at the modesty Fletcher in a bit. These boosts have been no one's friend today. And that's at least good info towards me. Chad, uh, what's the timer for the other, uh, for complexity? Queenix is going to have to be the solution right now. The solution to all of Ecstatic's problems. He's got Nodios moving in to support him. And he's up close. Nodios dead immediately. They're going to start to Six run minutes, in. It's thank Queenix you. or nothing for Ecstatic. And he will oh! answer the call. Holy Queenix shit, and he dinked him. Has given Ecstatic a second chance. Monacy finished off as Salazar rotates over, and Queenix nice is hold. doing everything in his power to keep Ecstatic in this game. What a layup. His teammate dies so that he can live, and he does more than live, and he wins the entire round for his squad. The perfect spray down as G2 tight spacing. Can't even get a trade off. They're just wall banging him down to seven health. No! And he solo locks down his sight. And this is the thing, when G2 had Ecstatic in their heads and they had I'll the kind honest, of doubting every chat, play and they were going into every fight just believing being real it was over before no. the fight was even taken, G2 could afford to That's be all sloppy I want to add my in input. terms of their spacing on these, on these pushes. In Jared, terms no, of their thanks clears, to the 21-month farmer, thank away you. With that because they, they felt almost just predetermined, predestined to wow. win every engagement. That's not the vibe anymore. That's not the case anymore. You and so when over, the space is a little close, you're just beelining and kind of blocking each other on the push-up three ramp, you are getting punished now. Now. And so it's going to be a real test of Taz and Hooksy to try and bring the, the minds of G2 back into the idea that this game is competitive, because it is. As you've been saying, as we've been alluding to, these can close up so quickly. We're approaching the, the end of G2's money, mm. the end of their investments. Yeah. If they fall Round down in this the round, seven month it's thank you. a one-round game between them and Ecstatic. And there was a point where Ecstatic only had one round to their name in this game. 8-1. And now it's 7-10. And no one has gotten back-to-back -back rounds in this half. So, as you were saying, like, the money on the line, but that, that comes for whoever is able to field two in a row. Right now, it's in the favor of Ecstatic. They've got the AWP as well. And this game can be very tight very quickly indeed. Oh, my God, what a play to make. Nodios pushing all the way through middle in this round. They just need to block him by time. That's a good shot for Kragen with the smoke. And the double nades. And Tara's style blows them to oh, pieces. Damn. But they still make it through with an entry. Backstab by Kragen through the smoke. This one's getting mental right now. Oh, oh nice shot. Nice Salazar shot. As well, Nico. 
There's no saving this round. Inside of the smoke, into the AWP. That's going to reset G2's money here. Patiently. They don't need to jump the gun here. It's Nico under all the pressure. And he can wait here as long as he likes. He can't win the round from waiting on that swing. Salazar hits the shot. And this scoreline closes up very neatly. Money is now gone. Chad, I flame them G2. and they're still going. And the ninth round is, is almost as good as done at, at this point for Ecstatic. And this is why, you know, even in that round where they managed to walk up B, you can say, you know, that, that makes Hooksy feel good about the calling. I don't know. The, the thing is, that's not how any other round in the game was ever going to go. You still hinge on winning these openers. You hinge on getting through the Looking setups. Looking good in that jersey. Thanks, running, man. Running, dodging the util, getting it out of your opposition. And, and that's where G2 have kind of been let down in these last few rounds. You can't win it by just dodging the stack every time. Again, the illusion for G2... Rabbit out of the hat, sleeve Queen full of string. String. so solid over here at B, but he, he doesn't want to fall down to the pistols because like, if you give G2 away in now, that's where they do just close the game out. That's where they kind of suit and tie on, they button yeah. up, they smarten up, and they run away with it. You can't afford to fall down to the pistols, so he's done well to put a bit of distance between himself and the threat it's of G2 just looming into the round. It's literally just one P250, so one down, if they Queenix lose this, on an eco, lurks through we're going B back to Cole before it's even live. wins the round for Ecstatic, and ever since they've looked like a different team. They, I went to Pug to Cole win Inferno. To roll over, accept their fate. No. No, they didn't. No. Big. No. A Double OT. Too strong. The final boss of their glory run in Copenhagen. But right now, they are just giving it everything they've got to stay in the server, to stay in the series, and to stay in the major. Almost the ace. But the round is what matters. And five alive as well. Money has not been there for either squad. Finally, ecstatic stack cash. This is such a good no, example. No, no, I was wrong. That the, was Vitality's map. How, how mindset oh, wait, can make saying... or break a, a game of Counter-Strike. It you. really is a, a match of the mental right now. Uh, and the, the ecstatic that G2 are now playing at G2's lowest in the map is ecstatic at their best. The, the roles are very much reversed in that sense. G2 didn't think ecstatic had this in them. They didn't think they had that power to bounce back. And... You know, return to form after getting beat down so heavily. But Ecstatic have. And so right as G2, more and more doubts are creeping into their head. It's that feeling of belief for Ecstatic on the other side. And everything's tightened hey, thanks for the four-month reset it day. Like appreciate you. This is an entirely different team now. Yeah, G2 have no util. They've got three smokes and a flash in this round right now. Even even these aggro moves over towards B, like this is something that just wouldn't have happened five rounds ago. Oh. Close. Odios is very lucky there. G2, again, contact has more often than not delivered them rounds. I'll go back to a B walk. Queenix has no support this time. Got a boost on A. Got a block at B. Buying time. Nice molly. You'll hear the tick as well. Someone will. Well, this position's been very nice for Queenix, hasn't it? And with a boost, this position is so much more viable. He's looking at the ground right now. He needs to be careful. He won't see a thing right here, but he can peek late. They learn about this boost. Queenix going up and over, but he can't convert on the spray. Oh, no. Oh, Under a modest, he kills a piece. This is it for Ecstatic. This is where they've got to oh, try and put a stop Jesus. to the G2 Goodbye. run down through B. They lose the front man of Queenix. It's going to come down to the backstab. Kragan and Patsy moving in. One kill from the captain. Nexa oh, repositions, tucks himself in, and is ready for the long fight, ready to long this round out and play off his teammates. He's even giving Util to set them up to take space away over at CT. Patty spam down low. And Craig had finished off G2. A, a big solid sigh of relief life. All right, the all right, G2. Right. Let's switch back over. Oh, more it's vertigo? When you can win versus Fuck yeah, Cole won the pistol, pistol W. All right, Zai but they won the pistol last time too, so we got to be conservative here, chat. Small claps, you know? Trying to take USPs away. Damn you and your kit. There's <laughs> a smile. Nice to see. Little wrist workout. I mean, he is going to live forever. That's mm -hmm. one thing.
So uh, yes, you might have to work on the emotions and stuff like that, but he has forever to do it. You know, I have a hunch that Elige maybe has already lived forever. Oh my God! Okay, yes. He has been here from the dawn of time. Oh, just like get Botox every few years? Not even. Okay. He is the eternal, the forever. He's the eternal. I thought that was James. No, that's the Einstein. The time wizard. Hey, clipping. The freak of nature. Clipping! You love that right there, chat. Isn't that great? Careful, boys. You've got pistols in this B site. Mezzi loves to up and executes into B. This will be his bomb site all map long if you let him have his way. JT welcomes it. Oh, no. there you have oh it. my god. Two kills out of Mezzi. Exactly what Vitality need to have anything the fuck out in this of there. round at all. Apex Deagle nice. shots towards middle could have nice, really nice, been. Nice. The next level. What does clipping mean? Means like you're CT's hitting something like. Is inbound, it's like the equivalent of like time into the stepping on a Lego in Counter Strike. To just guarantee Except it's plan. happening a lot right now when you're trying to jump up. What should be the conversion? So again. he was mm -hmm. trying to jump on top of wood right there. Yeah, there's nothing above one. his head, but there's nice something that Mezzi. exists there that's invisible that I is say, I mean, I clipping think, uh, at the top of his head and smacking see, him back we down. We see great moments from Messi, definitely, but he's he's no he's no magisk, and I think that's still the case. So he tried to jump up. But he, CS2 sort of is literally buggy as fuck right now with vitality. clipping, it's so like he got sort of put back down. One of Flamesy and Mezzy. It's really obvious kind of on this sort of map status on the, with on jumping the and moments, because of B and the verticality, and, and then also the players. worst spot by far is trying to, to crouch jump out, into events, Anubis Heaven lands, right now. Majors, things like that. I think when you think about how you know, Majesk have has just left this team within the last year, and that Mezzy is filling that role specifically when it comes to anchoring. Uh, you know, you, you you kind of are. There's a lot of demand with uh, with with what you need from him. It's now it's not like I mean every matters, every map right? has a couple clusters. So, there's just a few that are like they had to find somebody, and that was lot. an interesting <laughs> guy to grab. <laughs> and I do like it. I've only heard really good things about Messi as a teammate. And I've heard he's really good at learning. He knows so many nades. He's like willing to play sort of every role. He's like a jack of all trades. So all of that is fine. But I mean, the, the experience and he really level is a player, that just brings obviously very high. He's a player that's good at everything, but n might not be great at this particular role. But my God, he'll take up the responsibility. You know, he'll he's he's a very selfless player. We have to give him that. Yeah. Willing to do whatever. He's the nicest guy in Brummy, is what I've heard. That's. I've also heard that's not a very high bar. I don't know. I've been there. <laughs> I don't know anybody from Brummy. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a nice place. It's not quite Oxford, yeah. A leash, floppy, Halzerk, all too easy here versus pistols. So complexity. This is three launders. Count them up. Three pistol round wins. Three three zero starts to each half that we have had so far in this series. Damn, really? Yes, yeah. sir. Oof. And if I were to tell you that, you'd think to yourself, oh, and this is also a team that was 2-0. Well, surely we're talking about a top eight team. Yeah. Surely they've made it to playoffs. That sounds like the formula. <laughs> nope, because it's complexity. It's complexity, baby. Doesn't matter how many pistols. They could win three pistols in one game and still make it to overtime. Dude, Launders. Dude. At least on Inferno, I think the only real tragedy that happened was that one round with a bomb. Actually, when the Halzerk misses with mm -hmm. the off. And Elise going nine. Mm -hmm. and okay, anyways. <laughs> I really, okay. for a second, when I first thought of that, was like that one round running away with the bomb. But other than that, Vitality played extremely well and made that hard as hell to actually close out. So we can definitely give him a lot of credit. They were trying to go for the boost mm. bottom B, but when they missed the first jump up, they decide not to go for second attempts. Nice walk out from Grim here. He's got timing on this B side. Okay, at least set this up so well. Massive. Big one for Grim. He'll nail the first spray down. Pressure on Mezzi, nice. who can't turn fast enough to stop that three-man push no. up from the B ramp. Now, the flank is compromised. If Vitality decide to throw something at this retake attempt, it will include the base of B in their control. We get forward presence from Complexity's post plant. Apex on high alert. And confirming Ooh. that that forward spot is held. JT having to deal with nice, the flash, but JT. a great crosshair snap nice back job, to where it bro. needs to be. 
and the pressure falls on the other members oh, of Vitality damn. to come in through the smoke with an additional layer now thrown up. So feels like this one goes from bad to worse for Vitality and yet getting better every round for complexity. Yeah. You know what I hate? And there's like some big series like the, you know, Phase vs. Complexity Sydney. There was like Virtus Pro Complexity at one of the RMRs. There was like a, or not the RMRs, but in a stage of the major, like all of these very close games. And there's always that overtime map, then a very good map for complexity, and then they just lose the third. Mm, yeah. you know? And you're like, oh, they could have 2 0 at one point, of course, but they can't because their complexity has to go to overtime. And I just hate that. Like, you can almost see that. Like, if we, the people who aren't even on the team, feel that way just watching it, how much of that of a cross is that to bear for complexity who have to every wake up day. and live it you know and and to know that that was in their in their past and they're just they're so dodging the loot what you gotta do man that, which is like i mean in general no matter that, who the know, opera is it's always the back, rounds are always a little bit easier if you can avoid it you know tournaments that have passed or the you heavy hitter with that you will never get sydney back scarred tissue okay okay nice 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 it's a hard hitting complexity up the ramp into majority pistols and that is one thing that I think Complexity have done a good job of is not falling victim to these sorts of rounds because if we yeah. want to lay it on thick to like the heartbreak of Complexity, can we not? They still haven't won this round yet. Endeavors, Scrawny, I need you to chill. Also end up going their opponent's way. This one looking good. They'll take Sphinx out of the bomb site. They know about Mezzi. It's Rotators like come through with the AK, but they know exactly what they're doing. You know, kill everybody, right? He's gonna surely. surely. Die now, right? Okay. A leash gives Jesus. the cover from short, makes sure they lock this in with two. And in the complexity story, the other uncomfortable thing is, and you know, it's not necessarily this roster's cross to bear, but it does come with the territory of being a complexity player. And that's that of all the NA teams, you have Cloud9 winning the major, uh, Liquid winning many, many trophies, including getting Grand Slam. Thank you. Um, EG getting New York. Mm -hmm. Complexity are the only NA roster that don't have a tier Set, one victory. Uh -huh. Uh, a tier one Chad, victory Brecky. ever. Ugh. I think that makes my heart hurt. Yeah. Just and as an as a North American, as a fan of Jason, and they've been there since uh, the beginning. Twenty years of Counter Strike. Well, man. I can't go back of course, before of course. CS:GO personally. Sure. Yeah, but even if it did happen twenty years ago, it's like that's too far gone. You know, we gotta. Just, what are we so eating? Egg, we bacon, toast. Yeah. The but classic. Hey, that's the other thing we're. They're getting closer. We're looking for is basically their time. You know, like maybe NA doesn't get an era with Liquid. They get the Grand Slam, but maybe they don't do it with, Compl with Cloud9, but they get the major. Hello. Goodbye. Complexity no Sydney. fucking that beans, the first one. looking for one like that. All right, well. Maybe we could start with a major. Cole's going to make me start stress eating real quick. I'm going to enjoy this real fast. Fine. Like Gambit. Exactly. Exactly. Nice well, active play from Apex top middle. You know, yeah, this will be a, left. This will be a hard round to lose here for Apex. He's got the flank, three players here ready to do exact. How much time can they spend looking behind them? Ah, another boost. Oh, up another too. one, man. He's just running into these stats. Uh -huh. Free for the taking. JT Luckily, I'm already eating, so I can't back. be stressed but, uh, out. W. He is but a one man army. And I've heard those don't work out too well. Not much of an army at all. Still packing a punch, two kills to his name, but it is Vitality's first on the board. Three players up, very active as well with the flank, with Sphinx being pressed close wood, making sure that Complexity can't just climb over top that wood wall, which has seemingly been a feature of their approaches. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's usually two layers to it. Hey, They're, wait, where did their jerseys go? Huh? That was for the first day only. That's it? Yeah. They can put them back on if they get the playoffs. <laughs> okay, they get a taste of it. <laughs> I like that. That's Keep like it fresh. You got to try armored vehicles for a week and help divers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can unlock it later. The taste of mechs. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can unlock some. Damn, that's too bad. Some heavy fire. That was power. a cool thing to see, though. What do you mean, launders? They've always worn these jerseys. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. They were definitely wearing the old school. Oh, nice. Good Smoke find. Gets blown open, but sometimes it bites back. In that situation, mm. might have been the T doing it in the first place, but see that coming in for the CT side as well. Chat, shut up. Well, well, well. Virtually the same start that we got on Inferno. How impressive is that? We all know how that one went. He's hopping mid! Saiwu? Yeah. Not gonna let Grim get into mid. 
Zaiwu not wasting any time in the second map. Was cold at the start of Inferno, much like a liege. Damn, these rotations are serious. I think they just like, they really expect Zaiwu to come back to A maybe. Yeah, there's some certainty behind this one, huh, from Vitality? Yeah, yeah, they feel very good about this. They've a lot of boost back sight nowadays on A. Ooh, Balzerk survives the shot. Ooh, oh my nice god, he headshot him. in with his second. All right, see, thanks to 23 month three, so thank you, and gone Smoke camping, thanks to 17. Half of it flashes at a scope on the gap. A walk up short, the barrel in the shadow gives him away. JT nice. snaps over his Holzer gives Good the job, cover JT. he has to. Messi off Fuck, the top ramp, so low. clears the player. Off ramp, <gasps> third kill from Messi. He he's got no, him all again. A crash, he crashed. Oh, he crashed, Wait, man. what happened? The last player ramp crashed out of the game. Wait, was it? Oh, he's fucking crashed, way? man. I no, swear they would have paused, right? Surely. I swear there was a player coming up ramp. Oh, yeah, I, I don't remember Elise dying, you, right? There, there was an outline, obviously. No, so. I don't remember Elise dying. Elise never Where's died. Floppy it was Elise. Look at Floppy. He's still alive. And he never died. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He crashed in the 1v1. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Was, yeah, yeah. It was just an outline. Holy no, hell. No, no it was Elise. Oh, my God. You fell for it. Right? Oh, okay. Elise crashed and came back. Oh, I see. Okay. So his outline yeah. stayed on the screen. I see. Yeah. Oh, dude. I just had a roller coaster of emotions, man. Well, he was 9 and 20, you know, so we got the ghost of a leash. Oh, dude. I was just in a different universe from everybody else for so a second. So shitty, well, man. Me in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> I always try to be glass half full about those. Nasty 1v3, though, from <laughs> Bezzy, man. Know, but oh, that really was, glorious. like, actually yeah. around where it glorious. fucking mattered. Like, god damn. God damn. You know, it's like, nice oh, it's around where it didn't really matter, you know, in, or... Minimizing behind box, dealing that with was a really low, mid, low percentage. Right they the literally had a huge advantage. He was actually low HP as well. Let's see if he can queue up anything else, because, again, I have high expectations for Mezzi on B. Full-blown exec. No challenge on the front of steps, so there's a lot of space for complexity. Uh, Sphinx and Mezzi content to just lean back and let them come into the attack. Elysia, it's a double. Nice. Whoa. The nades went deep to stop the bomb cross. And luckily for complexity, Elysia has kept them in this. Holy uh -oh. Mr. Molly. Not oh ideal. My God. Nades come out. Come on, stay Elise alive, survives it. And as he looks over top of Orange Box, he will hide on quad and let Hulzerk walk forward. Third defender is grim back on the ramp if needed. The insurance policy of this 3v3, there is still great utility for this retake out of Vitality. Here it comes. Molly, though, burning on Tetris, so Leash can hold on to his position, and he's got Holzerk to offer up a stay double. Alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. the 1v2, but the time is against him. The time is so far gone, mm. and Holzerk's going to post wow. three frags. Thank God, green. man. Thank God they won that great round from Holzerk in this game. And again, well done. Uh, it was the early start for... Halzerk on Inferno as well. A big reason why they had that hard start, hot start, why they won the pistol in the first place. And his opening duels overall have been amazing. That lineup though, damn. It's so bittersweet with him sometimes, but you see moments like this, you're okay. He's right there to cover his teammates, playing the trade, hitting great shots. Round nine rolls in, Vitality broke. Spent all their money re-signing Zywoo. Making that throne of gold worth it, though. Yeah, that shot is sick. <laughs> Elise in the short versus just these pistols. Vitality starting to fumble on this map. Apex in the chaos of it all. Saiwu, he's been given a great chance. It's three separate deagle kills always in their po back pocket. Oh, my we God. We get a round like this from Vitality. No, that's, that's how they open the door. Don't let him have this one complexity. It was going so well. Man, space getting closed off on them with double push out of B. No one watching this, hoping that... Well, they're, they're split up. Oh, I think Grim is obviously in jeopardy. He's coming back to clear this. <clears throat> That's nice, but there's two CTs here, and one gets the kill. Holzerk off to such a fantastic start in this second map.
God, it's gonna be a tough task to get the bomb back. First swing, oh, oh, oh! Second headshot, all Holzerk! And he goes unspotted. He can get the bomb, get away. CT trying to figure out what he's trying to do, running back and forth to get it. But he's running the entire way. Flamesy can definitely cut him off by walking. And he's gonna full commit as well. He's got flashes. If he gives himself that for maybe the first challenge, maybe it can open the door for the cross. But he wants gun out. Looking for the duel. Oh. No, sir. Flamesy doesn't waste a second. It's a great oh, attempt. Of course, from Eco, to even man. Get of course. Back, but Vitality Fuck across me, bro. the board. Take a bow. Those Deagle kills from everyone. Yeah, no kidding. And that that was like a 2021 20, play right there. Apex in between the two smokes, pushing down as the IGL on the ramp on CT side. Jesus. The fact that he got that kill. The double push was well played. Great spray from Halzerk, but an excellent angle from Flamesy to make that a safe lockdown. And Hauser, you know, if you have a lot of time, you walk that entire flank because you can just get a cutoff so much faster by the CT above you. But it was down to 26 seconds. You do not have to tell me twice, bro. He wouldn't have been able to walk much more. The goat versus Zywu. <laughs> Looks more like a sheep. <laughs> I would wear his hair. Okay. <laughs> huh. That mane. Uh, keep this guy away from the players. <laughs> Mac 10, look at this charge. Oh, they want one back, huh? A little ferocious pace from complexity, not letting vitality sink in to this Fuck. streak of rounds all too easily floppy and grim to try and challenge back and they are doing it in this bomb site wait There's straight up aggression is that what kind of grief that mac 10 wait. and pistols but a nice active play around short side here mezzi is looking to chop off the two side all side all side all side all in the open potentially blindsiding and grim sure enough floppy mm -hmm. hoping to just plant bomb at that point but spink swiftly over top and vitality bouncing back yeah they're real sharp with the that the Timings at which they're pushing, I uh, can definitely catch in complexity off guard. There goes their <clears> money global. With thank that. you very much for your Twitch primer. Damn. Yo, yo. Thank you very much for your sub, brother. Turn into a new story when it feels like it's the same story emerging again. Yep. So. Complex, you'll have to wait for a rifle round to get back control of this half. Of course, the last two rounds now. You can try to hold, yes. hold, hold yes. up. That's his 16th kill, I believe. Oh no, Floppy steps back into the fire. You know, you can try to weave a different story, but at the end of the day, it's all too familiar if you're a Complexity fan. Yeah. This curse seemingly always comes to fruition and a round where they just don't have enough to get through. If Mezzi was a lesser man, Am I eating? he would have let them in, but makes sure that the boost um, goes down, burns the second one, and holds on to the B site with ease. Vitality right now, toast. tie up this game. Yeah, they will They will definitely try. So I got a fuck bomb because I'm on lunch city. break and I have to work during the major, dude. And certainly a good chance they can make it 7-5. But it has been uh, five out of the last six rounds won for Vitality. Even despite this awesome showing out of Halzerk. You, know, you get a star performance coming through from Complexity. And if Grimm's gonna... Well, I beat I am Dallas, I will be out. round of the half, then Cole could still finish with that two-round lead. It's just a matter of hanging on 5v4 in the face of some utility. Back into this boost, this consistency of pressure onto B site. Floppy will be caught climbing over, but not killed. Floppy's gonna try to charge in. Mm. Mezzi, the anchor of anchors in this B site, keeping himself in cover so well. But Elyse will drop him. 
Hoser's here to help out. Zywoo. Yo. Wow. Taken okay. apart by Elise, and then we're gonna get that slow activation. Nice fucking kills middle. right so there. Grim is coming in to try and strike How? the kill down. Oh and my his bullets whiz God. By Grim. Him. nearly me. reacts, but a two-round lead in the end. Jesus. All thanks to that hot five-round start. Yes. Great job Seven from Holzer, man. What a half. Seventeen frags. Wasn't even his fault on the eco. He almost brought that clutch back from a one v three. All right. Well, before yeah. we get into the pistol round, appreciate the patience, guys. That food was incredible, though. That was munching. It was nice. And at least we can say for complexity, they're going toe to toe. At least, you know, I mean, maybe. First time they chatter, Valorant Esports are a smoking CS when it, in your terms of your team, that's as good as Flash, vitality. At least they are playing close to them in all these situations. And if Dog, we remove all the past history and all the tragedies, We're which down. they should as well, then. Stop being weird. You kind of just hope, well, maybe Why are you in here telling now. us? Let's just see. At least the CS looks really good. And uh, Elysia's having a better game. I think. Don't you got a match to watch right now? As much as it's important for everyone else to play well, it's important for Elysia to play well all the time. Uh oh. Floppy, here's this That's one. That's a lot of feet. Yeah. Why are we always baiting, strong man? Vitality charge. Floppy just it's sometimes hard to know these days, though. Some people are really that stupid. Enemies. Just I'm hoping it's bait, though. Oh, fuck. Headshot, can't get the third. Oh, Elise, you pulled that right back? back? How did you? But now you've got oh, Zywoo oh, oh, leaning oh, oh, on the oh, oh, P250, oh. and he is so clean with this pistol. Not to mention a leash taken down to a quarter health. So Halzerk's going to have to keep on doing the heavy lifting. And as he gets People a chance versus Zywoo, they're going to boost probably. on construction. An angle that could definitely catch a player off. But they have to unravel it. Now pushing inwards. Halzerk's on the reload. Mezzi chooses not to go swinging. Just looking to hang on. He will with a leash. <laughs> and a snap back over to Halzerk. A oh, 180 dude. spin for second pistol. Yeah, that's disgusting from the rookies. Both Flamesy and Mezzi putting in their efforts. A it's not even true, and this is just groups. With no, I know, that's why I'm like, I'm assuming it's bait, but the bomb went damn, down. bro, it's not even good bait. There was so much pressure in the post plan to get things going. Great shots out of Mezzi, man. Why you gotta do that, man? Nice Follow me since 2020 too. just to yeah. post some shit. So finally, Vitality pick up a pistol round. A golden mm -hmm. opportunity to tie this game at seven as complexity get gimmicky on a ramp. Waited four years for that joke. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, God damn. God damn. Not looking to waste any time here. JT setting up flashes. Man, they're in the right position. Flash only finds the one. And the pistols take two kills. Okay, two All out of this scenario. Not terrible. It ain't half bad. USP almost three. Almost fuck. getting Apex over the line. But we are all tied up. Thanks to second pistol going the way. I love those moments. They're so cinematic. It's like dead silent. You see one flash go through the air. <laughs> Everyone starts fighting. Get his ass, Gotti. Death and destruction on the A ramp. It's so cinematic. I usually just keep staring at the flashbangs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that's a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it never is. Solitaire World Championships go crazy, CT though. Side has to Rod, shut up. Thanks for the 500 biddies. And it is Grimm's duel to win. Multiple bodies out middle. A leash almost nice. caught there, but still. Good info gathering. Really gather. good job of keeping himself in the cover so that he can keep his nades out. Mm -hmm. He loses support, smoked off on elevator, Elige. They have him trapped right now, though. Oh, oh almost. What a shot. Forward. Sphinx gives the cover nice. necessary. Nice job, Sloppy though. Picks up one. The CT challenge has gotten through, and that's going to catch him off. Okay. Uh, Zywoo snaps back into the spawn. Man advantage for Cole, nonetheless. Floppy has held off the front side of this site, mm -hmm. and as he calls JT back into spawn, Zywoo is creeping away from all this. JT, nice. though, will stop nice. the bomb mm -hmm. in its tracks, and Floppy posts to multi-frag to get Cole's lead right back. That was a real crazy situation. I actually love the molly that they used on Elysia sort of on the fly, but you know he's going to go up on the jump up. Got to, whiplash to from the camera there? Yeah, spot, but that was the, a lot right going on. That. I don't even blame the observer the for that one. For the CT side, so awkward moment where he had to run back through it, but um, he managed to survive, get his first kill, and just bought lots of time for all the smokes come up and the plans to show themselves first here for Vitality. seven month primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eight subbing that's lead maintained. 
Hello. We have that single rifle on Zaiwu. Just waiting. Whoa. Oh, just patient as needed. Nice grenade. Wow. Flamesy. That's a pretty massive gap. You know, that molly was trusted. So I was definitely waiting for that moment. That's a good tactic right there. Don't give him runway. See, the thing is, too, is Floppy's taking this backwards angle, right? So it's a lot of space for this whole pack of Vitality players to go forth. Spinks just keeping mid honest. Oh, no. A leash. Wait, does this get cleared? He's not going to check it. Spinks oh, wastes no man. moment. It is all Fuck. on Floppy. They are coming at him. And luckily, he's got a smoke to work with. They man. don't push through Come on, after Floppy. the flash, though. Yeah, they found a new opportunity because Spinks is alive with a gun in sort of a lurking position. And just more T's getting guns here. They see him get there. I think they did. He right. makes way to challenge. Uh, maybe not. Grim just trying to get I don't even know if this flash is any good shot. I have no idea. Quad. Grim, there they are. Front sight. Oh, he gets nice. Nice. I guess so. Okay. It's a recovery mission from complexity as things get sketchy. Yeah. All kicked off with the solo Zaiwu AK. But there's still time if Spinks wants to throw the Hail Mary at this. It's him who caught Elysian spawn. And he knows where they're at. Just enough time nice. to justify the challenge. Grim and Floppy got to be content with that. Definitely. Oh, yeah, Grim. And do want to give a lot of credit to Complexity Smack for their anti strat in map or one. Or mine. Somebody. Every tactic was perfect. All their peaks seemed according to what nades were coming their way, and they were always right. Easy shots being hit. Same thing for Vitality right here to set up this round. I mean, the way that Zaiwu was sitting with conviction in the back of main behind the Molly as soon as Halzer peaks, and then they read on a round where they have no utility or anything guns to work with that Elise is going to push through mid and Spinks has this very specific angle to hold it on doesn't move that almost fell into their what lap the fuck? Guns right back out that's audio given over Halzerk knows that they have run through fire I think it's tagged down great flashbang gives JT all he needs to go swinging out he'll take a nice, second JT. down and burn to a crisp nice but man advantage maintained deep position Stairs. out of a liege oh, oh my god oh. Oh. Okay. okay nice a battle of millimeters that a liege comes out on top of looking for revenge from the last round going good dominic going good just trying not to like lose my fucking mind watching cole middle in a 2v4 eyes on it thanks to floppy freed up by that deep position from a liege earlier on they're going for the boost this is definitely something that could blindside floppy sure enough walks right back into it the smoke is early no ct can fight against it i think it went too deep oh a leech will throw his nade now they know exactly where he's standing he's looking to hang on but no sphinx a second headshot in this 2v4 oh man, no way, right man. There. They're exploding mid they, th they thought they maybe go would go slowly Grim has managed to get past Apex with nades out. Grim ahead of all this. The retake already being found. Okay. And it's nothing out of Apex. All Stairs. he did was carry that bomb and plant Danger. it for Spinks. This would be Danger. four kills Shoot from the Spinks wall. in the 2v4. He keeps his head down. Mm. Fuck yeah, up. Grim. Okay. Gets slain Fuck by yeah, Grim, get hyped, brother. Let's go. Back to back rounds on this Hell yeah. Has Save something to be proud of. Save the day for sure. Protected floppy. Recovered in the 2v2. Apex was a little lost in that moment, I think. Didn't realize someone could have snuck through the smoke. Um, yeah, very haphazard with the utility and the peaks coming down in multiple situations right there. Ends up going the way of complexity, though, when they need it. A round that was not supposed to be close. Two on four. Another single rifle setup here. What's the idea this time? So I will go kill. If they're lucky, Sphinx will do the same. Great. Thanks to the 8 month reset. Thank you first. Spot. Thanks to the 7 month primer. Thank you. Careful. I mean, do I think it's promising that Complexity is holding their own versus Vitality? Yeah, I mean, they look in, like, another kill. ultimately way exactly better than yesterday. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, though, if you don't win. I'm going to be honest. Like, at this stage, that we're... we're from the CTs. You're playing for major playoffs. Like, you're not trying to look good. You need to fucking win. You know? 
Oh, and that's Holzer looking fucking GT real good right there, baby. Ramp. That's sweet. And that's, that's what looking, I was looking real for. good. Be yeah. About getting control in that specific way. And as I went to wait for it. Now, as Mezzi comes through smoke looking for a weapon, you'll be spotted mm. and dealt with. A full house on the A-Rap. This one doesn't feel like it's going to double overtime. What do you think? Sometimes they don't feel that way. Launders, mm. can so you do, fucking not? Do. No, you, you are dead on. I think the second half Can has you been phenomenal. Fucking not. Yeah. I think this is complexity. And, the, and they're winning like that. The, 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 yeah, but then the, I said it out like coin flips. When are you going live today and how long are you streaming for? Threat of existence. Well, yeah, I, I teleported back into that, that <sighs> alternate dimension. The one where Elise crashed. Yeah. Well, he did crash, but he reconnected. I was Only told. in your version. I didn't see it. <laughs> no, I was told by production. <laughs> no, I'm just trying oh, okay. to. Okay. Stop. Why? You want to spread some democracy potentially today? <laughs> There's one more BO3 today. Actually, look legit. So be like, for a probably like that, that two or three ish. I'll be done. Oh my god. Yeah. Round 19. This is where we'll know. This is where we'll know. It's a very. You don't play games on the side. That's right. You farm the internet. That's right. And at 12 7. Imagine just reacting. All for an entire stream. Gaslighting's funny when there's an audience. What a fucking <laughs> dweeb. Again, it is responsibility in the hands of Holzerk and JT on the ramp. And again, it is Zaiwu on a similar angle. Funny enough, no ops dueling, right? We've got Holzerk and Zaiwu here, and it's just rifles every round. Dangerous games from both sides. That's true. He would just get ops, right? Usually. Yeah. So, it's a handshake. They both know what they're looking for. Yep, and there's oh. more bodies here for the defense. Well, nice, JT. Well. And then you have Come to on. ask yourself, was the risk worth it? You've now lost... On the right, Zywoo. on the right, on the right. Nice. Holzer. With Zywoo dead, Detroit he decides Grimm. he can dominate the territory. Jump out, out of Floppy. And Flop it out on him. To try and finish Mezzi. Huge shadow advantage for Holzer. Mm. He's queued up to yes. kill the Sphinx. And this is Complexity's 12th guarantee. Hell yeah. This time, they will have five map oh, points. Oh, Floppy about that peak right there. Yes, they will. Five map Buck points in the cleanest second half so far. But how many will it take? to close How many is the age close? old totally question different question totally different question would it be the first second nor third map of their major run that they secured a 12th only to go to ot you know what's so funny about that when it was six the fuck rounds, is a buckeye it's masters a masters poisonous nut when it's 13 rounds they're masters Deadly. getting 12. it's because it's let's all break the curse mental. complexity let's do it now Apex looking to get ahead oh, it's of the smoke. Oh, shut much up. of a challenge from the CTs. So, Vitality crawl forward. Oh, yeah. JT nice. Ready. Ooh, Come on, JT. Somewhat blind. Fuck yeah. Zywoo is working with the Galil of all things. So, this is a JT desperate is one for Vitality. JT is fucking playing lights mm -hmm. out today, bro. This is a different lights story out. than Inferno. Needed that. Very different. I'm curious to get the Matthew take. Like, we've got a very sort of, like, good balance of bias right now with Matthew and, and Moses on the desk, us casting, and, like, his emotions leaning that way. Like, I want to know what this look, game looked like from his perspective. Caleb, thanks. Is it's your one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank well, you. Or is he going to no. say Complexity played well? Because I'm seeing Complexity play well. I think it's hard for me no, to No, Hall's explaining phenomenal, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm very Swiss and land somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah, kind of expected from Hall's are going to be has got a nice deep angle here, but Zywoo cracks Oof. it open. Zywoo's ready for that? I hate you. Of all things. We I said, hate you. How many of these rounds would it take to so shut Vitality much. down? Five to play with. Okay, saw him quad. And Elyse saw you quad. Will not waste the moment. With Zywoo down, the chances start to slip away. So two good players to have. We had a great clutch from Mezzi earlier on, but now he's down for the count. Triple! And triple! Hiding! In a 1v3. He's hiding! all of Complexity charging at him. A third yeah, map needed. Baby. Complexity rebound. A sigh of relief after a heartbreaking loss back on Inferno. Vertigo very much theirs. How the sucker's music kick going? Is he rolling in cash? And that's, uh, I mean, uh, Tucker that's did take the private jet to come hang out like for like just one literally the game, day, so I think it's going pretty well. Going into map three, but this time around, you got to be really proud of Complexity. Nicely done. Yeah, you got to be proud of them, especially if you're from the land of the uh, Eagles. Freedom. The land of freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Yeah. freedom. That's the one. That's yeah, the one. That's the one. That's the one. Jason, yeah. um, how happy are you with Speaking that? Speaking for the people of freedom, we are very happy. <laughs>
And so they're kind of playing to the reaction. Exotic really they're brought it back on Vertigo and G2 Toss, huh? Favorite, Holy uh, shit. The team that was supposed to win this How matchup. That's right not now? the mindset you want to be in. Yeah, we just what saw happens Kragen here? with his mic up. What happens if this happens? Across the hall, back at G2. Remember Hooksy's, you know, I'm very good. aggressive smack talk in the first map. And it continued even into the second. Silenced now. Great move from Patty as well. And oh, Eagle Street. Has, sorry, has sorry. To put up good no, numbers not yet. while he leads Where the young squad. He gets chased Wait. out of middle after they find the 5v4. He smokes off the water, meaning that Nico can't even chase him. And those dark players who want to flank and try and retake, they are simply not mm. given the option. Sure, G2 save all their guns, but they get their choice taken away from them to compete for that round. And already, timeout in this game, it feels like a precedent has to be set to give Nexus some support. That will weaken areas of the map. Can Ecstatic find those holes? Chop takes the 21 month primer, thank you. How are we looking for our drop before Dallas? Major timey. By the way, chat, we're trying to do a drop before Dallas. Honestly, with the mid spawn, or really a spawn for wherever he pleases. We see him take it A-side. Instant anti-rush Molotov, and he posts up for a change. They've already put Nexus towards B for an aggressive play. Blocking as they send double nades onto Nodios. Nice move for G2. They don't have to overdo They've this. Got that being all, yeah, I've had to. Yeah, yeah dude. He can't even take there are tons of Canadian kills. geese Nodios is in a Ohio. Shot death and Hooksy Those fuckers whips. hiss like a motherfucker. So that there, we talk about how G2 don't want to be on the defensive, how they want to be the ones exerting map control. That's what G2 just Are you going to be in Dallas this year? I will be. Very good from if you guys the are going to Dallas, my mods and people better. that go regularly are set up a Discord. You guys want to jump, that jump is in? That is That's a before Dallas. To alleviate a lot of this pressure over towards if you guys are going or thinking about going. A bit more to reposition on that AWP. But I think it might already be fast. sold out, the though. It's getting close. Back of the site. Man, they tried to volley early. Hunter holds the line. Hunter can't deliver the final one kill one. and so it's a clutch patty Monacy versus, versus Monacy. Monacy was the man who at the top of this series had clutches coming out the wazoo and this one is no well, exception that was he'll nail patty ambitious. on the smoke push and so a much needed clutch round from the clutch orpa of g2 put on the board to get them one early yeah, Brain V Braun and Patio uh, Patio overthinks it. it just goes straight through that smoke uh, Austin there it is trying to Catch Monacy off guard. It's what Ecstatic were even doing a lot on Inferno, the first map of the series. They play very aggressive. They tried to suffocate G2. They got choked out in that first map, 13 to 7. And Monacy hitting the air as he takes the first round win for G2. They needed that. They need something to build upon in this game. Aggressive again. Hooksy gives it another shot, but they're holding from passive positions. Perfect play for oh, Queenix. Man. Even expecting more, but it's next in the sight. Oh, they go right they through. They, they try to play into him. Oh, he lagged out. No. He lagged out. Yeah, that, crashed. That's unfortunate. That's even uh, more telling for G2. Uh, oh, that's flashing a mid. Nico dead, pushing on the back of it. Monacy, the, the one man CS2. army of this G2 squad. The one guy Ooh. who Wait, might have something to say. Wait, but Monacy crazy. What the fuck? His bomb, his fucking bomb. He's got the bomb down at his feet up in rugs. Are people lagging out? Alongside him. Hunter at least the, the few that I've seen, I didn't Kragen. see Allegius so or Nexus. Point but it's been the round. infinite alt tabbing glitch. Queenix in a world of hurt. What a relief for G2. Imagine how that round would have felt if Nexa, who presumably tabbed out or something. No restarts once the game. It. Oh, he said when tabbed he out. Yeah, he did not. Yeah. We Nix is going to try and squeeze everything he can out of this 1v2. But I want to see his holding that. Oh, they're on third map. The power right. position for the bomb. We're in between maps right now. Here we go, Queenix. Was the star of Vertigo. Give it a go-go. 
As the smoke fades, Monesty now has to consider main, so he's got two players looking his way, ready for this fight. Missed shot from Monesty, but Hunter, with the re-swing, will lock it down. And it feels like well, Marlon Monesty's no, bringing no. the energy to oh, this yeah, game he's right now. It's like, definitely the old tab blitz, he can't get out of it. Vocal, very animated. I mean, he, he literally has to, you he know? Has to like, save his team, if, it, if it's not for Monesty in that round there, you're looking yep, at a situation where ecstatic start running away with the T-side. So Monesty is very aware of the pressure he is don't alt tab chat. What it does though to be the is randomly it just starts infinitely alt tabbing you. It feels like no one else will. Feels like a guy that doesn't even break under the pressure. We see his first you know, stage game at Katowice and he was just unbelievable. So it just it just keeps like it looks like you're just infinitely alt tabbing. Mirage. You mean shift tabbing? No, you're not alt. God damn it. So you're not actually all tabbing, guys. The game essentially so crashes more, and then just keeps tabbing in and out. Is in CS, but how do you fix? You have to force crash it. You majors to, are where it really yeah. matters. Majors are where and it major will lock up your whole PC. So you got to be comfortable Nico, navigating, not being able to see your screen. Not Control shift started. escape C delete chat. That's how you do it quick. Major circuit. That pulls up the task manager in the background, and then you just hit C for Counter Strike, and then delete to end the task. Sometimes that even gets locked up, so it takes a few times. I think we're going to see across this third map is really the 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 limit test of Monacy. I think that is the the mm -hmm. running on the, the walls quick, right Chad. now. I got through the entire beat juice, so you know what time it is. Goes, he's been the guy to offer up both rounds that G2 currently have, and you can just tell from how he's playing. His goal is to be super active and oppressive all across yeah. the map. It's, it's almost like avoid Monacy at this point, right? Like, that's that's what the T-side's going to feel like. You see that orb, you run the other way, and he's going to keep them guessing, starting in different positions. Even the rooting in that round there, right? Yeah. He takes a deep fight down the mid and immediately drops in the water and then is fighting you at rugs. These are not how your orb usually plays on the CT side, but, but that's what Monacy has to do if G2 wants to recover this. And over time, if Monacy picks up this performance and is able to keep this going, Ooh. that will inspire down the ranks. We saw that happen with Ecstatic on Vertigo. This might be the best start we've seen from Hunter in the series. He's been almost a non-factor today. It's a good shot down towards the water, finding the captain of Ecstatic. They want to come through, though. They want to hit this B-bomb side flash from afar. Queenix puts Kraken in the picture, and now he needs to find this entry. Monacy nails it with the orb. Not missing a beat is this Monacy AWP. They blind him off the angle. Pressure is on, but Monacy, good for one more, brings Nico in through the smoke, buys enough time for more players to move into this site. Monacy does all he has to in that round. And so now just Nodios left standing as he walks the talk through main. Ooh, chatterbox in his hands, but all quiet on ecstatic right now as he tries to cook up a 1v2. Bomb is on his back. Can leave. Whole world is open to him right now. He just doesn't know where that second man of Nexa is, often the A player. The longer he leaves it, the more G2O will doubt this. So they're going to go clearing together and trying to enter the site. This could still give him an entry for free. The timing is good right now. He grabs Nexa. One, One health. health. 20 seconds. If he runs now, he can make it. Nico should hear this. Might look to give chase. He's now moving in. Nodios is playing for the kill, oh. but he can't get it. And Nico does not fall down versus the one HP clutcher on the other side. Oh, just a little bit too deep in the water there. That headshot not quite connecting. And even so, Nico gets it done. A necessary round to continue this streak for G2. Nice try for Nodios. He's just fallen a little bit too short in these clutches. Not the same at the end of Inferno as well. Oh, <laughs> terrifyingly close. I don't think that's, you know, a hugely tilting round for no. Ecstatic, though, right? Like, he had the right idea. It's just he gets so, so wrecked in that first engagement. Ooh, Hunter. But you'd be surprised how quickly this can turn sour, especially with Hunter feeling inspired from these modesty performances. He's having a good start right now, is Hunter. That's someone who's been missing across this series for G2. And they sent him up. They did a deep ace, uh, ace stair smoke off, off of Spawn so that he could fight towards water from Dark. And when he notices Ecstatic, don't drop that dark smoke for once. Feels a lot more free. Feels like they're going to be coming. Next, uh, giving support in middle. Two rifles moving in. 
Oh my god, timing's completely missed. Nico gets into safety though, and he doesn't it, need to fight. Monacy's if, here. If plays are ever being made, Monacy is there. Monacy is a part of them. He starts this round double fighting Dark with Hunter, and now he's looking to end the round over here in mid on a mid push with Nico. Monacy ah. doing everything for G2 right now. Uh, and this AWP, it, once it's going like this, it's so hard to put a stop to him. You said it earlier on, this game might come down to trying to avoid Monacy. And I think that's going to be very hard with how he's playing. You don't know where he's going to start. You don't know where that opening move is going to come in. And by the time you even adjust to it, he will be completely... Uh, on the other side of the map, up and moving, always mobile, always making plays. This is exactly what G2 needed, and it might have come in their time of need to, to, to bail them out of this dire situation. Nico dead in mid, but Monacy is the man to close that round out. Didn't even see the last guy. Four kills from that AWP. Yeah. This is the limit test of Monacy on Anubis. Worth every penny. And with performances like this in must-win maps and matches, certainly sucked the life out of Ecstatic, who were on a bit of a hot streak to start this game, going for just constant A-rushes, abusing Nexa. Ever since that round where the bomb gets caught in rugs, it's been all G2. I mean, already this is a really good CT side, and, and it's only going to get better for G2 from How are we here on out. They're still here? in control okay. of the money. They're still Eight in control of the ago. game. They've got full control right now. And the difference is, mm. on Vertigo, they were prepared to, to, to play into the overconfidence to let that maybe get the better of them. Whereas Ruggs here, on Anubis, won't do a long that. They're not going to underestimate their opponents. They won't the, be celebrating. Yeah, the longer the path is to won. A, instead of coming through water. So that mental reset that we talk about, it looks like it's come through for G2, yeah. and it's massively helped out by Monesty just taking matters into his own hands and fully unleashing the, the full power of this Monesty AWP come this third map definitely does feel like hooksy will be holding his tongue in this third one again surrounding this b bomb site from both sides but no one wants to be the guy that shit talked across the hall yelled at the opponents and then gets Insane game thanks for the primer thank Look you the last T, Danish uh, that happened to. T thanks for the seven month so primer nice fucking really and Sev thanks for the two month primer thank you slow down in the water and neo phoenix with the gift of sub alt tab thank you dark. g2 with only two players here inside of the b site and with Hunter and Hooksy, Hunters at least look good to open. But the only Yo, Taro, thanks for the 11 months armor, thank you. My house on right now is that Monacy AWP, and he's not here. He's not involved. So these rifles have got to hold on versus the pistols. It's a nice start for Hunter, oh, no. but it's quickly pulled back the other way. Nico makes a play, makes a move, trying to save the B site, but he can't get past Queenix. Oof. So that plant will come in for ecstatic. Someone's got to get it, but they're so scared. Yeah, it actually so slowed down the plant, though, a lot. Monacy's set up now. They can get it. They can get it down. The jersey, my win. Oh my god, the Molly on the side. Jason Lake sent me the retro jerseys, so I've been Queenix rocking it to support the squadron. Talk of a cross. Nadios has got to get past the impenetrable Monacy, who hits his shot every single time. Uh, well chat in about could have two got minutes, I'm going to run an ad very, very for to get ready for the call well game, handled. okay? That molly from Nexa was huge as well. I, I didn't I didn't know how much impact he would get to have in that retake. He was smoked off at Temple. Really, it looked like Monacy was going to have to lock it down from the CT spawn. But the molly forcing that player with the bomb into the open never even survives the cross to Monacy because the molly burned him out. So fantastic three stuff minutes. for Nexa there. Oh, Honestly, yeah, I'm running a big someone one. Someone who, who got Are off to a bit of a rough start minutes. here on Anubis. I want to see Salazar's orb come through here. It's finally come through on the T side. Why do you call complexity calls so you don't call them come? Results. Oh my god, the mid stack and Kragan will just take one. Uh, He's happy even Brazen, kill thanks for the 21 month primer. Thank you. Uh, Brazen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I see Salazar's orb crawling forward, but they need a Molotov on this position. And Molly, they don't have good flash as Nex is set up for that entry. There's another one, Nade. Queen X delaying his peak. Trying to find the right timing to catch Nexa in the open. But G2 have finally offered him support. This made all the difference. Oh, the molly. It's just too late, isn't it? The nade on the smoke. It's it. yeah, true. out of position. Let's go, Kong! lurking mid. They line up, but they're buddied up for that kill. Easily yeah, done. I, I do say complexity. Just throwing themselves through. 
finished off cleanly right. by Nexa. You guys and, don't and say this it like is that? a feel good moment for G2. These rounds that were once close and once relied on heroics to pull back are now becoming a lot more dominant across the board. G2 can feel that they're retaking mm. control over this game and at least over this map where Chat. it really matters. And we often I'm running the ad now. It's player. gonna be a thick, hot, good. juicy one, like Nexa, me. All right, heads up, heads up. A after some hiccups early on. Yeah. The, the pieces are slowly but surely falling into place for the G2 squad. Omar, and thanks for the 199 on, on YouTube. Is already great. Said $9,906 left for the toilet. Glad to be your sponsor. Thank you very much, man. Let me like that. Super Picking chat. Picking up quick. steam. The rounds are getting Thank more you. dominant. They're being more active. He's sponsoring my Toto $10,000 toilet. God bless. Attempt. They've got a lot of util here. They're just going to bung it in mid. Send it with pistols and MAC-10s. Try and put pressure on this A site. But a temple smoke from rugs. Jared, thanks for the five month primer and chat on match all gifted looking frog on Twitch and YouTube. Back off. I mean here's here's the challenge for no, static, right? Is that this game is a bit like a marathon. They'd already the run the 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 10K. They were running out of fumes by the time we were getting through Vertigo, but then they do that final push oh, wow, to carry them a whole extra, you know, five kilometers, but suddenly now they're being tasked to do that all over again. They've been playing really good this major. They've got to do it better. They've got to be even better than they were at the end of Vertigo. And that is a huge ask for a team that is fresh faced to this environment fresh faced to these stakes and this uh, pressure the bigger issue and for so me has been the performance of the hunter and nico here patty one on five bomb away from him and a backstab best to hope of success i guess but there's no winning this round and he knows it so he's just got to sit there and come to terms with that, that this is going to read seven Slide of four. Slide effects the, the one gifted you beautiful bastard. Five, and that's with all these rounds being consecutively you one for G2. Ecstatic can I mean feel two. that this one it is a right, different story to Vertigo. Yeah, it's a very we're reassuring back over from G2. I think we all had our doubts after that 4-0 beginning for... Well, see, G2 can throw any game, not, but they are in the driver's close, seat with the, the good CT side like that. Complexity just didn't let off, so... They were tied up for like one second, you know, after the pistol round. Yep. That's about it. You yep. Flex, they have a good game behind them now. Fern, thanks for three months recent. Thank you. Sure. But Never, man. Uh, Never. They definitely also think we can win 2 1. Fly, thanks for the honest, five gifted and Marshall with the five. Which is 10, 15, 20 gifted. God damn. For well over a year now. 27 gifted chat is what I owe you. They also played extremely well in that map, too. So nice fucking Willies. Got, All right. You know, Come on, Cole. What do you guys think, Chad? You think they can do it? Uh, good tactics on their side. It's, it's a shame Fly, thanks for the 500 bitties. talk about complexity in a positive light, but we can say it's consistently impressive. You gotta how believe, Chad, you gotta believe, to no matter how many times we're scarred by NACS, no matter how time. painful it is, we still gotta believe, um, so and it's gonna make it hurt that much more. Game because tomorrow's matches are not guaranteed. Hard games are coming up for some good teams, and there will definitely be some snubs going into playoffs, and it might start right here. And it's, it's Anubis. Yes. It's a map that they train Remember often, the harder we believe, well. the harder we fall together. Exactly. And one that I truly believe Complexity should be walking in with at least a small aura of confidence. You know, we will come to expect Floppy over towards the A site. I think that he could end up being instrumental in the face of the T side pressure from Vitality. Well, let's thank you very much for the five gifts and nice fucking Willy, brother. Thank you. I need 32 gifts to chat. Honestly, I hate to say it, but like just all bless because his rifles were so much better okay. this series. And like, think about the moments like that one at Quad. If he just had like a Galil, he would have gotten two kills. It's like, if there's any risk of missing, what even is the point of hopping? I mean, he's been no stranger to whipping out the AUG, playing the Krieg. Yeah, the AUG is just as valid, man. Get yep. the AUG. You can get two AUGs on the map on Anubis in the same way you can get two ops, and that can be very powerful. But um, Complexity don't need much instruction when it comes to Anubis. They're excellent at the map, especially on T-side. Mm. They are so good at Come staying on. coordinated on B-splits. One of the few teams that really know how to fight for camera properly. Or excuse me, fight for e-box properly and fight for mid properly. Come on. I think there's also going to be Game a very time. key fight throughout this map with a liege towards bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we saw what happened at Inferno when he started to get stuff in some of his aggressive plays towards his opponent when he was operating on his own and falling because of it. All right, come on, Cole. Himself. Come on.
and that map was exploited to Vitality's favor as the Liege found no impact across the opening map. A Insane recovery on the to the five hundred bitties and dub thanks to the five. And complexity. And nice Holzer shot. Will kick this off. That P two thousand's been looking real good. He's got some good pistol rounds now in this series already. Strong defense pushing out Spinks in the corner. Grim. This aggression, nice, but Grim's going to clear him out. How how the hell do you get that kill? Majority of the shoe on the way of complexity. Give me five gifts that I put the shoe on my head. One. This would be the fourth and an important one on the CT side of Anubis. But there is still something that Vitality can get done towards B. It's a straight up 3v3 with a little jiggle peek out of Grim. Looking for that early warning sign while his two teammates fixate into dark instead. It makes the setup so much better when he can do this now. They can actually push him back with still lots of time. And the CTs, they can move forward if they want to or just chill. Is he coming in? Oh, Holzer gets nice. him the drive by. Good early totally fight. Good. Attention over. This is looking like a clean sweep. Apex, P250 finds nothing. Wow. Five Murph. standing from complexity as they win the Come fourth on. pistol of this Let's series. Let's go, boys. Beautiful round out of Halzerk. Again, that P2K. And did they split pistols on Vertigo? At least one more. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's um, that's now four pistols here for complexity in the series. Mm. Oh, shit. Second right as I put that thing off my head. Ghoulis with the five. Seven, Seven gifted. Thank you, Chad. Only 42 gifted. And potentially another good start to a map. Looking for three good starts in a row. Thank you very much, Ghoulis, you fucking psycho. Appreciate you. But in terms of Ecos, I would say Vitality of the team that have pulled off more of the unlikely rounds in this matchup so far. Wyrock with the five gifted. Thank you. Appreciate you. Line up for the AUG. Wonderful stuff. Easy versus just the Glocks. But that's what we're talking about, right? Op less. AUG's hard. AUG's awesome. Bro, I mean, thanks to the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's crazy because I think it covers like 80% of situations. Yeah, you're probably prone to losing a little bit more health, but you see how much damage it does mm -hmm. and the advantages you have at range if you don't get first bulleted. You can easily multi-kill in, in a way that even an AWP can't sometimes, so... Just can't lose yourself in the spray, right? Because once you start shooting that, Disperse, the dot yeah. in the scope... Yeah, you have to, like, tap it yeah, quickly. Right. Specifically, I feel like... It's really big. But I swear, the damage is so high, you almost never need to go for some full spray. It's very accurate, too, so... Hey, it wouldn't be the first time that a weapon goes kind of under the radar in Counter-Strike. Yeah, there's going to be broken guns that have not been changed in CS2, just like there were in CSGO. If that yeah. happened in CSGO like four or five times, imagine how many guns right now just haven't been totally figured out yet. That will be completely abusable. And uh, only because people are sticking to their habits and focusing on the team element of the game, they're not exploring the economy. every single weapon. Yeah, that may or may not be you know, We see the MP9 abusable. in the spotlight right now. Massively, yeah, it's so strong. Jumping accuracy, moving accuracy. Fast time to kill and movement speed. But there are no shortcomings in SMGs here in round number three. Vitality's first rifle round. Eyeing up this B side again. Layer defense. Nice. Nice. Grim. JT stayed alive as well. Dodges the damage. JT takes all of it. The one softened piece of the B defense. Lots of control still here for Cole. And they're going to boost the Liege back site. Nice defense here, right? Just varying up the setup. I yeah, actually like that they're doing this setup with complexity. This is normally an op setup, but I actually like that Halzerk has an AUG for it. You know, very silly to I feel like it's almost stronger open, with so an AUG. And double ups and camera. Because it's hard to overwhelm oh, the AUG. Grim, is he aware of the timing right now? Oh, God. He's got oh, he still got the kill with no help. Insane. A leash. Full bar. Dies out. Grim has been softened up. Flash is good. And Grim's gun starts to go empty. JT's uh, gonna fall. Holzer okay, nice. shaves Apex off the crossover. And they have forced flames to the Come crush, on. But Floppy didn't waste a moment on Fuck that yes. water flank. That was excellent. Yeah, I mean, I love them using elevation. I love them doubling up the camera. And it, look, they've got a floating defense, basically. Not good they're enough. not sticking to hard angles that are very favorable for CT side because there really are none in the site. Nate, how many do I owe? Either open and active, like someone like Donk, who's just constantly swinging, or you have to find the tactics like boost. Or obviously the big bad guns like the op, but sometimes Bald the op Eagle, doesn't even get a number two that round. Nice round from Grim. Specifically for an op holding into main or into camera. So love the approach there on complexity. It, it looks like everyone's in a flimsy setup, but when they're together, it's so well fortified, covering 52, right, all Nate? these specific angles. Yep. Strong start from complexity that starts to raise Let's an eyebrow. Let's take the 16 with primer. Thank you. 
of all the matches today, it felt like Vitality were meant to take them down. Nice. The critics claim from 2-0 to 2-3 was what Complexity were destined for. The critics claimed that they should have even gotten this to the top five, 16 spot, seeing as they thank lost you, to Furia you. back at the RMR Exquisite and still Willy, to start the event at a further state. Connor's quoting himself right now, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, it's me. I said that. <laughs> it's me. I'm critics. But um, critics were right. Critics were right. There's obviously a high likelihood of that happening, and... Well, we saw that uh, they proved they were the better team than Furia in this stage. Hell of a back and forth in their the second bomb. best of one as well. And when they got absolutely dismantled by Maus, at that point there was this huge question mark. 95, I'm saying simply how many I owe right now. What do you mean? What the fuck am I saying? What the fuck really are you saying? a testament as to where Maus is at at the moment. Looking to close out the 4v2 right now. Spinks hunting his first kill with the AK. Soon smoke fades, then a fight for Floppy, perhaps. I'm saying, what do you say? Support is here from Halzerk, who has not skipped a beat. From the dominance back on Vertigo mm. to a clean sweep nice. of the fourth one. Complexity will show no sign of weakness thus far on Anubis. Yeah, if you just watch this match, you'd wonder who's exactly the underdog because Complexity always start off so well. Their setups look very good, and um, it's not even the individual skill that's finding sort of cracks in the concrete right now for Vitality. They're, they're just looking like the weaker team at the start of every game. Got x tags <laughs> x has in the mix. Apex as well, yeah. talking about Computer things. Computer operator I mean, takes the like one gift to thank you. 63 is what I owe you, chat. Hey, guys, Say less. Need you right thank you, now. thank you, thank you, fucking because degenerates. I'm sure they're not out Appreciate of ideas and they've played together so long. They know Mango, what they thanks need to the three month reset. Thank you. And sometimes that is what you need to hear. On um, Vitality is bad. Zero kills on Vitality no, after and going into the fifth round. And that only matters just because that allows the money Says to who? get high for complexity. You said 62, but the hype train itself is 72. That's because the hype train includes all the subs. Engagement. I'm matching the gifted. It's such an important part of the map, and also just such simple a mathematics. difficult part of the map that you almost never want to simple try to play. Simple mathematics. If you, it, but if you don't use it, the good teams will use it against you. I feel like that is why a leash takes up the responsibility of bridge. It's a big ticket item for the team that can contain it and complexity bank on him to do so. It's not every round that we'll have Holzerk being the front-facing player of the A setup. Right now, Floppy's kind of supporting a liege out in middle. We hit the minute mark, and Vitality really don't have too much to show for it. All right, thanks for the 420. A liege burning, forced into the fight. Nice uh, counter utility there to get him into the open. A liege really that's something to pull on if you're Vitality. Had that perfect lineup, no place to stand. Smoke Everybody's throwing the perfect JT lineup these days. To hold on come on, to this. come on. And complexity starting to prod at the back of Vitality's rotation. They will take this into the B site. Three players on long. And JT very much on his own at the moment. Grim is back towards Temple. JT's gonna have to do something. Grim comes out, can't stop the cross to jail. And for that reason, Flamesy opening up on site. The AUG's gonna betray Floppy. Uh, Zyla gets the better of him. And as Grim slides Grim. down to site, there's a lot of coverage here. He wants to open up the smoke. Go hunting. Holzer catches oh the player God. filler. You've got Zywoo in the open. And then the plants are close on site. That's Wait. two out of Holzerk, who is 10 and 1. To your right, CT, 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 goes CT, around CT. the pillar, Holzerk swapping spots on the obelisk has gone unchecked. He's Apex dead. is hunting, mm. and he will find him turned. Vitality on the board. Yeah, another situation that should have been impossible, of course. JT was expecting lab? Grim yeah. to get there, and he was just but one you or can't two like, steps uh, too late. There's like a bunch of things you can and can't do. Swung, maybe could have found this shit's locked out pretty kill, hardcore. But it's this frag, first of all, where he actually encourages Elise to stand forward, who seems to think that there's going to be a gap for him. But the lineup on the Molly is is perfect for Flamesy, and that's a free <clears throat> untraded kill to start the round off. I think it's time for another coffee. It's time. Good vitality, we should be looking forward to the T side, and actually because of you know Flamesy's first four or five kills, they have kept the money somewhat low. 
<laughs> despite the streak. Sort of miraculous, actually. Oh my god, the play. Oh, that oh, is the oh. play. All the boost, man. Get creative. Nice shot. Nice shot. We've that was seen sick. different versions of it in the site already, giving a liege vision over smoke earlier on. This is a round with less to oh, work with. Oh, Floppy, careful, brother. High oh. pressure spot here for Floppy. He may not realize they are there. Can he get off? Yep. In behind cover. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who threw Yo, that name? Yo, Mezzi off this round. Yo, three with Yo guns. chill. Yeah, they just took one of the ribs. <laughs> On both sides of the map, he's trying to. At least thought it was a rush, back, and I don't so think he was like meaning minute. to do that, but he almost gave him a fucking said, "Hey." I mean, <laughs> they now know that there are multiple guns alive in this round. They don't know JT's on a five-seven. Sloppy hanging on for dear life. The flash, nicely done. All you can nice really job. ask of him to do. It is queued up an excellent hold here for nice. the CTs. Zywu, though, that X Factor, as always, goes deep, missed shot. Nice. That, that kill right there from Grim steals the fifth for Great goal. Great CT start so far. And Keep it sudden, rolling. All of a sudden, a tremor for vitality. Yeah, their man, money's the not great. It's almost gone. Shaking in their boots as they are halfway Don't through this team. Thirty-two month reset. Thank you. Their name and no real economy to stand on. There will they be full limitations loss in this next one. Maybe hero really AKs and half by. To start this round off, of course, setting up your star player right now in Hellzerk, who's had a great sort of map and a half now coming into this game. And honestly, he was great on Inferno. It's just a, a couple of big moments that he couldn't figure out. But overall, his output has definitely been undeniable. And they. The best part about this round is you don't even notice how few players actually have rifles or the fact that there's a 5-7 on the map. Uh, this is a full pop coming into the site. They're trying to make it a fake, but it doesn't scare them. Just oh, torn to pieces. fuck it, Grim. Five or not, Grim, sorry, JT. JT. Swing him again, dude. Hell oh, yeah. Perfection. Holzerk. Oh. Missed shot, but so be it. There you go. Follow up with the third. Hell oh, yeah, man. Six -one lead. Looking good. He's spawning in these maps like Donk, actually. 13 and 3. Holzerk's uh, looking for again. more. We are getting a CT side on. masterclass out of complexity. Listen, I take nothing for granted. This is a great is CT messy? side, but just keep things? it going, please. Just keep Where it going. Where openings for Vitality? They're getting no control in terms of opening kills. If we look at opening kills on this series, complexity have them in the dumps. Seven rounds in, Mezzi has three ADR. 30 ADR, three. He's warming up. Galil back in hand, Halzerk with the close outer A nade. But Vitality haven't gotten up close just yet. Mm. Love that. Opening the phone just in that case line? they were True. so nice on Vitality to be that much safer playing up by <laughs> oh, rugs Jesus. instead. Lineups for the God, this this map is evolving. Needs. Yeah, I mean it's the game too. It's actually Bro's done like seventy damage. No, that would be to me, overestimating uh, how much damage he's done tremendously. Like, I'm still to this day amazed you know after a year of cs2 at breaking open smokes with nades you're like actually giving him so much credit such a cool thing to watch and seeing lineups with the nades to the smokes is also this is huge they have completely left a so that they can get ahead of this bridge push flings he's gonna try to best them will again win the Why? head to head Why? versus a liege but if he thinks this space is all free for the taking he couldn't be more wrong floppy behind the door so yeah this is what i always tell you guys guns now empty it's a battle of the pistols nope Oh, God, I, I hate this. Apex kept what he need. Remember, remember my entire rant yesterday, chat, about mid door middle, fights. It gets red. Vitality were leaning back. They thought once they cracked open the smoke and saw nothing that maybe Vitality weren't there. Oh, they won't even try it. Yeah. I'm not gonna go through that rant again. But the Vitality fuck. slipping in when they felt there was an opening on a. Hmm. Indeed, I mean they. Do, I don't know why well, teams are doing yeah, it. I, I don't know so if it's like something that, that works in practice or. Is not gonna be present. And uh, that's a weekend site, so it's not okay, just like a complexity thing. I've seen map, multiple teams fight there, and the I've seen everyone lose. On the double push through the door that fails. What's the rant? If you fight yeah, doors in the CT, you're basically tossing. Vitality, I've been able to but I've seen like so many teams doing game. it, losing every pistol. It, it's you're mollied. If you're not mollied, you're flashed. If you're not mollied or flashed, you're literally on a losing angle. And then if you're trying to fall back, you're you're behind a spammable door in a pre-fireable angle that's completely safe for them. Side, where you're always looking for seven or more. It's because you gain so much audio information. 
Uh, Complexities nah. players keeping the fingers crossed. Outside of Ebox and shit like that, you already know they're there. Back to back maps now that he has dominated out of the gate. I don't know. I've seen. Oh. I saw complex. Who who started my rant yesterday? ADR it was into that the team round. yesterday. I saw do it was the and second team, team that's right. done it, and then I fucking <laughs> flamed him. You can play double with a flashbang and get a strong play. Sometimes it really is reliant on the timing, and really honestly, no, it is not MIA. because most people send two people mid, and one guy usually sits Apex. further back in the doorway, and you'll just get traded. Besting a leash two times now in so bridge, like it, it's that fight, very important. You know, if they I feel don't like fighting that in that area is really high risk, high reward. The site, well, no, the not even high. The high risk, we low reward. Definitely banked on some success. You give chance for T's full mid, what's the best play? It's not that you always get mid, it's that you just fight it better. Usually you can delay further with utility. Long you can ahead. aggress if it mid-round with the team, but like fighting in the doors, like when they're pressing if. there, when they're on high alert, is very hard. And I feel very validated in, in how I feel about that, because every team I've seen fight there so far has lost. Softens up JT and Grim. Like, it's it's really difficult or try to beat them before they get there bad omen of things to come more utility unraveling this forward setup flamesy comes in okay good He'll get JT. One again more nades more pressure for jt to deal with nice oh, jt e-box 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 good smoke could be coming out i was trying to spam great smoke he's just got to keep himself on the pillar his head's off the wheel bomb scoffed off come on oh shoots back at through him yep but they know the split's still coming in so nice they come out temple taken over a liege able to catch saiwu spinks through the smoke again come on oh, hold on a leash was right there on the line. He's looking Come for on, man. Spinks decides not to shoot. A nice. Will take his teammate out, and wow. Spinks this entire Good time shit. has been stuck outside of this smoke. Two v one. Once he gets They're both vision, low, though, he's going head hunting oh, versus fuck. two low complexity players. Up close is the second. He baited it. He fucking baited it. It is Spinks on 36 health. Oh, oh, four kills deep. Bask in the beauty of the chiseled beast. <laughs> My God, Spinks, Floppy what took a the bait. Ah, uh, he took the bait. That whole time he had Spinks more faked the both, footsteps running in. Floppy thought in that case. Elise was going to go down. Just excellent. And almost one step it's too It's because they're both low, when man. It's so tough. Comes out almost in Elise's crosshair. Floppy should have said touch. But yeah, but ready for also the floppy. Floppy okay. Takes his step the reason why Floppy, it's easy to bait somebody that is because of their HP. Mm-hmm. Floppy knows because he's not stupid. And we that are talking about Spinks, the, the chances of them getting doubled in is incredibly high. The event. Highest rated if player for vitality coming into this. He best gets of a three. clean yeah, first bullet you know, on the Elise. He the so if he steps in, because he already knows where Elise is, if he steps in who really and pre aims Elise and kills them within like the first three shots. He'll still that probably lose. Edge, that extra player so that he's Apex trying to, to be able to call peak this team with Sphinx's to winning, peak to eliminate any chance event. of Sphinx doubling he them, but he, he took the bait on Sphinx's footsteps. I think if they were higher HP, he has a lot easier time maintaining his peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking four just spamming well, the yappy mode. This is why you guys are dog shit at Counter Strike. Vitality, most it's always the same need. four, too. I said it. Guys, you don't want to be on the same side as Corp and Pop Tart. Let's be honest. Emphasis on that 4K because those are the only four kills Spinks has. And airport house. isn't even actually the original airport, so we're not surprised. Another example of a slow start from a star in this server. Better late than if never. you guys saw Corp and Pop Tart have the same so opinion, we all agree we know up. it's shit, right? It's desperate pistol players that feel as though they've got to try something somewhere. Like, come on. Let's just be you honest with one another here. <laughs> Chaz, you can't even pyramid as a fucking mod you bought. Five this is why you're close. bolding. Dangerous range, but very quick on the trigger. Flames oh, entries fuck. have been right, superb. Well. Mm -hmm. Whether that's coming out from dark, fighting a liege on mid, or in this instance, just unraveling the pistol stack. Yeah, he's been a warrior for his vitality when they need him. Sort of this wild <laughs> dog, they leash on the bridge with some nade support, but it's mostly just him needing to win his duel straight up. 
mono e mono versus a lesion he's getting away with Enjoy, it thanks for the six month primer thank you and once again three maps in a row it's an eco to open it up a clutch <clears> round <throat> to open the door for vitality and then they start flooding in late into the half when they can finally scoop up a few rounds but still complexity already have six on ct side sure fuck around and find out big boy but complexity can never Rip get Bozo. their hopes up complexity can never feel like it's enough man had to crush it in the emote only mode like all he crutches his fucking hair with that thing gone. hold on it all starts to resurface Yeah, they're constantly in pain. A players can't really be freed up to That's deal with up. mid. In fact, they're going to leave that gap. I can right say that I took him to dinner to and bought him dinner. It's okay. So they can remain dedicated to the triple B. Is Floppy going through off the flash? Yes, he is. And there's nobody here, so he decides to pull back. But they weren't far off. Ooh, and the staggered smoke. Now they're going to go for the they, double B fight. This could be the two v one against Spinks. Yeah, but he stays good. tucked in. And in the pistol, they cleared him from this spot, but on the fallback, oh, JT will win the duel. Oh, that was it's a good JT. setup from Spinks, but he doesn't grab it. Now Gets they can the start to the lead bomb. in. They don't have bomb. And they have given up all the control. My talent doesn't have bomb. Anything there, but the T's are indeed already on the site. Mezzi They're only hitting this with like two. Halzerk stopped it. He doesn't know. Oh, oh he's going to get lurked. He's going to get lurked. Halzerk could be huge. They Does literally are winning this round because they B? forgot no, the bomb. They're going to keep fighting forward off of Mezzi's anchor in A. Camera occupied. Heaven owned by Elise, but he gets hit by the smoke, so they know it. He's close. Yeah, the CTs have started to split up because they didn't see the bomb. Gap on camera. Grim tries to exploit it. T's coming out. I fucking on hate it here. With man Vitality literally playing like a fucking face at Bud for giving the bomb and then throwing off all the timings in the round, dude. Fuck. It's why thanks to six with Pyro Matthew. Thanks to 72. He keeps himself crouched down beneath it. Back fountain player ready for the swing. Oh, Messi lets him go above. GT Does, doesn't know how far flames he could have gotten to. And oh, ah. Messi will do the rest. Whew, nicely done. And uh, the, the flank catch was also massive on Hauser. Being bullied, he should be. That pickup kept the man in vantage for a second. And Vitality are back in the half. Couple of times now they found this opening, pulling the CTs not completely out of the sight, but back into rotated yes. spots, which is all they were looking for. Just one timing where Floppy is not standing in the front doorway. That's when it's the dip most difficult for Vitality mm -hmm. to get in, and they've been able to craft these moments. They've been able to pull the rotations. Oh wow! Okay, fast push gets them one Fuck. kill, but costs them two deaths. Man, no, dude, they need this round. Well they had a, they've had a great CT side. Sight. Like six is good, but it's like you about know, the momentum, round, you know? Sure, they get Floppy out of position, but Complexity were working with info. They had just taken over long. They had just flashed into clear. Not expecting Vitality to be that close. Two necessary moments: one from a silent Sphinx, and then a missing Mezzi. But a multi-kill in back-to-back -back rounds from the two of them to post uh, vitalities. He's letting two go by. Fourth oh, the and bomb fifth. is. The bomb's gonna be. Oh my god, the bomb takes a really strange route, actually. Floppy gets one. He doesn't know if it's the player who is running away, but it is going towards the site that complexity wanted to. One more chance for the North Americans to just scrape a seventh onto their side, spam through smoke. Oh. The SMGs can't quite stop them. Here comes the AK. Big chance for Floppy. Yes. Off the side of Pillar, he gets two. But he finds himself 1v1 versus the best. Zaiwu planting back site. Floppy swings oh, and catches him. On. Oh, no yes, way. Let's go. Yeah, oh, Good it shit. is a wacky waving, arm flailing Floppy <laughs> to post that seventh to Cole. <laughs> Come on. Hell yeah, that noodle. was huge. That is floppy. Catches that clutch. It's hard to keep your hands noodle. on him, man. Yeah, He's squirrely. True. That's true. <laughs> and finally, a clutch for him. Hard to keep your hands on it when it's floppy. Because he's sort of is, is known for having some big clutches. I mean, he's one of the only players in the world to get 1v5s on back-to-back -back days or to have a 1v5 at all in his career. A real anomaly. An what is he drinking? Three Piss. Very it's performance important. enhancing. Yeah. You wouldn't understand. So I was going to say, you know, if... With the fact that Spinks won that one before and the one eco that Vitality had been able to pick up at the beginning of every game, three maps in a row. Oh, 
68,000 viewers, 8K viewers across both because streams. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. do have Halsic as an individual, but the X Factor is still shining through for Vitality Appreciate in the all. biggest moments and what feels like the massive turning mm. points with an eco to follow. And this does give them a little bit of breathing Complexity room. Just, Complexity have just to, win the pistol. Have just, side to just look do it. Forward just to. win pistol the pistol. can change all of that, of course. But again, this is the side they Come need on. no instruction on. Complexity, when it comes to T-side and Nubis, are a team worth studying no matter what region you are, what level you are, because they're one of the best in the world. Vitality, on the other hand, are one of the few teams that have figured oh, out Oh, they're going to walk in. Ah! Uh, this line, if it gets held... Uh, or if complexity can keep thriving in the pistols, that's the big question here. Enough of a defense, but a T side getting stopped on the approach. Zaiwu no longer blind. Looking for a little more here. Flamesy trying to catch a second. You gotta they'll take this, this as a chance to depart. I the disengage actually makes sense. I mean, don't blow with like the five gifted. Thank committal. you. They, they honestly they had to. Back. That was spotted way too early. The map. We'll see how fast they organize. They don't catch anybody trying to flank. Uh, that was even though it looks like they can still lose this them. round. But that was still the right call. And they had nothing the to scale. Around, they would have like just got slaughtered. Times as long because it's quite clear to vitality. They haven't committed into the site. There's no further utility. There's no straggler left there to try to keep their attention. No boy, thank you again, dude. Oh, what the, the head tilt. What they've got out of this round is a very weakened Zaiwu, but Flamesy covering him, getting the kill is even more important. And he'll be the extra man coming over. Let's see if he can find a headshot angle to make up for his Ooh, lack of HP. They're moving. They're moving into the fight. Caught in the open. Down towards dark. Spinks will get into cover, but he's lost his players on the site. Falling further back, get they're him. gonna go for the chase. Get him, get him, get him. They at least oh. take back the room. They were worried there'd be more planted. canals because they pushed A. Vitality's rotation comes by way of long I respect and that, to be honest. No, 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 of an aggressive rifler did so much work in that first half dealing with a leash on the bridge into covering Zaiwu when things almost went south on that last pistol and it has been four pistols in this game for complexity but now finally a second one back for vitality they're gonna come in with the force push huh? yeah easy for us to I'm say when we fucking know they three. they didn't go through they knew there was the a massive stack on a to start the round the chances of them at some point of pushing water is incredibly high for a liege, very high so you come around that corner trying to chase one and you're just peeking into three you don't know that because we could very well start to get more chapters of this a liege versus flames Sim fight simmer down over there henry over the bridge trials where the gifts is up to my wiener is haunted Right now, it Thank is a you. tale of the young Israeli star. Three defenders inside of B site and a whole swarm of vitality players coming nice. at them. They've lost one okay. side. Nice shot from Halsey. Nice. Shot. Sloppy. It's a back turn to him and with it, an easy entry. Oh my God. They steal this back out of the pistol, denying the conversion. The one time vitality get it when it matters. Six rounds for them. Two v three retake. Does anything go wrong here? Just a sudden pop. That's all it is. Yeah, man. I, I was gonna, I was saying that their coordination on these B splits is a one. Like they are so good at taking over camera and being able to fight into the site, and that is something that is so hard to be able to be on the same page as your as your team at. Like in dry runs with no one on the map, of course, very easy to be like, all right, this choke point, then this choke point. But with the way that camera is, with the amount of counter utility that gets bounced into the walls, all the Molotovs, all the smokes, you see so many situations e where even the best teams will have to run through a molly, die to one spray, and then it shuts off the total main split. It's very hard to scale into camera, essentially, and complexity know how to get away with that. Now, of course, this is a round Wait, where the they fuck? don't have Zenith? much in the way dude, of to stop them. What the fuck? Thank you, dude. But, uh, leave it to JT to figure out a Sorry good time. Sorry the alerts over there are to try fucking to muted because they break half the time, but Zenith with the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, e 40, yeah. 45, 50 fucking gifted members on YouTube. Thank you. God you damn. It would have been one more for sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. We can all agree it's not Ramsey. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> there was a time. Right, let's get uh, God damn, we tried. Zaiwu gonna take it up. Ooh, JT in the water. Spinks with the SMG for the wide swing. Uh, Zaiwu then caught. That could have been the kills back for Holzerk. Damn, he goes back in post. That's actually nuts. 
And this was the question, right? Getting into dark. <sighs> Floppy was allowed that close proximity for free in the round prior. They did get That's some heavy damage down, though. Through so easily. Oh, this is terrible, chat. Zai was on the early MP9 rotate. Wait, he's AP. Smoke he's AP. Here, but he's not gonna no, let them cross. the MP9. He's doing the impossible bro. right now. 19 and 11 for Flamesy with all the worst guns, pistols, SMGs, you name it. Belize looking to take it back somewhat. Grim finds timing in middle. Dodge the flash. Belize has got him against the wall. This is a recovery. They can claw this back. It's this actually... is a 2v5 with a smoke in middle. This opper is isolated. No, Elise flash from heaven. In front of him. Grim is going to oh, get chased fuck, down. Nice fucked. pressure out of middle from Spinx. But what about Elise? 45 seconds. He has to search for a kill. Can't plant a bomb. Knows that he's Fucking covered. FPS Will the CTs give it to him? Mid fights there. Tries to snap to the reaction he anticipates out of bricks. That's two players in storage and one out towards mid. Is that what actually posted on this? Close corner held by Mezzi. Upshot lands. Oh, that should be the damage that gets this over. Elise will go for the bomb plant, faking it once. Trying to elicit a rotation. Sure enough, Zaiwu puts his head on a silver platter. Don't play with him. SMG and Deeg in hand. Spinks getting closer. Elise in the open. They chase him. His gun's out. They're right there oh on God. the angle. Come on, John. Oh, no, he didn't see him. Oh, and the SMG will thrive. Spinks oh. makes sure there's nice no cracks nice in this hole. Try. Another clutch for Spinks. It's such a close call. And the nice closest fucking try. to a massive round here for Elise in this match. But he does... Massive damage still. 2v5 brought back to a one on one. Vitality Is that I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but thank you again. They're going to talk this Thank you, through. thank you, thank They've you. Given a gift, a chance now to buy early. Now we're getting to the point that enough. there are almost thank too many of these four spies to sustain. How many rifle rounds do you have to win in one game? to get the victory. That's going to be the question. Complex have to ask themselves. But they also did deny the conversion in the second pistol. Elise is so no emotions allowed. I think Elise is really just trying to like... This is all SMGs, he chills pretty all visibly, all so... I think... By way of MP9. Big part of what he's been trying to do is not like... It let again. it carry type thing. Shoot, thanks to the two-year reset. Thank you. It got two smokes and a flashbang to work with. Complexity hanging on to this lead for dear life. And all the while, right? Five MP9 frags. We've got Vitality making money, clawing back, closing the gap. And a persistent threat in this E box. Sphinx is going to go back at it. JT with the oh, D. Messi's got the clean double and a fallback into the site that goes uncontested from long. Zenith? All right, Zenith, thank you very much. And the 20 the Super Chat on top of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's got a Molly to keep them out. Yeah, they do know Messi's there in this position, I think. One smoke, one flash here between Floppy and Halzerg. And I don't think Vitality have to be too scared. But you know what? The way that they're playing the site is pretty vanilla, right? Like when we contrast that to what yes. we saw from Complexity, yes. I think that's a more modern and effective way of playing it. And timing could work because, yes, sure, Flames is pushing out on long A, but they're going to try to cross. Oh, nicely timed peek out of Mezzi. Apex makes sure Floppy can't get away. Mm. And Halzer dies empty-handed. Rock solid from Vitality's b oh, yeah. man, they could have broke but, their uh, money from here. From back Damn. there and from spotting on default, no, that is how you die. No, that is how a lot of teams are finding it. Very strugglesome to hold this site. And I think, honestly, for complexity, that's an opportunity because they've clearly given a lot of thought to why this site is very hard to hold and what are some solutions. We saw them in the first half. Now it's about showing the teams that struggle with that how they beat it. But it won't be this round. And it might be a lead here for Vitality as they get their feet on the ground on CT side. This constant investment from complexity has just left them working with lesser tools. Not even a trusty dig for JT. Just four Glocks walking through smoke silently. They're gonna get close. AK coverage from Apex mm. is good. Make sure there's no wild oh, antics. Oh, yeah. And Vitality Tube takes the two years. Man, lead. thanks to the yeah. 41 and Schultz takes to the 18. Okay. And no deaths, building up money right now in the critical point in the game here. Thank you, Schultz. In the fourth quarter, Vitality. They've got a lead. They got a little extra cash. They still got some... Thanks to the one gifted. Thank you, Schultz. Simmer down, Corp. Don't spam too hard, brother. If they're going to play the 5v5 in the site, I think they have to get more creative than what we've seen. Uh, or I want to believe that Complexity can beat it. But um, Vitality championing a lot, championed a lot of CT aggressive maneuvers that 
are deemed pretty kind of scary, but they're very good at executing on them, like the flash double swing. They have yet to find success against Flamesy on A. And even the rounds where he doesn't get kills, he is constantly prodding this long corner. Yeah, I mean, that's on Floppy. He's, yep. he's the guy who's going to go head-to-head -head with the B-side player. Strong exchange of utilities. Zaiwu waiting for his chance to take a glance down lane. Flash has come through, and Long will be beneath the feet of Cole. They're oh going God. in. Oh! How? The jumping M4 stabilizing just what in the time. Fuck? At the very think. least, Holzer trades, but at what cost? He's so low. And again, it is Sphinx ahead oh, of man, the I know JT's walking like that. Oh, but Holzer comes. I will. This time to deal with Holzer. And considering he's on 11 health, that's a hell of a shot. Oh, Sphinx man. into the AWP is so low B. But there is no follow through from complexity just yet. There is no doubt in my mind that Spinks is stressed on the op with 20 health. He calls for support. Oh, and dude, they're going into the stack. Over. Oh, my God. It's the perfect read of the situation. Late round. Fuck, man. The complexity's comfort zone. But the push. Oh, oh but it's not denied. Duel. But now they're going to be thinking more so about e box but they know that they know that grim's not lurking in that position right they, they they've still got enough people Luckily here to hold dead. on to this the op shot's uh. easy it all falls on Halzerk. They're still concerned that he could be down in dark. Off peaks long. Halzerk falling out to his favorite weapon as Sphinx holds on. Wow. Man, Flamesy. How, look how well he's playing. It's unbelievable. I mean, both halves in this map. Fuck, man. Completely saving the day. Shout out Sphinx for the M4 peak down water. So consistently being the pressure that's countering out complexity. Contrast that to the first round where we get Floppy just barreling through. When this map they have becomes not been CT. able to get into e box for free ever since. Yeah. When Flames can fucking honestly, hold like, A main the entire round like, by himself and almost kill right two. It was a good peek from Hellsirk, not to go too wide, but he's set up on that exact position a couple of times. Also, PC going to get involved. Shout out. Apex, man, going for the full B stack this, in that situation. This is so wild. The flash didn't even actually work. It's Mezzi who goes out and catches Grim. Yeah. Sphinx. Grim was waiting for that peak. Yeah. Puts down the foundation mm. with the op and holds. Back next to the 113 month recent thank you. If Cole loses that and sub, thank map, God. complexity love to play, but on one that they're running out of buys. It is back in with another half purchase. Elise spending all he's got just for this Galil. Smoke two flashes. And this constant pressure from Zywood out of E-Box. A missed shot will be the saving grace of complexity for now. That smoke was tricky. Can they swarm this A site? Will Flamesy stutter in the pressure that he has so constantly thrived within? Gets his gun back out, offers up the flash. Apex has got his back. They've got that bomb, and they continue on. Great sprays. Total control. Jesus, there's gas on the flames now. That's crazy. That spray down, and I, they don't even do anything to smoke it out, to run through it. They just commit, not expecting a second player to be there. Are, is it just like that? Are these complexities hopes dashed now? Wookie, thanks to the 74 month reset. Thank you. It's a I mean, side that started off, but just cannot find answers. If complexity can't push flames, flames off a main comfortably without losing bodies, it's over. And he had his impact in shutting down a liege when we went back to the first half, too. Flamesy has been a part of this game Ice. from start to finish. Yeah, no kidding. Hell of a time to put forth this kind of a performance. 22 kills. The reason being sad is they're rounds. literally yeah, doubling so E-Box. So your maker. options right so now are moments, mid, which isn't uh, bad, but you bridge. don't want to commit too much to and you need to be able to split. Down and picking apart two very key players Long B, on this and that's, that's really like your options right now. You have to be able to push them off A-Main to like start opening up other avenues. That can get very crafty to set up well to find his duels in a main <laughs> are we looking at another series that the complexity could have won three times over flamesy again on floppy i mean what more do you have to ask from him yeah and Every well round has a moment flamesy catching impact JT blinding himself makes this awkward. At least they have control, but for what now? You've got this solo why they not, side of B site. Why not star so lurking mid? They're giving it up. They're not giving it up. Pressure. They're spotting it because mid, once JT you take it, smoke. 
It's good this is something really hard for people to understand. Is it's it. not a bomb site, and it's incredibly yeah, hard to sure. split through mid. Try to get into the corner, but the flash Your only real option is A, and if they're great. passive, not we giving you a pick, it's even harder. In a moment where middle is open for the taking. Desperate yeah, that's times. why. Call for desperate measures. And complexity reek of that desperation. Trying to find a new route to pressure. One half of this map, Apex keeping his head down. Upshot doesn't find him. Holds off on the frag grenade until they sniff into camera. That is great amounts of damage, but he loses his support. They do break through. Okay. With bomb. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's suddenly a retake. Hells they literally just griefed Smoke goes so up hard. In Please. Are they going to keep the situation? They I cannot believe the fights they just took. It's a anyway, demanded of please. Vitality with such little health here for the T's. Holzerk, why not, as a glass cannon, try to make something happen? There's such low HP between two players. Halzerk has to hit this shot. Do or die. They're trying to hold back just in case the aggression comes out. Now Messi walks nice. in. And Halzerk lands the off shot. There's a molly for camera. Chance, offered back. Grim, he will fall. The one oh kill my that has God. been found in this retake and with minimal I cannot HP, believe they did that, please. Finally Let that be the spark, man. The board. Let it be the spark. That the was so Apex terrible. Holy finishes shit. Off two kills <laughs> with his first spray and the follow-up grenade. <laughs> They literally no didn't have to do that at all. Show some oh my god, okay. Okay. A very difficult situation. Okay. But it is an exploitable okay. part of the map. Middle oh. was left open for them to creep in. Oh. In a 5v3, no Random less. Shadows 5 head would go mid. Yeah, I didn't anticipate of the Apex to of the just let was them walk in after they knew they were mid up. and then flame solo from duels from the off pack. angle. Amy, what, what the fuck was that? All in what in the flying fuck was so that? Anyway, don't care. Money to buy, no matter what happens this round. Oh, fuck! That's complex. why we can't get too excited. I hate it here. Hauser tried to help out Floppy, said I can go after flamesy for once but he doesn't find the kill it's 5v4 with the escape and there's the boost we haven't really seen any play like this from vitality they'll pull one out thanks thanks to the 11 month reset thank you appreciate you jump spot they still are in the power position 5v4 but they've given up e-box split is starting to take it's not far off. Here he comes, though. Oh, he gets his gun back out. But now Messi's pinned against the wall. Spinks burns floppy. The rotate scrambling out from long. They want to get Messi into the open so that Krim can deal with uh, him, which he will. Maybe. We're going to get this a bridge so drop hard. by the looks of it. Or is it a late lurk? Because they've got the time to wrap this all the way around. He's going to open the smoke, but he misses Holy. his shot. No, he just... Didn't fully blow the smoke. While inching ever closer, Hulk Hulk stay active, brother. Close left. He ah, tries that's to right. press his luck against the wall. Yeah, now he's dead to flank. But surely no. the flames just keep burning brighter. Yeah. And that will force him into the open. So Vitality take their 12. They've got it. They've got it on 12 Fuck. for the first time in this series. They get 12 first. And it'll have to be the comeback for Complexity, who started out once again 5 to 1 in rounds. <laughs> A series that could have been won three times over with the starts that they had with how close Inferno has been. And uh, uh, it's honestly a story that it's hard to tell again, but it might be the uh. reality this time for complexity. If Cole loses, they play G2 or FaZe. It's I know. An honorable challenge across this series. An Inferno that is yet again going to be felt like a heartbreak because they were that close. They always get leads and just get fucked. Uh, Slightly more solid kind of. defense. I really know, honestly. And this could have been the complexity 2-0. Oh. oh no! Leg spotted, but oh. Luis will bring it back. How that's not the 5v4 or 4v4 at least? Yeah, this is a, a rare time actually. Got a 5v4 on T side because they've taken so many fights over towards the three month reset, thank you. on his side of the map. So Hauser gets some damage, but as the opera, not really as relevant. He could take some hits. Uh, Flamesy just waiting, you know, foaming at the mouth for his time to be able to flank. Hey, you don't want to come to my side. I'm going to come to yours. On basket, set up in a perfect spot with Zaiwu behind him as well. Looks like Vitality are reading that this ends towards him, and oh, they wow. take him out. Still an op here, however. Solid cover from Halzerk. 
not just the op, but Mezzi's support as well. But you can see that slight concern Devin, for middle, thanks right? for your membership on not YouTube. Thank you, dude. By what cracked Thank you. The site last time. Oh, he missed, he missed, he missed. missed. And he gets nice. caught out in the open. Ooh. Double kill entry and a scorched A scyther is Hold nothing. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hunt strong. him. Hunt him. Complexity, no Get strangers him. to a challenging you can, game you, of counter you, strike. Yeah, win true. this round and win the next. You break them. That was a good. Please. Good point of contact that Apex oh, oh. found off the bridge. Got, yes. got so much damage off on Hellzerk. But, uh, One more buy. One more buy. Him. Oh, nice cover from Elyse. Great cover from Elyse. And also Hellzerk stopping Flamesy as he tries to get aggressive on long. Yeah, that's the that's the wild dog that you've got to deal with right now on Vitality. That seems to just be running on gas. He's got so much left in the tank. So much energy, you know, with the way that he plays. <sighs> Happy to go at any moment. And apply tons of pressure. This is a map where Zai was actually 7 and 16. Nowhere to be found. I will make the excuse for him. He's incredibly sick. It's an unexpected absence, but it's still vitality with 12. And you'd be foolish to write off the woo. Oh no, there's this gap again. Okay. <gasps> but opening oh, kill again. Two back to back. Mm. Five versus four to complex favor. Something that was so elusive throughout the Come struggle on. of this T side. Yeah, if it's flames you want to kill on A, it's Sphinx on B. The leash will pick up the mantle in middle. Yet again, he will find this They're gonna split a. for the taking. Complexity are starting to piece together split a solution a. Oh, to God, this T-side. It's and just that Flames, is but Flames has literally been the demon of this map right now. Of middle control. Oh, and he's going to get active on mid. He might time him. Kill. Oh, fuck. Yep. He has been failing to get the kill up until now, and somehow Flames, he finds a timing. On his own. This guy has been a mercenary I knew it. As soon as I saw him fucking walk right there, and then that's going to open up Apex. Nice. Dude, stop it, Flames. Stop it. Bro, he this guy is the fucking team. Terminator right now, he man. He has to forego control of the bomb site. He comes back at the Heaven Peak. Dangerous game to take that shot. Here comes the camera pressure fast. Off the flash. Flamesy comes in with a third. How Flamesy much is more still does alive, he have dude. to do? Zywoo and now he's the built JT it up for Zywoo. Yep, he built it up for fucking Zywoo. Holzerk in with a chance to clutch. Snaps the shot up, but oh. misses critically. And Flamesy will push them forward. That's four pickoffs. That's four pickoffs. And the map won, and they win it. Flamesy, the player who came onto this team as an ember, turning into a phoenix right before our eyes. When Vitality needed him, they didn't have Zywu for once, and Flamesy was right there. And this third map, we're talking about the core of the returning major grand champions, but Flamesy, his first top 16, and his first top It's like a nightmare, but I'm watching it. ...of a rock-solid third map performance. I mean, all complexities challenge this entire entire time but at the final hurdle engulfed by flames what a beautiful statement scrawny that's why you're one of the best uh, what a way to put it and indeed they needed him Mathieu, at many points on that last map and it's always going to be stressful when you get to that point but you i think are a happy man <sighs> I uh, relieve, I guess, this is what course through my <laughs> veins right now. And listen, let's address it immediately. I think Vitality, oh, Flamesy, from Flames comes out of time. It could not but be any better. What he timing. did individually, capable of putting the team on track when... They What's the other... Is that... Sorry, hold on. Oh, my God, we still got C9 Navi today. Holy fuck. Holy, dude. Jesus. Bro, that a, series a took fucking years off of me, so bro. So much of it is, is about gauging the reactions of Heroic after they get that opener. I and fucking knew it, dude. I knew it, man. As soon as I saw him, I was like, fuck. They're making some money now over on this oh, T side, and dude. it's not going to get any easier. He played it so well, but I knew he was going to play it so well, so fuck you. Oh, aggressive attempt, but denied. They don't know a second player is right here and trying to grab that gun quick. He makes noise. This one goes through the smoke. Gonna get spotted. Call about to go 2 3. No I mean, dude, they're going through what was right it? They played it, Mal's Vitality and then they'll probably play G2 or FaZe, right? Nowhere to be seen. He wins his fight. Because they're somehow in secret and Nikodos. Any further, it's guaranteed death. Oh, I said guaranteed. Oh, that's ugly. 
Mm, this is a big problem for Payne. Oh. Even that peek at the door scuffs the molly. It's very awkward. As now they're just left with this top side oh. hit. The Zeus of Shush finds a gun. Finds Dude, a he's kill. fucking Zeus. Now he's no armed way. with the AK. Scavenging from the bodies of Payne. Bomb is also tumbled out into the open with that first peek. Uh, and here's the backstab arriving from Ramp. NQZ is just saving. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, I want to look at this real quick. Do they really deserve it? They can't beat a good team? I didn't say they did deserve it or something like that. I'm just saying it's a tough draw. Uh, let's see. So I now have three points. And let's see if Navi wins, I'm good. Yeah, if Navi wins, I'm I'm in there. I'm probably gonna switch to the Navi game like right away. If I'm being honest. Happily take that four to two, winning an eco, getting out with three AK-47s. Could not really be better. That's on Zelsus replay. Reaching the grand finals in Valorant, I do that. I mean, that's cool. Kind of the, that's cool. The real fall down of that I don't know. I don't really have any thoughts. I don't really keep up with it. The I don't know who they played. I don't even know what team he's on. So abruptly and so suddenly, Payne weren't ready Actually, to lose no, that fight. Actually, no. I think he's on Sentinels because he always tweets about the bundle. Calling. Guys, just wait. I have a kill here. You saw him a few seconds earlier. He had all the time in the world to get ready for that fight. And once that happens, they don't really have the real estate <laughs> to go anywhere. But a into that. Yeah, Zeus. I don't know who they played. I think he's on Sentinels. I don't know who they play in the finals. I don't even know very, what it's very for. Strong. <laughs> I have no idea. So I, try and keep it a little more I used to watch Tarek to keep up, no but I don't even do that anymore. Era. Instead, everyone waiting back in the lobby. It's Molly's nice. It's for the rafters, I think, mm. right above the 13 heart, minutes so until the Navi game? Hell yeah. Extremely difficult angle to check manually. Dixon's hot roof. He's forced off as well. They're out in the middle of a site, so blind, just still recovers, and this is petering out right now for pain, one by one by one, and they all fall at the first hurdle. There's some inside of the smoke. He's actually traded places. He doesn't even know he's walked past Nerds. It's the only esport no, America's good at, Valorant. No, we're good at Apex and Call of Duty. That's even checked. Basically, if there's consoles and some controllers involved, we're, we're not half bad. Heaven. Orb spotted in the hut. I think we are losing in Valorant too, to be shot honest. And gets out, giving this in the room nice. to pounce. Surprising for him. Nice 2v2. Timing. They're in this. Is Nissim going to try and take the heavens? Right now, he's being given the time to. 30 seconds, and he is all the way up. Missed shot from NQZ's orb. That is a. A big miss to have had, but Nissim Either. should still have this in the bag. And now that he's got heaven, the world's their oyster, man. This re-aggression in through the lobby needs to arrive in quick time. And got to take this 1v1 onto NQZ while it's available. Tess says they know that he's eluded this. They know that he's somehow disappeared and not fallen for this heaven wrap. So they should be able to piece together. It's this lobby play, but he's made it out into the site. Even once he deals with this AWP of NQZ, Nissim, he's got so many options to play with, and he nice. won't even make it past Damn. the AWP of NQZ. That's such a nice setup as well. He just dedicates to his side, mm. or the Heaven player covers him. But I do wonder how that's overlooked that Nissim's going Heaven. They knew where he was. Gifted, he right? hadn't committed through main. Heroic can see that. The only other option is Heaven. And even Switch though Tess me from your channel again. and gives that time I get it, Nate. Like we're beefing. He just considers it a second too late. If it the makes me feel any better, it says since 2023, even though I know it's been way longer. Open to heaven. That's a crazy round for Payne to have picked up. And it all starts with that weird missed timing. Uh, Nate was keeping track, and Mango. He had 62, so I'm going to go with that. He was pretty on it the whole time. In the moment. Yeah, that was how much of an advantage Heroic had. But a well-placed AWP kill from NQZ. The lack of the punish from the site player. That triggers Nissim's play through main and onto the heaven Hold on, Chad. I a black screen. So One sec. Payne... Just paying Pain up chat what I own real quick. <laughs> Pain cook up a, a, a 2v4 round. Yeah. Ah, there we do. go. And we're so back. I just wanted to make sure I got these out because I do have to run an ad here soon. So that's 62 well. people that don't have to watch an ad now. You know? Competitive beginning for Pain. All right, I'll be right back one second, guys. I'm, we're going to be watching the Navi game. Like that. We'll have this on in the meantime, but I got to be right back.
onto Nissim and they give up all of outside. Payne will have to cross down towards Secret, but there's a nade on the smoke. They cross after the fact. No actual spot for Heroic. Of course, they hear this. They're aware. But they can't stop it. They're actually further than Nurse is ready for. He's throwing a deep smoke and trying to swing with it. Tessa is now in the sight. Oh, the shadows he sprays and he at least gets a kill there. But three on three. Payne have been solid in these post plants so far. in and heroic once again largely grouped over towards ramp curious if nikodos wants to play late or early might wait for his ramp players to take a bit of contact and give that illusion that once again heroic a triple retaking through the ramp room which they often have but a lot of time has ticked off this bomb it's a heroic, Can't yeah, it. it all comes down to that first fight and the moment they don't win it, with them leaving so much time on the table, it's uh, it's an awkward retake round that never really gets going. It's like that last retake on B against the pistols, right? It, even though they get the kills, it comes down to a player forcibly sticking the bomb because they don't have a choice. They fight, they lose, so... That was awkward for nerds because Nikodos just misses the cross, the spot on the cross, and so while he calls their secret, you wonder how you know, tonally he called that because they're running four players and Nurts just thinks he has so much room there. He was not as quick as he believed. And they catch him with nades out. That is the first domino to fall in the B-bomb site. Heroic now, the second being their economy. And the third being this round, they have only a Zeus and an M4 saved. And I say only, Nika Doz likes to subvert expectation. Another opening killed a bigger Zera. Oh dear, not another eco for Heroic. Two opening kills in this one, and while Ramps conceded, it's by design. Tessa sets up for a one and done on the B site. He's got a player baiting for him as well. Yeah, so Kixan takes the contact and they're going to try and pull them into Tessa's Deagle. That leaves all the pressure on Tessa's, really. Kixan certainly got the attention. He's done his part of the bargain. Now the Deagle has oh. to deliver and it just falls short. Cleanly done for Nissim on the openers. The bait and switch does not net the success that Heroic needed it to. And as they move down, they'll get sandwiched in the doors. So well contained from the pain squad. Yeah, nice crunch there, right? They they already bring back a 3v5 to a 3v3, and then they just throw themselves at the pistols, knowing with numbers, with better weaponry, that Heroic are not going to win that fight in double doors. It's so important to take space when you have the B bomb site on this map. It's, you know, we talk about, for example, Ancient B. If you have it in a post plant, in an even three on three, five on five, there's not many places to play you need a position with cover where you can choose your battles from. And the same can be said about Nuke B. You need that window control or double door control. So you don't, you're not just in the open on an off angle that will be cleared. So taking that double control gives them room in the post plant. It never gets to that, but it will be a 5-4 lead. We've had eco wins for both teams. But pain sit up in control for now. They're looking for that point that really lets them just break away from Heroic and kind of set the uh, the Heroic squad onto the back foot in a big way. And this could be that round money Ooh. on the line for Heroic. So this one's important. Nikodos and Shush keep it safe for now. Nikodos wow. dead up on the rafters, but support is here and it arrives in time for Heroic. Just luck, dinked on that first peak, but he gets his revenge. Can he take this any further? It's not a likely clutch with that first shot bringing him down to 19 points of health. Kixon. Kixon's getting impatient, but good timing on that molly pull. Warbang will do it. Run! Oh, he's been burnt out of the heart. It's a Lux force to reposition on heroic say so. He feigns the footsteps in towards the ramp room, and now he's going to ease off, give a bit of time for that uncertainty to kick in for heroic. Eventually, they have to consider heaven. Heaven, main, door, hut. Longer he waits, every option is available.
So Heroic will have to find new positions, Nerds knows that. And often a move here is just getting aggressive and clearing something together. So they're going to walk right into him. This could be good for Lux. He's going to get the chance to take an instant headshot here. How quick is he on the shot? He turns away and kicks and catches him on the move. Two timings for Kixon that are perfect in that round. Kixon also sits in the smoke and sprays his entire mag and still comes out with a reload and a kill on the execute. I like the pain up the pace and try and limit test in that round, but bro, bring them back to reality. A really nice upper hold from Kixon and Nika Doz. So far, everyone's performing for Heroic with the exception of Nerds. He has won them an eco, but... All right, I'm back. Three and six on the star of this team. It's not really a worry. How are we looking on the timer Just for the Navi game? Activated. How hard will this be for Pain? So many of their games, the Brazilians relying on Bigazera, the captain, and the high fragger for this team. Uh, what? Only saw me. What, dude? Is, what do you mean? Outlie his roster. Surely this is on Oni at in this point, right? You can't put well. this on me, dude. Because Zera manages to find it almost every time. That shit is actually right cursed. He, down secret. he needs to take responsibility to for his actions. Knows about it. It's all a bit of a farce, though. As Payne set their sights on ramp. Gonna go right into Tessa's. Nikodos is available for a pretty quick rotation yeah. as well. If the match so is starting here in a few minutes, oh, I am gonna run the ad now. Okay. Get into hell just in time, but the Molly forces him away. I'm double check it. The was there. Big as yeah, okay. is controlling. They, they know about troll. this. They can't drop it. That's crazy. Don't don't do it again. Shush just can't drop. They can't rotate down. This Stunned. is brutal. Yeah, the round is over. Nissim in with the backstab on a P250. He'd love the upgrade, and he's going to get it. Maybe even shooting for more here as he goes looking for Shush. Mm -mm -mm. Cool for Pulsar played his heart out down. today. He's actually going up. We don't know also where the curse ends and starts, guys. Wins that fight that shit could straight up be contagious. And Nerds can fight his way out, but he can't win the round. And QC shuts All right, I'm running the ad now. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. Apologies, we're, about to, we're getting ready for the Navi the game. One hole that we're seeing right now is that there's never a second player. And just think, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, right? Wouldn't it be the most cursed ending to let him do well? And then, hypothetically speaking, on Inferno, when For the team needs you most to win in overtime, the one. and you get to shoot five times with the op, only hitting one shot. As well. I think yeah. that's, that's a conversation to be had. The fact that Vertigo is... I'm just saying. Teams, but last time they faced, it was actually Navi. Who that's had to it. it. So Cloud9 was allowed to get to remove cursed. the nuke. You take that away from LXTB, you have to realize... That shit is cursed. They got their most statement victories here so far. LXTB had problem-solving skills, so I expect the same to happen again. And then, yeah, Boomich is a little bit not dependent. That is the matchup that I'm referring to. That's when they play uh, that was in Blast for final two to one Cloud Nine and uh, no new connection. Mod check. Can we get a Gamba? No, no new there. Which uh, going to be interesting to see if it comes into play today. I, yeah, I think Alexi is a good, a good, point of, a point, good point of conversation as, as a leader as well. Because it, it always does, does that. Him. We saw the T side oh. adaptations and the T side things that he's able to pull out, but also he is. That was sick on the glass. Wait, sick together, was on stream. How you get some struggling players My boy. to be in four minutes? I guess it's a similar conversation over to what we had with Complexity Chat. in the previous series as well. Let's go as find them. Coming into this that have struggled through this so back far, here, can you find a way to activate them here in the series? That sounds difficult because I have full faith in uh, the Alexi B Blade um, <laughs> JL duo in terms of kind of uh, taking a Where's time that, out, making sure that the plan that comes after works and how you can activate them, but you cannot make someone Where's Sika? Where is he? Tagging. I mean, the biggest the biggest problem is like you have two. Wait, I saw that his camera. Right? You can you can like mask it. Wait, we gotta be another, close. Another That's incredible right. series. Right? On today. <laughs> yeah, and when we saw in previous in just the previous series, you lied. Well, he's Flames close. Players long enough for them to come alive and have impact no, there down he is. the stretch. But you have it's two Sicko. players on this Navi side. That there are, he is, that right there. He's not glasses. He's right here. That is Sicko though. Struggling to find confidence to be able to get back into the groove. So it's it's a really tough situation for Navi. Despite the fact 
Oddly enough, that it feels there like he is, dude. Still there he is. Some kind of a positive trajectory this year. That's how it feels like, and I think this is where the frustration comes from, and a lot of voices out there against some of the individual performances. Because Those of you that don't know, Sicko manages all my YouTube shit and all my shorts. You are a series of Counter Strike, and you're talking about strategies, and you're talking about communication. And he's also the producer for Cloud Nine, and having better and better synergy. But I agree with you. I think Ima, for example, in the positions he plays, you are going to be exposed if you cannot deliver individually. There might be some other positions where you can hide behind the trade one for one and pretend like you've done your job. That's not the case for Ima. He's when you play connector on Mirage, for example, just to use that, you're not going to hide behind the trade one for one. These are positions where you're supposed to be multi killing. Um, I, 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 Chad, I I'm putting on the clown shoes. The it's probably because we all get the same. Yeah, and they're all broken, I, so there's one that works. Yeah, exactly. Though. We have one elevator. <laughs> yes. And I had a little talk with him after a rough match, and you know, I said, How are you feeling? And he was like, I, I feel like shit. And I said, Yeah, I understand. I, I just What's he doing off the clock? He's got situation. Gatler on the clock right now. Like Isn't that right, Gatler? Bounce back. The truth is, I can't. If anything, that's not me. That's probably maybe the staff. Part of it is him. But yeah, it feels rough individually. I think he's a little bit of a, of a sinkhole situation right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard Gatler, for Gatler, stop sniffing to, people. I mean, what do you mean you're plugging? But having such an amazing Paris major and getting picked up Get right now. Because we still don't know a complete body of work for him of what he's looked like consistently. No. We kind of know what he's looked like, obviously, just... Uh, like he swapped with JL in terms of, like, kind of the hype and then... Yeah. Is that a Freaky Friday situation? Or just Maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the Speedo, skills. then. Well, yeah, we take it out. That's happening again. Uh, that was the, the preface or the premise I was talking about in the veto. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a goofy ass clown. Yeah, but your dumb ass is subbed to me. So who's the real fucking clown, clown here, buddy? Definitely. Yeah, Fuggy and um, Jimmy. You didn't yeah, think no, I saw that, huh? With, with the caveat that Electronic had you didn't a little think bit I saw issues, that? Huh? Uh, at the beginning of this event, it's a little bit different. But now he had a monstrous performance against G2. So I'm going to have to trust and rely. Ancient coming in from, from Clown9. That one I know is a go to, but the whole like, hey, Hobbit's gonna snipe, Perfecto's gonna snipe, I, it doesn't really sit well with me. Mirage? Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a tough Not Inferno, well, though, all good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, Why not Anubis pick? I, what am I missing? I don't know. I mean, Navi's in a battle map, I realize that, but it feels like this, there's a stronger body of work, and yeah. and even at the end, like Navi. All right, oh, wait, that's, no, that makes sense. Catch myself here. <laughs> Navi remove Anubis at the end, yep, yep, yep. and they go for overpass. That makes sense. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. We're wait, back. Uppies, uppies, uppies. All right, cool. So, with everything in the context and a Mirage, Ancient overpass sequence of maps. Oh. Who's gonna win and why? Who's gonna book their tickets today? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Cloud9 at Ooh. this point. Just yeah, I'm gonna Tell go me for why. it. Well, I, I I like the fact that Axile is playing well. I'm just gonna put some confidence that's gonna continue. Electronic bouncing back, even without right. the AWP. I think this is a pretty solid team setup where everyone seems to be. Uh, if Axile continues to play this way, players are performing individually, and I think that's a huge question mark for Navi that I don't see being resolved in this match. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I would kind of argue that the if Axile continues to play like that is such a gigantic if. Like, it's been so long that it hasn't. Yeah, but if you put the if, if statement on Navi, it's like, if but they Ima figures it out, no, the the, 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 that, that's the difference. I'm, like, I'm ready to see Navi win without Ima actually performing. I think that can you happen. You think that's likelier? I think it can happen. Oh, sure. On the other way around, if Axel isn't, which has been the case 80% of the last, let's say, six to nine months, okay. that is a little bit more complicated. I feel okay. like the floor is higher for Navi. Mathieu, can you lead us into the casters? Because there's a sneeze coming. And well, I don't I'll know take if I it over. <laughs> we are going to leave Sharks, of course, uh, in due place. And we are going to rely on the abilities and the capabilities of our casters. Take it away, boys. I'm your host. Who are they? Oh, you're a host. That's why you got that analysis wrong about Emma versus Axel. Whoa! Yeah, because Whoa! actually we're gonna definitely gonna what see a good Axel today. You think so? And uh, I think Emma is still on the side of a milk carton. Mm. So well, I don't know like if a, he's gonna be found. You sound like a Cloud Nine picker, Launders. I'm not <laughs> gonna actually lie. Actually, have them both. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see what we get tonight. Bless you, Shocks. I'm just. By the way. Uh, I'm just with Moses on this one. I think. Uh, no, that's F great. Fair to question either of them. I'll say that. Yeah, I'll well, say that. Of the two, he's the one who's not the analyst. Exile, ready in the apps, but JL. All right, well, JL's already here, Chad. Maybe he can do it without Eman. Maybe JL and Wonderful are going to kind of pick up all that slack and run away with it. Because to kick it all off, right, JL had that insane, insane. Oh, yeah. I'm walking in, uh, here. Camry, 2004 Camry. Regulation. Reliable as always. MR12 overtime or Thank you so much for your 27-month primer. Thank you. And a 16-13 score line. That's definitely not, you know, going to confuse all the new viewers we have at the first CS2 major. <laughs> I like to gatekeep my game too. The Holy Trinity of maps in CSGO? The problem for Emma is, that, what's weird is that they're using him again in this weird like lurking role, but him finding a way into the rounds has been difficult. Ooh, wonderful with a little pirouette mm. out from window. There's the activation on the flank. Good distraction for Wonderful to help out on Cat's side. Man advantage, Navi. Wonderful just keeps going. 
He's gonna try to keep Boomich stuck back bench. Hold on. Second T crossing towards market. The bomb is down Van right now. Boomich is backing up onto possession of the bomb, and he just confirmed them both. Now he's gonna take it to them. He's gonna try to charge him down. Oh, and wonderful. Well done. Yes. Well done. All wonderful nice. in this Good one. Start. Wonderful's also been great. Um, JL and wonderful yeah, activated on the first round. So Let's go, baby. I mean, you know, all the hard kills. Um, I feel like he could actually CSGO, go. I'm not like saying these are the best star, maps, the but maps that are like that the most. Uh, he can open up as gave me the as a best memories of the game are probably Cobble and Inferno. Like, it's just super clutch. Um, train. Very consistent. Uh, yeah. Floor and uh, yeah, really enjoy watching him play. Nah, cash was fun, but oh, honestly, a lot of their maps for me. Like a SWAT team or an OK Go music video. It gives the old MP5 a slap. This old thing. <laughs> great versus unarmored opponents. So many great which, matches uh, on Cobble, even though I don't the think the map was necessarily the best. Fantastic flashbang that also serves as Navi's trigger to just go flooding into the A site. As fast as Cloud9 jumped out the window, Navi crawl up con. Locked in jungle control, bomb planted for it. See if that MP5 can We're in a, a timeline where Nuke and Vertigo are getting more play, play time in the major than Inferno. Yeah, it's been that way for like the past like almost six months, brother. Not seeing them. And now wonderful in with the AK. Gonna keep their concerns at bay. <laughs> nice. Like they, they got like an unlucky Chat, I will be cheering for Navi. <laughs> like all flash. I will probably winner. be disappointed <laughs> once again. All good. It was just like super colorful MP5 that looks like it's held by clowns. That was the prize in the back of the B apps. But they always bring tons of tactics. That's my favorite part about Cloud9. Yeah, sure. I'm walking because so I only walked four miles earlier, games. so. Always very mobile with it. So and to be many honest with you, it's very good retakes. That game took a little place. bit of energy out of me, and I feel like when I walk, I, I get more. So. To make top eight. It is. It's a tactic. This is my way of specifically and, powering um, up, so to speak. The re emergence of Axile. Because okay. if it, for me, it was the case. Like, People are seeing Axile now. I was noticing Axile in the last stage, which is why I picked Cloud9 to make it through now, because I was doubting Cloud9 in the last stage. And Launders would somehow get a hipster he take has out of this. better in his anchor spots. His stats are starting to get Everybody's better. Everybody's starting, starting to, to more of those big moments. And think Axile is playing better now. I he thought he was playing better first. 21 years old and has been top five player. All right, Launders. 21 years old. And yeah, you never know how long people have been. Being in top five or two years is already an incredible thing. But that also means there's tons of time to figure it out. And he's on a brand new team, brand new motivation. And I think he's showing that he's taking Jackson, this Jackson, thanks to Seven Month Farmer. Brand Thank you. Game too, right? Yeah. We were kind of chalking up maybe some of his shortcomings to trying to get into this iteration of Counter-Strike. It was a talk we had before CS2 hit the streets. Who would we see fall off? It felt inevitable that one name at the very least would fall into that pit of despair and irrelevancy. Nice late lurk from Emet top middle. Yeah. 2v2 retake. As Navi looks to hang on, JL. Oh, oh he had a chance there. Wait, the He bomb. wasn't like fully committed to it. It's planted on this side, if I remember correctly. No smoke, so. Molotov's huge. Oh, we got Jinko. I don't think that they can. I think he can still stick this. Oh, oh there's no kit. Or. Nope. No kit for this. It's going to have to be that 10 second stick. The cover's good. Timing? I don't know. Switch, switch back. I switch back. No oh my God, he's got it. Oh okay. my God, Jesus. he's got it. And that was calculating the HP that was coming down when he ran into the Molotov. Holy hell! The counter Molly, the dink early on, and actually just enough time to pull off that defuse. <sighs> don't do that to me. Wow. <laughs> I, thought I really just. Had I thought no they mind. had to save. I, I thought they had to save. Well calculated. Yeah, like by the bar, it looked like you couldn't get the 10 seconds. I mean, really thought they had a kit there for a second somewhere, but no. Dude, if the retakes are miraculous, man. Yeah, like that's Their retakes that, okay. are miraculous. That's fair. Yeah, if we're going to talk tactics for Cloud9. They're the best retaking team in Tier 1 right now. Whoa. They literally can do it better than anybody else. So maybe if I Jackson with the 7 month reset. Thank you. Fight for Electronic that does early damage. Navi not looking to lose that lead. Electronic and Axile off catwalk. Good for two and man Fuck. advantage. And a stifling of Navi's top. Cloud nine getting active into that fucking shit. They said hell no. Start creeping out. 
It's a pretty common call. What what Alex to be do this round? I don't hate it though, knowing that you should have had like a pretty decent gun advantage because you got so many guns out of their hands last round. And there's no op. A v4, Alexi called like already. a three mid top mid setup with like so a double lurk A is pretty vicious, chat. You get three out top mid, and then say they don't die, like JL doesn't get dinked and naded right there, and they just take the fight. If they take the fight, the reason why that round's nice is it allows both the A players that are on the lurk to just isolate whoever's on A. Rick's boost from Perfecto is a good angle. Not here though. Cat players were ready for it. Swung. They to jail early. Mid. Took out the early fights. Jail. They couldn't hit really. The, they couldn't really hit the timing on A. And the fact he gets the second. Yeah. W means they, they cut away because just like everybody, producers are humans yeah, and. Hyped about this one. When the round's over and when the casters there's say, there's history between the he got it, and, and then they go. You know, you see the players and, uh, kind of, of like thinking they have it. Here in this stage. And then they go, wait, maybe they don't. Who had it's, the pleasure. I think uh, playing against both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, even winning that best of three yesterday versus Navi. Kind of it's just how matchup. it works. Navi taking a map off them, though. It it's sucks when it happens, and I want to see it, too. I mean, you heard me pitching, too, but site, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> nice of them to leave something for the others. Yeah. You know, there's no denying that Cloud9 are at the top of the list right now. Oh, yeah, Little, you're not wrong. And it does also speak to... If Navi battle. wins, it makes... Weak right now. Vitality tomorrow, as strong all as they good. Be. If G2 they lose, I'm there about no to be stressed. Team behind Spirit at the moment. This, this tournament will sort of decide, like, where we feel about... I didn't put Cloud9 one, going think, through. Yeah. All doors... Because Cloud9 loves to disappoint me. Similar to, like, Furia, you know? So I was like, well... <laughs> yeah, exactly. The event started okay. again as in terms of but that would be the most disappointing thing is they Spirit once again just one, bamboozle me you know vitality behind them followed by Virtus pro in fact so we've definitely had a little shuffle in the rankings i i bet those odds are not the same anymore exile easy does it he was waiting for something to come at him trying to pepper the apartment's wood panel rifle works looking good and notably one of the few players who remains on the m4a4 yes him and flamesy Two of the best players today. Is that correlation or causation? <laughs> or coincidence? The thing is, though, if you buy the, M the A4, like... Life is strong. Thanks for the tier one you know subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. can drop it for you. If somebody doesn't have both M4 equipped after years of asking for that feature, I say we shun them from our community. Yeah, because... True. Why do you have the Falmus equipped? Shame. the MP9 exists? Shame. Only reason I fucking buy a FAMAS over an MP9 is so I could wide swing cat on mid and not feel like I got to tippy tap away, but that's about it. Oh, what is that technique? That's the only place I'm buying a FAMAS. Maybe mid on Ancient, I guess, so I could fight down Catwalk. They've been doing that all over the place, lots of countries. I think the the smoothest tactic is to use your index finger to hold the lid up. I just stream start from beginning after a commercial. Electronics doing the two hand was a I don't know. That sounds like a YouTube thing. I I have no idea, dude. I'm sorry. Let's get back into the game. Boomich on the op. Honestly, a welcome sight nowadays. We've had some really good maps from him at the major. We've had great maps from Hobbit on the op yeah. at the major. But yeah. Boomich well, also one, coming out and one saying... One thing Matthew brought up was that when we get the Ancient and uh -huh. it's like Perfecto and Hobbit on the op... I'm way, two hands way on that shit is crazy. Consistently good days. Okay. Two hands, yeah, he's... Map, of course, homies used to using two hands, that's all chat. Even Boomich but Boomich most of us wouldn't understand, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, he doesn't think himself that he will be his most consistent if he continues to play with op. Even if he yeah. does have good maps, you know, he's he's a critic of himself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, yeah. Exile. You can't, you can't be a pro if you're not going to be realistic. Oh, Molotov towards bench, but they are definitely crawling up Con through smoke into jungle. And Timing. there's no rustling of the leaves because it's quiet, it's silent, and it's flawless. Ooh, that time is Navi, brutal. Navi, four kills, oh, no response. Oh, come on, let's go. That nice could fucking not round. have gone any better. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that's... I would, I would just feel for Electronic, who was sitting there waiting, but he also went to go check on uh, Palace of his own volition. But uh, a lot came down to that first kill. Well, yeah, I, already, I mean, it's the A1 Pro is what it's called, Muya, of, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it, like I told you, brother. The smoke, it was going to kill Window with a second player. But either way, very creepy here from Navi as they sneak up in through the connector smoke and dismantle the entire setup with a, not a single death.
Those are the kinds of flawless rounds you love if you're Navi. And you know what? That's one of those creepy, crawly, weirdo T rounds that I think Alexi B has been having. <laughs> Fucking a weirdo T rounds, man. You know, we go back to the G2 nuke game for Navi. You and I were sat here puzzled. Very puzzled. Because the no. reason why I don't like this one, just feel like for the price, it's, it's just. So well, not that when great. it came to masking the yes. intentions of Navi, and not just the intentions um, in terms of destiny, you gonna run this fucker into the ground and just the speed. You like, I am happy that, that I got it, just, but not like because of how good the product is. An operator, like like the Wizard of Oz. You know, in the Wizard of Oz, Valorant the curtain gun. pulls back. And I saw more pads and find the one you recommend, maybe. Buttons, horns and whiz If this one obviously kind of breaks, I'll immediately get another. A little bit of both. Walking pad of some kind. Like yeah, he he was um. It was very hard to read the map. It's like Willy Wonka and info. the Wizard of Oz com coming together. That's like a lot of good movies already. But this is real life, and he's doing it in real life. Mm -hmm. Shout out Gene Wilder one time. <laughs> what an RPG and CSB game breaking. <clears throat> yes. The Wizard of Finland. Uh, There's something I love that... Cloud and I do is, is doubling up on Khan very often. <laughs> Obviously, last round. Here's Zywoo. Zywoo moves to mid. He's in mid window. He shoots the RPG through the smoke and he aces the. They're wow. Really good at layering a position without getting in each other's way, I think is something that's key. Really content to press into ramp right now. Damn, dude. 380k gang, Madfish. No refund, yeah, motherfucker. Nice you better not. Smokes you better not. Bobby. This is important for keeping Ooh, an eye boy. on the shadow. I'm watching you. into the Cloud9 setup. But who wins? You know, because they can be prepared to swing. And so, so much comes down. I to know he it. did, motherfucker. Well, they're not even flashing a ramp. Now they're flashing over it. And so this flash will Maybe be Maybe we ban Madfish for today. Hobbit, way too easy. On his own. Now the MP9 fires off. That's two CTs confirmed. Wonderful. He's going to fall for this hook, line, and sinker. Unless Hobbit peeks into the angle. Uh-oh. Ah. He just no op. What the? He just gave him the up. All right, all right, all right, all right. They decide to pull back themselves, deciding, yeah, enough's enough. <laughs> Wonderful just dropped the up on the ground, and it literally just terrified Cloud9. I'm like, what the fuck? There's a demon, a eh, rim. Hands back on the pool noodle. Wonderful. Oh, they don't feel like they've got enough of an opening to justify the follow through, huh? They kind of gave it all away with the flash going um, up with the lamp flash <laughs> because. They could see that they, literally they had no idea it was going to be any kind of ramp setup or ready to run up into the site and hope to catch someone. Blind on ticket, push the out back or something like that. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> what, what was going on right there? This is going to weird, that like, was a round of counter strike. Situation. Captain Shibby, thanks for your six month primer. Thank you, fire. dude. Appreciate you. I think All of your major streams. Appreciate it, man. Something. Yeah. Stopping your teammates from getting better guns. Chapter 7. Oh, what are we, reading books now? I thought we were playing CS, baby. I love how all the notes are in, like, 0.7 font. No <laughs> cheating on Blades <laughs> right? and no, no, no. That's what I'm saying, dude. Actually, though. I never understand. Dude, Blade really... I love to picture like, it's funny moment, to see all the different through, coaches' like, uh, notes. Like, a plays script. Earlier, the Imperial perhaps, coach yeah, had know. small font, didn't use the door like creaked open. even a quarter of the page, <laughs> and he double sided. Blade is like brow. four point font, to single spacing, ask. smallest font Just style. You gotta say in his voice though. And he goes top Bro, down. Today your day. <laughs> Literally no no breaks whatsoever. And that's a question that we are all still asking ourselves because honestly the shortcomings have been paid one thirteen to six mother of god Navi, we were just starting to celebrate his return but to have a bad event at a major is gut-wrenching they do that so people don't see it on like camera TV. right no i don't think so with only being able to get the one high pressure thanks to the molotov so the util here from cloud nine has been keeping navi on their toes as it does towards apartments too The notes usually are less, hey, our team does this, and more like it's just tendencies of their opponents. And yeah, you could, you know, if you see some of it, technically you're giving away well, some of it, but... Chance to just slip through middle. Like, it's it's usually more so notes on the we'll other team on for one, we'll not your own team, right and now. there are tendencies that most teams are all going to have big. written oh. down. Oh, but he gets by. 
Does he and walk now into got this, this anyways? Too. Oh, oh my god. Ships in the night. Wow. Wait, is it gonna be? Oh my god. Perfect! <gasps> Eman turns it on a dime! Woo! Four players dead at once with Topcon all right, once well, again. Nice spray there from Ema. You just kill everyone massive. all at once. That's the second round Navi's had like that, dude. They're just like, Ooh, all right. Also I swear, Lexi B's timing. like, all right, three, two, one. They're kill them all. These situations. I have no idea. You cannot convince me that there are rounds of Counter-Strike <laughs> that are more magic. like a horror game than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Especially, put yourself in like Cloud9 shoes right there. That went from that... zero to 100 in half a second. You didn't know Ema was there. You didn't know Wonderful was up. And then even the push on B-Apps, it's just... And imagine how frantic your calm are when you're trying to oh you got and it's, it's just over yeah you don't even have a chance to gurgle you're just done. two of the fastest rounds from first kill to last okay those four and look at the reward for it you know this is what i mean like the, it's so hard to get your finger on the pulse of navi at the moment you ever thanks for the five months farmer thank you hell they took a map nice. off spirit for the second time in 2024 one of the few teams who can have that accolade and it was off the tack again. Now versus pistols. They're gonna make sure that nothing goes wrong. Perfecto with a Zeus will hold the murder hole. Please, not Ema. He wouldn't go through. This is what it's like living in a semi-detached. <laughs> <building. laughs> living in a townhome. I can see e moving mm. slightly. Don't do it, buddy. You know, now that the jungle player there, it's like, come on, bro, I'll trade you. There was literally zero chance someone comes through this hole right now. Yeah. Perfecto knows it, too. And yeah, so Tim. down he goes. There's zoo skins, bro. Nicely held on to here, Navi. That's We're too a five, busy eating fucking tacos. Lead. Yeah, two critical rounds that are just like, listen, I'll say there's a, a bit of sort of like timing that was created for Navi, and they might have orchestrated it too, but the way they capitalize on every kill after that mm -hmm. is pretty insane. Also capitalizing on this hot start from Wonderful, 11 frags deep already. Mm -hmm. You shaming the homie Freetin' Tacos? Hell no. And Wonderful, no stranger to playoffs. Absolutely at a not. Yeah, and when he did play his one quarter game, he was awesome. But he was busy, you know, He's, he can multitask, he can do it. For his second outing in top eight. And honestly, a winnable game against Cloud9, oh. but they won't just sit around and Damn, let you that have was your way every single time. Nice active moment here from C9 to go and take top middle, netting them the double entry. And the bomb. Hold on. Oh, we got it. He gets that second kill. That's going to be false confidence. Two weeks ago, though, that's the, that's the kill Axel doesn't get. No, no, no. He's coming. He's he's not going to let his guard down. Bit is going to connect. Oh, 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 oh. And suddenly, your double man advantage two two. has disappeared. Oh, oh, oh. Out of bottom middle is tearing them up. He is having a round. He is having a map on for his ninth frag. As Perfecto is between the two remaining members, if that road towards Connector is open for the bomb... Oh, he wishes that grate was broken open. He could defend Connector, but he can't. Has to double back. Doesn't want to announce himself, but he makes sound dropping over. T start to run. He doesn't press out far enough. They'll use that flash. No smoke for the cover. And Perfecto's not going to let them get too far. Molotov, they know he's running at them. e trying to cover. Oh. Dropped. He's done his job. Nice. And what a pullback. 2v4. Okay. Navi, back to no, that was 2v4. Back into that. 5v3 at the top of mid. Beautiful round out of Ima from below. God and, um, damn. All right, I said 5v3. Okay. For sure for him in the lurking role, but I think here's a good round uh, where he shows what he can do. And also, why did they fall back from the initial picks? They got baited. They had the and bomb. That's why. This hasn't really been a major of lurkers. I think if you look at players like like Rops, you mentioned, as somebody who's lagging behind, there aren't too many other players who are championing that role, making it look extremely good. Blom, well, you hopping on right dildo? Now. Hell yeah, and, yeah. Uh, well, there's room for one. There's room for Getting one, that's it. for sure. <clears throat> and there's a lot of public criticism for Imma as well. I'd just like to say that, just to, just on a performance level. And uh, it can be hard to withstand all that pressure. You know, you're playing for Navi, one of the biggest brands in Counter-Strike, if not the biggest brand in Counter-Strike. You're going to have a lot of fans, and therefore you're going to have a lot of expectations. And 
playing on, on Game Religion, he's just not exposed to any of that. So it's one thing to try to play well under duress, even in Tier 2, but then to do it for Navi is a whole nother level of difficult. So credit to him for playing well today. No, I told you, G-Money, that it complexity game, most. like... I could tell I was starting to kind of like wind down a bit, so... Shortcomings if he powers up and Navi end up with a solid result. You know, he is presenting a counter argument so far in this first map of the best of three for top eight. Bit already deep inside of B, already guaranteeing that Navi's seventh T round win is there for the Fuck take. Yeah, Navi. Fuck yeah. Looking good. Looking nice. Looking thick. Now, this is Navi's map pick, but it's not, uh, there's not really a punish in this series. What do you reckon is the least played map in this stage? Like it was, I don't think it's Inferno. Inferno. Because we're Inferno seeing Inferno anymore. a lot now. Yeah. The major It's actually been pretty great. Like the Inferno maps have actually been super fun to Might watch. Might be overpass. Yeah. Thought it was done with Inferno, but no. I was so over it. I'm done with I Inferno. I was so ready to write it off. No, no, I'm still done with Inferno. Yeah. Hey. Gosh. No, I'm, I'm still done. Actually train first, cash second. Mm -hmm. Santorini third. Ronin fourth. Nice boys, keep it up. Good shit. <clears throat> That's great. Finish positivity. Yep. Ba, ba, ba. Right, he's dead on it. It is good. It's been good across the board. They've recovered three versus fives. I don't think they asked you. Well, I don't think I asked you, Pop Tart. So shut the fuck up. Idiot. They have silently surprised Cloud9 in a couple of rounds, too. Once that felt like Cloud9 mad. had a grasp, True. they thought they did, and they didn't realize that they were about to get pounced on. So, again, it is a great example of Navi and Alexi B's calling being difficult to hold on to, right? Very squirrely T sides. Ducky, if there's one person that might annoy me more, it's it's you. So maybe you just simmer down, okay? We'll send your ass back yeah, to the YouTube the chat. Towards B. Ducky was literally in hell yesterday because fucking motherfuckers were just typing Entirely the weirdest shit yesterday. Offense, however, met by smoke too. You know, we saw that top middle push come out from Cloud9, net them a 5v3. You'd think in their minds, <laughs> confident, this play could work a second time. Just have to push YouTube it over the line. YouTube chat's better today, but yesterday, my God. Y'all were, uh, y'all were cooking too much. more time for the underclass players to come at this mid setup. I had to fucking, I'm gonna Suddenly, get a goddamn babysitter over here. Two mid members could certainly get pinched, so they'll try to make the action happen on their own accord. Good timing from Electronic. And my YouTube it's chat so says they actually don't want that. Ducky yeah, back, so, so all good. Underpass. It's a good call out. They could have been, been an off in that situation. Was looking for it. Ime on high alert. Bit. Oh, shy away from this. He's going to turn it back towards Cat. Oh, and then Wonderful comes out from top mid to help. Mm. Just when C9 had the confidence that yeah. they were in Wait control of reading. mid. It is Bit and Wonderful to bring it back. Hobbit in the pocket of the stairs. 25 to the clock with Bob on his feet. He knows where they're Fuck. at. And okay, Bit, come on. In with you know where he's at. You know where he's at. Trying to chase with down sandwich, sandwich. Hey, Ram, Tetris. Go, go, go. 20 the seconds. Move, move, move. Of Cloud9. Oh, interesting. He's playing this very passive smoke on the cross. Ooh, he's playing he here. Play the ball right in front of triple. Spam comes oh. down. So much damage, but 24, he's alive. And he's back. Oh, no. not all the way. God, that got so messy. Oh, but Pull it cold sure there, dude. Just sit on the bomb. Go his way, and C9 won't lose this one. God, Another this one where they had the opening kills, and it almost comes back. Bit playing it from them. there is kind of weird, though. Planning opposite triple has a fresh smoke to connect two stairs and decides to play where he can actually defend the bomb from. Also, and risk dying choosing exposing back. himself to yeah, the yeah. hmm. Well, thanks for three month reset. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, this play is funny because, again, they could have had like in a default where Cloud and I know they're just walking into default. They're calling out the fact that Wonderful is never sitting here. So that's any uh, moment, Pop Tart. Any the moment half is over. Lots the word will not be rounds. said. Very cool ones from Nobby, especially ones where. They get one thread of yarn and, and take out the whole ball. And some good setups from Cloud9 to get the 5v3s out the gate. But more answers back from Na'Vi with underpass plays. I think that was the key thing. And that's something they should have been making sure to molly when they're doing their top mid aggression and not letting somebody... Lord Commentator, did you approve of that play? Bits play or work. which one? There were a few things that happened there. Half, it's an interesting spot. I, overall, I don't Still think anybody was griefing too hard in that round.
there were some questionable things, but I think if you tried to, you could overanalyze a few of the choices made in that round, but only because you're watching as a spectator. This has got the Molotov it's... in case that becomes the full fledged. And he didn't use it. Mm -mm. It's because Alexi's not sweating. A few Glock shots. Meh. Plus, they're hella expensive. I don't know, Nori. I don't know. Very slow burn of a pistol around here. Cloud9 not wanting to let this one get out of their control. And with a smoke flash for Boomich. What's he setting up? Smoke comes out. They attack before it plumes. So getting ahead of the utility. Flash is never a part of this until Bit eats it. And they want that connector fight. So it's all about getting close stairs. Then the late activation. <laughs> oh, no. They won't jump out looking backwards. I'm so happy that Navi like benefited from that. Mid. But Hobbit I also just, just what the it. fuck? Too much to handle. What the fuck? Alexi throws away the incendiary. Bit starting to push forward out from jungle. He's got support behind him and in front on stairs. These T's are doing a good job of keeping their heads down. Axile starts to strike. Bit's now got cover. Holy he's got bit. kill coming out from him. Perfecto on the oh. back. He can just hold on. He's got them crunched. Perfecto though Wonderful went crazy. Walking into the middle of the crossfire. Cloud9 took their sweet time, but it all works out in the end. It does, yeah. That, that um, top con smoke into the exact. Keeping it simple, just finding their timing. And most of yeah, I was trying to heat up the pool because I wanted to get in that shit because it's been nice strong. out, back, but a bomb sight or holding on to one. It's too fucking cold, man. So I just was like, fuck it. Just overall, Take the you L. can really see how much they've talked about every detail of the game as a team, trying to make up for their follies, and that's not having an opper. Um, they've, they've supplanted that with just like pristine teamwork of course i mean it's a fair strategy if you're going to it's take like really nice outside chat it's just like so kind of like well you better be spending your time doing something cooler. else it's not there's cold. no doubt in my mind that the players that cloud nine have are not trying their absolute damnedest mm. with a guy like groove spaghetti and chicken parm who has uh, risen to the top of coaching alongside let me that just keep young, walking around we can yeah and and also just cured whatever <laughs> sort of motivational ailment <laughs> gotta maintain that deficit my god because i would never say that chemistry is That's the reason no. that he can't play oh, we well, can. especially when his CT and T spots are usually solo. You know, that doesn't, that never added up sure. to me. He's got the space that he needs. It's so. on him. Yeah, it, it always looked like a motivation type of issue. It's hot for like it's an hour max. Here, what do you mean? can't really see what else it could be. Oh, this one's going to get made into its meat. Desert Eagle finds nothing. b site. Oh, hold on now. Ah, sit down. <laughs> Exile's not going to skip a beat nor a step. Yeah. And that mm. is an easy one. And you also time. said it like it's a new it's like game. You know? I think that see. it can be very fair to be like, oh, I really loved CSGO. I'll tell you what it I says. just love my team in CSGO. Uh, I just want to hold on to that memory forever. But you got a new game. Too bad. You got a new team. And you got a, you know, great ah, players like around you. Out. You got like the support of a great org. You have lots of opportunities. And more than anything else, you're at like the I said, major. It's, it's really like nice game. out. You it's like super sunny here. outside. You don't have it anymore. You don't have a love But it's kind of windy and it's not super hot. It makes sense that he's ramping up just in time for this, looking like his old self a bit more. It's not going to be it's hot for a little for while, actually. Eyes. Motherfucker. And even with the performance he's put forth thus far at the Major, there are still critics that question his ability to remain consistent. And you know what? If they don't get out of the stage fair enough, because they're a team I'm that in, should uh, be playoffs. I'm in Vegas, yeah. so I'm West Coast. Secret spy. On. And I had never seen as much hype for or four a hours from it, I guess. together than when this Cloud9 project Plus was Plus for the 71-month primer, thank you. And there was a question around the in-game leadership. Boomage gets picked up. That same time Shiro departs, and you think, oh, it's all a waste. They could have just stayed on Navi. Yeah. Right, Zyson right. of the 75 no, month reset. Thank you. Appreciate you. First CS2 major and contesting for top eight. When did C9 stop having or US not. team? Quite a while ago. It's been like what, two or three years now, chat? Need for Hobbit. Could have been way worse. Vegas is Midwestern, my mind. Make sure a lot no of the people that live here are. Isn't in this case. So you wouldn't be crazy. 
Ima is getting overstressed in this position. There's like uh, with connector being open. The, the transplants of Las Vegas are like him, this. So it's like comes down to his timing. California, what they want to do. Texas, the between window and top anywhere in the Midwest. Do they find the gap? Maybe not that order. Right Probably direction. Midwest over oh, Texas, you know, but California number one. Exile double kill back was looking flat for a second, trying to get the Fomus off the corner. Alexi B, it's just the one. More cat pressure from JL. Desperate to spam through with the remnants of Perfecto's eight Tons of Hawaiians in Vegas, too. Oh, yeah. Jungle. And then Boomich on the bomb plant, but a struggling Boomich, I must add. Four Come kills on. in this map, ready to oh swing on God. contact. Perfecto dead. Oh, damn. Hell of a time to get his fifth. Boomich um, makes sure that that lead doesn't slip away. Yeah, Vegas is nicknamed like the Ninth they Island. Figure that out. They put themselves in the best spot possible to swing and trade. They literally agreed <sighs> to something very quickly. Just had to have faith. Yeah. So what we saw right there was like the most classical default into pressuring the one weakest point on the map. It's not that Emma's weak. But it's that that position is so open and that's where you put star riflers at the top of jungle but when they fall back into that spot and they don't have the extra rifle support connector is not smoked at all that's when they often do like in vegas window and jungle. Uh, the only one on the map not say like perimeter. once every few months they're the one that's most exposed so their kills can mean the most and he did get his one and they actually did do a decent job of stopping at least one or two players coming in but the trades from cloud nine were just a bit better yeah that's like a social thing I don't think Nori's never heard the words come out of my mouth. Let's go to the casino and gamble. I'm like, let's go get some food. <laughs> Let me get some food. Woo. Tries the snapshot, but no chance. about to go on a drought. Oh, Vegas is chilling. It's still expanding. You've just been watching too many TikToks. What's this connector smoke face? Arizona and California. Site's so free for the taking. Well, they're in a pickle. You have to take something spectacular Vegas from bit to throw a wrench in the works. Uh, you can't stop them from crossing jungle into the bomb site. So this is Navi. Unfortunately for them, wrong position. Mm. Working with the little that they have. Nacho Daddy on the strip so is pretty fire expensive for Nachos, but still. The game and how they approach it. Uh, Nacho Daddy's just Applebee's dog. It's not bad, but. <laughs> Dude. Just a good example in this head to head of some tactical counter strike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, top level gameplay from like this region overall is just so satisfying to watch in terms of like all the small details that come together on the map. And yeah. Whether that's, of course, in the retakes of the Damn, Chopsy didn't hit me up. Fake as fuck. Alexi B's near unreadable rounds or even you know like 2020 gambit or 2020 bp yeah i was in the durango i guess you should say um, all right when did you go to durango there's just so many yeah there's just so much talent obviously it was like a month ago on display i wanted the, to eat uh, there but everything was fucking packed the riflers now in 2024 let's literally like the mix. i mean right, we could have exactly. hit up some of the places at the food really court but i wanted to like yeah, sit down for sure you know what i mean chew on like, this just like chill, have a drink, kind of not feel yeah, like I'm in a food court. Who's always been the little brother of the region, playing and beating lineups like Cloud9 and Navi is massive for him and his resume and I think his confidence. And a resume that earned him offerings, right? He's come out in an interview recently saying like, I've had shots to join big teams, but I always thought that 10,000 steps in the morning, special. thought of you for every step. W, but Here he is on the I'm a little concerned. CS2 playoffs. Come on, Navi. Come Down on. Beneath it, trying to keep himself up and good ready flash, for the good flash, good flash, peak, peak, peak. Utility pressures. Oh, it's, and so he gets the turn from us for some reason. Wide open. And Was that not a JL flash? Just aren't on the mark. No CT Deep. control in a 4v5. Fuck, man. It goes the way of the team. So too slow. Yeah, they can't. They can't even go for it. Man, that was such a sudden pop that it catches Navi out of position. It really had to be bit. And that, that nade had gone a little deeper. Maybe it opens up a door. Now nah, they decided to save. Scares Cloud9 a little at least. In this one, it is all C9. Goddamn. They're every bit as good as Are all a mythic crew on the West Coast or time zone struggles? Uh, just me and Ryan are. Me and Ryan. Ryan's in California. I'm in Vegas. Uh, Chate's in Texas. I keep getting messed up when I look at the numbers at the top of the screen. Because Coops the logos in Tennessee the and Trucks in, uh, Aha! Mm -hmm. Terrorists win. 
I'd like to I hope didn't notice is, that. I'd like to hope there's at least one guy sat in his room right now going, oh, me, me, me too. True, true, yeah. Maybe that's just me. I'll oh, be not the only person in struggle in here. I haven't been to this sphere. I'm not really trying to go watch you two. Sort of high level Mirage game. But I do want to check it out. It's coming in. Very hard to call against. Where no wonder you guys play though, Dallas. Well, such a great yeah. display of, of map control. Well, I mean, I it's just like with me and Ryan both, but, uh, like, pretty yeah, I mean, far west. Yeah, Navi want to way back into the Chicago is just like, like, I mean, pressure in mid. we let people ping test other servers. We're not bamboozling people. They just lose the ping test. Donk and Zontic's levels of pressure in mid. Uh, of course, yeah. Nine, maybe sensing a weakness. Call me, you got to collect those all. Those are, uh, we call those Pokemon cards. the full exec. At least this time they'll maintain CT control barring bit dying, but ahead of the smokes. Emac gonna challenge on bench. He's got a pocket to play from behind. Alright, Emma get one. Nice, Emma. There you go. Second kill out of him. There's the chase. Oh, oh jail saved him. Nice. This is a total stoppage. Fuck that yeah. Is what they needed in terms of defense. Yeah. Everybody dies here for Cloud9. Yeah. Axile has to run for the hills. That's sweet. I mean, you get the A site attack down to two choke points. You don't have to deal with the connector split. Then at least you're on to something better. You have two fast rotations <laughs> and you have CT control. Chaz, thanks for the one gifted. Round, they didn't have anyone in CT and they didn't have any control. One gifted either, to so step, bro. Got me unstuck. It ends up catching up to Cloud9. I think it was valid for them to try again. Why not? Mm -mm. But um, that's Emma finding a you really guys prefer Denver servers? No, nah, most nice people don't play. I mean, we, we can play two out of three. So we play Denver, so Dallas. People are going to be using it against you constantly. Um, but this is also a matter of that smoke coming in late, one jungle smoke missing. Yeah. True, true. Slightly <laughs> off the mark, slightly off the timing. Nice, nice boys. Guys, let's wake up to the fucking Alexi game. B with a nice boys. Let's wake the fuck up to the fucking game, boys. And he's not wrong. That was a convincing A defense. Proving that you don't need that under balk. If the jungle peak is sometimes strong. watching these videos, I'm not sure if they're actually suck. Razor Chris on brand as always. Thank you. Hoping there's an opera on the line. Don't see anything just yet. But we do have wonderful lurking beneath moving his ways over to. Am I planning on going to TwitchCon again this year? I wouldn't count on it to be honest. It is interesting how little this game is. I mean, I went last year because it was literally in Vegas, and I still like didn't actually attend. You know what I mean? I yeah, just early visited. Days, Counter Strike, uh, LCS Go. If you remember that game, there's a lot to do with connector splits. Almost exclusively. I don't know how to describe into, that, but almost yeah. Almost everything to do with con uh, cat control. You go back to Navi and how they approach it in their prime. And this we'll game see. is looking more It classical. is in San Diego, Keep so I mean, simple. I do enjoy going to San Diego. Mid control at a maximum. A split every time. But here's the same thing dressed up differently. Yeah. CT is just looking for any information. It's thing activation is, time for Hobbit. This was the A setup that but didn't wonderful work. still on cat, right? Bit's gonna go down with nothing. JL over at the top of the stairs. There's pressure on the one player bounce, but that doesn't stop Emit from surviving. Down into the site, JL gives cover. Wait, fuck. A bit of a resurgence ah. from Cloud9. 20 seconds on the clock and a smoke to try and get beyond from jungle. That's yeah, actually a decent situation here for the T's as they get the bomb down. No one coming in from jungle or connector. How do they 2v2? Man, can chaotic. Will this op work? Boomich has it. He's backing up to Tetris. Wonderful. Looking for a time maybe to be able to jump up. Starts to post over top of the ticket. Wonderful. Glancing around and oh, he saw that. Would have seen the barrel, I suppose. Nice. Oh, nice. yeah, he keeps it honed in on target. Fuck yeah, come on. Crawls back, but it's all for naught. They were a little scared right there. They didn't think um, they could push into a ramp, so they were watching both things. Boomich obviously flailing that scope around. Mm -mm. Gave wonderful his last idea of the round, what I need to hold on to. And the rest was done with that rifle 1v1. With one comes two. This is two moments of A site defense <laughs> that Emet puts up. Yeah. Right? Now, JL saves him, perhaps, by softening up Hobbit ah! while he's in the Molotov, Still so we can't chase over. Get one, for sure. Yep. In the fire, chooses his target, and he just, just gets out of for the Navi. Grow up. HP to hold on. So. Ooh, the buy? Yeah, I guess they have Boomich, oh, Hobbit with enough money. Is it legal for me to stream this? We're no, but who's going to tell him, dude? No. <laughs> Imagine. No, we're not. We yeah, got permission, dude. Offering. We're not streaming the Super Bowl. We're chilling. A defense to be proud of inside this A site. And an improvement from maps prior at this major.
the only thing missing in this half so far from Cloud9, and honestly with Navi as well, is just variants. Like, there's not much to do with B-Sight at all. Or cat, like Again, you said. Again, they're not trying cat. They're not trying cat splits. They're just leaving it off the table. They have an aversion to that site for some reason. Mm -mm. Yo, Pri Pri, thank you very much for the seven month farmer. Oh, thank go. you, dude. Yeah. Talk about catwalk. Here we go. JL, only one. It's a cat split. It's a cat worse. split. Hold the up, Bert. From no, wonderful fuck. tries to rotate. Oh, missing timings. Missing timings. Chance for Alexi B, but no sir. Axile oh. in the pocket between the two. Wonderful Turns didn't stay posted. Oh. And he's going deeper. Oh. All the way through market. He oh. will challenge and fall for it. That's still safe. Recovered somewhat, but what's the chance that they go for this no, retake? No, they're... Mm. Well, the bomb's halfway ticked, and they're just actually still worried about dying. How to stream this and cover the so sponsors? I'm not covering the sponsors. They're top right, sir. In a spot where he could have gotten two on the ah, hold, ah, but, ah, I mean, ah, you should expect ah, to ah. trade at the same time there. Coming in with one idea, and they want it to be fast. They finally do pull up on the cat split. But so you can you can execution. buy the rights and then not it's have their sponsors and then have your own. Window cross for but if you're trying to buy the English, I don't, think, uh, I don't even know if you can buy the English. Dropping that smoke down, if it was played a little bit more differently... There might have been an interesting option. You can buy the other languages, though. For, I believe, Alexi anchoring, but... It's an explosive call at a big Yo, boom. yo. What shoes do I have on? Clown shoes. one that banks on Axile, again, performing well at the Major. Yeah, like moments like that are renewing faith, definitely. Final timeout called here for Navi. There's That's no their condition free to coach. You have to show their sponsors. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. Has been relatively I'm not paying for any sort of like exclusive rights or just allowing me to emerges. watch it, right, and redistribute it to my stream, but I also can't like do anything yeah, to prevent revenue from their sponsors play. been taken over mid control and then in turn i give them the statistics the of my stream so that way when they are done they can then present those statistics to their sponsors because well you guys are also seeing exactly what's on the mainstream right a change of direction <sighs> and a change of pace certainly catch the defense off jl nearly enough to maybe fall back but See what the response is. Oh, this ball. Oh, yeah. That messes all the internal timings, but at least the oh top god, contains no them. one top mid. Crazy. Oh, this would be scary. They're gonna walk up into this. This is nuts. I mean, they're not gonna hold any. You don't What's know the mile count for the day. Uh, six. But uh, JL, let's see, is he going to get cleared? He's getting ahead of it. Electronics going to tuck in. Uh, JL will kill him in a second, surely. Here's those Molotovs to catwalk. He doesn't want to peek it. It's going to indicate the position, though. JL will clip Hobbit on the connector push. Nothing going well here for the tease. Perfecto comes out from balcony. That's Shit. the only thing that ends up working out for C9. Trying to get into some complicated nice. positioning. Keep up four. Instead, it Keep is up Hobbit four. Just pull you apart at the seams. I mean, they got an underpass unspotted, so I think they got the position that they wanted to. But uh, no, they weren't. Navi were not scared of it at all. I feel all. like Navi knows what Cloud9 wants this to do 90% well, of the shoot. time. They're just Could not executing been. properly, like individually. Anyone else feel that way watching this? Like, I, I really do just feel like Navi, like Alexi's called a really good game. And they've been set up nicely. It's just like... Individual decisions and moments. Finish off the save. Smoker need to make them a little nervous. Perfecto just Paying up 7 on second map. Shit. On. Gets two kills this round, right? One on the hunt and that one frag that opens up. Mm. Yeah, but they get yeah they do get stuffed at every choke point. I mean, there's a CT watching the run through the entire time. Emma has been sharp at getting his on the site. It's a one-round game with the AK saved and maybe a few dollars here for Navi. But they weren't aware of JL even getting up into uh, into ladder room. And he played that cool, you know, not not forcing the fight through the vents into the window, but just finding the timing on catching Hobbit climbing up connector. 
Now we have some limitations for Cloud9 as they're going to continue. Wonderful lands at this time. Oh, oh fuck. my god, but look who's there first. Jesus, perfecto is going That's what you signed Oh, oh nice. Nice one back. And Alexi's not Bro, that was actually huge. And do we have and they got the op back. And we'll find out. At the very least, that's one of the Mac 10s thrown away into the AK, goes Axile. And four Perfecto's had the broccoli TikTok hair for Alexi's a little while now, bro. Death coming forward with his op. Here to make Finland proud. Am I written for it? Put JL up uh, first. Navi. Navi helps out my pickups. A lot. Actually, Navi guarantees. If Navi wins this, I guarantee my pickups. So, knowing that, based on past experiences, I'm fucked. Oh, we got two! How? Gets that scope right back up. Now a oh, chance crossed. to hold cross, oh. but Ema actually just gives it over. Aiden. A matter of oh. timing that allows for Hobbit to just go in for that bomb pant. Cloud9 in the 2v2 to try and take this 12th. And a smoke back by Cat makes Bit's job hard, but that also opens the door. He can now slide into the pillar for Hobbit. cover. He spotted the back of Hobbit, who shoots towards Mark no. and takes the head off Ema. Not Hobbit. And with half health, hunts Bit. Oh, the name. Slowly encroaches a fast move from Hobbit on lesser health. And he hears him no hunting around this bomb site. Bit just covering the bomb in smoke. No kit. Looking for maybe an off angle bomb. Bit, it's what are you doing? Fast. Why'd Bit you run? Kit. He concedes this. Hobbit what? Dodging the fight. And Cloud9 up catwalk. They get past the I literally don't, don't know why he did that. Now. Well, how the tarp known for their aggression. That's a nice one. He knew exactly one where he was. He jumped there. Elusive. He heard him. He recognized Put it. Put on the ring for a second. <laughs> Disappears back site. Bit could sense him, couldn't see him. I can't believe Alexi got two frags here jumping back. That's ridiculous with the scope. I mean, I just, my point is that, uh, like, even if he couldn't find the bomb, I don't know why he's trying no to tap time. it. He doesn't have a kit. Why not just right take click. the fight? Cloud nine with two map points. Right. Crazy round to win right there. For Renzen like you're, you're, and shout out Boomich, right? Always good. I don't know. While having a bad you have game no kit. For a late game, In my mind, no kit. Sure, sure. You know exactly his position. You and need so to take the fight the map before you lose the timing. Is to topple the bricks player, push that pressure onto Alexi. Then it is wonderful back in with an off. Not Doesn't matter if he's not giving time, the fight. But he does lose lower he, support. Bit didn't he even try to force it. Away. Galil spray. JL's going to follow up. How much does he press? Because there's That's an entire pack. Yeah, it's still it's yeah. The an entire is, it's unit of Cloud9 players in position, waiting oh, for man. exactly that. Axile, two Fuck. clean kills with this Galil. He covers his tracks. He's gonna watch the back door. He's a lurker. He knows. That's an opportunity now. For Big Mac, shut up for Cloud9. This game was back on after a wonderful shot. Hey, he's still in the mix. Wonderful and bit side by side on catwalk. It's form in question this major, not someone that you'd expect. They may very well need him. Not the best spot sometimes to stop a full on hit, depending on the utility coming in. Oh, they stay on it though. Yeah. Navi, they've got the right idea. They're staying fixated on the window. Bit is at least wonderful. It's a quick snap over. With the announcement of the presence off the volley, bit great chance into the cover. Mm. Both oh my the God. defenders posting a kill. Hit that motherfucker! And still, Boomich with a chance to challenge. Ten to the clock. He needs support. His teammate is here with him. Can he get this ball yes, down? Yes, he can. He just got over, but wonderful shoots the hands off electronic. I said he's good for the late game impact. Galil shots downrange and a reposition. Oh no, he got out. The smoke. As no, Alexi's Alexi gonna die. On the market window, oh. there it is. Navi, they'll take nice. all 11. All right, we go 24 rounds, baby. Nice, nice one there from Wonderful and Bit. Kill a piece. Covered perfectly on the site. And I think that, you know, Navi, I think they were suspicious that it was gonna be, be a B hit, but oh, there's yeah. so many rounds that have been late full A's that they thought, all right, let's just chill for a second. We do have an op on this side of the map. and. If you really do believe it's going to be a be a hit, like you know, most of the time you want to have one person in a committed position um, to make sure you don't have to retake, you know, a site that can be. Yeah, me thanks to the seventy month primer. So. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. So I think we are just solving a small <laughs> issue in the game, and we'll be back in in a second for round twenty-four. I should. Oh. 
I think Nobby so. were a little more cautious Shout about the Demia. potential for the cat hit. We've seen a couple rounds in the last few where cat becomes a key component of the B entry. Mm -hmm. you know, but luckily, wonderful, once he saw those Molotovs, just honed in on the window. Yeah, man, he, he is super reliable, I, I, I would say, almost every you know, position in the game. I think it's so hard to replace something like simple, especially since you just get a completely different opera, like in terms of in play style, and uh, he has just worked in perfectly. So is JL. I mean, somebody who the stats did not even favor him when he was on Apex. If you're watching the major, you could see the quality of play with the entries, but uh, that was a risk definitely for Navi to just say, okay, well, JL of all players who sort of were some of the new stories, and that ended up being a perfect fit too. Damn, dude, Hurricane smacked around by Pain, huh? Let me see. Oh, oh my it. God. It's 11 0 for Pain in the second. This thing is so series. awkward. Is right as Pain to play in their, their best level. There's my king right there. I knew it. In your face. Oh, oh, my God. Right. The first. This Heroic is news to us. Can't even do oh, what? My God. We're locked into the Navi Cloud9 echo. <laughs> how, <laughs> Sebastian, how are you going to drop that wait, on us, wait, man? Wait. <laughs> but uh, it's a 1 2. It's a 2 1 game, right? They still have another chance. No, man. It's a 1 2 game. Yeah, brother. Oh my god. I'm supposed to process that and now cast round 24? That's crazy. What the hell? All right. Watch this second shot. Just the hands. Yeah, just the hands, Just man. the fingertips. Into the tack pause. All right. Okay. Cloud9 going to talk sorted. things over. Actually, actually, they're broke. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting wound up. <laughs> Oh, embarrassing for her. Yeah, man, that's crazy. They are broke. They are broke. That's their map choice, they have too, to man. Do some crunching here to figure out where they can. I mean, it's going to be a Galil's at best. We're going to have Mac 10s. Oh, not a single rifle. Boof. Not a single rifle well, to defend against overtime. Well, what, that is what you love to see. What could that mean? That makes for the most exciting round ever. Huh? Now, I'm not going to say that this is over, all right? Could that mean something fast? Something action-packed. Well, it does mean that, you know, mid-control is probably out of the question. Full B-pop might be too obvious. Ooh, that A-Sight's There's all kinds light. of games of rock, paper, scissors. A-Sight's light. Yeah, A-Sight's a little light. And if they go fast enough... It is Ema here to support at the very least. We've got Bit pressed against Palace. It might not be hard. It might not be easy, excuse me, for Navi to calculate the money exactly. Comes down to Bit in this hold, right in the mix. He'll be inside smokes on this exec. Ooh, wonderful's moving over in time. That's ticket to be preoccupied before the exec comes over. And with that one volley of util, they have got to go. Molotov on Bit, first shot Nice landed. shot. That's exactly what they needed out of Wonderful. Bit's gonna hold his ground top, Palace. Nothing looking good until Axile enters the feed. Oh, Hobbit wait, Mojave got the... Oh. The lesser weapon betrays him. Boomich will make the SMG work. Two on three. They've got forward positioning. Oh, and another kill. Uh oh. They've evened this one back out in a minute. Can they get Ooh, off of the bars? Yes, wait, wait, wait. Into jungle, both Maybe go. Vent, Alexi, Alexi, Alexi vent, 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 vent. You know that now. Alexi saw one go. Oh. But if they don't hear that bomb getting planted, he's going to get nervous about the lurks. He Oh, he's got wonderful Ooh. repositions. Ooh. They've got both options covered. Spicy. What you do, I mean, this feels like cloud Spicy nine. Spicy way to cover out. that one. You cannot now get out of this murder hole. This angle is locked off. They, they find the right window. option, actually. They, they do find the right option. It's scarier for them to go back, but Alexi, he thinks that they may have spotted this. They didn't. Oh, my God, they are figuring this out. But... Now they have eyes on ticket. Axile about to walk into the scope. Boop. Just a little jiggle. Doesn't fire. Wonderful. Oh. Will clip Axile. Oh. Nice. Oh. Finish off. Okay. That is what they need for OT. Holy Ooh. patience from Wonderful. From the wonderful discipline there was crazy. With the off. Bit serves up this great My walking I am, chat. Even because we're going to overtime, I'm going to run a 90 second now. I'm a fat SMGs. piece of shit. I know, I know. You, you see, but this way like it doesn't that, play on match so point, okay? Careful. You know, Wonderful is so reliable in moments like that. Just keeping it real. Extremely tense. You're going up against a tech nine that's you know 245 movement speed the shoulder peaks are just happening every moment it's freaking axile you know like you make one mistake you are dead and this round is lost but um he he knew that at around 20 seconds they don't have the option to even go through the murder hole to be and they were both confirmed spotted so it's alexi b's info to alley -oop wonderful into that 2k and bring navi into overtime yeah a little go. i think they did Opinions on G2. We've oh, been playing some grueling matches. OT. They, they are not confidence inspiring at all. That would be my opinions right now. Boomich was one second late. Grandmaster with the Twitch Primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I went into this tactic to try to get someone to 
Fight mid. Ouch. It's a big chance for Boomich. Scoped up. Oh, misses his shot. And every time Boomich misses an op shot, it almost feels like there's that much more criticism on it. That's okay. They haven't used it that much. Fair. But that's why when it does get pulled out and it had a chance at an opening kill, yeah. like now you've got to recover with the second chance, right? Oh, oh no, there are. Okay. You guys are just toxic. That's better. That's Boomich. Oh. And also, Perfecto's going to press out from ramp on his own. That's a rare chance. Now, Emma is holding this hard line from underpass, and the flash could come out in the front of Tetris. There's no one actually staged to do it. He feels it. They fire off back and forth. There's presence. Perfect positioning out of bit. That's too spotted. But at the same time, they're going to get up this catwalk angle. Wonderful has tucked in back sight. I think they might know that there's only one B. But there's also no support. And now a player gets the default. Wonderful oh. sees it. Just in time. Getting vision of those that encroach closer. Oh, it oh is bad. what a shot, though. And Electronic can bomb plant for Cat, but Alexi's right there to challenge. And they've got one locked in to get right. He dies out to bit. And with that, it all falls on Electronic. Tagged to 19 health. Bit has revealed himself. And Electronic holds on an off angle as the Cat player has yet to come all the way up. Electronic is getting squeezed off sight. Oh. And as he goes in versus Ema, he will fall. Whew. Solid timing on the A site peak from Ema. Bit is there to help him, and it's My the bad, same duo from A to get the job done in OT. Yeah, you, you gotta wonder what the plan Shut was up, for like, deck. Perfecto to get spit. What did they want out of that? They want him to get a kill by himself and then hit come the back A site because they're still Copium a long time, real comeback. Know? Probably not, not a real comeback. Starts this off, makes this whole lot easier as well. His first kill as he pushes out a connector. And they just keep material up the entire way through. So as much as Cloud9 are fighting back and getting it closer, Navi still have full control of the round and wonderful. 25 and 13 and dude, it, it is the op diff. Like even if Boomich can get one kill back, like you see a player like Wonderful, how much value they can add with their consistent op presence. Yep, yep, he had a chance. Oh, fucking Oh, the pressure from the flashbangs. If he gets out alive, I feel like you take that. But Electronic is hot on the heels of the cat fallback. Oh, and he's going to catch JL, oh, not ready. Man. And he knows that the CT pl player fell back into What gone. a weasel, huh? Slipping up behind the connector player, getting that perfect timing. Yeah, that's what Navi were all about, so. Electronic's got that killer instinct, and now we go back into the cat pack. And this is the thing, if they fade back into vanilla spots, they know that Imma is playing in jungle. And Electronic's gonna try yeah, he's literally Look following this. on this. Wow. And even though Ima has a chance to fire back, Damn. it's Electronic to get the second of the round. 3v5 to try and bring it back, but no. Too much to ask of Bit. Wonderful on A, we'll find that lurk from Electronic. Alexi back on bench. Oh, Dies oh. empty-handed. Boomich is gonna best him with the AK. And now poor Wonderful seemingly can't. Yeah, I'm aware of the pain her again. No. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Not quite there. Perfecto hides behind the cash register and banks one. Man was ready to cash out, nine. dude. A great answer back here in the second round of overtime. Um, what do I do? I, I need a prompt. So Have you considered asking someone? Can I just say, like, this entire major, uh, it's just been so good. I just love Counter-Strike. Uh, yeah, and, you know... We're in CS2 now. It's just been amazing. I, I really have been such. We've all been just coming in early, watching games mm -hmm. that we're not even casting. It's just been a blast. Shout out PGL for a great green room yeah, atmosphere yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. One of the best ever for sure. It's making it very fun to just hang out and play CS and even HLTV staff on site, the photographers, all the team support staff. We've got good viewing sections. And, uh, well, another heater to follow up versus Complexity, Vitality, Ooh, and Wonderful nice does not stop. Trying to send a second shot through boxes. Perfecto, oh, good answer. Oh, we're giving it up, Emma. Fuck. And while I could sit here and say the hotel vibes are great, we're missing one, the best ingredient. The, Alcohol? The crowd. <laughs> the crowd, right. The fans. The heart of this community. The, the teacher can, cannons? We can hear beating louder. It's coming. We're getting closer. Demise, We've got I saw teams some of it. In playoffs. We've got the on Boris. Apparently, they already added well. it out and, and took it out. Games going but, on. Yeah, I don't know. Look how expensive this one was for Navi. 
Well, it's a bit shitty, but I also Cloud feel like it's a bit in. overblown as well. Glance at, uh, it's like a bit of both. What's here to stop it? Oh, it's an MP9 close range. It was definitely it's weird of them to leave that in. In the best spot possible. And in capable hands. Yes. And uh, JL, well, he's got to cover him. Let's see. The walk up comes through MP9, tears through one, running out of ammo. Oh, he's stuck against the wall. The Hobbit's going to make sure that he doesn't get out of there. Then the second smoke goes up. And Alexi doesn't take his gamble chance. He wants that rotate towards ticket, but now they know about him, right? He's been burning, and Hobbit is honed in on the Come on, wonderful. Speed, so do some of that no wonderful option. shit. Damn. Oh, there was cover a second late. Ten seconds left. Alexi has an MP9. He can push in if he can a find the kill. If he dropped it there, who knows what happened. Oh! oh. The spam. He has to be traded now. He's reloading the MP9. Oh, my God. He doesn't no, have time. Hobbit, Hobbit you don't have time. Play. Hobbit's got to get the kill. Oh, Holy shit. Get it. The round's over. Navi win a second. How? He wins. That he's, 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 down. What? An MP9 spam you can through spam triple. that with an MP9? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and for that much damage. All right, add that to the list of reasons to never oh, buy a fucking FAMAS. Devilish play from the staircase. And after already Cloud9 had fought tooth and nail to get into this site, Bit was a nuisance. The wonderful peak oh off my ticket. God. But Alexi finds the headshot and then just perfectly keeps himself in cover. Oh, I should have been Look ready. That smile at a blade. Yeah, blade, yeah. careful. No much, <laughs> no, to not too much emotion, Alexi dude. Keep that shit under check. Unbelievable round win for Navi. You know, the only reason you lose there is not covering. I mean, obviously, how you, you, why do you need to cover an MP9 spamming through triple? But being ready to peek in that situation would have been everything for Hobbit. And now Navi up around. And he finds the weak point. Yeah, Lexi didn't know. Nobody knew, bro. Nobody knew. Oh, boy, seven miles. We're moving, baby. Back to CT side we go. And to be honest, I, I really think uh, Cloud9 were, were tricked, absolutely. But also had some rounds that were a little inexplicable. No, yeah, Demise. I, I think that was what was weird. Is like, those gaps. Maybe Navi can find some new ones. Bit if you're critical of your ramp, teammate. They can't hang out. There and... Had a lot of space sometimes yeah you you're oh, what the, and, and sometimes it's like good sometimes you shouldn't do it at all whatever okay. but like posting it Put yes i think ice. you're i think that's really the weird part is like JL you're po give you posting it makes it seem like you're trying to rally people to see wow this right? is because why they lost at the rmr type vibe which is just really weird well especially because you know you're then on a silver platter to any palace peakers and that's not smoked yeah, I mean, you just never go top stairs in a, a situation where there's like ramp pressure potentially or anything. So, well, there's pressure, all right. Context: Navi Falcons uploaded a vlog. To hang on to this one in the vlog, lead. they literally left a part where basically everybody just took turns so. shitting on Boros and his performance at the RMR for about four minutes. Tucked into ladder room. It's expensive in terms of health. And I'm Alexi just want to say low. I watched a Ooh, little bit. I did not get a chance to watch all of it, and then they actually took out that part of the video. That was a nice. So you can't even watch it anymore. Really wonderful, but that smoke just a little too big, a little too plump. But with and that like I was, right, my, my is issue more so, like they, I said, is less that they were drop into the site. It's another one where saying like, boomage. bro, what the fuck yep. are you doing, basically? The microscope falls, boom, and delivers. more so like, why are you posting you this? As well. Drop smoke are you just trying side, to like jumps dumpster, fuel the fire? It's weird. On an off angle and is met by Molly's smokes ahead of it, so this opens up the door perfectly for the window peak. It's a challenge out of Axile, but it's now a gun back in Bit's hands. Oh, he slams back Holy both. Bit. Come on. And Boomich, who just had two oh, teammates, is alive. now in sight on his own. Oh. Hobbit is nowhere to be found. And sure yes. enough, Wonderful gets oh, that Oh, my God. Come Bit on. Gets his gun back out. And Come on. Lethal. Bit, you beautiful oh, fucking was bastard. Really half getting started, and Hobbit's still over on Connector. That is all about Bit, baby. A full swing on that defusing player, and okay... They could have stopped it. Boomich got his first kill, but that full defensive mode with no one actually close enough to help out sort of meant that Navi could take over the site. They could get to bench. They could get into all the spots that they wanted to. And they had a pretty safe plan. But here's the first mistake from Cloud9. And here's just a beautiful punish out of bit, man. And that smoke just big enough for the market window players to jump out, but also just big enough to guarantee bit cover to get the gun out. It ends up playing into both teams' hands, and he just hits the sharper shots. 
So Navi lock in double OT. A very fun back and forth between these teams with top eight on the line. And some high level Mirage. 100%, yeah. This isn't just head bashing. Both teams at times head Yeah, it wasn't just the coach though, Brute. And like I said, like posting it afterwards is like weird. It with what could be an unexpected angle. And JL like loves said, to take a little peek into this, right? That's, that's kind of like for sandwich, I think Hobbit hits this headshot. Big Wild with a four month resub, thank you. Oh, he gives it up. I still suck at CS. Felt like he was on to something. Smoke from top middle that pops in jungle. Doesn't matter if he gives up his first angle. Hobbit still hits the instant kill. Boomich to be tested. Oh, he, he does one. snap. But Wonderful is right there to trade it. So both oppers taking one down. But Wonderful continues forward here. Maybe three. In the fifth round of OT. Axile concerned about a connector play. That's not the case. Electronic. It's a close corner position to catch bit off. Oh, and then he fuck goes deeper. you, Electronic. Fuck it you. It falls onto Ime. 1v3. Catches the player jungle first. This would be a hell of a time for him to shine. To just push Navi over the line. And he dodges the ticket play, but Axile Oof. smoke spam keeps Cloud9 yeah, in it. That's one Electronic in front of the Molly. They had no idea he could be there. Not a ticket damage. And found a spot to stand in two frags to hold it boomage fell for the peak <laughs> which is falling for it because he's hitting the harder shot come on Navi. keeping that situation even was everything for cloud nine who well they can't afford to lose any more rounds of course they need one more just to go to another overtime fast jump out mid there's a challenge behind that smoke it's wonderful scouring the battlefield. Oh, sees oh the window player. God. Electronic is close enough to pounce. What does is he get flash through? Yeah, they have to. He comes right in. Both players blind. Oh, oh he took but too wonderful long. turns it. Beautiful cover out of wonderful. He took way too Electronic, long to finish that first round. He was dead anyways, if not. Dude. What is happening to you, brother? High pressure shots from oh, the offer. He's, he's got sides. the gap, but he doesn't have anything oh, more than the one. Oh, oh, that shot. Wonderful is just racking them up 32 kills deep. Crazy. Top tier opping coming out of Navi. Gunning for his return to top eight on a major stage. But it's still just the first map. Action packed, of course. Hobbit shaves one off from Palace. Gives himself a smoke to play. Boomich does the same on the other end. And it's a dangerous position here for Navi. Fake plant once. Hobbit goes in, gets caught out by Bit, and Ime has slain the next, so Perfecto has to go massive. And as he comes out from jungle, wonderful on a swivel, Whoa. will not Whoa. miss. Plus 30 frags from the young opera Navi. to give Navi map Keep one. Going, baby. Yeah, what's that? 33 unreal stuff out of Navi. Let's that go. was definitely an optimal. Nice map and one. Let's get map two. Let's game. go. Amazing T side rounds from both teams that had to Dude. end in overtime. Editor cut no to the point where I talked about how Man, C9 Navi has to have an opera to output to with another hop, top end opera and then G2. post boomage stats and wonderful the stats and Mirage. Thank you. Map one, and now Thank making you. Cloud9 sweat to open up this series. Is Pain Heroic still going? Sweat indeed. Blood sweat. Pain was up 12-0 and now it's 12-8. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, right? Our A game, do our thing. Try get on the same page for once. And now they are believing that they could do this unthinkable task of 0-12 down. Yeah, with every round heroic get that seesaw only ways further in their direction. Ain't no way, right, Shaq? Picks pain up off of the ground and it puts heroic firmly on their feet. Even saving the AWP here puts you in like a, a bit of a weird spot. You're going to be partial buying yeah. around it. So, you know, you at least have some legs to stand on here. And I hope this is that pain pause. It's not. They play on. It's only pistols around the orb, so got to set up NQZ, give him a Ain't boost. No Maybe way, it's right? Let him go for a spawn base pick. Whatever he's feeling right now, he needs How to important just is go for that Not kill. as important as Mirage, for sure. Gonna look towards B. It's been kicks and jumping. So the orb always like that. in in the hand of a skilled safe like jumps. player, it's using his technique effectively. I would just say there's more opportunity on Mirage, but that doesn't mean an op can't dominate on Inch either. Not wanting to give away that information. Meanwhile, we have an A execute. 
if you can call it that. It's a couple of smokes, it's a flash, but... It's, it might even get them a bomb plant, to be honest. Heroic play very <sighs> passive on the bomb site. Because there is the experienced man in this pain squad, and so I am expecting that if anyone can save them, it's got to be him. Cowers has been trying. He's been trying his damnedest, man, across these last few rounds. But it's big as error who's gone missing. And so he needs something. Good smokes. From the veteran oh. player. Nissim opens on the deagle. This is one of the best sp spots that Payne have been in, and it's on a D ground. But they won't get in with that bomb yet. They won't get that bomb planted yet. Shush. Deals with them from the spot. I'm sorry that happened, brother. They're trying to kick back and just relax. Him, Shush is not feeling that pressure yet. Finally deked back from Lux, and now it's just this hero, AWP, saved from the last round on the back of NQZ to try and give it a go. Plants available, but even the window on that is swiftly closing as Kicksam moves up through the spawn. NQZ's a dead man, shot in the side, a three-round game is now. Is this a script? If it is, it's Heroic an insane one. Is still closing this gap. They are trying to do the unthinkable. And we just have to sit here and watch. This hurts. I feel like Payne just aren't on the same page in that cool, right? They get the full smokes down. Shorts just are putting pressure on, but he puts that mid site smoke, which if anything gives room for Payne to get a plant. They get the bomb all the way up to triple. They don't take it. They fight and they get isolated into 1v1s by Shush, who plays that to perfection. Don't get me wrong. But Payne, that round needed to be more. That had the potential for more with a player out back site, with a smoke giving them room. They won't take the better option. They will take a timeout. They need it. Absolutely frazzled. As Heroic Paul, the comeback of dreams. If you're just joining us, this was a 12-0 CT side for pain. Heroic are replicating. It, it just shouldn't be happening like I've this, I've never man. seen this before. It, it shouldn't have like this. This would take the cake for, for all-time choke if it happens. Yeah. And that's what's running through Payne's mind right now. <laughs> They're all thinking it. No one wants to say it. Maybe they should just to clear the air. Laugh it off. Shush. If they can close it now, danger on the ramp. Shush okay. gives it okay. up. There's an orb that oh. connects a double he kill. Out of them. Cowers comes in. They're going to chase down this orb. Nico is still alive. Nico does fights out. The king of the castle on top now. Nissim smokes himself. He can't punish. And Nico does is given okay. a second chance. Biggest error. Biggest error. Look on the minimap. He's trying to make the play that wins the game right now. Oh, Biggest error. So B. smart, They've though, dude. Taking heroic out of the sight. If Biggest error can maintain control of the B site till that bomb gets there, Pain are in their best oh, spot yet. Shit. They got to go. Best chance yet. Is this the bomb's it? moving in on the back of NQZ. Is this the end of a heroic because right here? Holding the four. Heroic have pieced together what is happening here. There's still a lurk on ramp. This could be really, really awkward. Where if this ramp timing comes in too late, they're going to quickly get that bomb down and go for more peaks. Because Zera. This is for all, all the marbles, man. This is for everything. Big Zera. Back of the site. Good, good place for him. Good space for him. Nails that trade at least, but it sacrifices NQZ. Nissim nowhere to be found oh, yet. No. And with Big Azera dead, if they get on that bomb, Nissim will not get there in time. But they oh, clear no, the site. No. They've got no idea. They don't expect this. Now Nikodos is on the angle. Just looks away. Nissim's coming through. Oh, he's going to get oh, the, he missed. the bomb. Nikodos missed. Nikodos oh, my God. Find. This could be it. They might save oh, him. He missed again. And with a missed shot from Nikodos, the comeback stopped in its tracks. Holy they say. Oh, Nika does miss twice, bro. Like, look, that last round that ended up losing the electronic push on Catwalk through the smoke with the flashbang, perfectly set up, perfectly designed, and probably nine times out of ten he has one. Probably like five out of time, five out of ten times he has both kills. You know, mm. like he actually mm. he the missed, missed the kill there. Yeah, yeah. We and I think the, the round before that is the one where we were we were hypothesizing that maybe he had a miscom from a teammate that someone. That's when he jumped he up on top sandwich? of the stairs and yes. dropped sandwich and gets killed for free. So it's so a couple miscues on those like aggressive plays, but the creativity and the ideas were there and the execution lacking. I shouldn't I'm getting my attention. Yeah, it, I'm getting my attention pulled out as well. I am looking at, of course, Heroic um, being out and Pain continuing to fight another day. They'll see who they will be facing tomorrow, of course. Thank you, Zara. Well, that fucks up my pick -ums. Zara again. He was leading the pack again. He's fire for, for Heroic, maybe. I think a lot of people had caught my that God. hype train. Uh, yeah. Myself uh, oh, falling victim to that a little bit as well, wondering where this uh, kicks and group can go through and then... A bit yep. of a surprising end up at one to three. Yeah, it's a, it's a head scratcher because I, I don't know. I don't want to be too harsh on it, but I know like, yep. What, what have we got? I got something. I'm scratching your head. Oh, cool. Thank oh you. Oh my god, I just thought maybe <laughs> maybe you have like some ramen oh, or something. Yeah, on your there we are. I didn't have a rook. No, it's <laughs> more so the matchups. <laughs>
We've had a <laughs> Can whole we thing. go to break? <laughs> but, <laughs> I, well, I'll just make this point. Like the, the heroic lineup coming together was a, a head scratcher, just because like you, you look at that roster, and I never felt like it would work. And they've they've exceeded expectations, and obviously cold phase, no matter what. Way to go out of the majors, seeing what happens here now. Zero twelve. So, yeah, nightmare situation. Absolutely, unfortunately for them, um, and for us, of course, we are just in for Navi to win, man. I just see Navi to win, chat. And it is cloud nice. One. Win. So hopefully we will be going uh, the full distance if the level keeps up the way it is. So we'll one. Be right back with ancient two three four five take the bomb please he's smoke i'm coming smoke 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 i'm not sure about those smoke bm i'm going to i'm going to towards you guys I think space me. Do have I space I behind I us. Take, take, take space behind us. Careful, Zeram. Careful, Zeram. I'm flashing Tetris for you right now. Careful. I behind us. Tetris. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's still Tetris. I'm blind. Tetris. Apex my beacon. I'm flashing. 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 I'm Yes, I'll go in for I'll take nice. 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 nice! nice! Level up your Chat, I'm gonna run a flom size out here. I'll be right back one sec, alright? Paint your disc plates in seconds. Swap them whenever you like. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. popular it's loud and this is a zones commercial but a zones spent all the money to make the headphones good and they got no money left for the commercial so i'm gonna need you to head to a zone io a c e z o n e yo code pgl 50 euros off we got some headphones now and never. We're decrizzing the bomb once again. I've got Cloud9's Boomage with me here to test his knowledge. You said to me a second ago, easy, multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice is easy, but I think it will be the worst <laughs> answers <laughs> in this quiz. Well, are you ready, my friend? Yeah. Put your hand on the mouse, click the yellow button, and let's see what questions you it's get. It's not my sensitivity. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Yo! One, two, three. The minimum amount of Glock shots to body to kill CT without killer on pistol. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, six. Okay. What caliber? Okay, this is I know. Uh, the caliber of M4. Ooh. It's a uh, royal game. Uh, the much money they kill with the knives. Okay, it's easy. 
how much money uh, what is the team with the highest win rate percentage in pistols okay it will be vitalik ah, okay i know this g2 which player has attended the most majors g3 what is real time of aka <laughs> First to how many rounds in CSK? Which player from Canada consistently ranked top 20 from okay, twists? Twist. What is the minimum amount of shots to body create twist on pistol round if he has killer? What is the bonus for winning an equal round? No. The first system major gonna be held in okay. During which operation was the premiered mode introduced to CSGO? I don't know. Okay, but Gidra. Broken Funk. Uh, who's the only player from Turkey to have? Okay, it's Kantar. No! <laughs> Who is the only player? Nine seconds. If you want this year from famous Swiss format, science to power. 18. Whew. What is Calibur in the open CSGO? I don't know. You do the M4? Hey, we like that. Who is that? What? <laughs> Get right? Two years for get right. No, no, no. Okay, get right. Yes. Nice. What is the max damage you can from a nade while I don't know this word. <laughs> uh, so okay. the nade damage, ah. no armor. Okay, okay. I think 82, 88. Yeah, 98. The minimum amount of legal shots the body to kill terrorist. Which player from Denmark appeared in this? Mm. Okay, it's down. And this is device. He planted the bomb and exposed all the your teammates are here. No, we actually blew up. It's our man. Okay, it was funny. <laughs> it was, it was fun. fun. Some you got that were really hard. Some that were easier, not so good. Yeah, I f***ed up with device, I think. Yeah, that, that was... I was pretty, uh, you know, it's because time is ticking. You start to feel the yeah, pressure, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the good thing is, you don't crack under pressure in the game. That's what matters most. <laughs> Thank you for taking part, Boobish. Thank you. <laughs>
What if they already started prepping for Z2 because they slept on pain? Who well, knows? It's going to be late night. Win your game. We only have today. So seize it while you can. Navi map up after Mirage. Another wispy T side from Alexi B to Hold push on. that baddie into OT where they win it. Shits are crazy, oh, bro. That for me. That for me was the Beat like, some coffee, dude. They will clean uh -huh. you out, Chad, I promise. Okay. We're gonna first of all, yep. To stage this match on on Ancient. We're go we're going to have you know, perfecto and hobbit hopping on ancient. Yeah, how does that make you feel? I mean, terrible, obviously. But I also know the thing is, like, always like because we keep talking, we keep talking about it, of course. So I don't want to like hammer it. There's some because people there has know, a so one point one seven rating after this major. What's crazy is he started at a one point four five in the first stage. One, we won't get one. There's some comments, but I've we've all heard that they've tried to buy an offer too. Just wasn't possible. Yeah. Um, so they're making do with what they have, and they have been doing a great job. But that last map was the perfect example of an op difference. Yes, sir. Like, if there was a better opper on that server, oh, wonderful. it was, was wonderful. It was one of the it was best players in the server, period. And look what happens it, when a good opper gets this. It really shows you how much, no matter how well you play, and Kyle and I did play well, if there's an opper doing that much, it's hard to play against. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. As this one goes on, it's JL with dual Berettas. Uh -huh. Back turn by the cave player. Wait, oh my god, I can't I believe can't, he didn't finish that right? kill. It, Boomich just, I think Boomich kind of catches him off by just pirouetting. Boomich skips through the air into the cave. And with it, upends what was looking like a behold. Now, wonderful regains vision. There's a challenge from Alexi that doesn't go too well, but at least it serves up a distraction, right? That's the silver lining. Oh, wonderful's coming out with headshots. USP starts to get away from him. Boom, it just three kills deep in this pistol, and it is Hobbit to get the other two. That was weird. That was weird. That was wacky. Um, mm. <laughs> Alexi just, like, I'm going to make noise and start shooting behind him. I'm running distraction, bro. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm running distraction, I'm running bro. Distraction. Nice shots from Boomich taking over. It was some nice shots from Boomy. Op or not, that Glock has teeth. And now Cloud9 have guns. Not even gonna thank me for my three years of money. I was getting there. Give me a second. Tectonic, thank you very much for your three years of money. How you been? Look at that. Oh, that's spooky. How you Look been? How you been? Line, man. You come around that corner. Big wow, thanks for your four month recent. Thank you. It says four months and I still second CS. Refund, please. Imagine something to me think you're going to get better. Gallery. Not so scary anymore. Honestly, get fucked. Not scary at all. If you're something to me it's thinking it's you're going to get better, I can already tell that, like, game. you don't have the mental capacity to be better, you know? Gotcha. Jail thought he had a chance. Grassroots oh, USA, thanks for the four month primer. Thank you. Leading 2 0. Now, beyond the opping problem, must be an idol get better if I don't sub. No, 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 you just can't. What do you make of with them the intention? This map in particular, because I do feel like I keep seeing Cloud9 playing Ancient all the time. They're, I think it's the fact that the retakes are so good that makes their Ancient so viable. Because this is a map where you're you're going to play without a player on A site a lot and play in Donut or play back in Overstack B, for example. B is very retakeable. A is also retakeable. So it's very important that you're good at retakes. Because if you're bad at retakes, then you lose a site and you regularly can't stay coordinated enough to pull off those rounds. But Cloud9 are specialists in retakes, so this is like the perfect map for them with both sites being retakeable. Like, take a map like Inferno. You can be gods of retake, it might give you an edge here and there, but most of the time you're still not going to win them. It's too hard. Well, that's not the case here. Getting frisky down that B ramp. Info gathered. Sound made, though, right? Emas stomping around up in Donut. This is going to alert Cloud9. But he leaves. He goes all the way back towards Bit, so Bit is just left on his own. And with a full-blown exec coming out of Cloud9, this is he looking like to an that. A site under wraps unless Wonderful He's becomes coming. crazy. Vomis flies through, almost oh, stopping shit. the bomb. He actually almost got a double. Oh, they, he actually did get a double. On the grave. And while the T's pick that bomb back up, JL charging through the smoke takes a ton of damage into the next molly. And still, he is able to catch a kill. But how about Perfecto? What? Wow, JL. JL. 
fire at his feet and fingertips. Tell me about Holy that swing, shit. man. There's no way he got that. Two fires that he had to run through. <laughs> predictions, you know, Navi win this. I mean, my he predictions and my pickums need that Navi to win nuts. this, so I'm hoping they do. I mean, that's a round that I'm gonna say didn't have much thought. Okay, coming into it with the way that yeah. Navi played it, they said run through everything, no matter what, and try to get one kill over and over again. Dude, let's just drop the bomb, and then drop the bomb one more time, and then hope that there's no more time. And it has to be this 1v2. Great. Ah! Now pulls that off. One more tick of damage from that Molotov. He's down. The only thing I think Perfecto should have done differently there is just be more aggressive instead of give a chance for it to be a headshot fight yeah, in the start first shooting. place. Because he, he, can, he heard JL take four ticks of damage across two Molotovs. And still a very expensive round for Navi. I can't believe how brave JL is to push through that fire like that. Mm. An agent of chaos. They're ready for it more this time, it looks like, now, but we'll Cloud see. Nine still sensing that there's an opening to be taken, and Axile over the top of green almost catches the donut. Get him, Molly, him. fight him, fight him, fight him. It's gonna swing. Yeah, that's, that and was fantastic. The first Holy shit, man. They... Now the smoke's up. They're still going to charge through. Three players coming out. Electronic sharp. Hobbit picks one up. But it gets stuck. Wonderful with a nice double How is he kill. A lot? Electronic out from Donut trying to keep his head spun what? back around. It's a late A main right. play in contrast guy to the for Donut Navi, I'll take that, but what the fuck? He can make this a new round if he wants to because the amount of time. Oh, never mind. None of JL is the throwing spears like that. Nice one. Two straight here for Navi as they stop the other A attack. And this was up to El Axile if he wanted to take that peek and take that fight. And as we see, there was probably a reason not to. Now, the thing is that when he decided to take that peek, his team needed to be way faster about getting out to him. And they were standing behind the molly waiting. So that meant that. As long as it's not extinguished, there ain't gonna be any T's running through it. Axel's days are numbered. So that's one situation I would say that happens less often where Cloud9 are not on the same page. Fucking peep twitter real quick chat i see nip so just randomly unusable. tweet today is a good day and then her go brother you didn't P250's even qualify then the nip cs account said don't worry we have the same flash, amount of playoff didn't wins in the major feel, didn't see a thing didn't feel it okay no pain on that one yeah is that, i is swear that these fucking yeah. social yeah. media managers don't get paid enough well, there's a little pain back emac gets blasted by the galil and that's electronic on half health with armor swung that like an ak electronics starting off strong right six kills three deaths it's pretty as good. As Listen, their teams the might middle, suck, chat, back. but their social media accounts on point, you know? Now, if you want to come reclaim it, but Cloud9 in for second servings, and it's going to feel empty when really there's a whole pack of players ready to That's go. That's hard to read for sure. Right. They waited an elbow that entire time. Lane push. All's good. All right. JL, man, he, he has been a hero this stage. He has had some very big maps, most notably the 40 kill one. 60 and 13, 40 frags. I think JL really has kind of become the heart and soul of Navi. He represents them. He's kind of... No, he really has kind of taken over. He's the high hopes. That's interesting. I really see so much like... It's not Emma or Bit. It's Louis JL. Their, their personalities and like what they what they bring. I mean, definitely got the biggest energy on the team. For He's sure. got the high spirits. Golden Retriever energy for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, a, that's a good way to put it. Golden Retriever that can frag. That's the beauty of it, right? Taking the fragging department to a whole new level. Yeah, it's like so easy to be a nice guy, but then when you can frag too, it's like, Jesus. Is it? Is it easy to be a nice guy? I don't know. A it lot of people struggle along there. That's the sad part. Then why are there I mean? so many assholes? That's the sad part. You know? <laughs> As Maui would say, being toxic is, is a, a choice. choice. Yeah, he knows that all right. <laughs> <laughs> Top mid red room walkouts three. This is this is a gap in the defense. 
There is nobody trying to hold that back. If A main had fallen, then A site is under wraps. It actually... Wonderful's gonna hear them stomping, or were they still far enough away? He shoots the op. They have no oh, idea. He's gonna get blindsided by this, and then they also kill a player mm, deep inside the not... room, so mm, this is what? perfect for Cloud9. What the miscom Damn, or no com? No, how the hell did they get through this? No CTs watching. Well, what's shocking for is lurks. it's not that, you know, nobody's watching it, but also on top of that, nobody acting as if it was ever open. Yeah. You know, they fall victim to the possibility of that play. Yeah. Especially if the first kill goes down, it's like, yeah, I mean, they just found out there's no op watching it. They went fast, but I'm just as surprised as you that they didn't get any audio. Because it really felt like the temple, you but know. I guess he was out there in single, not inside a temple. Yeah. A quizzical situation. Yes, very ponderous. Mm, indeed. Hmm. Yes, indubitably. A good play and a good split here from. Ponders the type to talk a lot and say nothing. You know, maybe it was Let the round cook, prior bro. where they got all that space just walking out to mid that kind of fueled he's the a, idea. He's of, got a hey, PhD in yaponomics. Let him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, yeah, there, there's always a gap on ancient if you look for it, whether it's inside of window or in the A site, especially. This map is just all about, you know, osmosis for the CT sides to... Can the next Air Bud movie be direction. him playing Counter-Strike and winning and another major for NA? I'd buy, down, I'd buy three, three, three copies of it. it. Puts pressure down. Now, you know what image I'm talking about, Chat The Golden Retriever with the headset playing on, down playing down at the desk? Angle, That's just how I picture alert, basically 90% of the movie. Go. Staging a B exact late. It's just not like that anymore. It's actually more fun, I would say, now. A lot of rounds end on straight up mid swings and some more teams are picking up on just Jesus, you're old. You're watching spawn, me, fucker. Which is also nice because it ancient for a while became very defaulty and now it's back uh, you to can like, balance me out. Just like have like Subway Surfer TikTok like to the side or something. Not gonna stop him. That instant spawn smoke. And there's no real challenge behind it from the CTs. They're going to climb on top box. That's the straight to DVD movie in Walmart that catches your eye and you got to buy it. Here as well yeah, it's the one that goes straight to DVD and starts on sale. Chase him down, tagging him through the wall so he couldn't run away. And you can that buy four for like 20 bucks. Injury. No one to protect Emma in this spot. And he wants to be able to do something because his team has just died. Feeling back will suck, honestly. It's just like, oh, what can I do? But it is probably the safest option. Jail has to go forward mm. instead. Uh oh, misses the jump up. This goes from bad to worse for Navi. Sorry, buddy. You're done. <laughs> he knows it. We know it. <laughs> he accepts just, his fate. Yeah, that's the most deflating feeling you could have. But what he couldn't do anything there. There's nothing he could do. Uh, you met. Uh, uh gold there just a, depends you know some matchups i definitely think there's like a rivalry here, between the no orgs and people know it but there's it no just way he can run. They're gonna chase him down sometimes that rivalry that is players you know they're fourth of this t side yeah this was probably the best idea for navi to try to do a b split or sorry b, b stack with three players because like they weren't winning back nice mid, epsilon maybe you should play for the sharks then maybe they'll start winning and they can definitely see a lot of people from Cloud9 like there right now. Take a long rotation back. And Not really tickle with, finding a team now. I feel like they're like that they got rid of the so forums and shit is ass. It takes time for Cloud9 to even get back there. So the shameless self plug. I do think a lot of people sense. that play Mythic League do find teams and players to play with through Mythic League because you play with those people on a consistent basis bones. rather than like matchmaking where you're in and out of games with different people. Now I'm not saying guaranteed that would do it. I just I just know a lot of people make teams through it. That's an easy one for Axile and Boomage. Oh, okay. I It'll be a very fun thing to see. I don't um, know why I thought of this stupid idea. A clown juggling juggling chainsaws. Chuggling. You misspoke. <laughs> Everyone point and laugh. <laughs> Watching two teams play without being able to communicate and seeing how well they play. Oh, okay. Be the best team that can't calm. Um. Uh, I bet suddenly it'd just be Furia. They'd just be able to take over. Yeah. Yeah. Or Liquid, because they don't calm already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Damn, there was a joke in there somewhere. I just had to go down the list like, oh, who can I make? Uh, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, it's not really bad. I know there, there, there's a lot of things uh -huh. that aren't perfect about it, but like I said, I'm like self promoing Mythic League. By yeah, the way, levels one through five know, on face is free to play, but <laughs> it's also the truth. No it, and I first world problems of matchmaking is like, well, unfortunately, me. it's so easy to get in and out of games that people don't really have any incentive to talk to one another Full like that. Exact again to the A site. Honestly, Cloud9 even in the gun rounds have had their field day here, right? Remember the yeah. one heroic moment from JL is what hey, is really too soon, man. It's really stop. Okay. So it. <laughs> Speaking of clowns, <laughs> well, Electronic charges in with the entry. So are they, how are they going to plant? Because yeah, ETs right. know what they're going to do. Now they yeah, even try okay. to challenge, they but... didn't even try to plant because they know they're mm -hmm. going to come barreling. Me Eventually, this doesn't peeking work, over at YouTube like, chat, Mandy, first on. message I see, Let's Fury can eat my balls. Like, kind of based off oh, me. And patience. Navi, please. Please, Navi. Yeah, let's go to overpass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll see. Cloud9 just have their number on this A site. I love that you ask, like, what are the CTs good at? And it's the same thing, right? <laughs> you've got you've got electronic just posted up, ready for that smoke challenge. It is more of the same out of Navi on the defense, and Cloud9 adapting as they need to. And not much adaptation needed because most things so far this T side have just straight up worked. And you might think, oh well, they don't have much money, like why would they even Go for it. Well, then they probably should have saved. You know, they, did you see any of the pen game at the very end? I did, but not not the not the twelve zero and not like much of the comeback. I came at the end just to see Nikodas miss three op shots and then they lose. Terrorists win. Oh, there was a Vulcan there to take. I'm assuming. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, did I need to get a hypervolt for my shoulder? This shit hurts. Oh. It would be sick if we could find the guy just playing the flute or whatever instrument that is. Yeah, it's actually Maui Snake. <laughs> playing his Tibetan singing bowl and <laughs> flutes and ancient spawn. <laughs> Hobbit in the middle. Your pistols don't mean much in the face of this ravaged pack of players because Cloud9 again and again into top mid. It's going to take more to hold them back. The rifle's barely making a difference here Shut for Navi. Up, they better hope that they have a hell of a T side in their own back pocket. Because this defense is getting shredded round after round. It is A site under wraps. And even as Bit thinks he can maybe just walk down ramp. Tell me who wins this. Boomich. <clears throat> You're going to say dies. You're going to say dies. <laughs> who wins this, Connor? Oh. Cloud9. Uh, gotcha. Smart, yeah. This round that I is... I with a 22-month reset, thank you. Honestly, one of the things that Navi have been able to impress me with throughout their Copenhagen run thus far is just these really cheeky T-side comebacks. Their offense has been hard to get hands on if you are their opponents across multiple maps. And so I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt that the T side has something in store for us. But let's be real. They're not touching Cloud9 at the moment. They're not setting themselves up right now. Nah. For, yeah, for an easy game, that's for sure. You know, but Navi's games haven't been easy. That's also true. So they had that huge comeback versus G2 on yep. uh, Nuke, and that was on T side. Mm -hmm. That was one where you start off perplexed how they win that round, how they win that round. Wait, they got five rounds. Wait, tack pause into another round. Wait, okay. Now we're tied. Oh, shoot, we're losing. And you still have no idea why. They've got the most mystical T side right now, by far. It's dark and full of secrets. They continue to try and find fights down on this lane, mm. but Cloud9 have been so elusive. Ain't no one even here. But they are. The fight for middle has been so keen. Yeah. They Wonderful flashed off the see. temple angle, and that three-player pack does walk out middle. No red room smoke until they're ready to swing. Flashes come with it. <laughs> Email Willie Spray. Or does he think that that smoke goes a little too deep? He could definitely challenge, I think. They could, yeah. But uh, they don't have nades to set him up for the peak, so I think the most he can do is phase it. It would really be desperate. Yeah. Like, they're giving up a ton here to Cloud9. 
and now they just have like yeah they have perfect I don't know. to I don't... convince the split like look how the map is they set can up. just they can easily be splitting a right now so that means three cts are going to be watching this they've set up a perfect situation to go for the trades over on b alexi b will have to do more than enough Oh, and he does. Gets bombed. Why don't they just the line up at 30 seconds? Maybe there's a little left on this CT side from Navi. It's another double pack trying to push in. His support comes through. Well done from Alexi, Alexi bro. B lays down the law. That is individual brilliance out of Alexi B. Let's watch Axile clutch with 15 on the clock. Swapping over. Not going to catch the player climbing up. So that's a fourth at the very Are least. Are really doing, doing good? In. I think the uncertainty as the cloud These games have been really tight today, so real. I'm a little tired. But, Alexi B gets but that I'm doing good. KP Zone with a 13 month armor. From that point on, it's easy. Yeah, they could have used mollies in this spot, but they don't want to molly. My left shoulder is a little sore, so I basically just have this constant right feeling of that I'm dying that all day, moment, which isn't the Nadi greatest. Had but no idea if it was A or B. So his uh, individual brilliance, the only way they get out of that, and it's a great angle for Alexi B to hold, but perfect from him and JL to completely shove that out. No trade even, man. Yeah, looking to crank the dial. Uh oh, up. here we go again. Cloud9 gonna end the half with a statement. Do I taste metal? Not yet. Smoke comes up. Aug won't find anything. Wonderful has been muted throughout this second map of the series. Flashback. It's just so annoying when it's the left shoulder because no, your mind is like, you could be dead, bro. Lose Axile in the middle of all this. The bomb site comes for free. The challenge. Nicely done from Bit. Again, that position right. gets problematic, it's so but it's numbers advantage. They're gonna try again. <laughs> A continuous train of Navi players flying out from this lane. Ema trying his damnedest now out from the donut with one. But there's not much more he can do. He's down to 29 bullets in that M4. And Perfecto has a safe plant behind boxes. Oh, what does Blade think about this? How does Blade feel about this overarching strategy? I feel like he's on... pulling his hair out. <laughs> he's like retaking. <laughs> I feel like he's taking a lot of notes. But I'm nasty. Ema, 13 bullets for two 13 kills bullets? now. All that spam all has put him in an awkward spot. There's another M4. There's a kit to grab. He oh. goes deep, sees the shoulder. There's the second peak. And that's the end of that. Emma, why Cloud nine, eight burns? rounds on this T side. Trying their absolute damnedest to bring back this series. They want to make up for that first map. And I think we're definitely getting map three. Show. So some crazy rounds that made Navi look completely out of their depth with the way they retook the A site, but it actually worked once or twice, so fair enough. They struggled, clawed back, and got those. Well, we have another complexity situation where Cloud9 could have won, you know, both maps. Well, it certainly seems like it's possible. And now that Ooh, we I got in this over, game, I need Navi to win, but I mean, this CT side has been like flat as fuck. transitive property between, you know, them not looking great there on their... Uh, Defending side that makes you think well, how can they be good on T side? I don't know. I don't know It's definitely got me doubtful, but Mrs. Doubtful over here <laughs> They need to molly the back of default permanently when they're going through this because that's the exact place that Navi kept trying to run into I like this tactical pause coming into the second half shout out shout out pgl for taking away mid-time breaks i actually love it i yeah. love the pacing it's really nice yeah you know and it's a good chance it's like you Man, have the option to burn attack like all it's the way at the top of my shoulder to it. it's even momentum for casting it's like so nice to just keep going mm -hmm. motherfucker dude it's like yeah uh. might do it the fucking Hypervolt. That's why we say thank you to our sponsors, Display, for being able to provide us with the chance to not have mid-time ad breaks. Definitely. I gotta get. Heard it lifting up. or just out of nowhere? Oh no, I definitely. Yeah, I was probably lifting. I'm just like extra yeah, sore. Here we go. In your shoulders specifically, we get like. Come back from Navi again. First and, uh, half did inspire me with hope, but. When your shoulders get sore, dude. At least for me, I don't know about y'all chat. When my shoulders get sore, it's here. like the worst. The of the it's probably the worst soreness pistol, out of all of them. They can maybe put something together. Like lower body, sure. Like trying to get up and shit. But like, I mean, like the, the actual level like of pain. On ancient. Hmm. But that's just me. Hobbit doesn't want any of that. Oh. oh. Nice tap, Axile. Saw How do bullets even go that far? Just, you know what I mean? Saw a glimmer, a shimmer, a shadow. All he needed to tap it away. So poor Ema hits the ground. 
reference back to the struggles as he sits six and eleven. Bitten to Lexi though. No, funny enough, I actually sleep on my right shoulder shit. Into the B play. I like that. You okay, nice start for Navi. Room, but the second player caused problems for Axile to hang on. Yeah, excellent split again. And you do see that like just in T side and their essence, they do have something. Shoulder really feels like bad pain, lower body feels like good pain. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as dumb themselves. as that sounds to some like people, like to me, yes, of, uh, I think that's a good way to describe it, yeah. That are lurky and get you into sights versus good attempts on retakes here from Cloud9. Now that we have Come a pistol, on. we're definitely going to see a real half here. Nice trade from Bit and a great round overall from Bit with three frags in total. Damn right. Putting him at the top of the board for his team. And uh, officially the only player positive. And yeah, that second Red Room player pushed onto the back lane and it just joined up so nicely with the ramp slash cave split. And so we sit up straight. Maybe Isn't stomach sleeping like Lexi mad B bad? Blades. I don't know, Shad. Joint brain power. I'm not an expert. And the but I feel like I read that one time and I've just remembered it that way. Cloud9 pistols into cave with, of course, the elbow play here for the bomb carrier. Shouldn't be problematic. Shouldn't be. Alexi B chucks the nade out. That's going to do a ton of damage. Leave it to Alexi to find 150 damage on a nade in a round like this. Best nade since Blucha. Boomich with a wallbang USP frag. They are giving them this fight. Oh! Wow. No way. <laughs> Wait, Hobbit hits. spammed him there? What the fuck? Oh, man. This guy's cheating, That's dude. Just nasty. Hobbit, you have no right. business getting USP wall bangs from Cave. I hope it wasn't Ema that died. Give the guy a break. Couldn't remember. No, nah, Bluef, I wasn't hating on people that do sleep on their stomach. Yeah, I was just like, been slower. Oh, true. I true, sleep true. on my right it side. Is, but the second map. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> And, and like, like, uh, like, I Hold literally can't fall asleep shit. looking to the left. I don't know what it is. Anybody There's else no like that? Answer. Whether if you sleep on any side, can you just literally not Damn do it? You hobbit. Nice run boost. Style points for Perfecto and early control for him, too. Honestly, the picture should be clear that A is the intended target. Fast move from that double mid setup. Yeah, I'm literally a triple blue steel. Hold plus I'm literally Zoolander CT. sleeping. <laughs> But the hesitation of Navi causes second guessing. Hey, honestly, Cloud Cloud, like when I travel no, 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 and Nori's not with me, I literally just sleep on one side of the bed too. Is that? <laughs> so what was that forward? Dude, it's actually up? hilarious. One side of my back, bed always looks exactly perfect, and then it just looks like a war zone on the other side. So, Hobbit has actually got uh, control shit. of the ramp, and he just now fell. I don't back. know. It's weird. I'm weird. Well, they didn't fully reclear it. But they're waiting to see every other option. That should lead them back to the A site, which has always been the intended target. Oh, they're setting up the full flank here. He smoked out of main. That's going to be problematic, especially with Electronic getting that simultaneous kill. They're going to try to just charge headstrong, and that'll cost them. Axel, nice. No, no, no. And T's, Fuck. not with all guns out, mm -hmm. are going to falter on the attempt to take it. Not nearly as convincing so many as the Cloud out right 9 there. all in yeah. from A main. I think Were they, they all trying to molly default? Like, why did they have all one have... Team. One CT swing out. Like one the guy I get, Molly. but dude, it was like all three of them down. had a different nade out. Um, the reason you do the deep smoke is because well, people will jump up and line up the uh, kill on the bomb planner, and they wanted to get the frags first. But there were so many CTs there, I don't think they were ready for that at all. I mean, Cloud9 played that round perfectly regarding information and where they were picking off their flanks. So. Uh, you need to do a perfect job, really, pushing back both sides. Sleep face in the clock in case it. someone wants That's to try something funny. Holy shit. Spawn, it's hard to get the map control on T-side. Personally, that's why I just sleep on my back, arms crossed with the Glock in my hand. So that way when somebody it, walks in, trying to do in something funny sleeping, they know not to fuck with me, you know? Like, damn, my bad. This is on map two. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> if things weren't rough enough, here's a smoke. My bad, let me get out of here. <laughs> Worst feeling. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. No, I think the worst feeling is losing 12 rounds straight to pain. Too soon. Palm's sleeping like he's John Wick. <laughs> now you've got an Imagine, dude. Nine defense set up for you to come yeah. through door. Oh, fucking A. Major. Yep. 
Ouch. Oh, and all of ecstatic. Let's go, Hooksy! Let's go, Hooksy. <laughs> the one Great Dane. The Great Dane. The Great Dane that remains in Copenhagen. It's all Hooksy. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. No Danes in the server range. Is that really? Is that really? He's the only one now, eh? Uh, off the top of my brain. Kerrigan, baby. Oh yeah, that's true. Of course, the two greatest Danes. I will drop one. Hmm. There are Danes everywhere. I'm sure we're. I like that time out from Blade. More. Fact that they were actually, actually still talking about drops right there Where's is. That from? I think it's good. Zipix, assistant coach of Mouse. Oh, Zipix slipped in. Ooh, we're making. Oh, they're so. They're they get in all the cracks. Sneaky, wow. sneaky. Right Danes. before the major, assistant coach makes up a role doesn't even exist. <laughs> hey guys. Just in the playoff. Three zero, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. That's yeah. why you gotta sleep naked. All they see He's is dope. cock and Glock. Holy shit. Yeah, we saw them in the elevator after they were playing their first opening games. We're like, how is it, man? You that's crazy. They role? come in, they know you're fucking dual wielding. Like worse than being a player. Yeah. And of course, that's a common hey, game with coaches, right? Uh, not you're having just, control over the outcomes. Nah, your future is in the hands of five other players. Good ones, though. Yep. Well, depending on the Only coach. problem is, is if. Mouse, mouse. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're, you you're know, your main weapon is smaller than your secondary. Guns back in from Navi. We've seen not as intimidating the of a T side in the making, but Perfecto just chucked back up onto that lane. It's oh, the pace, shit. it's the tempo, it's the confidence from Cloud9 on this defense that really just screams ancient is our shoots harder. And they're gonna make sure to continue to tear the oh, dude, all right. fuck it, third map, all fuck the it. possible angles. And it's bitten e just fuck desperate it. for anything. Fuck any all right, all right, any all right. Footing, any more rounds, but none to come by. They killed three people Damn, in like fucking 10 seconds nine. and one of them was a spam. Like, fuck it, you win. All right, next map. e from below. Done. Done. Hobbit is not missing a shot, not skipping a beat. And again, it's just sheer confidence from Cloud9. Yeah. Mine's intimidating because microscopic people wonder if I've gone this long with and one so small. Really nah, nah, bro. They just know you got to conceal like, and well, carry you license. Don't need to, you, don't need to. you know, let that be a testament. Boomich himself saying, I think, I think the op will be uh, cause shit. for my inconsistency. That's just hella concealed, yeah. bro. That's all good. All good. Yeah, yeah. It's worth, like, trying it, I think, just see if you're <laughs> having your on game. Like that other day where Hobbit hit, like, two nuts sure. scout shots and then started hopping and all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, Fast a day. rush once again. And they're not in donut to listen to this. There we go. And last time it was almost open for the taking. Now they'll hear That was my last one. We're done with that. The door <laughs> okay. Nine. Well, this time it's wait. Bolin. Navi getting a little bit desperate. Comes through in the tempo of the play. Oh, 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 oh. Electronic's gonna give you nothing. Oh my God. Wait, why did Electronic just roll back four Dota years? Just slamming the retake. Emma, Emma can you roll back to last major? Here, but he doesn't even Emma, you're in, work with. You're in Paris. Cornered outside of Temple, it's Paris. And the retake is on. No, sir. Three ah, he realized he's still in Copenhagen. Electronic. No respect that's on so that good. retake. And that's the thing. They're fully comfortable retaking e a site. And again, that's what makes their ancient powerful. No one gives them faith in it. It's really important, actually, that you can play vacant on the site now because of the way that CTs are taking B and mid so heavily. And, you know, that's the all in. That's what you had to play with. Final tack pause called. So blade into the mix. We talk about their ability to well, win. Fox, the after his thank you, thank you, thank you. But I mean, how do you fix this? Cloud Nine feel untouchable. Yeah, I, d I mean, I haven't seen anything in the playbook from Navi to make me believe in their ancient. Like the first half looked very scrimmy in terms of what they're trying. Like you would never see Cloud Nine trying a retake like that. You know, like on the A side, and Navi did that like four times. So. I think they're actually out of their depth somehow on this map. I wouldn't be surprised if they could beat a team on Ancient or anything because they have, like, they showed, like, a great lurk. Andre, thanks for the 50 month reset. Thank you. LaFox, thanks for the 8 month overall, primer. Thank you. I think they are getting outclassed a little bit. And it really is a testament to what Cloud9 have been able to do thus far at the Copenhagen Major. Coming in in the opening stage, looking a little shaky in their first couple games, getting easier opponents too, right? Fed into the criticism of Cloud9, but given runway, they have warmed up. 
and they are not going to skip a beat on this second map of the series. Map three, all good, all it good. It felt like overpass was inevitable in the first 10 rounds of this map, and it has never felt different all good, all from good, that all good. On. Just sheer tenacity and aggression. And Electronic's gonna cross paths inside of the smoke. JL caught out, and this one just falls flat. Navi may have great T sides elsewhere versus good opponents, but Cloud9 on Ancient are a whole other beast cut from a different cloth. And Biddle serve up at least the headshot to try and get back some respect. All eyes fall on Overpass. Another chance for, of course, Alexi to piece together something on a T side. The most difficult T side in the map pool at the moment is what we will have up next for Navi. Mm. And that at least gives me hope. I think you can put faith in him and Blade when it comes to overpass. I think we should get a higher level of competition for sure. And props to Cloud9 because they are fighting tooth and nail with impact to try and push this all the way to top eight at the major. No celebrations just yet, but that certainly shakes off the close loss of Mirage. Yeah, they had. Does, um, I don't think they want to get overzealous quite yet because the job is not done. Chat, They're been live nine hours today. Let me just keep moving around a little bit. I'll be right back, okay? They attacked this ancient. You reminded me, Machu, that this was Final map, a map though, and I need Navi to win this, dude, and make my whole my life lineup, a whole uh, was lot less stressful already, with my pickups. Right? That is for sure. It. Some of the moves there were clinical, and it was sovereign. Yeah, I'm I'll be right back. Behave the, yourselves. Uh, the lack of celebration so on the CT side. How many steps today? Step count, not sure, but I watched seven and a half miles. Do you want to make any other comments? Back. No, go ahead. You think? <laughs> go ahead. I just know. Like, God damn. No uh, I'm going to run the ad now as well. That. I'm just saying it's pretty good. Hey, so you earned a point with the with the Moses count over there. So. All right. Can you talk about this replay? <laughs> yeah, right back to Counter-Strike for a second. No, you're talking about ancient, and you're right. I would say uh, lack of celebration is sort of equal to how in control they were on that city side. And it's true. I think the lore of Count 9 on, on ancient is a map that they have, from the very beginning, tackled on. And they've also went through the motions of trying, changing setups, figuring out what is it that works for us. We saw Ixide and Electronic historically changing positions as well. Now they've kind of settled in, in a position where they are very confident, very comfortable. We could see how the first skirmishes on the CT side for Cloud9 were always going their way. Anytime Navi tried to dip their toes into middle to get shut down, we see here Axile, beautiful double spray as well, straight up. So you have all these moments where Navi is just constricted and all of the qualities that we sort of usually use to describe their T side are negated because Cloud9 is just too strong. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we need to say too much about the CT side because it was just dominance after, after losing the initial pitch and everything like that. I, li I like the T side as well from Cloud9. That was that was cool to watch. I mean, Boomish had a good game individually and just even calling. I think they did a good job taking over Jaguar. That little of engagement outside of maybe once or twice. I always love on this map kind of like the pace changes of hitting A really quickly when you think they're going to play an aggressive mid setup. That worked a couple of times for Cloud9. And actually, it took a couple heroic rounds out of Navi in that first half to, to kind of stay in the opening half. Mm. You think the round JL slides it. Run I think he took like 95 damage from Molotov to slide into he the box. He was committed play. to it. Yeah, yeah. he was, he was committed. So committed. And fair play because that's the last thing they would have expected because it actually is an insane thing to do and he wins a 1v2 off it so yeah he, he's he, that was maybe his one good round no <laughs> I mean, you could have there you, you didn't need to you could have just stopped I know you I could have I could have I mean but we have the scoreboard ahead of us so I think it kind of went for everybody unfortunately yeah. uh, on the side of Navi right so yeah. if that's not there then where are you going to start building off uh, Electronic was great again and, and six multi-kill rounds as well like that's that's actually awesome Love especially especially because a, a few of those came on that CT side and just when they're attacking into his position and he's just mowing a couple down. It just deflates any attack that, that Navi's going to be able to come up with. That's a great map for the CT side. It bodes well even moving forward into the third map where uh, Overpass, where they also have a good defense. And he's going to be absolutely instrumental. We'll definitely deep dive into this. Uh, I, I like the, the remark you made about, you know, whenever you do the gamble of not really holding a side and it's trying to be abused by the offense, you could see how Kleinan was able to retake that side. Whenever Navi found, we had a couple of examples towards the end of the round or the game rather wonderful finds a kill on Axel who's yep. a little bit lost, but then the retake is just absolutely beautiful. Like the flash are great, you retake Donut together and then you line them up in a spray. Uh, it felt like Cloud9 were the one dictating the pace of that game and Navi unfortunately on the reactive. They killed uh, some of those rounds so, so, so quickly. It's pretty um, fast. Yeah, it fell fast quickly. It was yes, cover. It, it felt fast quickly. It felt quickly fast. Rapid even, some would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just Which like how quickly you can be impressed by a word. You, yeah, right. I was Did gonna make a joke about it. You own a dictionary or? Very careful, no reason. <laughs> I didn't make it to the S's, it's fine. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, anyways, I, I do apologize. You know, it's been kind of a long day. We had a lot of OTs, but we're completely zoned in to Overpass. And I hope that the teams are as well. There's nobody left here except us. for us, the production crew, and those two teams. Uh, and it is incredibly important, of course, just going to the Royal Arena straight off the bat. So let's theorize about Overpass. I was talking to Hugo a little bit. Uh, I know you also wanted to mention his points, but I'll just kick us off. Uh, the CT side of Cloud9, he is very, very excited for, especially on Overpass, which actually negates kind of the op problem, even though Overpass is uh, an oppy, oppy, is that even a word? No, I, uh, like, map? I like the word, it's an, an oppy map. Oh, wow, you're so impressed by one word. Huh? Yeah, I just yeah, I liked it. I didn't cut my co-host <laughs> talking just so I could say it's a nice word. Right, Jason? That's you what you finish? call politeness. Um, but they get a lot done even with five rifles. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's like negating the op as much as they're kind of getting away with it. And yeah. I think you have some key players in, in like really good positions. Electronic with his incredible game sense and all of his experience as well, being a, a very the mobile rotation, player yeah. on the map. Yeah. And, and, I mean, if you look at what Cloud and I have done on this map in this, what the Beat Legacy, they came back. They had a 10-1 CT side half. Uh, we think it was ecstatic. They put up uh, like 9-3 on and just kind of ended, closed it out in the second half as well. You got to be very com comfortable. But however, this is a very oppy map. So once again, you're going to go back to someone like Wonderful and say, if Navi, you know want to have a good game here a lot's going to be on his shoulders again and he answered the bell on mirage yeah he, he continues to do so uh, yeah. obviously and i have no reason to doubt it i just think so in some of the reference games that we're using right now teams were very limited on their t side and yeah. i think cloud nine at times can be a little bit gambly since we're doing the y thing it's really catching on yeah, it's they're nice. a bit gambly on their ct side and they will occasionally just leave boomish alone on the a side just jumping in the back and that's great as long as you're not going to get punished by a team that has quick executes nicely tidied up you push him out of the bomb side then you have the retake that never really happened to them they always had the sort of the luxury of seeing the attack coming in slowly against legacy for example the, what happens you call back your rotation you have your electronic coming back as well maybe you have even a plus one because sure. we know what perfecto can do on that um toxic on position the on the yeah. b side so i don't know i feel like they weren't re exactly really tested i think i think okay, Navi should fair. be should be in a position to do much better than the reference we're using right now i, th I think wonderful is a really good person to shout out as someone who has to play well and then i think the other one is alexi because we've obviously praised the way that he's been able to find some adaptations in the navi games that we've covered uh not able to do it on ancient he couldn't no, find not anything at all. didn't have a whole lot of runway in that second half but couldn't find anything in the short time they had overpasses notoriously can be very difficult if your timings are off if you're missing things it's such a big map to move around it can be very restrictive for an in-game leader especially if things aren't working and you have nothing to build off of that map just feels like it's huge and there's way too much to cover restrictive notoriously building up your, yeah. uh, it's not, it's not yeah. a glazing habit yeah, I'm not even at the playoffs uh, you should wait and see the yeah. vocab I have for the playoffs All it's right. going to be absolutely if people insane. could hear you in the green room they would know you have a very <laughs> vast vocabulary the, very impressive the thesaurus will be coming out but thank you for being so verbose and explaining Ooh. everything uh, that uh, we are looking uh. at here in these maps because it is a very high level game of CS2 here and there is so much on the line so I'm super excited to get into overpass so let's take a quick break and do just that Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displate. Hang your Displates in seconds. Swap them whenever you like. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com.
it's popular, it's loud. And this is Asone's commercial. But Asone spent all the money to make the headphones good. The Fox takes for the eight-month primary, no Android takes for the 50. The commercial. So I'm gonna need you to head to Asone. How was the sexy chair out chat? A C E Z O N E Yo. Code PGL fifty euros off. Got some headphones. Had Nori work on my shoulder a little bit, chat. It's now and never. It's so fucked. It is time for our <laughs> fantasy draft here at the Copenhagen Major, and I've got. I was crying like a baby. Man I consider in coaching world in Can I pick him? All right. To do this, I want to see what mastermind team you'd be able to put together, Blade. Are you ready for the challenge? Yeah, do you say that to everyone, every player? No, just for you. You can check, watch the videos. <laughs> I'm just a big fan, Blake. Okay, thank you, bro. We're giving you a challenge. The roulette wheel will spin. Who is spinning? It's not me for sure. No, it's not you. You're not the one spinning. <laughs> We're saving your energy just... and strength. Oh, look at this. You get your own team to start with. <laughs> of course. Oh, nice. Navi. Okay, you see there's the guy behind the screen. Oh, yeah, bit in the background. Oh, obviously. I cannot say anything else. Bit. Okay, comfort player, good to start your team with and build around. I like where we've gone so far. Next is going to be one more bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get another Navi Heroic. player. Heroic next. You know that I think Tessas now is playing different roles than he played before. Yes. And he is more like active player. I will choose between Nerd Nerds and Tessas. Mm-hmm. Nerds, because yeah, he can be, but it means like now I have a playmaker, like I, I can change anyone, basically. Both of these players love playing a lot of FPL. I'm sure they already have some playtime together in some way. Really? Bit can confirm or not. Vita. Oh, -ho, vitality. <laughs> Is this <laughs> obvious? Am I looking at you and you just easily say? Spings basically good option, mm -hmm. but also Zayu. Yeah, then you don't have an author yet. Zyru. All right, so Zyru has been added to this team. One of the best players in the world right now. And next up. Nah, top speed. Oh, you didn't get yourself together. This team? You, you couldn't Ooh. have one player for only from he one can't take. He this can't take Flint. you've got VP in here. Yeah. Flint Maybe he will. Basically. I feel like... Let it be Emir. Flint Nerds is a lot, You're though. you take Mir because you know yeah, him. Also, yeah, I also know him like I know his strengths and weaknesses Did you know how, I know I know how he thinks basically I know like mm -hmm. uh, analysis process all this stuff when did you play with me or did you coach him I was coaching him, coaching him. in Gambit uh -huh. remember there was Exile Mir Dos, Dosia <laughs> wow Bondic, remember this yeah, before before the, the youngsters yes, won the, yes, yeah yes. can be they said 13 month uh -huh. reset okay. thank you and appreciate actually, you he was also in the lineup is Adran Hobbit Little period of time, like mm -hmm. I think three or four tournaments, then they disbanded. So you only really muted? Need your yeah, yeah, I'm muted. Yes. Yeah. And I have no chance. It will be uh, basically the guy who will chat. No. <laughs> Whoever you. Yes. Did. Basically. Yeah. You left the lead until last. It's a gamble. Rudy Simmer down. You know when I was doing seen shit. Taking Tessas, I could like gamble to see who else is there. Maybe I take Juice, for example, for the first time. Okay. He has no anchors. What can we do? Nico is a IGL, obviously. <laughs> Nico IGL. If seriously, it's hooks he should be, but Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, I don't. No, Hooksy. Oh, you are taking Hooksy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're the brain. This is this is your team. I'm following you lead. But you have must uh, kind of stick to reality like if uh, the player must play the role, like I yeah. don't think he will want to play this role. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so Hooksy's in. We're taking this team. You got bit. You got Zaru. Bit got nerds, nerds, Zyru, you got Hooksy, and you Mer, got Hooksy, ooh. Yeah, it's a pretty good lineup. How if he got Tessas, go his team major? would actually be sick. Is this major? Think if he got like, Tessas, he could have gotten so. Flit, and this team would be practice, actually yeah. really <laughs> nasty. You're such a coach. No practice. <laughs> need more time. Already knows it's not going but through. There's oh. a surprise effect. Nobody if he went Tessas, I like Nerds a lot, but Tessas is the game plan as you go. You work really hard, Blake. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, that would have been nasty. We have no chance, basically. I don't know. I just thought about this. No chance. We'll just see. See what happens. Yeah, like coin flip. Imagine like five players from different background, like nerds, Saibu, Hooksy, <laughs> Bit, <laughs> nerds. But uh, yeah, it's interesting actually.
Overpass up next between Navi oh, and Cloud9. We get what was a very good quality mirage. Yeah. You know, a gentleman's mirage, in my opinion. Good T-sides. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too barbaric in the first map of the series. Uh, That's ancient, true, not much rushing. Ancient, a different story. That was ancient, barbaric. That was an absolute dismantling of Navi. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't even dismantlement. I don't think Navi even had a chance to keep up. I think if this was like hot or not, you know, and on the hot first map, not. you'd be like both teams hot. But on the second map, it was like Cloud9 hot, Navi not, okay? I think that was not a good look for Navi um, as a team coming into Ancient. Now, of course, Cloud9, more of an expectation to win it, it's their map pick. Yeah. But uh, not a great place to end on, I don't think, especially considering Cloud9 looked good on both maps so far. Sure. So overpass comes up. Surely we'll get a better Navi this time around. You said certainly. Certainly. Are you but, sure? Well, hmm? yes, because of Wonderful. Okay. Like overpass is an incredibly op favored map, an op biased map. And I have no, no reason to believe Wonderful will suddenly have a bad game. So I think Wonderful has his chance to kind of really dominate Cloud9 in a game where yeah. they're going to be feeling it a little bit. Boomage, whether he's consistent or not, is going to have to use it. You know what I mean? Like, mm. this is a map about your star opera and your star rifler controlling bathrooms. That's it. Axel used to have Shiro. Now he's got Boomage. We'll see if Boomage can keep up by any stretch of the imagination. At the end of the day, I think it's the perfect map to end on when Cloud9 are on the brink of top eight, the first CS2 major with so much online chatter also, and criticism for the lack of op. I would also like to say that this is have winning tomorrow, FaZe or Cole? I mean, I need Cole to win, actually, because I had FaZe 3 -0. Gamer Legion. Hell yeah, he, he came was. over to Navi, used incredibly awkwardly, okay? All right. So that's something you want to watch for. The T side lurks on this map. People act like not anyone can I jail. These are pros. Yeah, things are getting I mean, better, like no, actually, we have so much evidence that... see some improvements here, not anyone can IGL wonderful. and that these pros very much should Takes be in off. roles that suit them. An early red flag Is that the first op duel? We'll call it that. Yeah, in fact, we counts. have so many examples Ultra of just horses. how this is like not true. More will come. It was one shot. There's so many. Uh, <laughs> so long. All right. They were, he was, they were both in off <laughs> uh, You're selling me. Oh, dude, it's, yeah, no. The yeah, idea that anybody can IGL is Navi completely fucking false and you just like, you, somehow, I don't know how you got there, but you got there. One kill. And a pistol on the line. We get two smoke grenades still between Alexi and Wonderful. Flashbang to boot from the T side op. And they're waiting here inside of the A site. 20 seconds to that clock by the time Navi decides to pull the trigger and start to sprint. Hobbit and Axile. Oh, and Hobbit again. Headshots okay, stop come it, stop rebounding it. back. C9, Cloud please nine. stop it. They're not going to move a muscle inside of the site. Oh, no. The oh, no. To them oh, my God. And lose oh, no. each and every head. Oh, we got some cheers. Don't pros run like a million scenarios in their heads yeah, every shows, game? Having good game careful. sense doesn't make yeah, you a good idea. Saying. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. It's not that doesn't make how it works better. even Ooh, remotely. I don't know what I just said. Ooh. <laughs> Let's play that game on broadcast. Sure, someone else say it. I said it too. Oh! I wanted to say it again. I just don't know what it was. Oh! oh what is that? That was disgusting. I mean, is that a reaction? Is that a pre-fight? God damn it, big juicy boom and shimmer down. He was probably on his screen in his mind for 10 seconds right there. That Beautiful was... visualization from Hobbit. <laughs> Glock's peppering the back of Axile. And as he falls away, He's got an SMG alongside him to work. Put Boomich on the MP9 and he'll have a field day. And if we're going to talk about, you know, this eventuality that is wonderful CT side opping on overpass, what do we do upper A? We put the star rifler with the star opper and we yeah. watch I just like being the, unpo yeah. the fucker with unpopular opinions. I mean, slack and leave something to be desired. Then that's cool, I guess. I don't know. There's plenty of those on the internet. Because You're he like will be a piece in the of this norm. upper A play. And if he this, himself can take over it's not, this it's CT like side, the less in fact, then the opping problem maybe doesn't I'll, matter. I'll go one further. This this map for Axel on both sides are my favorite positions for him. And he will be lurking well, over has on the I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I just do a bunch of different shit. Also, I have a trainer that's like I've been with for a long ass time. And would I just do a lot of different things. actually gotten better in this stage of the major. Axel, look at this confidence. He heard I don't that think my tag, chest is that so big. I don't know. He's saying, Maybe. listen, no. put a pin in it. I, I know you're here, guys. So I'm going past big. the bomb. Yo, he's got everything he needs gonna for have this. To do, you yeah. know, gonna have to start getting on this a bunch of roids, dude, to really puff freebie, up, you know? But it's still early on, so... Fuck, yeah, do dude. it. 
He pulls out the a Oh, no. Okay. Starts to get a little scared. AK picked up. All's good. They're super scared about taking the bomb back now. It's kind of like... Bet your hip thrusts you are powerful, dude. Been doing some down down hip thrusts again. This is pretty much it's in the cycle of uh, exercises I'm doing. There's a gap Oof. inside of Con or oh, something. Yeah. They don't We're know thrusting. what happened. And it kills so much time off the clock as they go back to try to figure it out. The detec detective work will offer them nothing, really. No kills. Way my home gym is set up, oh, chat. You know, I, I like to lift with the garage doors oh, open. The upgrade into the and the way I position do my hip thrust, I look out of my garage. My neighbor was working on his bike. 100% maintained eye contact with him while I was doing it. what you want from Axile. Performing well at the major and off to the 4 0 start here on the decider map. Keep in mind, I think he's like 63 like or something, but like, I'll let him know. He's that good. Awkward. Oh, completely shut down. And, I mean, oh my, right, well, my pickums are fucked. It up prior to this match going live, Moses taking Cloud9 uh, in this head-to-head, -head, yeah. saying that he too, like you, believe in Axile to push all of this forward. Yeah. And Maniac's counterpoint was just, you know, the fuck to the pickums. Honestly, my pickums aren't fucked, but dude, I would really just appreciate if Navi could win this so I could be done. For months. Mm -hmm. Cheeks with the 51 month recent thank you. Tsunami, thanks to the 41. 100% criticism was fair. Oh, yes. He was a shell of himself. It really came down to what he himself was going to do. We had to be able to call it both ways, right? When he's getting better, when he's getting worse. And right now, there is most certainly an uptick in momentum. And that momentum from Axile is fueling cloud Nine's start on this CT side. They dispatch One the time I was sitting at my PC doing no the questions. old one-handed dance. Freebie. Neighbor was you on his roof cleaning and could see right in. Spawn. Drop bomb, get an AK upgrade, and don't lose players. Come on. He 100% finished that dance. He side rounds far and few between for most. He 100%. Like Somebody in YouTube chat said that. 100% that dude finished his dance. That's rich all I'm going to say. Lottery. That's true. That's how it keeps us poor. Boomage. Dealing with the swarm that moves forward. Axile picking up all he needs to. Mm, drill him. AK just slays four, and they get no footing, no bomb plant, barely any damage. And look at the high hopes of Cloud9 now. That's the kind of spray how down. this happen to That'll me? That'll put hard eyes on Shiro. I, I made my mistakes. Too, buddy. I haven't seen that smile in months. Yeah, yeah, seriously. No Ladies and gentlemen, about. he's back. He's having fun. And that is a scary prospect for Navi. 9-0 start for Axile. Two kills for all of Navi, four rounds in. Don't let the CTs get rich. That's the number one rule of overpass. Even if you lose on T-side, make it excruciating at least. Because in this case, they're not buying oh. ops, so they'll stay richer for longer. That's true, too. That's very true. Rifles for days. Man, if I was Groove, I would just be taking every op opportunity and just aug. Just aug. That's the thing, right? And we saw Halzerk earlier today. Aug and Creek and aug and Creek, and yeah. it, it works. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I just cause complexity lost, but he was Little, so we post to like good. a I literally it, it, do it a works. reaction to each yeah. day of pickums on YouTube, brother. Not on the Clips work. and Highlights channel. Hey, they've got a chance tomorrow. Complexity versus phase. G2 versus VP. And the loser of this match goes up against the last Brazilian hope. Nice time boost from Hobbit. It's not Axile thriving down on B, but it is still a proactive move from Cloud9. Man advantage again. And a gun round that they don't even have the bomb to get an opening. Bomb is back in T spawn. What are they doing, boys? What exactly were they going to do with that play? I mean, yeah, Gatler, yeah, you've been in. crushing it, dude. Yeah, I mean, they had no one else. Gatler's been crushing it. And Gatler, I'll be real, dude. With all the oh, videos you've been posting my, and my editing own. along with Sicko, you, uh, the third it's YouTube channel is about to have more subscribers on the month than the main YouTube channel, which is pretty insane. And it paints a bleak picture. Very bleak. Well. Why is it whenever I can just have a relaxing pick them, the team doesn't want to win? For a pause. Because they're going to come into relatively awkward money because no one can drop for Alexi or Bit. So they'll just probably glill up. I swear to God, they all know my shit. Certainly that round How's the seventh YouTube the channel going? Hey, I only got three, dude, okay? Yeah, okay. We got the pause. main one for more like 
planned out and, uh, shit. Cloud Nine's the second one for the variety and stuff and I, I do with the boys, and then the third one, so we can just like basically all the questions Twitch chat asks me every day. We have videos for. They'll still ask me, but now I can monetize. Keep riding with it. Morass thanks for the two-month resub. Thank you. You know? Yeah, still no kills on two players. Maybe three. Because of this guy right here. Oh, Flom curse is real. I feel like it can't be the curse nine. because if that were true, then like all my picks would be fucked, right? Camera. He's got that smirk on his face. What's the name of the variety one? The it's called moment. Also it was, yeah. Space you know that just Flom. vacuumed all of Navi's momentum out of the round. Not that they had much to work with, but it's incredibly small, and the algorithm the still the doesn't want to get revved up for that one yet, but. Into short and putting wonderful there. on the opening entry. Now, these aren't always those moments that his op shines. He does not like this. Yeah, he does not like aggressive opening picks. The CT side is where he'll do beautifully, I'm sure, but if they even get there. Halfway through this T side, finally, they get some kind of recovery. Axile is dead. His first death of this map. He falls alone inside connector, but... He does have a teammate coming at it. Boomich. Good trade Damn, Boomich. Right to get bit back. Chill, dude. He gets away. Chill, He's on the bro. Retreat. He does. All the way. Didn't have Chill, to go down bro. to Khan. Took a risk to go back up, and that actually helps the CT side rotations be a little bit more simple. Bomb, however, is outside of B, and they're ready to Sub go here. Breaking the algorithm. Protecting it's monster. more important Alexi that you watch, I'll be honest. <laughs> I definitely don't like the look of that. CT smoke comes down. He can't Lance even be supported now. Yep, I, I he pulls back. Oh, man. Oh, Emma. There's, these are the lurks that we see sometimes. It's what you were talking about, right? It's yeah. what you want to see him tap back into. But if they're too too late, it can be awkward because it doesn't actually have an impact. Oh, my God. The timing on oh. that is ridiculous. But he gets into cover. Boomich is, is he in the corner? Yeah. This is Emma's kill. Made easy. But the CTs can move now. I think yeah. the Ts have to wait here. The CTs might make noise. Both of them inside of water. They're gonna go charging up. If Perfecto wins this, then they can go back down to B. They don't see anything. This gives them a chance at least. 2B3 now, but Albert is close by. Made oh. sound. Oh, gave JL a chance to op. And with a peek to Graffiti, he falls. Bomb plant from Alexi. Come on, to Alexi. Get off site. Perfecto. Show him your flow. That gap. Electronic pressing into short, and Perfecto Aww. comes running right back at it, even in the best Aww. position that Navi have okay, been in. Okay, C9 is actually playing good counter strike. Safe to say, my Navi pick is nice fucked though. right now. Other thing about Cloud let me just, let me just plan for worst case scenario sense. now. So let me see. So, C9. I think we're mm. sort of very fortunate to see Cloud9 start on CT. It's one of the few situations so, where I think psychologically if this does that happen, a You know, people will say there's no point. It doesn't actually matter what side you start on because you get to switch over and like who cares if you're down like 9 0, you know? But the reality is we're human and it actually makes a difference. They can start up on CT, see how good they're playing. So if Navi loses, I'm relying on complexity beating phase or Navi then beating page. And if there's one thing I don't want right now, it's having to beat bigger zero. And add gas to the fire that is Cloud9. Axile right back at it, looking for that peak on Fountain. Don't think his first death in Con will taper off his confidence because that's mm. something he finally has Alexi, back please, here in Copenhagen. Dude. Like, just like, pull your hair around or some shit, dude. They all have one kill chat. Do you guys see this? I am so fucked right now. Not one member of Navi with more than one kill. Come on. Halfway uh, through the half. Uh, for this. There's almost no default grenades coming out here from Navi. They are walking, and walking is what can get you opt. Okay, front side smoke on the bathrooms, at the very least. You know what's funny, Chad, is I could have had a guaranteed five picks if Fury just didn't lose yesterday. Isn't that hilarious? That's pretty hilarious. You know, there's one on Woodwall, but there's not much they can do about it. Oh, this fades. Love it. Not able to get the I'm multi sending like the betters when they're losing money. No, I'm not seconds. sending death threats to people. The grow up. Spot. He should be able to cut off the tail end, but he'll shoot the bathroom's player first. Ton of damage, and it reopens the possibility mm. of a rotation down to B. JL stomps a bit, and Cloud9 can still bank on their anchor imperfecto. He will push forward, not holding back on graffiti. My God, they're gonna go to long. Oh, this is gonna come down to the wire. They don't have a lot of time to spare. They're hoping Perfecto will bite on this. And, and I think oh, no, no, they missed the smoke. They know. He doesn't God believe damn that it, smoke man. for a second. 
And he's got vision oh. from heaven. They have no smoke to block the cross. The trade. Perfecto, oh, not even needed. As Boomin strikes dude. one down, there's They'll no bomb time down to play. jail. No they time. tried to oh. make this happen, and instead they play themselves again. Cloud9, flawless on the defense. Yeah, they literally just have to shoot the someone, dude. Perfect right like, there, and they even had a read on the smoke, and that's sometimes where if you overplay a fake or... This again, is this is literally just like, bro, you gotta, you, you, you gotta fucking bang somebody here. Cloud9 sitting back on the A site, knew when, when that smoke landed that it was not going to be the A site, so... Seeing the prep go this far and how good Ancient was makes you wonder if Navi even really have a chance at this point. Oh. I don't know. There's Man. nothing really to write home about with this T side. And the smoke sold him. Yeah, missed Two smoke. Left in the Definitely. Staff. They didn't stick around for a second. It's almost like that smoke yeah, served yeah. as a reason to leave. That's what I'm saying. Like, you you actually shoot yourself in the foot if you throw a piece of utility. It tells the other team what you're going to do. What do you call it at this point if, if you're Alexi? It, you might as well go in it's, dude, this is why Overpass is so hard. If you knew what your tells oh, were. Hold on. Wait, my dogs are trying to chime in. Hold on with an opinion. I'll be feeling frisky here in round number eight. Um, and a slight variation no, it, it of just, this is where Overpass gets long. so defeating because oh, come the on other maps, the the you can group Alexi, away, and like kind of brute force a site an and an try off. to trade out, right? You know, like you on Inferno, Mirage, you can just kind of throw a site hit. You can't really just like safely get somewhere and throw a site hit on Overpass. So Boomich offers a um, little more opening over it's to It's really hard because, right, like A is a super scalable and you JL, can get info hands, early. Hobbit, hey, info early up. like this. Doesn't have to continue on, but chooses Jesus. to. Oh, yeah. right. Choose through three. All now banking on wonderful. Faced by Perfecto, surrounded inside of the bathrooms. Doesn't have possession of the bomb. Doesn't have anything to work with. This is all Cloud9. I bet they wish this was a longer half. Because I don't know when they slow down. But, um, you know, so, so like, okay. Yeah, a lot of times in this situation, if you're the IGL, you crush it. You Navi group the team the and you hit something. Of the elimination on overpass, stage. if you do that, man, you're just like C9's Booked being really active. They're probably right going to have a stack now. wherever you go, and, and the rotations are so quick. Tomorrow. And the info is so easy to gather to the last day. that they will be fucking on your ass. Tomorrow's going to be a bloodbath. Damn right it is. Seaside overpass is brutal, man. So. If you start like, like, and this is not uncommon, right? Maybe maybe eight zero, but big CT halves are not uncommon, and so it can just feel like the, stories coming the map is actually huge, so and it can feel so small on T side of a CS two major. We all look fondly back on CS GO, remember the most glorious moments. Yeah. But it always begins on chapter one, that very first major. When Devil Walk drop his pants on stage after beating I him. still think Damn it right might not be bad to try to crush a hit, though. Like, whether it's 5-man A or 5-man B, just remove the individuality out of it and try to get people so trading to get them warmed up because you're just not killing anyone right now. <laughs> and Navi's story, no guarantee. Certainly not Sorry for being an ass before I like watch your stream and can watch you 24-7. I honestly have no idea what you said, but all good. what felt like such consistent tea size coming out of Navi a loss to spirit oh so what just like everybody else but then we got timed out a year ago I don't even know ancient and overpass puts a huge question mark over top of a team that some last match for today yeah last match in. and last map they are limping through round nine, cautious on the connector approach. Smoke soon to fade and bits inside it. Oh, man, he just walks They're out right into Boomage's scope. There's no pressure on the map. They're happy to sit in their positions. They're just not scared of Navi, who are, again, walking around. Wonderful will do the same thing, though, posting the op on here. No, he, I'm just saying he was timed out a year ago, chat. Trying like, to get like, the ball rolling. Trying wasn't to get timed out first. for a year. Mystique, and thanks for your 57 month primer. Thank you. Navi. And I'm sorry I missed that. Alexi I've been mistaken. And Rast, thank point. you so much for the two months. Wonderful's not reset. alone on the bathrooms approach, so we'll see Perfecto tested in a second. If Hobbit backs up, he is done. Alexi hits the dirt, and no now flash? that nice player can just keep Bro, this they one had him. in. Like, Great whoa, flash. They, and nah, for dude. Perfecto to come out with Hobbit, keeping ah, this one is. They they lost composure. Is being applied through connector. Sure enough, JL with a double kill and a high hope to cross over to the site. 
Goddamn, Navi needs something. And JL gets played with from the dumpster. Boomich does not commit. Bomb down. The chase goes forward. And Boomich needs not the ops. CZ enough. Brad 6 to 21 month Cloud reset. Thank you, thank you, thank no you. No sign of stopping. No, not even close, man. Another great round uh, where it's just so Am I going to play after them. this? Nah, nah, man. I really thought that the lurky play I need to make sure I'm taking extra time for myself. Side, but this map looks as like I'm, it's uh, across for them. The way that they're been streaming like 10 hours and, uh, each day minimum. Full vision, full awareness, and they have all the reads as well about what Navi are trying to do. Like it I genuinely like could keep streaming, but it's more like I just know I shouldn't. It's been a perfect CT side from multiple angles. You know, um, not just like heavy fragging. It started out with Axel tearing through them. He actually hasn't gotten a kill since he was like 11 and zero or something, and they still haven't lost a round. Shout out Hobbit as well, who is absolutely contributing sure, I'm sorry, to this brother. domination on overpass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I do miss sub sometimes. Okay, double bathroom. I am human seven. after all. Oh, oh, they're going to be hurt. They're not running around after. the long side. The wide side of long. They're just head. going by this. Making a ton of sound for Boomage and then Axile. There you have it. Star Rifler that is shining. So sloppy. Why would they do that? Because they're desperate. Because they have nothing to be proud of here on this T side. Sorry, Royford. Welcome back, though. You still look great, Royford. Anything out of what's left? Three rounds. The best case. The CZ's back out. JL on the smoke. He'll at least bring it back into the two versus three, but it's low health for Bit to deal with. And Hobbit, who has been very crisp. He's got support inside of the bomb site. Hell, he's got support right here with him. What's with the amount of sounds and overpass? Yeah, again, that's CT my favorite side the overpass, baby. On cloud nine is how they double if you don't get that pistol or if you don't get early rounds on T side, it just, this map just okay. B -side. Under disintegrates right before. Completely. And yeah, you're right. It's, it's clear, of course, brutal, again, man. At this point, very hard for a team to end up taking this back. I can block in the scoreline a little bit. Yeah, as well yeah, to get yeah. into the site, at least with one player. Bomb is not here, though, actually. Wow, it is. Wait a second, man. I just assumed Bit had followed through connector. Now he's gonna. He should have a chance for a kill, but they have not seen the bomb at all. Oh my God, this is. They're actually walking back because there's crazy. no one for the T's to kill. JL needs to make noise, surely. The bomb plant starts to go down. Bit's on little health. They're still. They're still concerned. They're gonna clear it, and they'll trade JL out. This has layers, and I don't know if it works out. Bit the headshot machine takes Hobbit off. Oh. Can they get there first? Where is the second? He asks himself. It's right there ahead oh. of him, and he crawls quietly oh. over towards. Wow, Bit. Does, Bit. No, Does he make this read? Do here. Let's see. He's walking right into it. Bit cues it up. Oh. And wow. It gets complicated, but it's if one. If they can the get three, least. maybe. Okay. What the it's music? One, it's one at least. All right, nice one from Bit. Um, get observing there too. I like that they turned off the X-ray. It's. I, okay, I mean, All I that tried work. something. Maybe, maybe that if you get three, you maybe I, I, I don't know though, man. To get a one v two queued up. Yeah. Lurk through the entire map, all the way through to CT spawn. Cloud9 ah, just weren't watching no, their flank, no, and uh, Navi may not be succeeding, but after a round like that, you can't say that they're not trying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's as sweaty as it gets. Bit's third and fourth kill on this half. Nets them one of potentially three. Odyssey 9 play good so suddenly because I need them to lose. Soon it, I'm telling you, C9 is bad up until you think like they... Like it's like as soon as you count them out, they're like, "Yeah, we're good actually." What and then when you're like, "Damn, they're good," they're like, "Nah, we're bad." Be ask themselves as they approach. <laughs> Let's try it. Flashbangs on, wonderful. They're still as, so as is literally how this team works. I swear. Bombing oh, toe, Boomage, they the, the, the flash pillar. has to hit. This is an opera's paradise. It did not. Oh, no flash. He nails well, the first work. one. Wonderful and they team flash after. Doesn't bother him whatsoever. And with a smoke grenade, there's a bit more of a question. Boomich can focus in on short side as Alexi comes out through that. That feels like every smoke. team. Tons of nah, dude, C9 is like prime Brian that. Slowly being toppled one after another. Electronic makes sure that the monster push doesn't come through, and sure enough, Boomich's patience pays off. They're completely falling apart. Like they're just that's an individual duel coming out, and I don't really think there's any real plan right there. They're trying to, they're trying to do the exact same lurk play they did last round, just with something crazy. And to be fair, last round it did work. At least got them to a 1v2 position. I think more than anything, Cloud9 are just 
thinking about where's the lurk, right? Yep. Based on what they've seen. But again, as, until right. you hear that bomb plant, there's no confirmation. They're on high alert because of the oh, round he's prior. Make noise here. Ton of yeah. sound comes flying downwards. Eight seconds to the clock. No chance. Oh, really smack. Ten one. Cloud nine. They'll give them a single round. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy B. And nothing more. Is that Juicy B on the op right there, bro? Juicy B is a nickname for Boomich is solid. Exile 14 and 5, Hobbit 13 kills to his name. I mean, literally, they really got it together for three or four rounds. <laughs> no one would call this game, you know? Mm -hmm. Go to CT, of course. that wonderful work. Yeah. That would be... Big Juicy Boomich, uh, baby. Okay. Again, before the flash. And again, it's just gonna get shut down. First two kills were easy. Yet once more, challenge up from Monster. This is all you've got? This is uh, what you bring to the table versus the Cloud9 10 on the one monster pop chat. Major? Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think so, Navi. It's my, it's the give up call. It's the give up we call. But like it's it's Isio's call it because what else are you fucking supposed to call at this point? Mirage. Some you tried to call defaults, all of your individuals died. You tried to group the team, they all died. And now at this point, you then tried to throw like little splits in to this, try to isolate fights, they all lost. Have never been close. No, no. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I mean, like lack of death, at, at up, some point, dude, um, they just have to hit yeah, their yeah, shots. Everything negative. They just don't have any belief right now, and I don't think they even have the game plan. So they're at, listen, at, at they, some they point, get pistol, suddenly you just wish, like they get a pistol. And they start guys, the we were eight rounds in. Got it we were eight rounds into that half, and could that five players or four players on Navi had one some kill. Kind of comeback. But with the sheer number of rounds they've got to climb back into from this like, point on, I mean, this would be more than remarkable. Like, like at a certain point, they're just you. You have to. You got a fucking headshot someone every oh, once in a while, a bro. Pistol more badly than this. There's not one player on that Navi roster that can point at themselves as even. Being I'm not a saying all the calls were perfect or great from Alexi B. I'm just saying. When, when there's We're that little fragging, you know, there has to be something, bit, you know? Ooh, the there you go, bit. Dual Berettas with the double could help, but the short peak from Perfecto perfectly timed. Alexi stuck in the water and dealt with. Oh, A 3v5 comeback in the second pistol to take 12. That is nightmare fuel and a gush on wonderful. Just to make it all the worse, at least Inez able to come in with the monster frag. Perfecto doing his absolute damnedest. Dives back into the pillar and is laying down. Yep, 13-1. Fucking oh, Perfecto for, making moves. For, for Cloud9 who thought, okay, well, maybe we have to deal with something at this point. Sorry, like, wasting my sub on Oni. You're line. five times better than him. Yeah, but Oni's five times better looking. So, like, they gotta be happy I don't with know. Themselves. I don't know, man. Timeout called. I think he fucked up. Got, I guess. We have seen a fake comeback today. That was somewhat close with Payne showing us something, but, um, or, or with Heroic showing us something, I should say. But they couldn't complete it. Nothing else to do tonight. Might as well try. Played those first two maps. The hell, chat, be nice. Played what the fuck? To try to hey, win yo, yo, yo. Whoa, 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 Chad. I was trying to farm but, um, some on God for reals. Not Jesus Christ. Yeah. Cloud9 are managing to. Uh, they all need to be nice. Despite their shortcomings. Time to do it. You know, despite that off difference on Wonderful. They at least didn't have to see it here on Overpass. Never had a Fuck. chance. Jesus. Some of y'all are fucking savage. Wonderful dreamed man. of an opportunity to pick up that AWP CT side, and that may never be even. In fact, thanks to the, the tier one sub, to Swift. Thanks to the 86 by 3 sub. Thank you. The reality now is Cloud9 will have so many Thank chances for to close no this cap. out. <laughs> To no, I don't know, dude. Shut up the naysayers. Usually self dunks work pretty well with Twitch today, you know? Like, God and damn. not just doing it by the skin of their teeth, but with utter conviction in this last best of three to get into top eight. I don't long did I step to... I walked... What did I say? Uh, four, there goes the seven, and seven and a half miles. Seven and a half miles. My step counter is kind of scuffed, you so don't want to say that I'm just doing the distance because the road is so much longer than an opening kill in this 14th round of the game. Oh, he's not ready for this. Ema dead at the hands of this entire pack of mm. Cloud9 players. 
And you can guarantee Cloud9 will How keep fast this am as I clean as they uh, have to. 2.75 or 3 just kind of depends. Cloud9 that but the usually around there. Go Major didn't even make it to the main event. I have Fred. It's the 420. Tears. They're going back to B. They walked to this entire flank and oh my god. Okay, Fit will show himself now. Getting the one. A little more to work with. MP9's doing work. <laughs> Watch Perfecto and Axile rip it from their chests. Galil has two pistols firing off. Axile's been real good, but he's also tagged down to 15 HP. Two more pistols to get rid of, and they're going to continue to put up their fight. This is it. I'm just calling it a comeback now, because if it's meant to happen, it's happening. Here it is. C9, this is the baby. comeback. They do it their way. This is it. And I if I curse the it, then I just get us out of here earlier, chat. Five head move. Doing it in convincing fashion this is not a team that limps through some easy stuff right you just, in the you just get stage. out of the way early 10 seconds this round's done perfecto doesn't get unironically any yet. large comeback i've had like this i call it a comeback instantly just because somebody i've had too many chat i've had too many scenarios where i make a large comeback nobody says anything then somebody says it you know they're like we're doing it i'm like no and then we lose so you just rip that shit off like a fucking band-aid instantly? That way they can't make that move. You know what I mean? And if it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. You know pain are just licking their chops, knowing they play the loser of this matchup. If it was a close affair, high caliber counter strike and everybody's on, yeah. Pain know they're coming in as the underdog. But are you telling me that those seeing this game? Those those Brazilians right now, you tell me Big Uzera can't hype up the boys and say that this Navi isn't beatable. Yeah, and trying to fight Jinxes, five head. Sometimes That's it's not necessarily that I believe in the jinx as much as I feel like sometimes when you say it out loud, other people might not be thinking about it. So as soon as you do, you make it real. You know what I mean? If you fucking just tap into it early, I feel like it's... Real challenge for Navi tomorrow. Sometimes people oh, get oh, lost oh, in the sauce oh, and they really do forget. Flash, and then, the then they realize and then, no, no. Completely. Walking right by Emma here is wonderful. Goes to resmoke monster, and there are oh, no, Navi's got this, up. dude. Not only the resmoke, Navi's got this. Dropping back down into spawn, leaving completely as the T's execute. Yeah, Long yeah, they're, they're just. This is a tactical retake. Tactical retake. Still unaccounted for they actually the just site, gave so up this entire Emma. bomb site to the source by just to save this situation. not How die on site. Alexi gets completely shredded. Wonderful out from bank at the very least. And to lose to this round of all things, Yikes. Tech Nines in the mix of Cloud Nine, <laughs> as if insult to injury. Okay, no way Emma Does hits a crazy timing on the flank in the and wins. That is He's got two here for overpass. sure. This best of three that started so strong. Double peek from the Tech Nines, topples the long peak, and it's electronic on the Glock to set up Boomage to try and close it. Picks up the smoke, time is of the essence, trying to run for bomb. He's got nothing oh. left to do. Just finagled by Boomage. No. The knife is out. Not like this. And Bit doesn't nah, no want to get in that smoke because he knows what waits on the other side. Cloud nine oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well, I have to stress major. out on the last oh, day of pick This is actually such an amazing result for this lineup that I have. <laughs> They have built brick by brick I've somehow created the most cursed pickums once the again. Position that you would expect to take them as far as they need to, and they have made. I've once again teamwork, created the most cursed pickums. Stepping up to the challenge, and a roster that believes in themselves. Absolutely so, and I, See, I don't Chad, know how I much just, you I got that out of the way early, you know. Camera, but Boomich standing up, spreading his arms like wings, and then electronic immediately jumping up Brian's and, and shouting flum? something I did not True. personally Honestly, understand. Honestly, send me back sure down to Brian's. It, it, it was, uh, it was positive noises lit. about that performance because what a way to close it out, and what a way to Never put your tickets again. We're not out yet, you fucking Pepega. Um, I want to say. Also, so Chad, we talked about this. You can't complain when you copy somebody's pickums. That's like the energy of the kid that copies the answers on the test and gets mad when they fail what level you should actually be reaching this was great yeah you should just copy yeah, pimp dude pimp has a long-standing history of really good pickums in the major them, they are very aware of the limitations of the structure that they currently have the issues the challenges that they have and still the roar coming in from that win a statement sent to the world of counter-strike that hey we know this might all not make sense but if you allow us we are going to pounce we are going to destroy you the way they just destroyed navi and here i am silly maniac talking Talking about structures and how it makes sense, the roles in Navi mm -hmm. and blah blah blah, tactical death, blah, blah, bleep bleep blue. I can tell you out. I can tell you. Big out. You juicy yeah, boom you. It's a very poignant statement from from Launders. You like that? That was a big word. Um, that he makes at the end of that as well when he throws it over. That confidence right. in themselves because nobody else.
Time to do a little recap, boys, in game. Time to farm a YouTube video, but also actually make some half decent stuff, talk about the day. And then skedaddle on out of here because you guys are fucking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Affiliated, thanks for the 16 month resub. Thank you. Randomous, thanks for the 47 month primer. Thank you. No, C9 played well, dude. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> oh, shit. My CS2 crashed on launch. Typical these days. Come on. Rod, thanks for the 12-month primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's do a little recap for the day. A little recap of the pickups. Come on, hurry up. Yes, Counter-Strike 2. Yes, yes, I know, I know. All right. So Pickums update after today, chat. Pickums update after today. We still have we have three points right now with a guaranteed fourth. Easy money thanks for tier two thirty nine month resub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So right now, we got the spirit three oh. Obviously we got screwed over on phase. Unlucky. Should have known. Ecstatic didn't follow through. Bastards. And then uh, Mongols did, though. And then we got Vitality today. So the good news, I guess, is we have G2 playing Maus, which is good because that's guaranteed four points. We lost Maus because they went through 3-0. And then we have Complexity playing FaZe. So we either need Complexity to beat FaZe or I need Navi. Or I need Navi to beat pain if I get that I'm good oh I can do that oh that's kind of cool so currently that's what I need though so v these two are playing each other so that'll be four and then I just either need cold of upset phase or I need Navi to beat pain I say G2 play versus mouse. Oh shit. No, sorry. G2 and VP play each other. Sorry. Idiot streamer. So yeah, the matchups are Cole versus FaZe, which I need Cole to get a point, or I need Navi to beat Pain. G2 VP playing each other doesn't affect me one way or the other because I have both teams going through. So yeah. My hand, I, I'm currently in the hands of North American Counter-Strike or Navi, which is actually kind of funny because if you think about when I did the pickums, right? I picked Cole out of pure cope. And when I was making the final decision for who to put in that last spot, I put Navi for the vibes. So <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I wanted Navi, C9, or Heroic. I mean, I guess it's good I didn't put Heroic. <coughs> I wish I had a little bit more faith in Eternal Fire. I just wasn't sure, you know? And, of course, you know, when I think that Cloud9 is going to fuck up, they, they don't just to screw me over. So here we are. But, yeah, just kind of funny that my Cope pick and my Vibes pick are what I currently am <laughs> relying on. It really does suck that if you look at this, it sucks that I am literally getting all of these right of who is advancing. It's just that Mao's is 
and fucking these two are playing each other. Like, God damn it, dude. It's like, it's, oh God, these pickups are ruthless. They're ruthless. They're ruthless. But yeah, that's, that's the recap. Oh, what happens if Payne and Cole win for their slots for the next major? It converts two of our seven slots into legend spots. So the Americas region right now has seven slots. Every team that qualifies from the Americas region to playoffs turns that spot into a legend spot. So, yeah, I wonder. Yeah. But uh, when are playoffs? Playoffs are Thursday. Let me double check. Let's let's take a look. See, yeah. Pretty sure it's Thursday. Is my match up here yet? No, I play Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oops. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, major playoffs start at nine on Thursday. Will we have a few days for the next pickums? Yeah, you should have all the way up until Thursday to do your next stage of pickums. I imagine they will open them up after tomorrow, and then you'll probably have so essentially you'll have from Monday until Thursday morning. Uh, to do your pickups. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm wondering why our ECL match isn't on there yet. That's weird. Uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me today. Nice little 10-hour stream on the dot. Uh, as I always like to say, I appreciate you guys subbing, following, donating, chilling. Appreciate it. Chats have been really nice, man. Both of them. Bo both. I I'm teasing a lot, but, like, no, nah, it's been... It's been really good, dude. I feel like I haven't had to, like, deal with too much bullshit in chat, and you guys have been hopefully having a good time as well. If you guys are new around here or are not already followed, make sure you guys follow the stream. If you guys are on YouTube, don't forget to like the stream and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go chill for a bit, then stretch, and then maybe have some dinner with Nori. Maybe go out somewhere for a couple hours or head to bed. So, yeah, I will uh, take it easy, chat. I'll see you all tomorrow. Stay beautiful. Hopefully... For myself, Navi can get a win. And man, complexity or phase, dude. Somehow I feel like it's like, it's always like that. All right. A wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll catch you all tomorrow, chat. Take it easy. Later, 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 later.